I'm just trying to get out of this film. <laughs> it was literally, it, it was like a contractually like, I'm dead now, can I leave? They're like, one more. You're like, okay. Uh, damn it. Robin Daddy Jr. probably time. told her it's, it's good to get out, just get out. <laughs> then again, oh yeah, he's still... When did they film it? It was like fucking ages ago, right? At they least like a couple years, years ago. ago. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. She's probably already filmed more movies by now that she's, she's probably forgotten all about Black Widow. But then she did the promotion. Robert? Have you guys seen any of the Robert promotional stuff? Stallone. It's super awkward. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Have you guys seen any of the like... promotional <laughs> stuff? Super awkward. How so? For Black Widow? Yeah, there's, there's this one where um, David Harbour is like, well, she says, like, buy your tickets now, and then he goes, or else. And then. Um, Florence Pugh like awkwardly looks at him and goes, or else what? And then he goes, or else, and then he makes the, uh, you know, slice throat symbol with okay. the finger. Yeah. And then, um, they both go, no, 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 no. And he goes, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll not see it. That's what, that's what that means. Buy your tickets now. And it ends. And you're like, oof. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, I don't know who God. writes ads, but <laughs> they're probably not wow. top notch. <laughs> Hating on another woman, what the fuck? Hey. Look, it's so, the only talent we have. Movies. Movies. I mean, yeah. We're hating on a man next week, don't worry. Well, is he, <laughs> is he the protagonist or is Sylvie? Uh, um. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome to EFAP number episode 144. Us, we're six well, away from the anniversary people. rags for English. We're ready to run. Yeah. We're almost there. Yeah. We're almost, we've almost made it another year. Oh boy. This bullshit. Yeah. It's, it's been a great set of media up to this point, huh? You know, it's like, been a great year so far. A lot of bangers. <laughs> A lot of really, yeah. uh, a lot of really good ones. You guys remember 2019? Yeah. There was like seven movies that came out that we were like, these were good. Yeah, yeah, and we thought was that was the bad year. year. We thought it was, a, <laughs> yeah. When the outfit was like a good year. <laughs> I, I would downright say it was a pretty strong year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, but yeah, you know, plenty of fun ahead of us. We're we're joined today by two regular faces, um, Mootlo. And oh, in Daigo. Okay. Hello. I was uh, never here before. What are you talking about? You, I recognize you, the crying one. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's me. I was here before. Nothing ever goes your that. way. And you're always like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's me. It's terrible. Um, mm. and, and Mr. Gaming, how'd you do? Hey, thanks for having me on. I think this is my fifth appearance, I think. So, yeah, you, yeah, you're getting obsessive now, okay? You're desperate to talk about how shitty <laughs> everything is. I bet I don't say my number. Fuck that. <laughs> Mel, this is like your seventieth appearance. Like, it's this probably your first time here. Yes, it's, it's probably reaching one hundred fifty <laughs> for Me? the appearances. No. Um, one hundred fifty of appearance on the podcast of one hundred forty-four episodes. No, but the movies and stuff as well. They those are count. those are offshoots. Those are those are not uh, the those crazy the spin-off Chinese episodes. Knockoffs. Yeah, the second we bought yeah, by yeah. Disney, they're going to decanonize all the movies. Oh man! But yeah, those are <laughs> mostly not that's most of them. <laughs> Not canon. Batwoman was not canon, and then everyone knows Jacob can, you know, he's just going to be gone. That's be fan horrible. fiction. Uh -huh. It's an unsanctioned uh, third party uh, cash in on the real material. Mm hmm. What, what Which is unfortunately not, not Black, what Black Widow is. Mm. Sadly. Uh, also, special guest to Rooney, Mr. Madvocate. How do you do? Hello. I'm doing fine. We uh we had a look see at your video last week. It was pretty neat. Um, but I do have to ask, yeah, why thanks. do you have to bully High Top? What's that about? <laughs> yeah, I I just can't contain myself. You know, <laughs> I just had to throw insult after insult because it's j it was just not a good video, guys. What? I don't know what else to say. Well, I'll have you know that Wonder Woman doesn't solve her problems by punching people. Okay. <laughs> That's true. You guys really got me hook, line, and sinker there. Yeah. The video was ruined. I think that that's what she has that's special about her. The other heroes are kind of toxic in that way. They'll just punch, punch, punch. But she does a nice little... I've seen it argued, by the way, that... Um, you know in the opening when she, like, clearly destroys people's legs and arms, um, but they don't actually get hurt? You know when she, like, kicks someone and he flies, like, three meters above? Um, I've seen people say, like, she's so talented now 
She's so in control that she can not only make it so that she can do stuff like that, but she can do it without hurting people. I don't that's, believe you. No, what? I feel like that's physically impossible. <laughs> I feel though. like you're lying to me. <laughs> I feel like that's a load of horse shit. It reminds me of that, uh, that Batman parody on YouTube a couple of years ago where it was like uh, uh, Batman was like throwing uh, ninja stars and like beating the shit out of people and is like, oh, look at him. He's all tuckered out. <laughs> it's like, no, Batman, you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's tired. He's just taking a little nap. He's sleeping. I'm so good at shooting <laughs> now. I can kill you, but it doesn't hurt. It's just boom. <laughs> Actually, that probably I makes can more kill sense. You without hurting you. Yeah, that that makes more sense than I shot you without a bullet hitting you. Yeah. I just, wasn't, there, wasn't there like a Comedy Central bit about that where he like blatantly shoots someone? It's like he's not dead; he's sleeping or something. I know it was it actually have... Comedy Central. I, I forgot who it was. I think it might have been like College Humor or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's right. But yeah, but yeah, he was like, "Oh, look at him; he's just tuckered out." You know, look, he's <laughs> sleepy little guy. <laughs> It was gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people. I've not watched it yet, but you've done a Flash season one and two breakdown, is it, or is it just the one? Yeah, it's both season for both of the first two seasons. So, and what? it's mainly just breaking down like the the fight scenes, if you can call them that. Ew. Why? Uh, why pick on a CW show? They're pretty good, from what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why we stick yeah, with that's them. That's true. I'm, <laughs> I'm here to I'm here to bust that myth, though. Like, of all the TV shows, we've only done one that we've watched, like, as a thing longer than, like, ten episode thing, like, Haunting, or nine, that was. Um, why do you think we chose Batwoman? It's, um, it's a favorite for us, and I just think that if The Flash is anywhere near as well-written as Black, Black Woman, I need to say, see, like, that's how good it is. I, just, I, I see them as the same thing. Uh, I just don't see why you'd pick on it at all. The clips that you showed from, uh, in uh, High Top's video, I just thought it was an example of the Flash not wanting to hurt people. He turns up and says, you can't outrun me, and then they outrun him because he's trying to give him a chance. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I guess he just likes to tease his enemies a little bit. He's a really nice guy, so I don't see why you have to be... Relatable you know, hero. Yeah. He, it's, it's, more, it's more excellent, relatable character writing that I expect from the CW. Mm, yeah. I constantly let people escape justice because they're gay like me. That's really, yeah, that's cute. I like that. Um, it, yeah, it, it must be an EFAP, because I've already seen someone post, Fringy is wrong. I, I don't even know what Fringy said today. That... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Fringy. Yeah. Right, Fringy's in there silently in the corner. He was like, he's <laughs> fucking wrong. <laughs> I picture the little piss at list, they just rock it back and forth like a can't wait to fucking post that Fringy is wrong. <laughs> Posted it. Yes! My life is complete. Jumps no. off a building. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to read this one ahead of time. Since Black Widow movie has proven Natasha can survive falling many high places unhurt, does it take away from the impact of Endgame's scene? Does Fringy now have to update his video? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised she died. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense, does it? She, uh,. I don't know what happened, but somehow she lost the ability to survive long. Fucking. <laughs> we need uh, to, that scene from Rise of Skywalker. That somehow Natasha died. <laughs> Everyone's like, "What? She can't die." It was like a mystical thing. It was a floating red skull man. He said there was a deal. I don't know if it's touching the floor that kills you or if it's the gravity. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, you just got to admit that you were wrong about that, and that is a plot hole. We've all assumed it made sense, but it does not. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to make return. it so obviously deadly, her fall. Yeah. They didn't have to. <laughs> but they it could have been like, yeah, he's a little busted up, but you know, it's okay. It's nothing, nothing unreasonable. You know, somebody worked on that shot for months, probably, and <laughs> ragdolling her around yeah. and having her and then, crash and bump into every metal pole like, and wall. Dude, she can't survive this. It's like, shut up. <laughs> Imagine that was the logic. Bad. She was like, I'm gonna jump, poor guy, because this isn't gonna kill me, dude. And this is gonna, we're gonna be fine. You'll get the stone, and we'll both get out of here. But then she actually does die, and Red Skull's like, ha ha, it was a magical kill. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> If only those dudes imagine? from the other guys could survive falls like she could. Could you imagine if there was some, like, uh, you know, sequel recon scene where she's, like, hanging from the cliff? It's like, oh, I'm glad that I tricked them. Now I better climb back up and escape this, you know, alternate dimension or whatever. Well, that's the thing. They don't even need to do that anymore. They'll just pull her out of an alternate dimension. They'll just be like, yeah, yeah she's true. fine. 
You're back now. Okay. Even though you That's could tell the Russos wanted to perma kill her, where they were like, I tried to bring her back, but I couldn't. And then someone else can be like, you didn't try hard enough, Hulk. <laughs> Let's <laughs> try again. <laughs> Yeah, like the, the the multiverses thing really destroys that because, like, how could you possibly kill her soul across infinite dimensions? <laughs> <And> that's <laughs> they how will it works. find a way. Yeah, they just say, "Oh, that's well, that's just how it's that's how the thing is. That's what the rule is." Maybe it's it's a good idea that we don't. Bring One up... soul dies, they all die. Oh no! Maybe it's a good idea we don't bring up anything to do with Loki until next week huh. because uh, it's impossible for us to account for any of that alongside how stupid Black Widow is. If Loki would never come up again, but that's just wishful thinking. Oh, yes. Well, we're getting another season of that show because it was so... <sighs> Yay. It was so great. If so there wonderful. was any show that I really wanted to see more of, it, it would be Loki. Mm, bad one. Oh, well, obviously. That's, <laughs> that's a given. Never wanted to stop. Um... <clears throat> yeah, so we're here today to talk about the events of the film Black Widow. And um, dispel the insane notion that this film is just bad, because that's an unacceptable <laughs> position. <laughs> you can't be, can't be claiming with that. It's ridiculous. It is. Uh, it, well, let's put it this way. I think you would have ca caught us on um, previous EFAP saying, you know what, Black Widow. That's probably going to be the the most normal, most grounded, most fine huh. thing to come out of Phase Four. That's probably probably going to be. I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's going to be very chill. Yeah, it doesn't have to be super high stakes. We don't have to fuck around with space and time and the cosmos and fate and destiny and souls and things like that. Yeah. Just a nice, simple story about Black <laughs> Widow doing a secret mission and stopping a, a bad man and it's with her guns and she's going to kick him and punch him and it's going to be great. We're a little gonna, bit electric nice thrown in simple. there. Yeah. Going zap, very, zap, zap. very approachable. And, and very the history, nice and easy. The history's mostly written too. Um, from previous films, so you, it's really just one of them, you walk the ball into the goal, and you take your rewards, congratulations, you did it. Um, but it seems that they decided they wanted to do a little more. They wanted to give it some of their own flair. And they've added so much to our world that's in the MCU, that it's, uh, it's caused a few ripples, you can put it that way. Uh -huh. um, and so yeah, I, I don't really know where else to begin other than saying... We'll have to like set the pieces on the old chessboard a little bit, uh, as you understand the MCU. You know, you can you can keep it that way, but now you're gonna have to add, I guess, Drakov and his faction, because a lot of people be like, "Well, what's 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 that?" And it's like, um, he was like a member of the Soviet Union, but he split from them. Uh, he's super rich, super politically influential, and he's running a world domination plot that involves taking girls from across the world. And training them up to be, um, well, like super secret, mind controlled assassins that will sit by side of, of very important. I think he has a line where he says, like, all great men have, like, a, a widow next to them or something, something like that. Well, he said right. that the world's greatest, uh, the one thing the world has too many of, um, which I was going to say something like, like dirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rocks, rocks, sand. Maybe, maybe salt water, <laughs> mm. uh, sand. The the one resource that we just have too many of, and it's girls. It's girls. Which well, is, I can explain. Why, that. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm. Well, sand gets ahead. everywhere. So you see, when they were writing all of this, they'd almost finished the script, and they're like, "Oh shit, we forgot to make the villain like super sexist. What can we do about that?" It's like make him hate girls. <laughs> and it's like why? It's like he just he just hates girls. But, but like, why? So I guess he thinks there's too many of them. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, if you're gonna go through all the trouble to raise a bunch of super assassins to like fight people in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I feel like you're gimping yourself a little bit by arbitrarily deciding that it's it's gotta be girls. Um. Well, was it was that the logic? He chose girls to be his assassins because he considers like becoming an assassin essentially losing your personhood and therefore we should do it to girls because girls suck oh we can't take the personhood away from a man um well he clearly has uh men soldiers who will literally fucking kill themselves to attack yeah. the enemies so they're all faceless just yeah. mask wearing men well hey we we don't know those could be girls if they took correct. Their, their masks right, off yeah. 
even though they're clearly clearly have the physique and the body structure of a man, who know in a scene where they take their helmets off, they could be skinny girls underneath that and with the CGI be, body for the next scene. They could you know all now. be Olga. They um, could all be Olga yeah, clones. All, Olga clones. All, <laughs> Olga all, clones. Clogas. They all have like a Lord Farquaad suits where they're like a tiny little girl and it's like a big. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Such a yeah. legendary character. He would have been great in this movie, I reckon. Replace Drake like with him. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I suppose that's good for a little character profile. A little, little add-in the, the character in there. For people who are... Like, who is this Drakov? It's like, he is summarized by being an pathetic idiot who hates women. That's basically Drakov. Nothing more. Well, don't forget that he lives in a flying sky castle that nobody has noticed. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's perfectly. De yeah, it's he. It's enormous and it floats and moves around. Um, it is absurd. Up to twenty. Is it twenty seventeen in the MCU's timeline? That's when it's blown up. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. It's right after Civil true. War, or well, yeah. it's inside Civil War. Which I, Civil War was, was Civil War twenty sixteen. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's. Yeah, um, and we're supposed to believe that nobody's noticed this thing throughout all of the MCU. Um, it wasn't a cloud. It was, there was there was, there was weather. So, mm. Yeah, I think this really there points yeah, out. There was, yeah, yeah. It oh really yeah, points of out. course. What if there were days where it's like totally clear? What the hell? Well, yeah, it really points, it, it's, it's, I, I really really wish the U.S. government would uh, point out you know unidentified flying objects that are over you know various uh, airspaces. You know, I feel like Tony would Stark would have found this thing, and you'd be like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" I, no, I think it's just yeah. there. It's just just imagine just fucking around on Google Maps, and there's just like this huge fucking flying cross that you look yeah. at. It's like, what the "Fuck is this?" <laughs> you think people would notice the shadow or something, or when it yeah. crosses in front of the sun, yeah. or? Like all of the satellite feed of Earth or radar or uh, yeah. something. I guess nobody just, I guess nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. They just, maybe they thought it was a bird. Yeah, this is one of those I don't believe you things. Mm -hmm. um, it's enormous. Yeah, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even have like the, what are they called? The retro reflexive panels or something. Yeah. Like yeah. From yeah. the helicarrier. The like, helicarrier is gone. That. Yeah, the writers were just like, fuck it, it's in the sky, it's big, it's massive, <laughs> and it's just... Ugh. And this is the thing, you might be like, why the fuck is that that? What made him make that? You're like, no idea. He couldn't have just had yeah, a base in Russia. Go on the ground? He like, just, yeah, yeah, it's better that it floats. The only reason that I can see them actually giving in the film was that it's hard to find its location as a result of this. And you're like, uh-huh. I would say it's harder to do it if it's, like, underground in the middle of the Yeah, forest, it took us so, years to find you know? Sudan. Well, he said that, um... Oh, sorry, uh, Yelena said the, the, the Black Widows get sedated when they go in and out of it. So at that point, why do you need it to be floating around anyway? If everybody gets sedated so they can't possibly know the location, then you may as well just have it underground. What difference does it make? it's a cool final level for It your, really is that. It's very video movie. gaming. That's it. We just have to, we have to make yeah. it big. It has to be this incredible, grandiose bit of nonsense sci-fi floating Red base room. tech. That may, it, it, it's ridiculous, but that's, that's how it's got to be. We can't just have it be like a, a secret base underground. And that would be crazy. Believe me, this is all important to set the stage, okay? Because he creates that thing and he has his whole faction and all this bullshit. Uh, this is just all, all this, this is all ahead of time before you need to understand all this is the case. And then we can begin history, I guess, because <laughs> I just wanted to highlight as well. The final battle when everything's destroyed and falling down, it, it just Natasha's just looking around. They're just like, "Oh, the main structure fell over there. It's fine." Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's far that away from me. She looked don't worry. around and then she looked up and it just fell on her head. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, that was anticlimactic. But oh, okay. Yeah, I like that 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 they killed all these people on this thing. Basically, so many yeah. dead people on that fucking red room thing. Yeah, we they can... hated men. Oh, they hated women. We can mention, yeah. We're probably gonna yeah, get there's probably a world. lot of women up there still. <laughs> no, she it's would never, fine. You would never kill a lot of innocent people no. at once without no. a second thought. No, because that just that, that, that doesn't feel like her character. She, yeah, you feel she's weird like an Avenger, that, yeah. you know? She's, be a she's like assassinated. You could say yeah, that. Maybe that's sure. the meta aspect of the film is that we have who will assassinate the assassins. Ah. 
Oh. Pretty cool. Yeah, she would, she would never kill people that were defenseless in cages like, or anything like I that am... in mass. That's really out of out of her character. Natasha is a is a good one. And well, you know what? That, that that leads into the next, right? So Dracov exists and his plan is I'm gonna train up a bunch of girls and plant them across the world, and eventually, once everything is just right, I'm gonna come out of the shadows and and then it gets kind of vague. It's like I'm gonna control the world question mark. He's I'm like so missing. He mentions obviously that he has like the power to end the stock market the stock market and the oil industry or whatever, like just with a button. I don't yeah, know. All of his, at, all of his some, assassin ladies, all his black widows, they're going to missing... blow up things and stab people. Yeah, I there don't know what a... his ultimate goal is, I guess is what I'm saying. Other, I guess he just he's controlling stuff. Man, There's someone like should a... call the Avengers or somebody. <laughs> Like, I hey, like there's there was this a... guy that they invented for this movie, and he's gonna like make the world turn all flizmy. You should do something about it. I just want, I just, I just want to make sure somebody else knows. Mm. It felt like there was a, a missing scene in this film, like a cold open or something like that, which showed like you know some some politician addressing a bunch of people, and all of a sudden like his completely innocuous, uh, innocent looking secretary just like pulls out a knife and like fucking kills him like really mm. really brutally and that like cuts to like black widow it's like what the hell just happened like kind of showing the power that Dracov wields because he discusses the potential but we never actually see his power in action we just see a bunch of black widows doing doing things and mostly just fighting each other at the, well, yeah. the movie we don't never see that the we never see the the actual power he wields because you have um, the Winter Soldier explanation where, um, you know, uh, Zola says every time history didn't cooperate, we would make it out of cooperate or something like that. He's like, if so, if a, if a war did or didn't start that they wanted or if a politician did or didn't make a decision they wanted, they would fuck with it. And they've been doing that for many, many decades. But apparently Drakov had been doing it too. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, man. But also, but also the TVA have been doing it as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You gotta love all these little factions cool, being like, I'm yeah. the one who's really in control. It's like, well, no, I'm the one who's really in control. It's ridiculous at this point. Every <laughs> time you see something, you have to wonder what the what the strange, super secret hierarchy of decision making and uh, approval is from these clandestine organizations that may or may not yet exist. And is nothing people can't just do things well, yeah, anymore. I, um... I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking, when they introduce Galactus, that they tell him, like, you know what, Kang will defeat you, and then he just goes, I created Kang. And we're like, oh no. <laughs> now what? Yeah, no, I mean, go if, away. If Hydra was secretly infiltrating all of the, the world, you know, uh, organizations and stuff, but also Drakov was too, like, you know, were they buddies? Like, oh, I'm Hydra. Yeah, I'm from I'm from uh, Drakov's team. Okay, we're, we're buddies, or were they enemies? You know, it's just. There's so many secret organizations that it's really hard to keep track of who, who, yeah, who gets, is influencing who. It gets embarrassing. You are embarrassed on behalf of the writers working together to make this universe because this universe is falling the fuck apart real quick. And that's the, one of the big the big challenges with the Avengers is that they have just so many freaking plots and so many uh, villains and so many overlapping stories that individually, if you just took this movie as its own movie, it wouldn't have nearly as many problems. It would still have tons of problems, but... You wouldn't have all the other inconsistencies. Like, imagine adding Ghost Rider and uh, Mephisto and stuff. Like, adding demons to the <laughs> world we've got right now. We like, um, yeah. Feel like yeah, we can't Satan. handle this. <laughs> Satan is actually influencing everybody through his, you know, <laughs> sinfulness. <laughs> well, well, now that they know the MCU is just like a money printing machine, they're just going to put everything in it. Yeah. yeah. Everything will now become the MCU. And as long as it, see anything in the MCU. As long as it looks slick, as long as you got some kind of unified aesthetic, hire some well known actors, you'll be fine. Um, yeah. Also, make them cry. Clearly... Have scenes where they cry. Oh, yeah, absolutely. People watch it. People will love it. People don't give a fuck about the writing. People don't care. <laughs> Even the people you expect to care, the people on YouTube who make their livings. Like discussing media and analyzing it, it's like no, it's fine. It's it's all it's good, it's great, it's totally good. Uh, the green screen effects in this movie made me cry. I don't. Know oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They already did Ghost Rider. They're gonna. They, they, I don't think they're gonna count the Ghost Rider from the <laughs> Agents of Shield, uh, or obviously Nicholas Cage's one. I, I I figured that was a given. 
Um, mm -hmm. Give it time, they'll do a mole He's again. He's going to mentor the new Ghost Rider, and she's going to be very powerful, very strong. Ghost Rider. Very get her done. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, because there's going to be people who have not seen this film, so I'm going to do my best to keep them with us. So, like, that Dracov stuff, that all exists. He's a Russian man. He's big, powerful, lots of money, lots of influence. He's even Russian shaked man. hands with presidents. That's what we see in the opening. He's, he's met up with, uh, was it Clinton he's with? Um, there may be one or two more, but the point is mm -hmm. that he's, he's he's a big old chungus, and, uh, yeah, his goal is to take over the world through mind-controlling his Black Widows into being in positions of power, and then they can make things happen. It's not entirely clear. Now that you know that, he's he grabs girls from across the world, and unfortunately, Natasha Romanov is one of those girls. And she's super young. And um, she's put through the Red Room, presumably, for X amount of time, and then she's taken out, along with a girl who's younger than her, and two higher up agents, and they're sent to Ohio to be an undercover American family in order to do espionage, basically. You're like, okay, all right, this is the beginning. And um, if you know anything about Natasha, you might immediately be like, oh, I can, hmm, I can see maybe what they're doing here. If you, if you make her like this undercover agent thing, but you also give her a secret family, I could see how this might play into why she actually pines for a family. Um, you know, and, and there's parts of this movie, and I'm talking slivers, where it's like, ah, I can, okay, yeah, thumb up, kind of, shaky thumb up. Um, and so you're like, ah, oh, family life's pretty normal and happy, and then the dad comes home and he's like, oh, we gotta go. Well, uh, that's what he should have been like. He should have been like, holy fuck, guys, get your shit, we're leaving, because yeah. I just blew up a facility, I've got what people chasing me. And we hmm. gotta get to fucking Cuba. But instead, yeah, but he's like, hmm. Let's have some dinner. Dinner was done. I mean, why waste it? Yeah, it's like, I, I'm exhausted after blowing up that factory. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, I think if I give up my wife a frown, you know, she'll she'll ask me and we'll discuss it for 15 minutes. Then then I'll tell her that we need to get the fuck out of I need the entire things. country. <laughs> well spotted, by the way, because that's supposed to be the inkling to us like ooh, something's not quite right he like looks at the the wife and she's like oh like she knows what's happening but it's confusing when you watch it in retrospect you're like wait you don't need to hide anything from the kids they're literally undercover agents too like yeah you gotta get yeah. the fuck out of here you gotta go and it's only until he's had his drink and he's chilled out that he starts like it, the editing speeds up it's like oh, yeah. oh now we gotta go ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, oh uh -huh. yeah, when he's when he says, like, oh, it'll be an hour, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> Why did you burst the door? Hey, kids, family trip. Let's go. I don't, I don't know how you would determine that. You escaped the facility, you've blown it up, and you know the police are on the way, and it's like, how long do we have? An hour. It's like, how could you possibly know that? Yeah. Why would you think that it's an That's hour? That's how good he is. Oh. That's how good he is. He knows that he has an hour. Weird. Um, and yeah, and, and he tells um, he tells Melina, the wife, that the place is on fire. And then when he gets to um, Dreykov, he tells him it's ashes. Now, this is very important because I'm seeing a lot of criticism about something specific here, and I'm pretty sure the criticism is still there, but it's just a little bit different. So there's a lot of claims that the tech they steal, or the the information he steals, is like biological research about things to do with your head and it gives you eventual access to complete mind control on people and uh, that's how we explain the new sort of generation of black widows that's why they're basically like machines they just get told what to do and they do it but you can release them we'll get to that part however mm. the obvious question comes up wait who did they steal that from and you go shield controlled by hydra and you're like whoa if hydra had oh complete goodness. mind control yeah. Why was the Winter Soldier so floompy? Why weren't they giving mind control to more people? Why wouldn't they mind control Steve? Because he, they, 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 their because facility was probably like yet. underground. It wasn't well. flying in the sky. <laughs> well, yeah, that they, probably explains it. So this is the thing. I think the writers are trying to tell us w the Alexi destroyed Hydra's research and copied it over to a floppy disk and gave it to Dracov. Meaning, and I guess. Hydra can't just do it again. Hydra can't do it again. That's what they're telling us, is Hydra couldn't possibly replicate that, and they ended up with shitty mind control instead, being the brainwashing for Winter Soldier. Unreliable. And, um... Yeah, that's that. And so, someone might be like, isn't that a plot hole? And it's like, it's an incredible contrivance. Uh, they've told mm -hmm. us it's not a matter of Hydra having this research, it's that Hydra somehow... By the way, 
who believes that Alexi destroyed this facility, like, completely? Uh, Frank over there, I think. Yeah, I think Frank believes it, but like, fuck yeah. Frank. He's, he's never yeah, Frank good is, at he's a fucking idiot. Um, he's as a lot of people have pointed out, Alexi in the opening is seemingly a lot more competent than at any other point in the film. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's the that's only one. thing he does that's really competent at all. Yeah, yeah other than it just becomes a joke. And, and really it's off screen. <laughs> well, and it's, it's incredible. It, he does it's, it off screen, <laughs> and it's the thing that he did, and that's it. Uh, that's one thing that irritates me about uh, all these people because they're all like secret Russian agents or whatever. And when they're speaking uh, English, they're like, "Hey, honey, how's it going? Oh, I had a rough day. Oh, thanks. Uh, hey, sweetheart, do you have dinner ready?" And then when they're uh, going back to the Russians, like. I am Russian, you know. I have <laughs> half the vocabulary because like, yeah. I have a Russian accent, and this is like, okay, yeah, it sounds more Russian when you drop every other word. But did you just forget English <laughs> in three years or whatever? Um, I don't know. Someone just mentioned, in fairness, they had the Winter Soldier controlled from as early as uh, the '40s, right? Um, so the thing is, we're supposed to believe that this was being developed in the ni in '95. It wasn't completed yet. Like Hydra hadn't completed the research. It's Drakov that completes it because, again, I'm gonna try and be as fair to this film as I can be. There's so much wrong with it, but they want us to think that in '95 they got the floppy disk and then they eventually mm -hmm. developed mind control from that because Natasha wasn't given mind control. It was only after she left that the Black Widow started getting mind control. So we're yeah. supposed to believe that they synthesized the research into, you know, usable mind control as as late as maybe 2005, something like that, so a bit later. I, I, it's hard to know because we don't know the exact dates for when Black Widow left. Um, so we're supposed to believe it all happened like that, which isn't a whole, it's just dramatic contrivance that Hydra wouldn't have backed up all of their information on this incredible research that literally allows them to take over the entire world with ease. Like, okay... David Harbour broke in, the fucking guy who literally calls himself the muscle of the operation. He managed to sabotage everything and destroy all fu I don't even know how he managed to have the clearance to do that. Because off screen, don't think about it. Off screen. Yeah, that's how off good screen. he is. He just, just, it's off screen. Don't worry about it. It's done. Ring. Boom. Plot can move forward now that we've gotten that out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, he comes home completely well dressed. No, no sign of struggle or action or you know damage or injury. He just like magically did it all. Like did he just punch a big bomb or something? If so, that makes him a lot more evil than we originally, you know, anticipated. I suppose. Yeah, it's a pity that um, German scientist AI didn't have it all backed up. You know, in his little bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the way it goes. So they're escaping and they they get shot at. They fly over to Cuba from Ohio in the no one little follows them. Yeah. No one follows them. No one all follows the way. them. We just nobody's cut curious to about where they're going. Just cut to Cuba and all it's all good. It's like here's your yeah, floppy this, disk. It's this like, stuff what the fuck? is a little bit beyond contrived. It's like they didn't have any air units to chase what they know to be someone who's stealing the information that allows them to take over the world. Like Hydra would have been like send everything get them oh yeah there's no way they would be like send a couple of cars and hope like no and what's did funny you, is did um, you like that one did you like that one car that just drove directly towards the plane i don't know what the guy's plan was fuck die it up. He crash just, into a wheel oh he's gonna stop i'm sure please please stop please fly <laughs> oh shit oh okay he's gone now. um and the funny oh. thing is you might be like standard assumption of how equipped the police are to chase someone in 95 it's like no this is the mcu shield and hydra in 95 in the mcu captain marvel's already fucked you over the tech they had at that point is through the roof insane um yeah sorry they're not gonna let you escape not happening so, yeah, um, so... yeah. And, it, and it it really didn't seem like anything beyond just local authorities even like it, i didn't, never got the idea that even shield was after them from when I watched it, it seemed like yeah, you can see cars, the, the logo you know. on the cars. This says Shield. Oh, mm -hmm. well, kind of pathetic security. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Shield is supposed to be way fucking better than that. Um, it took him an hour to find out that it was Alexi. I. <laughs> that's what I mean. You, you kind of just like we have to believe all of that happened because that's what they told us. It's like I just don't though. I I don't I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, happening. that's you're a liar. I, I don't believe everyone in the well maybe I'm start with every movie I start to believe it more and more, but just the idea that everyone in this universe is an idiot. Until they need to be incredible. <laughs> and it's off screen. <laughs> um because it's funny, 
They have him do it all, even though they tell us that Melina is the four-time Black Widow, who's the scientist who knows how all of this works, and, like, super spy. Like, why didn't you just have her do it? Because, Wait, um... Oh no, she, uh, doesn't she become that after that all happens? No, she said that she was cycled through the Black Widow program four times before she met uh, Natasha. Oh. Oh, yeah, then, yeah that's stupid then. <laughs> um, well, I... maybe Alexi was just that good, or maybe there was, um... Maybe there is a reason. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason. <laughs> well, there's funny a you reason say that, Rex. Um, to fast forward a little bit, because uh, I was talking to Frigo uh, yesterday about this one. So you guys know when she sees Ross at the end of the film, and then it cuts to her just being free somewhere else. It's huh, like, yeah. oh, that's yep. that seems like a plot hole. Like, how could she possibly have escaped when it's an army of men versus a you know tired, exhausted, techless Black Widow standing in a field? Well. The director was asked about this. She said, "It's it's not you don't you don't want to see another action scene of her escaping Ross and his men. So it's really up yes, to the I audience do. to sort of you know experience that and figure it out. And then when pressed on it, she was like, "How did she escape? I, I, I assume she um she would have made a deal. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it great? She would have made a deal." <laughs> You know, it's awesome that if you don't show something happening, you don't have to explain at all what happened. Like you just have something happen off screen. You have no, yeah, you have no responsibility to actually tell you the user or the uh, viewers what actually happened. I just yeah, like I, I assume that like Ross arrested her, then took her to the raft, but then she broke out, found Steve Rogers, and then went back to the raft to free the rest. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, see, that would have... If she had been captured by Ross and taken to the raft and then Cap freezed a lot of them, that would be something. But no, the next scene fucks that up. Because, yeah, she she breaks everyone out of the raft with Cap. It's, uh... It is really hard to understand what the fuck's going on. And, and you realize the less that writers and directors talk about their own movies these days, the better, because they honestly have no idea. They they don't even know. They just... They oh, just... they just... Yeah. I, I truly believe they just fire and forget these days. It says, here's my thing. Bye. Do it. Send me the money to my like, PayPal. I don't. I don't get it. This is your life. Like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like, matter. I, well, I guess it's just when I see something like some of these interviews that have happened for this movie, and some of the things that they've been saying like baffle me. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand the process for them. Like, oh, well. You know, we can't do, like, normal Taskmaster. It, it didn't... Re like, what would we have? Just, what, like, Taskmaster? But that, do that doesn't make sense. So, yeah. So, so anyway, we could have uh, uh, Dracov's daughter. That just made a lot more sense. It's like, that's not... You're not saying anything. You're talking, but you're not saying anything. <laughs> well, Fringy, you talk about the saltwater crocodile often and how that's strong true. its bite is. So, yeah. crocodiles have been essentially in their current form for many, 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 many years. And mm -hmm. they haven't really they haven't really changed much for a long it's time. True. Crocodiles are they're pretty ancient because the, the they're just there's no reason for them to change. They're just <laughs> so good at what they do and it true. works so well for them. There is absolutely there's just minuscule, if any, evolutionary pressure for them to adopt new mutations ah, and for things to change over and over. No, no pressure whatsoever for them to change, and and such is the MCU with all of these writers. The MCU is a saltwater crocodile. It the MCU is, is a saltwater crocodile. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the MCU is a saltwater crocodile. It is. It's the apex predator of assassinating its own characters. Sure, but also of just <laughs> the cinema right We're now. We're swallowing there up cash. Absolute, yeah, there there is no re much like a saltwater crocodile devours gazelles unsuspecting uh, zebras, um, as they say, elsewhere. <laughs> the MCU has, it, it just, it's womph, it just swallows it all. And there's no reason for it to change. Therefore, it will not. Counterpoint. Thank you for uh, coming well, to my TED talk. One <laughs> crocodile evolved to become the god of mischief. So, you know, they're, they're going places. Alligator. They'll it's get there. Alligator. Alligator. Yeah. They're basically the same. Come on. <gasps> no. No. I'm gonna upset all of the crocodologists in our chat. 
The only crocodile. reason I know the difference between the two is the Jumanji where uh, Robin Williams says like, oh, crocodile, uh, alligators don't have the fringe on the hind leg. And I'm like, I always remember that line for some reason. <laughs> I feel like one should tell you that they're different. As we the should watch that. We should watch Jumanji. It's a good movie. Yeah, we can do all of them. They're, all of them, I, I swear, are better than Black Widow. All of them. And Zathura. I believe it. Um, so yeah, they get to Cuba from Ohio on their dinky little plane, which is really hard to believe, and all you had to do was move them, when you look at, um, good old America, you could have just moved them down to Florida for this story, and then had them mm -hmm. go to Cuba, that would have made way more sense, but no, yeah. um, I don't think they care. They fly all the way to Ohio. That's a long flight, and also, like, there's so much uh, American land that it'd be going over, yep. like, and potential for them to shoot the plane down. <laughs> Yes, also, but, did, did David Harbour just it. like, did David Harbour just like hang off the wing the entire flight? I don't know what they want us to think about that because he's, I don't think he's on the wing when they arrive, which means no. he, he, what, he climbed he, in there, I guess. Either that or they did land, they did refuel, and he got back in. Like, that must be what they want us to infer. It's just that was were... so. I was so excited to see them land uh, in Cuba with him still on the wing. It's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's a rifle in his hand as well. <laughs> yeah, he was shooting birds if they got in the way of the plane, you know? Yeah. Look out. Um, they shot the mini bald eagles. Yeah, so, again, anybody who's confused, you got Rachel Weiss, uh, David Harbour, a mum and dad, and then Natasha and Yelena, the two daughters. And we just, we see this scene to know, one, that this family existed for three years as an undercover family, and two, that they sabotaged and stole research from Hydra that's going to lead into stuff later. Um, and then we get smells like teen spirit covered by new band that it's makes terrible. me cringe. It's terrible. I don't like, know I don't anybody who likes lyrics... it. How do the, because we have to have a woman singing it, but... It's. I don't see how the lyrics match with the film in any way. No, uh, I I I grew up on Nirvana. I'm, I'm from Seattle area, so like grunge was like my thing. Um, the there's a reason why that that song is so uh, is good when when uh, uh, what's his name sings it because the lyrics are very nonsensical. But when in that cover, they they say all the the words very very clearly. So when he's talking about like my libido and all this other stuff, it's like, what the hell does this have to do with Black Widow? <laughs> yeah, it, to Black me, it just feels Widow. like they snatched a song. Um, yeah, from Kurt Cobain. And it's like, oh, it's the '90s. Yeah, let's do grunge. Everybody knows this song. Yeah, yeah, it's the then, '90s, which is why we're going to use a modern shitty recovery <laughs> of the, instead of the '90s version. Seth was it because Pharaoh's rag smells like teen spirit? Go sever the dead. Oh. oh. Break Thanks. your nose on a desk. <laughs> <laughs> Ever my the nerve. You can fucking it part will of the hurt lots. You can guarantee I'll be playing that with volume for chat when we get there, because that is. Uh, and the yeah. Red Room. No. Sky Castle. Oh, also, uh, uh, Kid Natasha just steals a gun <laughs> from a soldier. Yeah, um, scene. yeah, that that it's it's just retarded Randy soldiers. That's all I have to say it's about that. It's retarded, stupid drama, so we could have a moment, even though it's really dumb. It's I mean, just it, another it, instance of me leading to watch some small character take away something from an from a trained soldier without without any troubles. I'm just so sick of it. Well, so the only thing to keep in mind is that she's had Black Widow training to some degree already, but I still don't think that uh, that's enough. In any yeah. way, shape, or form. The guards enough. would know yeah. that, and they would know to keep their firearms secured. Yeah, it's just yes. frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it doesn't help the film because it shows that she is aggressively invested in Yelena um, mm. from when she was but super young. Not. But she's not. She's we not. know this because it's never been brought up or dealt with throughout all of the MCU. History. It's just so when you retcon this shit, you start to damage the characters. No, you yeah. don't. No, you don't. It's fine. <laughs> don't think was... about it. You can't that damage was, a character. People love it. That was a weird uh, thing. Like, are we supposed to believe that by that point, and or like I'm guessing, or tween years or whatever, that she'd already gotten years of of uh, aggressive training, and somehow that would help David Harbor and his his thing? Like, wouldn't guess... they? Wouldn't it be much simpler to just take one trained agent and implant him into like an American family? Like, would it really be? Or maybe maybe just the parents? 
well, do you really have to have trained children too? Like, uh, they yeah, you'd think they would be um, liabilities, at least yeah. to some yeah. degree. Um, yeah, like I, a, uh, like a, she gets in a fight at school and breaks the freaking neck of some other kid. It's like, oh, that's that's <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> why is the Would black widow? Me? Why is the black widow kids? Why are they under the? Why are they with these fake families instead of just constantly in training in the red room facility or something like that? Yeah, it's we'll weird, see. right? Because it's kind of like the the whole black widow. It's almost like the Spartan two program, except the Spartan two program was well regimented and like totally controlled. And you couldn't leave, and you couldn't like get people's weapons and try to use them against people. I think they Jesus want us to think the that it was a good. No, idea no, they to... don't want us to think. They don't want us to yeah, think, Mahler. Like, Thinking I'm, is verboten. I'm gonna give a couple of hands out to this film because okay. I have so much to criticize it for. Um, <laughs> yes. So here and there, I'll be like, I'll try and help it up the little stairs as it's trying to climb, and then it'll just fall down like an <laughs> old on, person. You want to put on the film's helmet? Help it up the <laughs> <laughs> I told you to put it on. You, you need to, believe me. You need well, it. Like, it's the um. It on. It's the uh. What is it? It's like two point five family, right? Like the 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 mum, dad, two kids. Uh. So they they just, I guess they thought wouldn't it be great if all of them would drink of people? That makes sense. And you're just sitting there like, Drakov. does that make sense? I don't think that does make sense. And the way that they talk in front of the kids in that opening scene. So that the audience can pick up, ooh, something's going on here, while the kids are like, what? But that doesn't even make sense, because again, they're all in on it. Yeah. So it doesn't work. When it would have worked had those kids actually been, um, you know, maybe Americans or whatever. Maybe the wife was. And like I said, the husband's the only one who's undercover. You could have had the storyline like that. They were a genuine family. And then he is going to leave, and the wife commits to going with him or something. The kids are taken along, and then they get stuck in this horrible life in Russia as a result. And it's a huge mistake. And the, the mum and dad, like, have huge regrets. Or something like that. Because it, it's kind of bizarre, because it is three years, and they're undercover, and um, it's it's a huge sticking point for Natasha in this whole movie, that that three years, and for, like, Yelena, it was, like, the most meaningful time of their whole lives, and it meant everything. Yeah, I'm, like, gonna sound, hmm. I'm, I'm gonna sound heartless, but uh, I had a step I had a stepfather for ten years, and I don't give a shit about him. So, like, three years of undercover, like, foster family? Like, uh... I don't see, especially somebody in their 30s who's seen so many, late 30s now, uh, with Natasha seeing, had gone through so many things. I don't think that would be a huge emotional uh, thing for her because yeah. that family was fake. It was like basically a foster family for three years. Like I, I know some people can, you know, gain meaningful connections in a short amount of time, but well, Captain Marvel knew Nick Fury for like two days. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the one thing they have is that, of course, especially from Yelena's POV, that's the only time in her life where she got to live a life. The rest of it is Black Widow flumes. So I suppose it would stick quite I a get bit. That. Um, the only thing about it is that, like, David Harbour describes it as just painful and boring, like, the whole time. And so that tells yeah. me, like, what was he like as a dad then? Like was yeah. that was that a loving thing or was he just like hey we got a job? Mission to do. said I had to be you a good really father, are. so I just was a good father. Yeah, like oh, think about um where Yelena gets a knife instead of a gun. Oh, well, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry, don't worry about yeah. that. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep <laughs> rewinding it. <laughs> there's, there's so much to say. So uh, they describe taking Christmas and um, like like Halloween or whatever Thanksgiving photos all in one day, and that along with everything else just makes me think about like how oh man. What a what kind of family like living experience is that for those kids? Like everything is all mm -hmm. faulty and not real, and it must fuck with them. Um, but they see it as like the best time of their lives. It's like okay, um, yeah, and I, I think the yeah. film would have benefited from uh, committing a little bit, show us uh, more time with this family and why they actually loved each other, and don't have David Harbour remember it as painful and boring. That was a mistake. Yeah, that's weird. Um, you would think I thought that's the art, the, the thing they were going for, but I don't even. The more you think about what they wanted with his character, the more you're like, he wasn't really one. Oh yeah, we we're gonna have so much to get through all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's uh, like I, I thought. I thought for a second they were going for the whole thing, like, oh man, I love my family so much. Let's escape this life. Let's go somewhere safe, so I can actually. Because I've become attached to my family. I thought that's the kind of way they were going for. But nobody's gonna like, die in the opening. Yeah, cool. yeah, like they they escaped to Cuba, and then it's like, uh, oh, by the way, I posted in chat. Um, 
uh, Ohio to Cuba flight is three hours. So just keep in mind that the mother was bleeding out for three hours. So they would have wrapped that's it fun. up. You know, they gave it a little slew and they put a thing around it. Three hours. It was wait. Is that three hours in a commercial jet? Uh, it doesn't say. It says the flight to because operation. it's probably like in a normal passenger jet, not some dinky Cessna. Or oh yeah, commercial commercial airliner, five hundred miles per hour. So they were in a dinky little <laughs> peril. Five hundred miles pilot. per hour. <laughs> so like that would have been probably quite, quite possibly a lot like more half, half the time yeah, or uh, double the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone worth mentioning is when they're leaving the house, the family that uh, Melina is like, I don't want to go. And that's all the pushback she gives. And then we know that she goes on for decades to craft mind control and have it applied to a bunch of innocent women and girls. And she never checks in on the two daughters she apparently loved. Oh, that's such a such a uh, character ruining moment there. Where uh, and I was skipping forward, but when Melina uh, finds out that oh my god, one of her quote unquote you know daughters uh, was under the program she she created, it's like I didn't know, and I'm like, she's dude, lying. Dude, you oversaw Bullshit. the program. Lying. You saw oversaw the program. You would have absolutely known every single name that was under the, your program. You developed the program. Also, that doesn't so, even absolve you of anything. She's she lying. She still no. did it to a bunch of other people. But yeah, she, yeah. she's full of shit. It's not even a matter of a contrivance. Like, I just believe she's lying. I believe in narrative that she is lying. Yeah, she, She's, um, she's possibly one of the worst characters in terms of like most disgusting people in this film outside of Dracov. I guess the yeah. question is, do you think that the film recognizes that she was lying? Or are you um, I think it's up for interpretation, world? because uh, there's a lot of references I would have for proving that she's much more dubious than we realize. And there's enough in terms of like the, the way that everything is shot and done that, that um, if we had a sequel, she could turn out to be evil. She could be the villain of the next film. But um, I think they don't want that. I think they want I her to be a good guy. I, I, That's fine. I'm is... saying that the film could support either one. Oh yeah, yeah. But... Yeah, by by her action, she's like horrific. Like honestly, like not just know, that. Just bad notice bad. her like facial expressions, and then all the decisions she'd uh, made after knowing all these different things. She sold them out immediately, only to then be like, "Oh yeah, we can totally make a plan out of this." Dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah. And what was yeah. it that changed her mind again? It was the, Natasha's little speech. Yeah, yeah and Natasha real, told her that the reason she held on to her humanity was what Melina told her when she was a kid, which was something like, pain only makes you stronger, or something. Um, and they watched Conan, Conan the Barbarian together. <laughs> or something. And then she was, like, inspired, I guess. Well, we can get to that. Um, we see that, that that montage is, of course, just being like, they grab girls who are falling through the cracks of society throughout all the world, kidnap them, slash pay for them. We'll get to that, too. And then uh, they they grown up in the Black Widow training program, and that kind of takes us to obviously what we know of history. Is the Black Widow was on a mission of some kind, and she, well, she's done many missions. She became world famous for uh, she's like one of the most terrifying assassins ever, and Hawkeye was dispatched to kill her. And there's a story that we will never see of him deciding to spare her. Yeah. After they they met up and um, apparently he had the chance to kill her, that is like a payoff you can already picture being really interesting, but we'll never yep. get it. We assumed that that would be what Black Widow was about. Yeah, I mean, at least Ren I did under... because that was the thing that was alluded to, and it involves another character that you know that that we kind of like, and that's just not it's just not going to happen. Yeah, Jeremy Renner was key to her her past, right? And he's still under contract. He's getting a show, right? Isn't Hawkeye yeah, still happening? But, but so it's like not about Black Widow anymore. Clearly, like that's that's over. Hawkeye's got to do his own thing. But there's so yeah. much there. Like if you watch that scene yeah. from the Avengers, uh, Loki, the, the, all the things that Loki finds out about Black Widow is because he mind controls. Uh, well. Hawkeye, I've, and he tells him about Doc, Dracov's daughter. They mention that in the Avengers. He says, like, what about Dracov's daughter? And something, something about a fire and all these other yeah, horrible I mean, things that Black Widow did. But, like, that would be an we, interesting uh, thing to tap into. Well, well, as we learn, what they pulled from that scene is, no, Dracov's daughter is Taskmaster. That's cool. All right, moving on. Like, that's what they <laughs> <know>. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys didn't care about him, right? Or her, right? Nobody cared really. about Taskmaster. It's fine. Wait, how to undermine such an interesting concept for a character in one movie? Like, it wasn't a formidable villain. Uh, was, she was basically 
just uh well if, i don't know if, if, if we if, want if, to talk if, about housemaster uh, yet because yeah we're gonna wait so... on that um <laughs> yeah. all right so, uh, yeah, so that would have happened in history with Hawkeye. They then worked together to do, uh, well, I could, we can say this now, take out, take out Drakov, and then she goes to S.H.I.E.L.D., works with them for a little while, ends up being set to infiltrate Iron Man and his situation, and then fast forward, what is that, uh, two years? And then we're in the Avengers. And, that, and you know the rest of Nat's story. And then we fast forward to Civil War, and we see a scene where Ross is like, I got you now, Natasha Romanov. You best give up. I'm gonna get you. And she's like, this is really embarrassing. You're making yourself look so stupid trying to chase me. And he's like, oh, well, I've caught Hawkeye, Ant-Man, whatever else. And then she's like, oh, yeah? Well, I used to have a lot of lives before I met you. And it's just like... <laughs> oh, okay. Chill out, Natasha. <laughs> it's to me, it was really out of character already. It's like, why would you be gloating on a fucking phone when you are like the best espionage assassin person ever? You wouldn't even entertain that's how good that. She is. She can just. She can it, just yeah. gloat about how good she is. She she knows she's good. Like yeah, Ross, she wouldn't do it. In fairness, Ross is doing his fucking job. Like, yeah. this isn't <laughs> yeah. some villain who's trying to hunt you down. This is like, yeah, we're trying to hold you accountable for the misdeeds that you've committed to. Well, um, as yeah. you said, you assaulted to Char uh, to to Charlotte. It's like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, like, she facilitated <laughs> yeah. the escape of wanted men. Um, sorry, this is just how it works. And so, if she left behind a recording. I, I could maybe see it, like she's goading them into this position further and further when she was never there to begin with, but she's literally on a phone connected to the place that they're finding, and she eventually tosses that off the ship, and I'm like, why would you risk any of that? Why bother? Yeah, that's, that's confused as well. Oh, just, I'm actually in Norway already, I think it was. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm just, just gonna leave, call them up, like, oh, uh, you idiot. Leave the fucking transponder in whatever the place you were, and get on with your life. They will fall for it, and then they'll realize you were never there, and they'll be like, damn, she owned us. But instead, she has to get that call in to be like, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> yeah, we thought this movie would have low stakes. It really had Oslo stakes. Oh, oh shit. So. Oh, shit. oh my god. We, we, we're like, oh god. boy, she's ten steps ahead of old Ross Rooney, and she's off to just hide out, basically. And, um, so... You know, we'll take a pause on her story. We'll cut to Black Widows hunting an ex-Black Widow in the middle of Morocco. It's just like, what in the world? Why are we here? Um, this fucking scene, man. When I first oh, saw it. Oh, oh, oh. oh this is... <laughs> so, there are some movies where everyone has to be an idiot in order for the plot to happen, even if the <laughs> idiots in question are renowned, trained from childhood, brainwashed mega assassins. They're like the nuns from the Hitman trailer, but they're really <laughs> dumb. Um, I'm gonna play this for, for uh, not, not audio, but if you guys get the stream, you'll know what I'm talking about. I wanna see this clip. Look at the editing on this. I want, I wanna. It's, it's such a, like, when I first saw this, I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, the, the, Ow, up, oh. uh. <laughs> the, the, This is, I had a, I had a sneaking yeah. uh, feeling up to this point, uh, <laughs> but this really confirmed. The door is gone. It's so weird. There's no door anymore. It's well, like, yes. open the door. <laughs> so, let me, I, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my drawing kit out. So, Rags, what they want you to think is she was walking here. And she hit this door. This car was coming down here. She hit the door and moved to the right. The the car hit her, and then she ended up on the floor here. It is logistical nightmare. Is the There's is the title for this? Smaller. I am um, the the other door. But who opened the door? Was that was that was, was um the, was Yelena? It was it, oh, she opened the door. Yelena yeah, ends up I coming mean, through the door, and we're supposed to believe that she fucking planned this, <laughs> even though a second ago she was rushing to catch up with this girl. <laughs> Close so already she again. got into yeah. that orange building, waited behind <laughs> that door, and was like, oh, fuck yeah, when but she also, comes down this alleyway, oh, I'm gonna open this door on her. <laughs> and then she'll hit a tack. But, like, then why not just shoot her in the head? There are... Uh, then we can have a plot. Th there are more examples of this film having garbage editing. This is just one of the funnier ones, because... Again, when I watched it, I didn't even know what had happened. She's just walking yeah. on the street, and it's like, hit by door, hit by it's car. Door. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. This, this 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 part really cemented. Uh, but no offense to everybody who made this movie, but just the pathetic, the patheticness Suck. of this movie. Like <laughs> the, the the 
the director uh, has done nothing but like uh, indie dramas featuring women. So I think it's a really poor choice for an action driven movie because like all the action in this movie just has a very like none of the none of the takes are tight. All the editing is very clumsy. Like that initial well, fight between they can her only do and like and a the second or two seconds at a time of fighting and then they had to reset it. Yeah, and and, and yeah. you compare that to even Mando. just like it, even compare it to uh, speaking of Mando, compare it to like a modestly competent director, uh, uh, like Iron Man two. Uh, to take any fight scene from this and compare it to Black Widow and Iron Man two, night and day difference. Like well, uh, think, not, um, Iron Man two, she like jump up on people, flip them, use their body weight to like knock them down. Like you're like, wow, this woman has a, like a lot of fighting skill. Even at the beginning of Winter Soldier. <laughs> When she's fighting the guys on the ship, even then you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know yeah. what? I think the problem is, I'm pretty sure I said this. I think it might have been before the stream started. Like a scene like this, what was probably written in the script was, uh, like they fight and she stabs her and then she gets shot in the face with the juice, and that was like what was written, but it doesn't work and it can't. Um, but like it's too late. You've already said that's what's going to happen. So like it's like you've you've written the story believing that there are certain action beats that will get you to where you need to go, but they don't. And like, then what do you do at that point when you show up on set and you, you're like, Oh shit, this like just doesn't work. We can't have Yelena get shot in the face with the, the juice. Well, the, mm -hmm. um, I will agree with you, but they didn't even try. Like, no, I, you've yeah, got a, I, Yelena's running through yeah. this area. We see her running like, okay. Then we see our girl and she's heading down a street. Now you know as well as I do that if she's being chased, she could go fucking anywhere. We don't know. She mm -hmm. turns a corner and she's heading up this street and it's just like, how did Yelena manage to know which, how to get ahead of her and to which door to be able to ram into her and then get her hit by a car? Like, how do you plan that? I guess that's one of those things. When you're on set, do you sit there and think, wait, like, what? How? Which? Why? All right. So you're, you know, to time yeah, like it, the director's the talking to the actress. You're, you're okay. So you're in this building now, and you're behind this door. Except he wouldn't say that to the actress because she wasn't the one behind the door. Somebody else opened the door. Then the actress came in later for one of the other shots. I, I highly doubt the actress herself actually opened the door. Um, mm. it's, it's all just so disjointed. It's not like you're taking, like I would imagine, if you were a director in a scene like this, you're. It's like you're going on a journey with your actors and actresses and you're saying, okay, now you're here and doing this. Okay, we did that. So now you're here because like time works. And so now you're doing this thing and now you're doing this thing and you see this progression of events and you're explaining to them. They know the script and they know their poses. This is a journey that we're going on piece by piece by piece. And it's not so disjointed where you just don't have actresses around and you just have things happen that don't make sense and people teleport where they need to be. Um, there, there's no sense of, uh, th there's just no temporal integrity to any of this. Mm -hmm. Like I see how you'd get lost constantly you know, if you're just being told what to do and where you are now and what's happening in the story now. What's funny is most people to be over here. might not even know like, what even is the scene? All we know is these two people. It's like, okay, so Drakov has sent Black Widows to hunt down this Black Widow because she is defected and she has a set of vials in this briefcase that can basically undo mind control in a very simplistic yeah. way. So Drakov, and he says this by the end of the film, he fucking hates this, this antidote having been made and it's causing him problems. So he sent these people to just get rid of this one. Now... If you've sent your Black Widows mm. to attack this woman, you know, number one priority, do not get close to her. Uh, she'll yes. fuck everything up if you get close to her. Now, what we've just seen is she was hit by the car. Her vials are right there on the ground. Quite close to uh, Yelena, by the way. Um, oh, now, can you see something wrong? <laughs> I mean, Friggy's already mentioned uh, it, but still. Can you see yeah. something wrong with this <laughs> image? What is that on her uh, left leg? There? Oh, well, I was actually yeah. focusing, so she's drawn the knife, and you're like, mm -hmm. why would you do that? Because <laughs> now well, she's she engaging in a knife either. fight, and you're like, that seems like a bad idea. You think there's a, is there a, I, I faintly recall there's some saying about bringing knives to um, <laughs> gunfights, I think they are, well, uh, and how that's not a thing you should do. In mm -hmm. fairness, Yelena only has two pistols. 
So. <laughs> And a rifle oh, okay. on the on the on the on the roof well, somewhere. It's good that you mentioned the rifle because if someone was to argue, well, they wouldn't want to make noise with the pistols. It's easy, it's a quicker and quieter kill to just get it with the knife. It's like they've already shot the rifles. They've already they're screaming the in this fight. Are so high. There's already been a car hit, and, and you're right. Yeah, it's much more important to secure those vials, even if it means someone sees you shoot someone. It's like that'll be oh, fine. Oh no! In what country are they in? Morocco. Oh no, a gunshot in a Moroccan <laughs> slum. Oh no. Um, also, like uh, mo movie Hollywood movies, uh, it's not realistic, obviously, but Hollywood movies basically make silencers like practically like silent, like a cough, oh, which yeah, no. it, isn't at all realistic. A silencers barely make a huge difference in actual loudness. But it, how many movies have they had where it's like, just a, and then the person's dead? That'd be just... hard. Yeah, hardly any louder in yeah. movie. Well, it's, um, in it's what Freeman was mentioning, right? So they, they will. She she can she gets her costume, and she's like, "I have guns," and they're like, "You got to use the knife because you got to get close to it." And then oh, she's like, we get rid of thought, the, the guns?" I thought on my I things? was playing. No. I thought I was playing this really uh really skilled deadly assassin. Also, Why would I engage in a knife fight? Rags, judge this skin. Is it weird to have the bullets lined up there, or is that I mean, normal? like her whiteness or? On the color? No, what I posted. Oh. Um, yeah, that seems... bullets? Fun. Yeah, I was asking if that's... Like it. Normal. I don't think those are bullets. They look like... What do you think they are? They look like cartridges. Well, they wouldn't be cartridges. Um, those were those are really big. Those look like 3030s or something, or 357, something big. And also, they'd fall out. Um, if you have, if you have bullets and, and you would have the, the rim that would be on the top that keeps it from slipping out, which I don't see here. I have no idea what those are. I assume they were bullets. Because if you have, like, see the old West, uh, you see those old West guys, you know, the cowboys and they got the bandolier of bullets. Yeah. And you can, uh, you could just, you could see how they're held in place. Um, but I, I have no yeah, I, I I don't think those are bullets. I don't think I don't know how they stay in. Well, and how would here's you get them out? Them out, she would have to pull them down through the underside. Well, maybe push them from the bottom up and then pull them out. Oh, that one I could see a rim on that one. Yeah, it looks the, like the, they're just the, like a strap. From like... the top, that one looks like a rim because they look like bullets. But I like they sort of look like bullets. The tips on the bottom. I can but, yeah, I can see why you're a little what confused. Gun? What gun do you have that shoots those bullets? And why do you just have four randomly on your collar? <laughs> well, yeah. that, that was the part that I was mainly interested in your commentary on. Like, with, yeah, yeah. Of, of her entire outfit, she's just got these four on her, like, nearest shoulder. You're just like, okay. Yeah. Why? Like, why I'm... would you do this? Yeah, because like... certainly, like, a bandolier, you have, like, shotgun shells, which I, one shotgun shell can actually do quite a bit of damage, but those are just, like, four have probably it... pistol rounds, right? On the like the like, like what? Are you not using a magazine-fed firearm? Yeah, you'd think she would just have a mag, not like four bullets in Just random four bullets, just on her collar. She has to pick out one by one. Um, yeah, which would be really fucking kidding. weird. She's in a survival horror game where every bullet counts. She's a Resident Evil character. <laughs> four bullets on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Yelena. Managed, she must have watched a bit of Game of Thrones and The Last Jedi because she does oh. the pro move where you uh, you have your arm caught up with the, with the weapon, you drop it, and you get the other arm to grab it, and you use that to stab. Fucking oh, oh, yeah. ace so move. Arm to, grab your pistol. <laughs> to me, it seems like, um, yeah, she could have done that the whole time. To me, it just <laughs> seems like uh, cruise control for cool fight choreography because you just don't know what yeah. the fuck you're supposed to do anymore. Like everyone else is doing it, it's a really easy thing to film, and you do they do the slow mo thing, They're like whoa, whoa, oh, you're like oh, nice. If um, anything, this just shows you kind of how pathetic Yolanda is because this person just got hit by a freaking car, <laughs> like that. That you'd be really, really in a, in a lot of hurt and a lot of pain, your muscles wouldn't be working at full degree. But she basically beats you. Yolanda, who just walked up and is perfectly healthy. Um, so. Which is interesting, because Yelena is the uh, top dog Black Widow, we're told. She is the leader of the Black Widows at this point. Jeez. Oh, um, wow. I have right. another reference for to just show just how, uh, not only how weak uh, Yolanda is, but also, like, why women? There's actually a scene in here that kind of show, demonstrates that fact perfectly. It's much later, but 
there's a point where she knocks out one of the presumably male, um, heavier male, uh, like a uh, Drakov thugs. And then she like picks, tries to pick him up to grab his hand to put on the, the palm scanner. And she's like, Ugh! I don't know if you remember that scene, but it's, uh, I can actually timestamp it if you want, but it's like really, it shows you how weak she is. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's, it's much later. Yeah. I mean, she, no offense. There's just like, there's not much muscle on uh, Florence Pugh. Like, no, no, she's a beautiful yeah, woman and she's a brain, pretty good actress from what I can tell. But yeah, I have a hard time believing she could just like overpower and beat people up. It's gonna be tough. Um so it has to be through like combat skill, but this this wasn't <laughs> So anyway, she she stabs her in her gut, twists the knife, and then drags it across. And in any other movie, if you're gonna choose to do that, that means guts are gonna start spilling out. Um mm -hmm. but of course because it's marble, so well See, I think that the choice you have to make then, at that point, is you don't show the wound. You stay away from it with the camera as much as possible. Um, yeah. But in this film, we they decide to, like, show it. it uh, as a lot of people have noted, it's just like, it looks sweaty. <laughs> um, which is weird. Dri dribbled a little water on there, put a little red cloth under it. Under it. Oh, and then she gets hit with the... the well, the wait, I'm going to try and get that sweaty shot just to show you guys, because... Uh... I want, you to, I want you to understand why I said it, okay? <laughs> it's important. It took longer to get there than I remembered. Come on! Yeah, there you go. Come on. Okay. So, you, you, when you tear someone's <laughs> gut open, you don't really expect that to be the result. But this is just like Black Panther, where you cut the person's throat, and they end and up... Uh, yeah. yeah. And there's no wound whatsoever, yeah. There's a yeah. little bit of red. You can see a little, <laughs> little bit of red. What By the way, when, when you when you rewind like a like like a couple of seconds, you can see like people in the background just looking at it and just walking by. Yeah, they're like, what? Like, da, 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 da. <laughs> well, there's no authorities in Morocco, as we all know. Yeah, the driver was an asshole. He just hit her and ran. <laughs> didn't he? Yeah, hit and run. Listen, the thing. I think they want us oh. to think that the fucking driver was in on it or something. <laughs> it's, it's all a big plan. But it's like, no, it's just a random taxi driver. What if he pulled yeah, what over? What if he was a little slower? The, the taxi was slower, or the taxi turned, or the ta and or if he if he got out no, and he was like, "What the fuck is going your on?" Gun. You're an assassin. Use your firearm. No, no. that you. ruins the scene, which we can finally get to. Yes. Um, well, yeah. What I was about to say was, it's like, man, the the one widow who got shot with the juice was Natasha's sister. Yep. Which is Lucky incredibly man. important. Yeah. Incredibly convenient. Literally, like. If any other Black Widow was hit with a flume juice, it's over. The plotline doesn't function. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's well, no, pretty... maybe the maybe that Black Widow would be smart enough to be like, oh, I should mail one of these to Tony Stark. Oh, you, <laughs> maybe you're right. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we would get a better maybe result. Maybe it would save the Fucking movie. stupid. Um, <laughs> you know what? I actually quite like this as a screenshot. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> um. So yeah, she she fires this shit into her face and it removes all mind control and she's immediately like, oh my god, I think she says Roxanne is the name of the one on the floor and she's like, I'm so sorry, wah. And that's... Caller, is that your, uh, is that your red gas? We have Fringy's green goo, we have my pure <laughs> white snow. Is that your red gas? It removes mind control, I guess? Maybe mine does more things than that. Fills up my mask. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's what you breathe. I'm, I'm literally, you can see it in the background of my image. I'm just in a room filled with this red gas. <laughs> You're like Vader in his pod. <laughs> it's full of red gas. Just rage, anginess. But um Yeah, use it on people and it, it brings them it red pills them. That's how it works. Red gas is <laughs> Yeah, you more break like... open the red pill. Oh yeah, it's like uh yeah, from like Wonder Woman. You you break it open and the gas comes out and you breathe it in. And yeah, yeah so it's also Go ahead. Oh, sorry, it's just also a weird choice. I know it's like uh, thematic for the Black Widow color scheme, but red usually means bad. So thematically, you'd think that the red gas would be the contaminant and like something like blue or green gas would be the cure, right? Now, obviously, in reality, it would be probably colorless or whatever. But uh, if you wanted to kind of show that something good happened to her, last thing you'd want to do is show like a bunch of red glowing stuff on her face. Uh, right? Green's like a fart. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't think I don't. I actually don't think that's a point at all. I don't know that that okay. is what color it is. Like it's and also and yeah, I, I don't think it's bad at all. I think I yeah. imagine it's red because Black Widow stuff is red. That's just like the dominant color for the for the color palette. 
That's it's what red I was and it black. Just, it just looks, it just looks cool, Jack. but but like that scene when a close up when it shows a bunch of like re- evil red looking stuff all over her face, it kind of it gives you the wrong impression. I think. Um, Obviously, afterwards she's like fine, but yeah, just I might have agreed minor point. If yeah. there was a mind control gas that was blue, and then the solution They're is red, right, I'd be like, yeah. that's a little weird. But like, I'd still only say that that's only weird because of convention at that point. Yeah, it's just color association, not a big, not a big deal at all. Yeah. I'm not gonna make a big point of it. Um, so uh, we're we're very this this will just open the criticisms of Yelena. Yelena is the standout for a lot of people in this movie. They're like, she's great, not only the character but the actress, blah blah blah. We're not going to be concluding that. <laughs> gonna have to We're not gonna not. Um, what? So she is released, right? And when we find out, she has been mind controlled since very young, to the point where she says she's never made a choice in her life. That's how she feels. Never actually made a choice. Um, and so this is the first time in her life that she is released from that. And within seconds, she like mourns this woman that she's just killed, packs up the vials, tears a chip out of her leg, and then escapes the Black Widow team that she's with. Mm-hmm. Wow. Not, not bad, huh? I would It'd downright really... call it impressive. That is <laughs> what a what a hero. It would be really interesting to kind of see her almost uh emotion like like uh, confidence wise and emotionally almost turn into a child for a bit. Like whoa i have no idea what what i'm doing now i have no mind control it'd be like it'd be like being on auto someone's helping her like uh, like autopilot for your entire life like that would be a huge shock what's interesting is the uh bucky is like well so winter soldier is a bit of a um you'll you'll catch a lot of references a lot of things you can connect to winter soldier and winter soldier did bucky like fucking phenomenally better than this in terms of whenever he realizes he's starting to remember his past life, like, maybe it's Sebastian Stan, but it's also the fact that the script allowed him to react to that. Just, like, you know, I'm immediately thinking of um, when he's punching Cap over and over again. And he's, like, slowly yep. realizing who he is and stuff. Um, and they do it a bunch in Civil War, and, and, and it's just, like, it, it, he manages to make you believe that he's a man trapped inside a, a brainwashing sort of system. Meanwhile, this is, like, Oh, I was brainwashed for a while. Now. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> it's like, over. What? Yeah. I was like, all right. Well, that's done. I'm I have no these. issues with it. I'm quirky. Like I was saying with uh, Mahler when I was watching it, I'm getting Elizabeth syndrome from yep. Bioshock Elizabeth. Infinite. It's Elizabeth. Yeah. She's totally. She's <clears throat> too well adjusted and and like to for what given who she is. She I was, don't believe that this is her first day of like real freedom in her life. No. No. She should, she should barely be a person. Like yeah. at all, you should barely be anything. Like not a sense of humor, not really perspectives on a lot of things. Almost like catatonic. And she just yanks that out of her fucking thigh straight away. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, no problem. Go. You go, girl. That should be that should be gushing with blood, by the way. Um, yeah, <laughs> it would have to be of a significant depth. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? And then if you manage yeah. to just dig a knife in there and yank it out with How your does hand, she there. Yeah, that would have yeah. been my next question too. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, she was, for some reason the Black Widows are aware of where their chips are. Which <laughs> seems redundant when they're designed to help mind control them. In the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, that would, yeah, that would have been done when she was under, I'm sure. So they would probably have been <laughs> unconscious. No well, do you is. call them chips in, in in the UK? What do you, what do you call it? Because we call them <laughs> chips. What what do you call them? Like mind Short control for microchips. Does she have like a? Are they fries no, or a biscuit? Like crisps. That's right. Yeah, yeah micro, crisps. Micro, micro the crisp out of micro her leg. Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> micro crisps. Micro crisps. Um, yeah. What I find funny about this, though, is that if they want to fight convention and be like, no, she's not worried about her whole life changing forever and having an existential, tri- exis- bleh, existential crisis, <laughs> it's fine, because she's so competent. I'd be like, okay, so why does she spend the whole scene ignoring her team instead of reassuring her team? Because the yeah, team basically exactly. decide that she's compromised because she doesn't respond. All she had mm-hmm. to do is be like, neutralize the target, meet at the rendezvous, you know? Something like that. And then run away. Yep, yeah. literally just run away. But no, she just stays silent yep. while she's doing all of these things. You could talk, and well, this is what I mean. I think that's the problem. Make up your mind. Does she Is she super aware of what's happening and, like, dealing with this situation competently? Or is she, like, totally flustered and doesn't know what to do? Yeah. Pick one. Yeah, she <laughs> was competent. She 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 could have taken the tracker, um, you know, gone over the radio. Was like, yeah, I, I you know, so and so secured on my way to run to viewpoint. Tossed that's, the tracker and then awesome. even made it made, made a decoy, you know, uh, bo- box or whatever. Even put a bomb in there. She has access to bombs. Look at her apartment. 
uh, and that would have been a much better getaway. Oh, shit. She's competent. Yeah. Did, did she use the same knife to stab her leg that she'd stabbed her with her? Sure. Yelena doesn't have a. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. The screenshot I just showed you, by the way, that is after she has dug that into her gut and ripped it out. Like, mm -hmm. man, didn't seem to get you. <laughs> like, well, no, yeah. the Marvel put blood on it, which means that she's evil, right? Oh, that's yeah, how that's works. how it works. <clears throat> oh, by the way, in the same shot where it took that screenshot, you can see. The little the little oh, box no. where they put the the vials in. Those those vials are not properly secured at all. <laughs> no. Those four random yeah. bullets. Like on they, her get, they get they get yeeted like, around oh, like crazy. And they, they just don't break at all. Like they're really lucky that these just don't break with every encounter they're in. Um I guess you have the excuse that uh they're they're not completely they're a little sturdy and that this was all done in a rush so that's why they like that right now well you know? not only here i mean like over the course of the movie where we see this box this, that fucking box gets like fucked uh we lose the well we lose the box on the bridge scene that's the end yeah for the box. but you're right it does get fucked quite a bit yeah and the violence in general later on too, they just put they just put it in in a in a box no, in a box in a pocket and they fight and walk around and fall on it and nothing happens Dude, it'd be so funny if when she dug that microchip, uh, micro crisp out, uh, she like <laughs> actually did hit the artery, and so she's running away. And after just a minute, she goes ah, and falls over. <laughs> and yeah, like... if you stab yourself on the thigh, there are your biggest blood vessels are in your thigh. Yeah, you can. That's why uh, police people don't shoot uh, people in their, th their legs because you can actually totally kill them fairly quickly. In in search and rescue and in voice counts and stuff, if we were told if if someone has broken their leg like around their femur, around their thigh, avoid moving them because if one of those splinters, it could it could hit one of those major blood vessels or arteries in your thigh and you could have a lot of internal bleeding. So that was one of the things they right, told I just, us. I wanted to know that those bullets are standard issue for the outfit. Oh, they've got, oh, they are standard issue bullets. <laughs> <laughs> they're was... clearly just not for any gun that they have. They're just, <laughs> oh, they're, they're, they're assassins. It's like an MMO costume thing. There's yeah. like, well, I mean, give them gun. I mean, just put a put some bullets on it because you know, bullets. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this costume design is fucking weak. Like they they were like, I don't you know. You shouldn't throw have some bullets. costumes. You're assassins. You should be in plain clothes. Yeah. Who are you, Ezio? Where you walk around in these ridiculous <laughs> get-ups? Like, even no, then, though, is, like design a cool outfit that an assassin would find useful. It's so, like throw some bullets on there. They like bullets. Like what? <laughs> Bullets. Yeah. So was, should yeah, they should just have a backpack, just a normal looking backpack full of all kinds of useful things. The stupid fucking vest she buys that's like a running gag is more useful than this. Yep. Because <laughs> yeah. it has a lot of pockets. Even just like a nine millimeter uh magazine, almost said clip, oh geez. Ma magazine on her on her collar would have been ten times as useful as those bullets. Like I I was trying I to see put if a they magazine were magazine on my collar. No, no it'd be it's a dumb place <laughs> anyway. Maybe but, you should. Uh, yeah, I, I would understand if it was like a flare thing specifically for Yolanda. Like maybe she grabs the bullets from like scenes of murder of assassinations and puts it there. But those I think are unspent cartridges. They don't look you like don't... they were the actual bullets. They look like yeah, they look like thirty thirties or forty four longs or three fifty sevens. Just just uh, just helping you out here, okay? You keep calling her Yolanda, and I'm offended. Yolanda. Okay. Her name is Yelena. Yelena. Oh. Yolanda. <laughs> Yolanda. Yolanda. <laughs> I'll you call know it Yolanda. Yeah, I'm going for y y Yolanda too. That's fun. That's, that's Yolanda. Yolanda. No, that sounds way too epic for her. Um, Yolanda. That's her Beastmaster name. <laughs> yeah, I, I shared a I shared a video that came up on my feed from like Yelena being being an icon. Yay! Oh, they're already starting with that that Slay Queen stuff. Oh, are they? This <laughs> well, character. She's certainly my favorite character. Uh, by the way, we we see. I guess that's where you're going next with the Taskmaster. Uh, well, I, her pulling out the chip is I, is forcing oh. Drakov to decide that because she's the king of the Black Widows, this the mission is compromised, and we have to send king in Taskmaster. King of the Black Widows, yeah, to the queen. The way I inter uh, <clears throat> I I got this scene is like, oh, he's just looking at Hawkeye, just just gathering information because I had no idea Taskmaster can like look at footage and just learn the fighting. He can, uh, he, she can see. Uh huh. So it's like, sure. oh, it's just, it's just 
the scene where Taskmaster is looking at Hawkeye. I well, don't no, think they, they mention they, that's they took, the thing, right? No, they, well, she says uh, he can mimic. They even say he, like, because uh, they, they're convinced Taskmaster is a he as well. Uh, oh, they said it, then I missed this. Yeah, okay. It's in the, when they're hiding in the train station, she mentions uh, it. Ah, okay. I think it says he can mimic and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, Taskmaster is dispatched to take out Yelena. That is our development on that end. Um... <laughs> now going back to good old Black Widow after she talked to Ross. She's just chilling out in Norway. She's, Norway. she's doing a little like, oh, my life's pretty sweet. And they remind us through the radio that um, there is a worldwide hunt on for the Avengers. Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanov because they breached the Sokovian Accords and uh, she assaulted the King of Wakanda. Have we said that this takes place during the events of Civil War? No, they don't say we, that. I don't well, think we've mentioned that. Yeah, okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, right after... Bucky and Cap are all finished up with uh, well no, it's, so it's the raft when everyone's captured in the raft uh, they're also looking for Natasha in Civil War, this is before Iron Man goes and fights Cap mm -hmm. so that's when this movie takes place is like literally as we're doing all of this Cap and Iron Man might be fighting right now yeah, yeah. really fucking weird to think about it is really yeah. fucking weird um, also, is is the, is this uh, this character that gets shit for her? Is, is he introduced in here, or was he a character before? He is new to this movie, which alrighty, because I wasn't know, sure anymore. There is um there is some reason to think that there'd be contacts that you, Natasha would have that we haven't seen before that are useful for blah blah blah. Um, but he is such a vending machine; it's so fucking lame. Like he yeah, has no character. Because I, I, I felt like how they introduced him, I was supposed to know who that is. It was just my feeling. I was like, wait, should I know this guy? Do I know who this is? Because I didn't. Wait. So I didn't know if that wasn't me or if the movie just didn't do it properly. I don't know. I just felt like I should know who this is because he's just lying I mean, there. what he produced New guy. for her. Well, yeah, calling him a weapons dealer is like, well, he's, he's an everything dealer. He just he gives her brand new covers that apparently makes her immune to cameras and eyes for some reason. <laughs> Um, he gives her That's all good, a, yes. a, the caravan safe house, he points her to the Budapest safe house, and he gives her a helicopter, and he gives her a Quinjet. It's fucking insane. <laughs> that's uh. what you can do when you give me time and money. That's, okay. that's what you can do? That's, that's crazy tech. But Where'd you sure. get this from? Like, yeah. I thought there were only... How many of these were there supposed <laughs> to be? He is the vehicle simp, as uh, I, I feel like is, is best describing him because he just doesn't seem to want anything in return. And there's one time where he Zim. complains where Ross is gonna fuck him up if they carry on, and she's just like, I'll make it up to you. And he's like, mm, alright. Like, oh. He's basically the, the Duke right. from Resident Evil 8, actually. He just, like, g gives her her quest, you know, quest objectives, anything she needs, you know. It's like, oh, I'm lost. Oh, go here. Oh, I need a ship, or I need a, you know, a vehicle, whatever, here. So it's just kind of a weird, uh, kind of it's almost like they thought they might have needed a scene where she needs to like steal a vehicle or, you know, break into some place and get some weapons or whatever, and they just like replace it with some boring we weapons dealer kind of slash, I can get you anything you need kind of guy. Well, this one, I mean, he's, he only exists to fill up plot holes. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. how does she get any of this shit? It's like that guy. Oh, here's okay. the yeah. dropper. It's all good. There it is. Yeah, she does a guy. Um, How does she have contacts if she's been like um, burned in every like way, shape, brainwashed and everything, or, or not brainwashed? brainwashed, but working for the? I mean, working for like the the Black Widow people is is that supposed is that going to get in the way of her? D does Drakov know about this contact or why would you say that? This is Natasha. She hasn't been with Drakov now for a decade, maybe more. All right. Um, That's what I, I don't know. If, for a I don't long know time. If that was there was some overlap or where he's come. Well, from there or... will be uh, okay. with Shield specifically. We'll get to that very soon. Um, so this okay. contact is like, hey, um, by the way, given you a box of your mail that was <laughs> care of you sent to the Budapest safe house that another agent provided yes. me. That is insane. I I have a screenshot for that that I prepared while I was watching the movie because I was very confused. Because, one, I don't know how much time passed between Yolanda and her getting the, the, Yolanda getting the vials and shipping it to Budapest. So I was like, oh, let me, how, how far mean, is that? So Budapest? 
Budapest. I was like, oh, Budapest. <laughs> so I, I just put it on Google Maps. I was like, that is that's a lot of ground to cover. Um, so it's apparently sixty-two hours with car. <laughs> uh, oh, you can't drive over the the uh, the Strait of Gibraltar though, can you? <laughs> I, I was just I was just going. Okay. You got a ferry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, it goes to Budapest. It's staying there for X amount of time. I don't know, and then goes up to Norway somehow. I guess just FedEx, DHL. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> HDS coming through. And they already and said they Taskmaster. They already t- said Taskmaster to get the fi- the thing. Like, what was it, what was the fucker doing? UPS is the real Taskmaster. Is yeah. some? It, there's like a thousand problems with this. It, it, you don't understand. Like, I think I think most people would be like. That's fine. It's like we got so many character and plot and world problems now, as as with just finding out that she sent the vials to Nat. So I guess we'll start with the Budapest safe house, which is the same one that Hawkeye found her in back in the Budapest mission. That safe house is still active and used for agents, uh, despite mm-hmm. the fact that Shield would be fully aware of it. How is it a safe house? Explain to me exactly how that is a safe house. <laughs> That's not how safe houses work. The more people who know about it, the less safe it is. It's just fucking... Maybe they mean, like, the house won't fall down. <laughs> well, it's got holes it's in it. I wouldn't stone. be so sure. Um, it's not a danger house. <laughs> so, if you, uh, you have that safe house active, which I think is bullshit, but we're gonna have to say, okay, fine. There is a new agent that is in that safe house, and she told the handler guy that I have received mail for Natasha Romanov, could you please pass it on to her? What the fuck? You'd yeah. be like, uh, get out of the safe house right now. The fact that somebody <laughs> is sending mail to there to get to secret agents, like, what the hell? This is this very is bad. This is not good. This is a compromise save. We need to figure out who knows who knows about this, what's going on. Is the organization breached? Yeah, everything's fucked. Um, so... That's really bad news, and the fact that anybody can just send Natasha stuff at will when she's currently wanted worldwide, she's not bothered by that at all. She's like, oh, hey, mail. Neat. You're like, well, okay. <laughs> You've got mail. Um, yeah, I just don't think the writers know how, what the fuck a point, the point of a safe house is. And the fact that this guy, he has all of his secret agents, and he just lets them all fucking send mail to each other. It's like, okay. Hmm. I, I'd I really be wouldn't... fine. With uh, the idea that they could maybe pass messages along if they're actually aware of each other, but n- 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 even that's risky as fuck. Like that's just not how it runs. You don't do you that. You wouldn't want your co- your agents communicating in that not kind really, of no. way, especially if they have nothing to do with each other. Like it's strictly a friend thing. It's like I, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> yeah. But then of course that means that Yelena sent the vials to the Budapest safe house in the hopes that the current agent there would then send it on to Natasha through her handler. Yep. What the fuck? She doesn't know who's in that safe house. <laughs> uh, she... What an idiot. <laughs> what, what, is, what, an, what a buffoon. I, I don't even know where to begin with that one. Like, first of all, why would you send all the vials away? What... Like, you need them. They are incredibly important. You, know, you are the person that needs them more than anyone. However... If, and this is going to come up a bit later, if you wanted to send it to someone to study it and replicate it, yeah, I could see you sending off a vial. You've got like 14 or whatever. Yeah. It makes some sense. Send one to Natasha. Tell her that the red, put a message with it saying the red room is still active. Drakov is still using uh, mind control and it fucks the, many women in the world. And this stuff, this frees them. But I need more to get more of them free. Can you get this to your Avenger pals? Can you do something with it? Maybe, you know, but she sent every one of them to a safe house in the hopes that the person who is there might send it to the person she kind of wanted to go to, who she doesn't even know she can trust, who doesn't know what it is. It is insane. It makes absolutely no sense. It makes her look like an idiot who knows that the plot will work, work in her favor against all odds. And it shows that he's an, she's an idiot for not being, oh, Tony, here. This is really, 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 really important, and the stakes for this are really high, potentially world saving. I'm not gonna send I'm not gonna send one to Tony Stark or I'm not gonna mail one to the White House or something so that the, the government finds it or just anyone. 
No, you, you don't you get think it. They individually needed to bring it there so that they could enact a fight scene, dude. On the bridge. <laughs> Which is another thing mm. we're we're gonna be getting to very soon. Um <laughs> Yeah, fucking something. incredible. What a decision by Yelena. Makes no sense for her character to do that, and it's the yeah. worst way to do that very thing that she wants achieved. It's just like, man. Makes no sense. And Incredibly dumb. To cap it off, uh, Natasha's like, what's in the box? And he goes, ah, oh, some stuff someone sent for you to your safe house, which, by the way, is such a fucking worry. But he's like, yeah. and then she goes, oh, I would have told you to throw it out. And he's like, oh. He's like, oh, can oh. you imagine throw it out? <laughs> Wrote the whole movie with the fucking box. The weird security <laughs> box someone sent Maybe to Maybe it would have been better if we threw out the whole movie. Yeah. Throw it away. It's like fine. it never fucking happened. Just throw it away. <laughs> um, so that's what I mean. We're only 20 minutes in. We've barely got our premise. And I was just like, fucking hell. This whole movie's already destroyed. And by the way, the third act is the worst of the three acts. So no oh, matter how yeah. bad it gets in the first two, just be prepared. Yeah. Um, and th this is stuff that I think a lot of viewers might just find a little boring. They're like, yeah, I don't care about the mechanics of the spies sending messages around with each other. What happens next? Um, but, like, to me, it just it sets everything up. Because the next question is, how did Task Manager find the fucking vials? Task Manager. Task Manager. <laughs> Task manager. <laughs> I like that one. Why can't I just close you? Because I'm yeah. not responding. I, can't so, we just end Task? Yeah, in so, in so. fairness... I actually did mean to say Taskmaster. I've said manager as a joke too many times. <laughs> after, I was coming up with names with Fringy, and I'm pretty sure he came up with manager, and I've accidentally said it as manager well, now way too many times. I didn't I didn't want to just chime in and be like, hey, that was that was, that was my that was my I got joke. you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I would have. Yeah. You can't let you can't let Mahler walk all over you like that, Fringy. You gotta stand up for you. You gotta be a man. You gotta stand up for yourself. <laughs> you gotta protect your jokes. It makes sense because, like, they send in the task manager when everything else should have sent in the line out to try and kill Mola for still in the joke, <laughs> and then Mola can shoot her. But, well, the I'm gonna go and task. Uh, genuinely, I get them fucking mixed now because I've said it too many times. Or I, my brain automatically goes, "I've said task manager more times in my life than task master." So, <laughs> That's um, true. yeah, that is true. Anyway, um, how the fuck did he find the vials? Or she? Uh, I really don't care. So, go with, yeah, I, she, you know what I mean. I think they're implying there's is. a there's a tracker in the box, because he follows the box, but not the 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 the, the, I the think, files. I think, I think that is a generous leap that you're. I giving. know, I know that that's that's how that's I, I thought that's they were do. trying to say, but I, I I don't know. Because then again, how did it take it take so long to get well, to those? But it gets shipped across the you fucking know world. You know what's really fucking funny? Because I just pulled up the thing because to back you up because you you are correct. Well, I think you can draw it from this. But vials confirmation one hundred percent. How? Oh no! Like maybe it's confirmation that this is the box. But this is the this box. This is it. Vial. I recognize <laughs> that box anywhere. I like that's one hundred percent confirmation as opposed to like eighty percent. What is it that would make it? 80 I don't know. <laughs> but if it says vials confirmation one hundred percent, what are the other two percent? Four percentages yeah. under for are those? What are, are those, those adding up to one hundred percent? Well, the uh, those are those are what we call um, thirty twenty. I, I don't even know. It's uh, there's got to be a name for them when there, or at least there should be. Whenever you have one of those screens and it just has random like sliders that go left and right and wheels that spin and just random numbers that don't mean anything, mm -hmm. just so that you can have a computer screen like trying to yeah. pretend mm -hmm. as if there's a whole bunch of information that's mm -hmm. being displayed, but it's just random gibberish and numbers. Well, I'm mostly okay. There's there's a name for that. I'm mostly there's okay with it. It's just the the actual information they give us, like vials confirmation 100. That just is <laughs> funny to me. Like, yeah. you know, seeing 32.5281 percent as just a random percentage there. That's that's almost fine with me compared to confirmed vials 100 <laughs> percent. Like, okay. Yeah, it's like they have like a very basic uh, storyboard for like, okay, look, computer vision uh, detects files, whatever, and then they they hand it over that over to some poor sap on After Effects for twenty hours, having to animate yeah, all the crap. Yeah. And like, oh, what what other things would sound official and cool? Uh, vials uh, confirmed, one hundred percent, or whatever. It's just like, I don't think there's a whole lot of direct. I doubt there's a ton of direction given to these people. And the VFX guys just have to come up with things that look that look cool and techy. Probably, ba yeah. Battery sixty-two percent for what? 
<laughs> well, so the, yeah. Um, well, for the box. For the box. Oh, okay. Don't, uh, don't all your boxes have batteries? So you not have to all recharge of them, no. all your boxes? So I was going to say... Okay, just use them without batteries. We're like advanced like this. As with all shitty writing, um, Metal's going to gonna have to... You're going to have to draw back your um, your, uh, your rescuing. The, well, unless you're saying it was hacking onto the box was your, your theory, yeah? Yeah, but that would says vials, so yeah. Because <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> why would it? Yeah, maybe he's labeled the box as vial. It's fucking weird. Um, there's yeah. there is nothing to. The thing is, I think it's a fair question in a normal environment. How did he find random McRandom on this street? But he's found someone who is actively trying to stay under the radar against everyone in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So like, how did you find her? He's that good. There, <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. This is like in Star Trek, when um, the like the the character of the episode or the monster beats up Worf, right? Because we have to establish that this monster means business. If, if that monster, if that creature, if they can beat up Worf, oh, you know they're serious, right? It's just to establish how incredibly talented Taskmaster is. Even against all reason, he can do something. Wow. What a character. He is a force to be reckoned with. I think it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, would, uh, it would make no sense. He can't hack onto the vials. We know that much because it would destroy so many other parts of this movie if he could. Um, but yeah, we get the bridge scene, which I think is the first scene people start to realize <laughs> this movie is garbage. Uh, I burst out laughing <laughs> when that happened. Oh, it's really funny. Um, I was a, yeah. was, oh, okay. She's trying. <laughs> oh, no. There's that. There was that tiny little. If you, if you, there's a tiny little sliver of what could have been something really cool for Taskmaster in that scene. And 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 once your brain started to maybe recognize it, it's gone and it's never coming back. And <laughs> oh that yeah, was it. It's over. Um, my file died, so I'm just resetting it in a sec. So I'll I'll show oh, I'll show you. everyone in the chat the really funny bit. And there's a couple of really funny bits in Black Widow as a movie. They're just bits that you just... Uh, they're Aquaman moments, I think, is the way to put it. Yeah, um, I think. Aquaman is... Explosions. Yeah, Aquaman is a movie... One of the things people noticed about it was that every once in a while, there would just be real... There's a lot of quiet, and then suddenly just something crazy happens. And there, there's, like, fucking yeah. at least five instances of that. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, and we have one in this movie, and we're, we're getting close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the clip for you folks in chat, because it's amusing. She's driving... A nice normal drive. She's gonna get some fuel, I think, and um, everything's nice and normal, nice and quiet. But then suddenly, <laughs> oh, oh go. my god! <laughs> <laughs> what suddenly was that? Oh, it's a, it was a laser beam. It's well, <laughs> it's his arrows, shoot it right? From a cannon. Bios are in there. Let's oh, it, blow it's, it it's up. A, it's a Hawkeye laser arrow. <laughs> yes. Explodes. That's what we're supposed to believe, that this is a an arrow that's just... Oh my god. Just like guest wow. director Michael Bay. Jesus Look at Christ. that. Well, <laughs> Black Widow's <laughs> clearly <laughs> dead. That's yeah, a shame. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, 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 I mean, that's... Well, just that is think unfortunate. About, like, that explode... I mean, the car is done like you're not flipping around like you're, you're the car is going to explode but also if the car exploded black widow dead vials gone that's just the end of the movie everything's that's over it. yeah it's over but yeah i thought you had to be alive now. for the next film but i guess not i guess this is where she dies also uh, people just, don't give a shit about continuity anyway so the prize yeah don't, sorry, I'm don't just, even worry like, about it Oh, he shot the arrow underneath the car why didn't you just shoot it directly at the car and it would have hit her on the like it would have <laughs> that's, that, 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 that's what that's what flipped over the SUV well, and Winter he, Soldier. It's isn't like he the concerned it's, about Go ahead. It's basically like Winter Soldier, like the, the Winter Soldier reveal in, in uh, Cap Two. It's like that exact scene just done poorly. Like where well, where I mean... they uh they just like shoots it he shoots the, the kind of magnetic mine under uh uh, yeah, which seems to be designed SUV. to go underneath the car. Like, that is that weapon. Yeah. This one, though, this is an arrow. That, and we see him fire it later, and it does the exact same thing. And it's like, well, he doesn't have to do that, right? Um, no, you could shoot it through the window and, like, blow them up directly in the face. Yeah, yeah. and so the question is, with a gun. Does, yeah. or a uh, gun, yeah. does Taskmaster want to kill her or not? And you ask, your, you ask that question several times in this whole fight. 
Because yeah. it's very Despite unclear. Despite the fact that the answer is supposed to be yes. Yeah, I know by the end yes. of the film, he wants to kill her so much. Bad. He just <laughs> can't <laughs> help Actually, herself. He, he, wants <laughs> to, he wants to kill her so bad that he saves her life by allowing her to grab <laughs> onto him and deploy a parachute instead of just falling to her death. I love yeah, this and, and, I mean, and is he not concerned about this massive exploding arrow destroying the vials and damaging no, them? No. I mean, so this is the question. The we have to run something. both scenarios. If he was tasked with destroying the vials, which is fair, that could be the task. I, I don't yeah. think it is. But if it were, this can make some sense. I don't know why you wouldn't keep firing explosive arrows to just fuck the car up. Yes. Yeah, just keep shooting them. Or alternatively, yeah, like if you're destroying them, and if you don't want to destroy them, just shoot the arrow through Natasha's neck, and then it's like, cool, you win. Like, she didn't see that coming. Um, and then you have, if he didn't want to, why the fuck did he open with this? <laughs> yeah. You crazy? Like, this is the yeah. worst. All you have to do is grab. She's running off to get some fuel for her safe house. The actual smart thing would be to keep an eye on her, get to that her. safe house, yeah. go inside it, wait for her to walk in. House. Yeah, just okay. fuck her up that way, like any normal assassin would. But this, that wouldn't be bombastic. I mean, you, don't, you probably don't even have to kill her at all. You could just wait until she's back home in a trailer and then just and break then into the car. Yeah, and then yeah, just you take, take it. it. She then, has no bye significance bye. on those vials. She has no idea what they even are. Yeah, it's like, so. oh, someone broke into my car. Oh, those things I wanted to throw out are gone. All right, cool. Yeah, bye. so this is this is a flaw, you see, because Taskmaster <laughs> is meant to be really confident. <laughs> so, like, oh, no. <laughs> and and uh, in a couple of seconds, I think you've got it paused, right? Or you had it paused right before, like, um, Taskmaster very, 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 very slowly walks toward well. her. Well... <laughs> Like really slowly, and yeah, then just wanted to... then she gets out of the car, and then she's like, "Oh, where 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 is he?" And then he's like, "Uh, she like turns, waits for waits for her to turn around, then he does like a jump surprise attack and jumps in front of her." <laughs> I just it's one of the go frame by frame of how dead she is from this uh, oh, explosion. Yeah. They like to pretend that the bottom of a car, I guess, is like just thick lead, and it only acts yeah. as a launching platform, but like. Look at the flames and the coverage and the force of the explosion. It's just really funny. It's like, look at that. But she's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeet. <laughs> um, the fucking weird I'm sure... she does. <laughs> yeah, well, they, well, they wouldn't do that again. This is your one. This is your one. We're like, yeah, I feel like you should die, but eh, they probably won't do it again. It would have been so awkward if she got blown over the bridge into the water, and Tash was just like, oh. Look at how big no. that explosion is. <laughs> look at it. It's a big boy. The big boy, yeah. Um, uh, this, yeah, this isn't as bad as like. Well, it's pretty close to being as bad uh, as when your liner some... is like one foot away, no less than a foot away, like ten centimeters away from an explosion, and it's totally fine. <laughs> uh. It's just a funny screenshot. Um, yeah. So, uh, the the thing that another knock to good old Nat's intelligence, right? So she's attacked by an explosive. Well, for all she knows, it was just a missile that fucking attacked her car. Then she yeah. sees this fucking skull mask biker dude walking out of the truck slowly toward her, and her first thought is, does Ross have jurisdiction here? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're past that. They blew up your car, lady. I think like, we're past that. This is what I mean about... When uh, Drinker said it in his newest video, and I totally fucking agree, your characters are only ever going to be as smart as the writer. And so, Natasha is unfortunately brain-dead in this fucking movie. She never would have assumed that this is sent by Ross, and even if it were, what do you mean, jurisdiction? <laughs> He's fucking firing missiles at you! that explosion. You knock it off there, mister. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Pretty sure this isn't legal. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it was... It's like, the, uh, those, it's like those horror movies where they always call it the name. It's like, Ross? Ross, is that you? Oh, Ross, quit playing games. <laughs> Ross sent in his taskmaster who blows people up. He's like, no, 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 no. Ross, oh, stop it. The whole fucking point of their service, the people, is trying to prevent you guys from creating crazy collateral damage. Why would they fire missiles at every, like, what do you, why would you think this, Natasha? It was like, yeah, well, whatever. Just, like, so stuck in her mind. Also, he's wearing a skull for a helmet. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think he might be bad. <laughs> Edgy boy. That seems like somebody that Ross would send off to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, remember, you have to take your skull helmet so they know we mean business. <laughs> or she's, like, so, she's so convinced it's Ross. It's like, Ross, why are you wearing a suit? Why are you attacking me? <laughs> 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 Ross, what's with the outfit? <laughs> 
but like if Taskmaster was competent and like he committed to blowing up the car in this crazy way, the next thing is to just unload like ten million bullets into the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, yeah. 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 You know what? That's a great shield. idea. He should probably shoot her. Yeah. Just shoot her with a gun. Like a gun. Yeah. Yeah. What? A gun, that would be. Something. No, they have to uh, fist fight. Well, they have to get into a kung fu fight. You see, this is the problem. Taskmaster doesn't have any projectile weapons except his explosive arrow bow. Thing. Only one. I would have brought that with me. So, yeah, weird that he wouldn't just have a pistol. You'd think he'd have a pistol. You'd think he'd have an assault. Yeah, so this is, once again, really I'm going to throw a compliment to Winter Soldier. From memory, good old Bucky has, is it three pistols? The scorpion on his he back, has, the assault rifle with grenade launcher the, attached, yeah. typically. And yeah, so and he's just pistol. kitted out. He has several knives, too. Yeah, he has like a, he a should be kitted launcher. out. Yeah. That grenade launcher is really effective too. <laughs> yeah, it's Close also at the end. It. At the end, he has a Doc Ock tentacle blade that comes out of his forearm. I think you're right, but he also has the sword that he doesn't use as well. <laughs> that mm. is true too. He just he, he could have used the sword throughout this whole fucking scene. He just doesn't because he's like, I don't need it until I need it. Um. So anyway, Natasha's like, I'm gonna kill you with my gun. And then Task Manager's like, ah, gun, and puts up his shield. And it's like, oh, that's like Captain America. Yeah, it's like Captain America shielding yourself from bullets. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I like that's, the little, Natasha's um, not, yeah, she's, uh, I like the little Taskmaster doing a peek once, uh, yeah. she stops firing. Are you done like, shooting? And then <laughs> stop, stop it. it. <laughs> stop it. Um, and so then this happens. He's like, fuck you, Black Widow. I'm gonna throw the shield at you. Man, yeah, a projectile right. weapon, you know? Just saying. They get stuck in the car. It's like, well, that's unfortunate. So some dinky uh, she, European, she, she, she can see European him car is... Throw it. Like, he's gonna, well, I'm gonna throw this at you. So first off, how fucking strong are you that yeah, you could throw a piece of metal into a car like this so hard that it gets embedded well, into the metal uh, shell of the car. That's the thing that you we can mimic strengths too. Yeah, I guess you can, because, like, holy crap. Um, <laughs> how is that possible? I'm a little bit scared right like, now. How, like, how strong are you? Well, well the thing is, uh, that car must be made out of chairs because it stops the shield. So, Do you remember I mentioned my PC's not doing so well lately? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, it is very hot, and oh. it just started making noises that are spooking me. Uh oh. Um, oh god. Can you open up the side panel uh, and put a fan in front of it, or but that's not good. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> just a little bit concerned. <laughs> Oof, it was it was it was uh, making the sound of a fan inside the PC hitting a piece of paper with every blade as it went past until it slowed uh -huh. down to not making the sound at all, which only mm -hmm. worries me. Oof. Um, well, well, try closing any is, uh, extra windows like you, uh, Chrome and stuff. I heard you making fun of Task Manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, PC, What's you are your, uh... you're a hot boy right now. Are you, do you need to get rid? Uh, do you have anything else running in the background that you can uh, close out? Anything like that? Yeah, you know what? If you guys keep talking, I'm just going to start killing programs. Sure. So, well, program aside's happening over there. Uh, uh -huh. Advocate, the what's going on? You, you need to calm I, the I, fuck down. You're talking too much. Ironically, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to mute myself. Oh, okay. You're really <laughs> oh, what's your, what's your icon there? Your Daredevil icon. That's that spooky. Yeah, yeah, it is spooky. I literally just looked up Daredevil on Google, I guess, and I thought this looked pretty neat. It's like the cover of a comic. Hmm. Uh, which one that guy is. named Kyle Hotz, I think. With a Z. Kyle Hotz, he, the artist who drew it? Or the person who yeah, wrote I think the so. comic? Okay. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's the artist. Yeah, it definitely is, yeah. It's neat. Yeah, so I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, the eyes there are glowy. Yeah, there it is. This one. It was the, is this what's the story of that comic that invokes such uh, imagery? Oh, these are these are. Oh, I don't read comics. The... Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. Me neither. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are covers for the uh, Man Without Fear, which is like one of the. I really like that one. I like David Harbor. So, that's a good he... run. <laughs> it's like the origin a... story. Good to know. Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'll probably have to pick it up. My father. Well, I am. I'm. I so far, I'm thinking the film's really good. Natasha is definitely not an idiot. The plot makes a lot of sense. Taskmaster. We're about to get. We're about. It's. It's a shame that the the tiny little cool thing that Taskmaster sort of does, the one and one and only tiny little cool thing, is like book ended by him being an idiot and a total <laughs> imbecile on either side. Yeah, Bit like of a shame. Yeah. Like with all the all the computer UI stuff, you could have totally kind of had visuals like uh, switching to, you know, a uh, Hawkeye mode or something like that. That that would have been really engaging and interesting, just seeing their fight style change, and just like completely switch up the stuff. And like people are like, what the hell, like, you know, like just just when they finally finally get a a bead on like what what these people are doing and how they act and how they can counter that, they just completely switch entire personality fighting style you know uh mobility and everything like that would be a really interesting villain you know it'd be an, a difficult one to overcome but we get nothing <laughs> pretty much well I'm, I'm wondering if they're gonna try and bring taskmaster as i guess it just seems bizarre to for this movie and in this role where he's not even the big bad he's just subservient to another bad guy and there's no character involved. I don't know if Taskmaster is quote unquote supposed to have a character and dialogue and like uh, desires and wants and like uh, motivations. But I imagine if there's a lot of Taskmaster fans out there, because when Fringy was explaining to me the concept of the character's powers, I was thinking, man, this is really cool. You could do all kinds of stuff with this guy. Mm -hmm. Like you'd want him to be a recurring villain so that you could take advantage of all of the different things that he might potentially be able to do with his copycat and mimic abilities. And they waste him for this movie. That stinks. Yeah. It's, it's a total waste. It's it's, you could have had this guy show up in several films. Um, he could have been like in an, an Avengers movie, maybe not as the main antagonist, but a secondary. And just like we, we, cause his unique ability of copying and mimicking people's, you know, fighting styles. We barely see that in this movie. What do we see? He puts the shield up to block some bullets and then throws it like that's it for captain America. And then he pulls out black Panther claws. We don't really do anything with them. Yeah. He they don't do an anything. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. He it's just, just like a reminder twice. of what his powers are without showing him actually well, using his powers. It was like what Bell even we're not even really like doing anything here. This is this is not a utilization of his abilities at all. Like this is it's just it's really shallow and they didn't go as far with it as they could have. And it's a shame because we're never gonna get the proper one now. Like there's no way. That's that's it. Like Taskmaster for the MCU, maybe in like twenty years or something, but not not any time in the foreseeable future. That sucks. All the for, all, for all the things that they uh rip from uh you know captain america especially winter soldier they didn't do the one thing that would have been interesting is leave the door open for a potential conflict uh continuation of the character like i i they might as well just not bring Cat taskmaster back at all because the like the completely care uh, any sort of interest in conflict has just been completely eliminated uh but with winter soldier even after you know despite its flaws even after everything you're, he's like confused about himself he saves cap but then like leaves and and kind of goes on his own and you're not really sure if he's going to continue doing good or bad or what he's just he kind of leave that door open and that would have been an interesting way to take that character i think it's like will task mm. return like, will, will he she not whatever but yeah yeah i don't i just i don't know it's lame fucking lame there's a lot of stuff in this movie that's lame you wonder how they got to him. Why pick Taskmaster? When they were um, brainstorming ideas for this movie, were they like, how does the idea get brought up and approved that we'll we'll just pull this one guy, this particular guy from the comics? Cause we just because we couldn't just have a bad guy. Cause the Taskmaster character could have just been a really skilled, really something do do they need to have the reveal that it's Drakov's daughter still alive which doesn't really how much impact on the story does it have that it's her who's still alive well it means the black widow didn't kill yeah yeah 
<clears throat> oh and yeah. Well, that sure is resolved very yeah. quickly because she's like, "I'm sorry," and then that's it. And there's no real like, "Hey, fuck you for kind of causing this." But she's yeah, still it, committed to killing the person, even if the person yes, happened to survive. That's, that's why it's frustrating to me is that I would have preferred it if she didn't forgive her. You know, it's just like, nah, you caused. Yeah, this. you made a like, decision. You're gonna have to live with the consequences. Yeah. You can't just you you can't just have the character come back as a brain brain control like secret agent and be like okay it's fine i didn't die i didn't actually die ha <laughs> yeah it, it honestly kind of undermines the the conflict there um we haven't not after that part yet but i have a lot of things to say about the whole Dracov's daughter thing and uh I, I really felt like this movie was just like almost like a checkerboard of like bits and ideas plucked from other movies mm. um there's actually a very, very, very similar scene. Um, I, I swear it was just kind of ripped from that movie, actually, uh, of the whole Dracov's daughter uh, concept from the, I think, 2005 uh, Munich. You ever see that? Steven Spielberg? No. Um, no. But uh, yeah, when we get close to that that scene with the whole Dracov's daughter thing, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll get into it more. But it's an interesting parallel in, on uh, how you could do that scene. So They, they don't want to uh, commit. They, they can't commit to any of these like new characters especially lady characters let's be frank here make out having like flaws doing bad things having to face that you know that they, they're always proven right or they were right all along or they're they're just when they do horrible things as it will see in the the prison avalanche we're just not going to acknowledge it so it doesn't exist um or they yeah. turn out that they were good all along it's, um, it's like that that recurring thing like remember in cruella it's like it wasn't my fault i didn't kill my mom or whatever it's like you have to you have to remove any potential conflict or morality or struggle from these characters and it just makes them incredibly boring and not at all well written or interesting like the best characters usually have something they regret or something they're they're trying to redeem themselves over some sort of inner conflict but they have to like one by one remove any guilt that's like yeah, we'll get to the, that stuff later, but they completely remove any guilt that Natasha has about Dracov's daughter by the end, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. I have I have knocked out a significant, like, <laughs> my PC's barely running anything now, except for, I'm not even, um, I'm only streaming, not recording on locally, and uh, my CPU temperature is not reassuring. It's bouncing between 88 and 100. Um, Ooh, that's really, really, really warm. Which is, I mean, um, it's it's not generally a problem for a CPU, but in the long run, you probably want to check that out. Yeah, you should be uh, fine. Uh, have you disabled? Uh, can, can, want to go into Windows updates and and put it to sleep for like thirty days or whatever? Sometimes I notice when my computer acts up, it's because Windows is secretly updating. You can try that. Yeah, background updates can really bottleneck your. Uh, it's really, already, uh, really drag you down. I've already got all the update oh, yeah. stuff set because I fucking hate Windows updates. <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> okay. Just thought I'd, I'd check that just in case. Yeah. That's my, I mean, you, I'm is. pretty sure you, you'll be fine for tonight, but you might want to check that out. Yep. Probably going to have to either look into getting these fans because the fans, I think, are bro have broken inside them. That might be the, the second one that I've heard chug along and then just die. This has never happened Ooh. on my PCs before. Yeah. Um, well, if your CPU cooler died, that's a problem. <laughs> well, that's why I'm yeah, just problem. staring at the temperature, because if it exceeds, like, I don't know, 110, I'm going to have to stop streaming and fucking turn this thing off oh, yeah. before I lose everything. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, have you opened up the like the side panel? Do you have a fan that you could blow onto it? Um, I don't know if that's... If, is that a fantastic idea with how it'll screw with the cycle of how the dust is moved around inside a pc nah it's fine for, for just to for just to stream it's a okay yeah i mean that'll a... help to yeah that's one of the advantages of open pcs is yeah they could have dust issues but they also can keep a lot cooler because there's it's so open and air can move through so easily yeah but for, yeah for just like a stream you're you're a okay that won't that won't be dust won't be an issue at all Dust is really only like a long term issue if the dust yeah. gunks up your fans, but if your fans aren't spinning anyway, then well, now it's bounced between eighty three and ninety five. So if it keeps lowering overall, we should be all right. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, okay, let us, we, we will try and continue, if suddenly everything falls apart, you'll know. This has been foreshadowed, the streams have been struggling here and there with random ones. <laughs> like, my PC has told me it's in trouble, and I'm like, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. They're gonna have to spend on the ground goggling to get your new computer. I just I, I, need ten thousand dollars for a new computer. I feel like what's happened here is that the computer is goggling on its own blood, asking for help, and more like, "No, I'm <laughs> no. Black Widow. Hang in there. Black Widow. It's work. <laughs> it's really life imitates art. Task manager is telling you in real life too. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> um, we Bit shall. Sad. We shall soldier on for now. Um, I'll get the the moment up. So the uh, the rags are talking about where they we see the the one I think meaningful mimic in the entire movie because having Black Panther claws, having Cap's okay. shield, having yeah. Hawkeye's bow that doesn't really mean much to me. It's like yeah, oh, okay. because in a normal movie, if if this was a well written movie, we would say oh if he didn't have the shield he'd be dead. But how it really works is if he didn't have the shield, Black Widow just wouldn't have shot at him. Yeah. yeah. Um. It, it almost feels like it's for the audience, but this one didn't quite yeah. feel like the audience. She grabs him and she does her signature, climb all over you, get her legs around your neck and flip you. But during it, he counters and flips it and does the exact same move to her. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, I wasn't expecting cool that. that. more than once. And uh, she's like, wait, what? And <laughs> um, you got evaluating defensive measures, prediction, and so... Prediction 98.16%, threat 86.53%. Hmm. Okay. That's, <laughs> I don't, that's, a, bit, that's a big threat, number. I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the threat means likelihood of killing him or likelihood of attacking him. I don't know what it means. Um, yeah, I don't know either. But I that's mean, a big because, number. I mean, I guess wise, because so. the, the, the colors on her are red too, and threat is red. I guess she's a 86% threat, which I don't believe, but... No, of course, but threat of killing or attacking. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's threat it's of attack, that general. should be 100%. She's just attacked you. Yeah. I don't know how this computer manages to figure this shit out. Um, anyway, what's then cool is she does one well, of the... Oh, this old, old geek squad over here is like, oh, I don't know how the threat computer analysis works. <laughs> well, clearly I have an issue with computers right now, okay? <laughs> I'm allowed to... Only, yeah. Really? Be thematically on 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 point, but uh, they do a, at the same time a, a I'm a really cool superhero get up move. Yes, this is. Um, and they do this thing. And see, this to me feels like the beginning. It's like we've just found yeah. out this person is mimicking. That is fucking surprising. That's it. Almost like he. It's it's almost like a cyborg in a way. Where it's this weird robotic kind of like just an alien behavior because you don't know why it's doing this. It's like it's it's learning her or it's it's I don't know it it's an it's nifty when you look at it, but it's hard for me to justify why they're just staring at each other in this yeah, pose. I got nothing for that. Um, I just I, I like the and the thing is it would have been I guess he's watched videos of her and that's why he did this move, but it would have been cooler to have had her do the move on him. And then he learns it from that uh, instead of yeah, just, like I the watch Borg videos. will uh, the, the Borg assimilate and they adapt to things. Hey, two star Trek references. Uh, but you could you could have that where we if we do this, we can only use it one time or a couple times, and then he'll learn it and he'll understand it, and then he'll be able to use it against us. What it's like it's like Echo, the game y'all should play by Ultra Ultra, where you're like, uh oh, it's like I know that my like, if I pick up my gun and I use my gun against the enemies, well, the next cycle that happens, the enemies, they're going to start using guns against me because they've learned it. So I've got to, oh, I really don't want to bust that out unless I really need it. That kind of deal. You don't get any of that in this movie. He's so wasted. Yeah, that'd well, be an interesting thing if you could have more of the interface kind of tell what's going on. Like, this reminds me a lot of actually, like, how T1 and T2 worked, like, where you'd see the Terminator moving around and all the like the the text and info on the screen would be talking about how they're like uh identifying objects and identifying speech and then he like learns like you know fuck you asshole or whatever and then speaks speaks, speaks it the same you know thing back to the people like if they could have they could have visually kind of told more what's going on and showed more of that mimicry uh to great effect like whenever taskmaster would actually be 
you know, uh, beaten or over, uh, you know, overcome in some way, they'd immediately like analysis, 100%, you know, new move learned or whatever. And then all of a sudden they'd be able to do the thing back, just like you said, like that would be really, that'd be a super interesting and fairly unique way of, of uh, presenting a villain where like you could never do the same thing to them twice because they would learn and be able to do it back to you or counter it. Mm -hmm. And there's just a lot. When, when you unlock that, you're like, oof, I have so many ideas. And then the movie's like, no, no, that's it. <laughs> oh. Stop it. Uh, Another minor, minor two... irritation is like when it, when it's getting up, like they do the weird, like, I'm creepy, so I'm going to tilt my head. You ever notice that in movies? Yeah. It's like, it's just so irritating. Whenever there's a moment of like, yeah. wait, I don't understand quite how this works, that character has to tilt the head to make it that much yep. creepier. Yeah. Um, you could have had a, a an idea where... Uh, Natasha and her sister have to fight because they, they both have like sort of different upbringings at this point and so they have different fighting styles in terms of martial arts and they're poking at each, like making fun of each other for each other's fighting styles the the movie and that's like kind of the, the through line thingy um, and then when they have to fight, fight Taskmaster, they, they can't beat him. He's learning him too much. And then they have to be like, oh, I have to fight in your style and you have to fight in my style so that he can't really like mimic us because we're not even fighting like ourselves. And they're like, oh, yeah. And then they do that and then they win. And that would have been something. That just sounds like the repurposed uh, Hawkeye idea I said about with, with Black Widow. Trading um, yeah. weapons. Yeah. All fighting styles, yeah. yeah. It's See, there's a lot of stuff you could do with Taskmaster, and they yeah. do none of it. Well, that's the thing. It's almost like we're highlighting not that they did the bad thing. It's just they didn't do a, a lack thing. Of imagination, I think. It's not even. Well, they didn't do anything. Probably. Yeah. It's not like they had a bad idea. Like, oh, they had him mimic Black Widow until she shouted at him, and he went, "What? What?" And that confused his systems, and then she beat him. It's like that would have so been stupid, he, but. So, so, but he knows their fighting style, so that won't work. But if you're not used to a fighting style and then you start using it, like because it's not like really a style, like you're not doing it that well yourself, maybe it could be like, oh, he can't quite predict it because there's an unpredictability to the style because you haven't quite learned it yourself. You know, it's not going to be really consistent. And, and that's how you beat him. You know? Rags is right because he will have been trained to deal with Black Widow's fighting style and then if she's using Yelena's for example he'll be like this is fucking with my understanding of how you even work why are you doing this and, and that's how we get our god forbid family members our, our sisters to like bond in some way not yeah the first jacket I ever bought yeah, it's got pockets it, you could actually have like like they, they discuss and that they bond over something that they have as a similarity which is their martial arts skill and they use that to further the plot and defeat the antagonist. Or, like, but they don't, they, they like kick him off a bridge or something, and they're like, oh, he'll be back. He's not done yet. And so we could have him come back later in a better movie written by someone way more talented. <laughs> but he knows both That's... fighting styles. Okay. So if Rag, I'm expecting Rags <laughs> to shoot his pistol at me, and so I get like a, a block, like a shield, and then he fires the RPG. I'm like, fucking, and then I blow up. Because like my accounting for one thing doesn't account for the other thing in that immediate moment. He's expecting them to punch or kick in a particular way. They don't. He accounts for that. He's like, oh, I got to switch. I got to account for them to fight that way. Then he's dealing with someone else fighting in a way that he's not supposed. Like all you have to do is overload. You have to him. be unpredictable. Yeah. Like right? you have to you have to change up your style and your methodology, almost pre preferably in the narrative in a way that you're not even trying to do. You're not even trying to be unpredictable. You are just naturally un predictable because you haven't quite uh learned yet so okay uh example uh mord how it's a great game y'all should play it and in that game there's a lot of different moves you could make with your sword uh and in your weapons when it comes to blocking parrying chambering reposting that sort of thing and when you fight someone who's relatively skilled or good you kind of have an idea of what they're going to try to do but when you go against a total fucking noob sometimes they're so bad and they they haven't quite figured out the game yet that they could do something that makes absolutely no sense for them to do and it catches you off guard because it's so dumb for them to do it and that could be like the the mirror of that that could be like what they do in this when they fight taskmaster or they have to like use team up attacks and ta ta his his technology he can't fight like two different people at once who are being unpredictable they like overload his computation matrix motherboard 
machine chip crisp and they they, <laughs> they beat him because they work together something you could do like something um i i find it all super interesting because it's such a fun way to try and create a way to beat him and um you know, if you if you had like three people, it just makes it more and more complex. And test manager's software slash training, he just can't keep accounting for all the switches, and he gets confused, and he starts getting beaten. It's as simple as that. In uh, to a degree, Iron Man is better in a fight than Cap or Bucky, but fighting them both at the same time when they're both countering him all the time in Civil War, it's just it creates so many fucking problems for Iron Man. Even though we could all be like. We just fly away and fire a missile. It's easy. It's just like the, the environment plus all of the actions everyone's taking makes it a lot harder than it might come across. Um, and they don't take advantage of any of that in this movie. Nobody does anything. Um, I, they didn't even like when he fights Alexi. Uh, he just he just dominates. And you'd be like, that wasn't you didn't do anything. It's like, well, it's a fight. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know why you have Taskmaster. Why? Why not just have bodyguard person called John? And then it's yeah, it John is a girl. Intimidating guy. Didn't the, do the anything. Scene's a, the scene's a lot like uh, that one in Winter Soldier, and uh, where you first see Cap fight Winter Soldier or chase after Winter Soldier, you know, bashing through all the walls and jumps through the window and then throws a shield at him, and then you're you're expecting it to be a really effective move. Then Winter Soldier just turns around, grabs it with his metal arm, and tosses it back. Like just that move, you're like, oh, okay, this is formidable. And he's got a similar power level and skill set. So that just that one, like, I want to say 10, 20 second shot accomplished everything that this shot, this uh, scene tried to do only way more effectively, I think. And it left the door open for, you know, a future encounter. It's like, okay, this guy is formidable. Uh, when we do actually do our full fight, this is going to be tough. That's basically all, all, the, all the scene had to say. And you didn't have all this goofy, like slow walking, you know, jumping onto the car, shitty surprise attack, and you know, slowly getting up and all that other stuff. Like, there's a way more efficient way you could have accomplished the, what the scene was trying to do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll, this movie sucks. We'll talk more about Task Manager as we go along. Uh, but so this <laughs> scene, um, his senses, his senses, whatever. Tell, tell them that um, they've got, I think it's 100% predictability, or 99. It's really, really, really high up. Yeah, 99.89% predict, 88% threat, redirect to vials. Now, how stupid does this fucking software have to be to be like, mm -hmm. there is an obstacle, I predict it's going to attack me, and it's 88% of a threat, but I need vials. I guess I'll get the vials. So, ignore the threat instead of just suppressing the threat and then getting the vials. Yeah, if it was operating in a, under any way that we would expect would be reasonable, it would just kill you. Which, uh, Task Manager has a couple of chances to do so, does not mm -hmm. do so. Well, you can just grab a sword right now and just wish, and then that's it. The movie's uh, over. The threat has to be 100%. So, so if like it's a shame she used all of her bullets shooting that shield. Like, she hasn't worked with Captain America before, and... Well, that's what the four color bullets are for. She 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 didn't have the four color bullets. So that would have been that would have been enough to defeat. Listen, Task you Manager. got twelve shots in that <laughs> block. Okay, I see that it's a twenty six, and you have the extended mag in it. I got one too. Um, you didn't shoot twelve times. Uh, you you could you could just shoot him in the leg. The hmm, it's I don't know why I don't know why why do I do this why do I do this to me? <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Just, Honestly, it's a pretty I, we, small shield as well. We're, we we say we ask a lot of the times, why don't you just shoot him? We do that a lot. I notice. <laughs> why don't you just shoot him? I feel like this could be the alternative title for this movie because there's a lot of scenes, especially in Act Three, where it's like people just forgot they have guns. <laughs> Which yes. I guess is interesting because this isn't a problem that like I remember like eighties action movies often having. Like usually they account for the guns. <laughs> Like, they find a way to get rid of the guns, and even when they get rid of the guns, people fight for the guns. Like, that's what the fight is about, getting the yes. guns. Yes, yeah. Die guns Hard are... does that a lot. Or they guns knock the gun really away. Not... Yeah, like, the, there's the, the trope of, like, knocking the uh, the gun off the railing, and so the, it's out of the picture. Yes, like... that's why they, they show it very intently. The yeah. gun is gone. You have to come up with something else. The gun is out of the picture. The God forbid, the stakes have changed. 
And then that's quite often when somebody's like, okay, pull out the knife. Ooh, new danger. Okay, knife is now better than fist. So it's like they, they, as, as stupid as a lot of 80s movies were, they were, they were very good at keeping the tensions high and the stakes, you know, <laughs> in the in the correct range and not forgetting about stuff. And the funny thing about this fucking meme is that I'm like, should I open it? I've got no tabs on Chrome open for a reason right now. Oh, no, task manager <laughs> is is gonna be yeah we don't want to do that we maybe to switch that. to edge edge might be a little bit better i i it pains me to say i'm just gonna keep it all closed for as long as we can <laughs> edge gonna hope to sort of sl sail through this stream without anything blowing okay. up we're gonna we don't want to you you don't we don't want to go to the red room no and explode mm -hmm. Um, that, that's another thing too that we have is random explosion chain reactions that just just oh man it's Aqu it's yeah, Aquaman moment just blows up. we'll get there oh, in five I think, hours I think Rags is talking about when the red room just starts blowing up for some reason well, <laughs> everything <laughs> explodes yeah she fires <laughs> a grenade into the um <laughs> into the turbine but I guess just every other part of the system just starts blowing up <laughs> like, I okay. feel like that's I feel it's like Russian tech architect. I believe it well, I feel like as an architect, that's like one of your, or an engineer, it's like, all right, so let's <laughs> like design this so that one failure doesn't blow the whole fucking thing it's like just star engineer tech, you know, it's like, oh, you know, yeah. hopefully something doesn't go down this vent or else it'll blow up the whole freaking thing. <laughs> Literally tries to stab him in the back, by the way, when <laughs> he's walking. It's just like... And if you thought that was enough to convince him it's probably worth killing him, he still doesn't. Got, got it literally disarmed and captured and decides to punch her in such a way it's like superhero punches, but they forget that you can't do that to every character. You can do yeah, this to Cap, you can do it to Thor, you can do it yeah. to Iron Man, you yeah. can't do it to Nat. Because we have to no establish... Yeah, you gotta have established and consistent power levels for characters. And if you violate that, then it's gonna cause problems down the road. Like, well, the problem how is, like, can how Task we... Mas... Yeah. How can Task Manager throw the shield so powerful that it it cuts and sticks into the metal car. How are you? If yeah. you are that strong, then if you get punched by him, you're probably just dead. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't it, get it, punched by him. He'll kill you. Like, isn't isn't the task manager just wearing armor? It's not like a mechanized suit or like it's an not exoskeleton. A, no, it's just, it's it's just no, armor. So, no like, person. how is how is a twenty, thirty, you know, plus year old woman able to do all that? Just like Black Widow. Black Widow is just a human too. So the, the, you want to avoid a scenario just... where you have to punch metal. Generally, oh, man. not <laughs> both, Generally. both our <laughs> both. It's just in general, be it <laughs> Germans or actual pieces of like alloy and things. If you're in a position where you have to punch metal, you should do something <laughs> different. Yeah, yeah. Don't I'm punch metal, geez. Don't punch oh. metal. Not again. It will not work. It'll it'll hurt. <laughs> This is what we call counterproductive. It'll break your fingers, potentially. <laughs> Absolutely. Destroy yeah. your head. Punching metal is definitely usually more sure damage to you. I'm pretty sure that was a you. joke. In, um, I think that was a joke in the Clone Wars where like a clone punches one of the robots <laughs> and immediately screams as he <laughs> grabs his head. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. punch metal. It's a really bad idea. They did that perfectly <laughs> in, uh, God, what was that? The original X-Men. Where a Wolverine oh, Deadpool, was in a fist Deadpool. fight, and he like he punches his fist, and the guy's like, "Fuck!" Like he, you just see the pain yeah. in his arm because well, he's hitting an adamantium skeleton. <laughs> yeah, and then you had in Deadpool where like fucking punches Colossus in the face and breaks yeah. his head. It's like yeah. Yeah, <laughs> wood. Um, yeah. So then she decides to attach a little uh, little floopy rope to. Oh wait, no, not yet. They get up and fight again. Fuck! I completely forgot how many times he spears her. God damn it! It's really it's annoying. Only 88% 88 threat, though. So It's, it's just, at this it. point, he's put it down three times. It's like, when do you decide, you know what? I might just kill her. <laughs> like, I've, I've decided. Um, yeah, it's really annoying to watch, because she does this thing, and it, there's another, like, amazing editing sort of thing going on. In terms of timing, I guess. So she attaches the wire, and she is about, let's say, a good five meters away. Um... His timeline is slinked up in about, I don't know, a second, maybe two, cuts the rope and swings down and attacks her. That's a good, I don't know, we're looking at five seconds probably. Yeah, that was like a cool thing where you're like, wow, this guy can think on his feet, mm -hmm. figuratively. 
and he he's really quick with his hand. He's very dexterous. He maybe he plans things ahead, or he knows to expect certain things. He makes the best of a bad situation. This guy's like a ninja, and ninja, and and he somehow doesn't kill her here. Um, there, there's all the kinds of a, a tiny little, little tiny little sliver of, of like, oh, that that was cool, and then it's gone. And, <laughs> um, she manages to machete. open the case, grab the vials, and close the case. Uh, in that time, she's like, damn, I have to running over to it. It's like how and, good that case and, is. It just took the fucking sword swing. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's that. Maybe that was one of the numbers from earlier. It was like its resistance to machete uh, strikes was like eighty something well, percent, or each corner had like a thirty something percent. So it it was like it was really, really, really resistant to you know. Um, the way that this is edited reminds me of if um. Our POV is rags running up to my room. He's going to kick open the door and shoot me. So he, he runs up there. He lifts his leg to kick. It cuts over to me, and I'm typing on my phone for ages. And then, like, five seconds later, the door bursts open, and he's there. And they want us to believe that was consecutive. Like, it wasn't the same. Like, um, the, the, the yeah, him what going happened to kick. Between yeah. me raising, was I just standing there, aiming for the right place with my door raised, like crane style, in front of the door? Yeah, because like he goes up, cuts, and comes down, and he's already up by the time that she's like still meters away from the thing. But then we just have a moment where she's dealing with all of it, and then we cut back to him. He's he taking just, like, ages. Walks away from her. How can his? How can her threat level be that high? And he just <laughs> starts know. ignoring her. I thought her threat level was really high. If someone came into my house yeah. and the, my my computer said, "Oh, threat detected level eighty six percent," I'm like, "Oh my god!" I have to <laughs> grab the gun. <laughs> yeah, eighty eight percent is like it's a pretty even fight, but you'll probably win. Well, like, and, you know, and, and not, only, not only that, but like the person just pulls out a, a machete. How many times was she lying on her back, recovering or defenseless? Machete stab done. The, like, um, well, yeah, you see how fast he was when he was cutting himself off that wire, which yeah. I guess you could just slice through a wire, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> yes. Um, and 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 you can see how quick he was then. And then in other places, when there's these big open windows where he can strike, he just doesn't do it. Makes you wonder what he was what was he up to. It's like a really overpowered uh, uh, mob monster from a video game with just the worst AI possible, <laughs> getting stuck on walls and just like walking away or. You know, must have been the wind, it, you know. <laughs> it reminds me of in like a video game where uh like if if you're really bad at a video game and you're playing as a character who's like a fighter, you can press a button and the button does this really complex flashy finishing move. But when you're not doing that finishing move or that that uh, that that special strike series of attacks that's basically automated, you're just running around like an idiot because you're a bad video game player and you don't know like what to do so you bump into walls and you attack midair for no reason it's kind of like that large swaths of incredible incompetence that have these tiny little slivers of extremely choreographed like pre-scripted um super attacks that you'll do yeah it's really just the worst tactics imaginable <clears throat> considering the power level culminating in a kick, I think it's a kick to Black uh, Widow. Yeah. That um, yeah. <laughs> fucking sends her flying back first into her own truck and then bouncing off it into the water. Which again, she is not How? Cap. He's not <laughs> Thor. Dead. He's not Dead. Iron Man. Dead. Also, again, strong as this guy. Very, very strong. Which they never explain, by the way. There's no. Like no. That. Taskmaster shouldn't have any bonus strength. Where does that come from? Yeah. Huh? How are you that strong? That's like you have to be a super soldier to do that. Yeah, it's like they it's just... like they forgot everybody wasn't Captain America. Like everybody's strength level seems to be pretty much Captain America. Yeah. One of the things that not. made him special. Apparently everyone <laughs> yeah. is special in the He had the but the, like you have to appreciate this. She arced and went forward by what looked to be about five meters. Do you understand the force mm -hmm. he had to hit her with to make that happen? Yeah, That's so a... it's not only the force to, like, where the kick was that would destroy everything that's in that region of your body, but also breaking your spine on the back of that car and also hitting the water. Like, you're gonna drown and cough up your own guts as you die at the bottom of the water. <laughs> like, she's, looking, she's looking really good at the explosion, too. 
<laughs> yeah. ignoring ignoring the impact the whiplash alone would be like hitting a hitting uh like being in a car accident like 40 50 miles an hour that's the yeah, face of your feet right away yeah <laughs> the face your, your body all just all of a sudden <laughs> shooting back like that Oof. yeah yeah the force is 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 the really whiplash and the yeah. dude yeah out she goes um and taskmaster realizes that she still has the vials and he just doesn't chase yeah, he just goes home. <laughs> like, oh. oh, yeah, she, yeah, the, she's just gone now. Even though, no, she's in the river. Dude, you can probably see her with that mega well, visor of yours. And look at so that fall, good. by the way. That's yeah, not a small a fall. Man. Pretty significant fall. It's, uh... That's a that's a dead fall right there. She, dead. Well, well, she's it's already three died. Deaths in one fight. Yeah, she's good died though. twice already. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, no, you could jump off bridges that high. I'm not in her position after having her broken it back. She's no. drowning. There's she no way about it. Into it. She didn't go like straight down into the emergency drop. She just Lumped. hit the water flat. That's yeah, like which which stories. people will know from jumping in pools. If you go flat, even from a couple of meters, it'll slap you, and you'll be like, ah, my belly. Yeah, <laughs> my belly. <laughs> also, did he here. kick the shield? He did. He did kick the shield. Um, oh yeah, it wasn't. I, that's so, not why. That's a, the problem. The force of that yeah, pushes it, her back into the car, back first. Yeah, like she's holding the shield in front of her, and so I don't know what's going on with her arms right now. Uh, in terms of she holds the shield up, and all of a sudden he oh, does this dude. kick flip, and it just uh, it doesn't make any sense, and it shows that she's she's got. I would say this. I think I would say that this one has the. Do, does this have more plot armor than Winter Soldier? I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's think close. It yeah. I know it's close, I but it's when, close. You con when you consider the third act, I think it beats Winter Soldier. I think the third act is what. Yeah, the fact that, like, Yelena blows up a thing, like, right in front of her and that doesn't kill her, and then Black Widow free falls and catches her, and then fights Taskmaster, and then manages to grab onto Taskmaster and deploy the parachute when she would have died. It's like, yeah, that's, uh. That's some, especially considering she's a normal human. She's not like Captain America or to Iron Man in a suit, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, the plot armor, and, and this is plot armor. This is hyper plot armor right here. Yeah, so significant. Like five times over. Because for me, the big plot armor thing is is the, um, when when, when the helicopter's just hovering there, and the guy oh, shooting well, at it with 50 cal. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that's the thing. For, for anybody, this is the, for anybody saying it's an easy choice out of either of them, I'd be like, you have to remember mm -hmm. how remember. much is in both. Um, Winter so anyway. Soldier has insane plot armor, but I think this one edges it out. Um, dare I say that's it for Act 1? Because the way this film split, uh, um. like, we we're kind of done with the intro for everything now, and then we get the one piece of connecting tissue yeah. that lines us up with meeting Yelena, and this is a huge yeah, problem our, again. Yeah, um, intro to our villain, sort of. Um, we have, yeah, the backstory sort of taken care of. We have the vials and their importance established. Uh, yeah. So, you're Natasha, okay? You received the vials, you have no context for what the fuck they're about, but attached to them is a picture of yourself when you were young with Yelena. Which they let you keep. For I some, guess they well, let you keep that picture? Funnily enough, the timeline for that is she grabs it in the house, she, or, no, she grabbed it from the car. It was in the, um, the windscreen, sorry, sunscreen thing? So, what are they yeah. called? Yeah. Um, it's the, yeah it's she pulls thing. that down and grabs it from there. She then gave it to Yelena in the opening credits, when they're both screaming and being torn away, she gives her that. Yelena managed to hang on to that for like 20 years as a Black Widow. How the fuck? Mm. Yeah, they'd be strip searched so many times. You wouldn't be allowed to keep time. any personal items, there's no way. They're, they're like horrible, crazy, do not have any attachments people. Why the fuck would they let you keep pictures of you and your loved ones? That's not a thing. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, also, also like, uh, she was under mind control, uh, like, chemical-based mind control for how many years? She would a never... Long time. Yeah, she would never even... That wouldn't even register to her to, to, to keep that. Yeah, but she did. And Natasha sees yeah. it. And so, like... If we're being completely like, just so generous, be like, as a as a writer, what does she do with that? I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she could draw from that image. I, I don't know why that takes it. And most reviews of this, and this is not the fault of anybody, I, I think in particular, because you're just sort of watching a film. Like, so she heads to Budapest to find Yelena, and you're like, stop. 
Oh, so, what, why? Oh. Why did you go to <laughs> <Why>? Budapest? <laughs> yeah, why, why have you... And we, we find that the reasoning is Natasha thinks Yelena will be in the Budapest safe house because she just thinks that that's the case. Why wouldn't she just give it to her? Like, with her hands. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess, yeah, because we're about to get into all of that, I imagine. Um, because, yeah, if you're... Just give it to her. Just say, hey, don't shoot me. I have these vials, and here's what they do. We should mail one to Tony Stark. <laughs> using should FedEx. should these into a lab and make these into a, you know, mass-produced vaccine for the mind yeah. control stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these will stop the army of evil assassins that will destroy the world we should do something also we're both like pointing guns at each other i don't know i feel like if you rounded a corner and there was someone pointing a gun at you you might you just, just instinctively shoot. pull the trigger yeah. yeah like that's what i do it's like oh shit someone's just... pointing a gun at me the person who pulls the trigger first wins that better be me just look mm. how close they get to each other and the both of the barrels are just looking at each other. We're like, already what, what is happening? What are you doing? Too, too far forward for me right now. I know. <laughs> it's just such a terrible thing. There's movie. so much wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, she drew from the photo being attached that Yelena sent them to her, which I already think is a jump. It's like, yes. Uh, okay. She drew from nothing that Yelena is probably in the Budapest safe house. And by the way, for anybody thinking like, well, isn't it because of the she? That's where um, the handler said the message was sent. Like the handler said, it was just a secret agent that moved a piece of mail on, not that they sent it. Mm -hmm. Um. So going to the Budapest safe house is a oh, huge wow. gamble. I have no idea why she thinks this is the most likely thing, but she was right. Um. And we kind of just have to mention she goes through all kinds of public travel. Yes. Natasha Romanoff. So here's yeah. the fucking yeah. world famous. Here's the, here's the stupid thing. They tease that she's that she's going to dye her hair because we see her getting hair dye. And I was like, oh, smart. At least change a anything about you so you're That's not getting start, recognized. Yeah. And Changing then, hair color, that'll fool a lot of people. It, I mean, considering, you know. Yeah, I was like, oh, neat. Because I was thinking about that when she got like the, the passport. I was like, That's not going to be enough. You need to change your appearance somehow. Well, the part that gets really awkward is... Is there any reason to believe that she doesn't have access to the super duper mask? Like, why? If she's got access to mask? that handler, because who those are can... only around when the plot needs them to exist. Well, yeah, because yeah, yeah, that's, so that's the problem. Is like the reality is that she would get one of those. That would be the smart thing to do. But absolutely, but she does. And you can <laughs> you can have fun with it. You can have a person we don't have any clue who they are, and they're talking. You know, they ambush Yelena. And then Yelena's like able to recognize from the way that they did it who it is, and yeah. then we as an audience are like, oh, oh, and then she takes That's the mask clever. off, and you're like, oh, yeah. okay, just That'd something of a reveal. But no, they're just like, nah, she went through all the public travel looking like her. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's like in the middle okay. of Budapest, the place and that, where it's known that's about to get history. that's about to get much much worse with whole being in public over the oh, course of the, the movie. movie. Yeah. Yes, uh, um, I was. I was yelling at my screen when the was, I was like, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I've heard the guy people... next was like, oh my god, it's, it's Black Widow from the Avengers. Oh my it, god, uh, you're here. I need to... you it? Oh my I should... god, should I be talking yeah. to you? Oh, that's one scene that's in particular that's like really infuriating, but I think I was going to wait until we get there just for the visual of it. Um, one oh. thing I'm going to jump ahead for is why is Yelena in this safe house? And she says her mm. reasoning is, I expected you would never come here. <laughs> That's, I mean, so, that's, mm -hmm. that's not like them two the, meeting, yeah. which is integral to everything, happened because one of them assumed that they'd be there and the other one assumed they wouldn't be there to avoid them. Yeah, the, the whole reason like Yelena, or Yelena's reaction is ridiculous here. She's like, she sent exactly she sent the, the red vials to Natasha. And then here. Like, you brought them. You brought them back to me. It's like, <laughs> dude, what do you expect? You, you they're in the note building with, with no you. context. <laughs> like they're here. Yeah. Like um, why? I don't know why they're in the safe spot. If you want, so if 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 Black Widow's coming, like you're you you're Yelena, right? And you're an idiot, and you know that Black Widow is coming to talk to you or whatever. And Black Widow doesn't know what's going on, and they, she has the picture and everything. And the, the last thing you need to be doing is to have her around the corner and you're pointing a gun at her to confirm her suspicion that this is some kind of a trap or that you're trying to you know be mean to her. What you need to be doing is you need to be calmly sitting on a coffee table saying, hi there, you can trust me. 
let me explain what's going on to you. Not, I'm pointing a gun at you. This is like three times that happens in the movie where somebody invites somebody. In this case, Yelena invites uh, Natasha, essentially, to come meet with her. Uh, later on, they risk their lives to save their quote-unquote dad. And then later on, they meet their quote-unquote mom. And each time they're like, we just went through, you know, 500 miles of travel and or life and death situations to meet you. I hate you. <laughs> it's just like such a weird <laughs> reaction. <laughs> like Yelena invites Natasha over and then immediately tries to kill her. It's just like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> I think it'll um it'll be worth showing this. And then if, if Rags can just give his commentary, he's going to know very well how valid this is. It's a, uh, it's a form of gun carter, I'm the, sure. The thing... Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play it here for the audience. Ah, oh, this. <laughs> so, <laughs> their fingers aren't even on the triggers. <laughs> their finger, yeah. So their fingers aren't even on the trigger, which is gen generally we have the opposite problem uh, yeah. <laughs> in films and video games where people keep their fingers on the trigger while they're vaulting over obstacles and running and rolling around and things like that, which is how you get accidental discharges. Because your finger's on the fucking trigger. And now, I'm like, oh, so you, you don't want to shoot each other? <laughs> the, the one I time don't... they have trigger discipline, they shouldn't have. <laughs> and and I don't get this whole, um, like, um, this this whole we're going to grab each other's guns thing. Like, that's really dumb. Yeah, I think the one I, they want I us don't... to think is, like, it was a really cool move to disarm your opponent. But they did it to each other at the same time, so all they really did was switch the guns. Da, da, da. You're like, oh. Why are you not like holding onto your gun tightly? Yeah, well, Isn't they were reaching the for another one, and, and they just they, it, it was really cool. Why are you nitpicking? It's just it's really dumb. That was so stupid. Um, the uh, right, so, correct me. It's not a weird way that she's hand, uh, Yelena's handling the gun with her left yeah, hand. Yeah, I noticed that too with her fingers up really high along the side of the slide. That's really weird. I don't do that with any of mine. I, I just, that's not something I see people do. Couldn't that because that your... slide, you know, when you shoot it, it, it flies back, and you know, if, if your fingers along the side of it, it could, you know, just just a weird way to that is a really well, you're right. So I've oh. never seen that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The slide could hit your finger, and also, uh, isn't the left side where the show? My God, how awkward it is! I'm trying to simulate no, it myself. It'll, it'll come out the right generally, the right but side, okay. it's just the fact that your thumb is against the slide. It's it's really weird. It's a very bizarre it, grip. It, it, two thumbs are lined up together like that. Yeah, yeah. So and weird. I noticed that both of them, both of them are kind of doing the thing because I can't see Black Widow's uh, her left thumb, but where you're holding, so you have. Like where, like I don't like I hold the bottom. So with my right hand, because I'm right-handed, I'm a righty. I hold mine normally with my right hand, pretty much the way there is to do it. And my my left hand is on the bottom of the grip. It's not in front of the. I don't. Know, maybe that's a preference thing, but I've never done that. It's just kind of. Well, you can still there. fire the gun. That's what's important, right? Yeah, yeah, but what what. She has to have her thumb like into the gun. Like, why would your left thumb be curled over your right thumb or along your right thumb so that you could put your thumb against the slide? Because if because if you shoot it, you're gonna be like, oh shit, that metal just slid along my thumb, which probably isn't gonna hurt right. you, but it's gonna be really weird. You should have your thumb right under the slide for better recoil control. Under the slide, all of your hands should be under the nothing. No part of your hand should be above the slide in any way. So yeah, maybe it, yeah, well, also, like it comes across as weird to, the, to me, but I don't know enough about guns to be sure. Yeah, yeah your, your reaction know. to the slide, uh, the slide very very rapidly rubbing against your finger might also adjust your aim too. You might like have a like a reaction. Um, yeah, no, that'll be after the shot but it, it's it's weird i've never seen anyone hold a gun like that um, no it, it's super nitpicky sure but it's just weird to see and yeah and it's, it's interesting to look at anyway costumes. because this is stuff that might be overlooked or it might be something you could learn from you know <laughs> um but we were just talking about plot armor earlier now i'm gonna try and go through this selection and show yelena grabs natasha and she does this slam slam now that 
for a normal person, is already like, fucking ow. Mm -hmm. Okay? Stop it. We, we've already established that these characters are insanely resilient to all forms of damage. Um, and so this is the thing, because there's people who haven't seen this movie, so this will be funny. So then, Yelena grabs a plate, smashes it across Natasha's face, and then... <laughs> That's gonna you up. I want to show them in... Check this out, chat. Watch this move. Oh, that would hurt. It so, would. Ow. You know, right? And uh, how do you throw her like that? That's insane. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ow! So, that's like a literal yeet right there. Just yeeted. Yeah. Like, how did you generate <laughs> enough shit. force to throw this woman who's your size? Like, whoa! You did it with wires. Oh wait, no, sorry, that yeah, doesn't exist in, in your world. Like, and now so, they're like pulling out so knives quick. and shit. Like, what are you doing? Why do you not? Why, Yelena? What do you do? Why are you trying to kill her? What the well, fuck is happening well, so, here? Well, so this is the thing. After you, all you've seen, look at that move right there. She's trying. She is attempting to dig that knife into Natasha's neck. So she's why? trying to kill her. Um, yeah. yeah. And now, now I can imagine people be like, "What the, the EFAP, What is happening in this scene?" It's like, well, let me tell you. Natasha <laughs> arrived. And um, she was like, what, what, what you doing being sneaky out there, like Yelena? And then Natasha was like, well, not sure that I trust you. And then Yelena was like, not sure I trust you either. Which is a huge sticking point for me because you sent her all the fucking vials. Uh, yeah. Which fucking pisses me off yeah, to no you end. You clearly trust her a lot. You have an incredible amount of trust in, in her. And now you're like, You trust well, her more than anyone else in the world. Um, you'd be like, so well, what happened? Did they get into like a big fight? How did the fight start? And it's like, well, you saw it. They walked right up to each other with their guns aimed. Then they swapped their guns. And then she started bashing her into walls and stabbing her. I have no clue why they've <laughs> escalated to killing each other. Yeah, they just, mm. instead of Yelena just putting her gun up or away or just to the side or dropping it <laughs> and saying, I, I sent you those vials for a reason. I trust you. <laughs> There's so much that you don't. <laughs> there's so there's so much that you don't know that we have to explain. No, they try to kill each other because we need a fight scene. Yeah, I was just completely lost in the scene. I'm like, what? What is your motivation for inviting somebody if you just try to kill them? Like, you're obviously meant it as a friendly invitation because you give them the most important vials to the plot and like you're your sister or whatever. But like, Jesus Christ. Uh so weird um but yeah this is <laughs> let's turn it around that's even better <laughs> oh, Lord. oh no uh, oh no the that looks like some really there. Oh, that's like some awful uh, <laughs> nintendo 64 face yeah yeah, yeah. we don't it's have like gold, polygons gold to support the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, i think i could make out you know the face, kind of. It's like it literally. If you ever looked at the like skins for like GoldenEye models and N64, it looks just like that. Yeah. It looks like the face is like getting squished. Oh, my out beautiful course, mother. This is like <laughs> dude. Looks like a like a background soon. character in a comic book who doesn't have to be really well defined or anything. <laughs> oh my yeah. yeah. Oh, this would so, be like, the kind of thing the you'd see in the Gotham High comic book. Yeah. Would yeah. Absolutely. No, 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 no. This is too proportional. That would never be in the Gotham <laughs> High comic. <laughs> Uh, I <laughs> because you could call him handsome woman. Handsome woman. Handsome woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, all right, there's... I'm gonna pee real quick. So mm -hmm. that's, that was fun. We have fun. We have a good time. Yeah. This is one. We already had proof that Yelena was definitely trying to kill her, but there's this one bit here where she goes to. She is pushing that knife. With a strong intention to absolutely oh, yeah. fuck up Natasha. <laughs> yeah, look at that face. That it's is going like right. Hey, she is desperate to end her life. Yeah, it's not like a hey sis, how's it going? It's more like oh, fucking end you. <laughs> um, you're just pretty nuts. And so you're just like, wow, how is this going to end? It's like, well, uh, Natasha says truce, and then they have a they have a chat. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think I, 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 in my notes I just wrote, I'm confused about this truce and fight. <laughs> it's all nuts. Um, and Natasha sustains an insane amount of damage, but I, I do think we're at the point where you'd have one of the writers or the director or fucking, what's his name, Feige, be like, oh, okay, so Cap can take damage, but Natasha can't. Thank you. Yes. You're showing yes. your bias there. No. 
And it, well, I'd be like, I am biased well, towards I, Super Soldiers, you're right. <laughs> Well, no, I guess my response would be, well, I would expect that Captain Marvel would probably be doing all right in this situation. Not too hurt. Uh, I, yeah. don't, I don't know that Yelena could do anything to Captain Marvel. Well, I guess that's what I'm saying, is just any response like that, it's like, no, I wouldn't apply this to like Wonder Woman or something. But uh, Yelena, she's just like a normal person. Um, Not a normal person. But yeah, this, this to me felt like... Oh shit, we haven't had an action scene in two seconds. Better get one in there. Like, yeah, why? I was about to say that. Yeah. I was about to say that. It's like there's like a counter uh, on the, you know, uh, peripheral vision of every single character. It's like, oh no, we've not had a fight scene for five minutes. Uh, gotta kill you. <laughs> uh, get the twitches. I'm going to with drive. Well, it's, it's, it's funny because we already get uh, about a minute of exposition and then another action scene starts. Yeah. Um, yeah. And this exposition, by the way, catastrophic <laughs> again. Shows how much they give a shit about the story. We're like, yeah, this uh, explanation. Oh, no, a fight scene. I can't believe this is happening. I've seen this action <laughs> scene. I, I, and, yes, I, I watched Ong Bak yesterday. I don't know if people are aware of this. It's pretty oh, like old. Movie, yeah, yeah okay. that, that has... I watched those, those, those fight scenes. I was like, man... I can see what's happening. It looks like they're actually fucking hitting e each other, which they probably did because back yeah. then, especially like Thai and Korean movies, like they have like actual fighters that can they do that shit. Probably gave a shit about the martial arts in their martial arts movies. Yes. So the, yeah. the camera is in one place mostly. Or like yeah, mostly, but you can see when actual moves happen. There's like, oh, I was like, I know what's happening. I can understand what just happened. He kicked him. Yeah, right his there. arm did the thing, and he blocked it with his thing, and then he kicked with his leg, and then now they're like, I'm following. I, 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 <laughs> I understand what is happening. Yeah, uh, Tony Ja or, or Tony happens. Ya. I actually don't know how to pronounce his name properly. Uh, <laughs> Tony Yavol. <laughs> he is. He's insane. And I think, and I saw he's in the new Monster Hunter movie, which made me laugh. We still we, gotta see it. Still to yes. see it, but I was like, oh, this is where I'm going to see him next. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah, no, he's great in that. Uh, like the scene where they they jump through the uh, the actual barbed wire, like yeah, yeah. hanging barbed wire. I was like, man, that's nuts. Yeah, I think that this is what would put him on the scene. I think that movie. Yeah, because he's good. That yeah, was. Uh, I saw some featurette featurettes as well where they do the stunts and they have like those. They have like actual fighters and they have like little protective vests under their their costumes. And they they kick the shit out of each other. It's like, oh, there's, holy the, shit. there's some hard contact to the head. And yeah, stuff like, like that, you man. fucked him up. He's got a vest yeah. on. You <laughs> fuck him yeah. up. Yeah, especially when you fun. see those those weird flippy ones. Like he does like a front flip and then kicks him with like his two feet. And you feel like, nah, he didn't really hit them there. And then you see like a featurette, a scene where he kicks like a kick pad like this, and the guy who's holding it is like going back, and you hear like a. I was like, oh fuck, I don't want to get hit with this. <laughs> Good for yeah. the film. Do it for the film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, really impressive and just really nice to look at. Good action. Story is terrible, yeah. but <laughs> of course, of course. But um, but yeah, yeah, the action sure. is absolute ass in this entire movie. But uh, you know, at least sometimes yeah, I can all understand. Stuff. It's a trend. It's like with the with the the stories are terrible, the characters are terrible, Ooh. and the action is terrible. The recent one being Loki versus Sylvie as well. It has the same mm -hmm. problem of. Why are you even fighting? Like, I don't even know. I'm just watching a fight scene because I have to, I guess. Ah, uh, motivated and fight scenes and then fight scenes that are well filmed. I miss both of you. <laughs> yeah. And Whatever probably, happened. Yeah. And it was considered one of the one of the lesser Marvel films. Iron Man 2 was the first appearance we saw of Black Widow. I recommend going through about halfway through that video I posted where it shows her first, like, kickassery. And those... Uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't call them perfect, but the choreography was really intense, like snappy editing. She's like flipping, knocking guys over, you know, hanging them up from the ceiling, like doing all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff. And uh, meanwhile, like Happy is struggling with one dude, which is pretty funny. But uh, like the, the comparison, I mean, I, I hate I really hate to mention this, but like I just think this movie might have been done just five, eight years too late because... I it's 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 a hard truth, but I mean Iron Man two was eleven years ago. I mean she's, uh, I, I don't mean to get you know too personal, but like she's been through two divorces. She's had a kid, you know. I I I don't blame her for not being quite as uh you know, uh springy and and lively as she was back in you know twenty ten. So like it's just it's just been a while since she's played this role. So I don't understand if she isn't able to uh, completely do the same flips and. And gymnastics that she was able to do. I don't know. She really. Looks I mean, like a she's lot of it. Shape. 
and yeah. also a lot of it is stunts. Like yeah, you yeah. always get a stunt I'm person. Pretty, this is well, I mean, choreography is just shit anyway. Same, she's worked with the same yeah. stunt person for I think the whole MCU, and she seems quite good at what she does. The problem is that like the choreography itself is not. Yeah, I would gun for the the filmmaking good. rather than anything to do with Scarlett Johansson. And that at she's this point. old. Yeah, um, she's not old anyway. She's like what thirty five. But uh, I am looking at these, and I think they, uh, unless they uh, transplanted her face on there, I think she does like 99% of the fighting. Well, n at this stage, visual effects is like really at the point where and they might actually have the transplant the face. No, it, it is literally that is a thing that is done a lot in uh, action movies now, where you just have the stunt double, but they have some dots on their face, and then you just transplant the face of the actor. From... That's they've done it for years. Well, one of the times I found out that it was a thing they were doing was uh, Count Dooku in. Revenge of the Sith. Uh, when and that, was, yeah, was... that was in 2002. Yeah, they try and... Like, if you pause, you can totally tell, but they're trying to CGI Chris Philly's face on top yeah. of the stunt guy. Um, which, I mean, you know, like... It, it's good and it's, it's not that bad. Like, when you when you watch the thing, you can be convinced that Chris Philly's doing at least a mm -hmm. decent amount of some of the... Obviously, the close-up ones, but... Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, obviously, as you said, that's like, what, nearly 20 years ago? Um, just being so in chat, 35 is not old. I agree. 35 is not old. Stop this idea old. that when yeah. you're like when you get to your 30s, you're like an old person. You're not old till you're like 60. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I, I, mean I, I, I'm yeah. I'm 36, so I mean, I can I can relate. But at oh the my same god, time... you're old! Wow, man, you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but, uh, goodness. But I, I, the one thing that kind of uh, really kind of amazed me. I mean, obviously, Scarlett Johansson is nowhere near this in terms of uh, physical peak quality, but. I remember uh what's the famous runner um uh usain bolt was like um starting to get a little bit a little bit slower in his runs and he like he, he still won but he like he, he didn't quite get the the record he was looking for and he was like oh yeah my age you know age might have been a factor or something so he's like 26. so like even even past your like prime 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 years you know things start to slow down you know joints don't quite aren't quite the same and stuff like that and i don't think that's an uh really the the reason necessarily but i'd say choreography and stuff and just not having an action director like the this director uh, of this movie was has done nothing but well, everybody who had any say so. in making these action scenes all sucked like uh, no, nobody yeah, really gave suck. a shit these um, are shit yeah because we watched uh, Extraction not long ago. The action in that is fucking phenomenal compared to this. And oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they actually they clearly I would argue cared a lot. Yeah, and it's a matter of cues and, and effort and time. Like, the idea is, like, well, Chris Hemsworth is in a, the peak of his lifetime. That's why they were able to do it. I'd be like, no, no, it's, it, they could have a lot of people doing what he was doing. You just have to get every, directors every move. Yeah, and the get every move in. right at the right time. Like, this is when you yeah. punch, this is when you grab, this is when you move this, this is when you that stab. choreography, that's not, yep. yeah, that's not physicality. And, um, yeah, and they don't have any of that in this. Image. They're just doing things. Uh, so, of course, we yeah. get a lot of exposition. Uh, turns out Yelena sent the vials to Natasha in the hopes that Natasha would give it to Tony Stark, in the hopes that Tony Stark would analyze it and discover the location of the Red Room and send Cap to destroy it. Can yeah, you think like, of 7,000 oh, so problems um, with this line of logic? <laughs> Actually, uh, one moment. Someone sent me a message and said, "Did you guys already talk about uh, that the movie or parts of the movies are at least five years old because they have the old Nokia Windows phones and the Surface Pro 2? I... That's probably just the that's probably just the prop department thing to make it had... fit within the timeline. Yeah, they said it's product placement. Um, I but mean, I was, I don't know. I was... Well, I, I, uh, depending on when they're using these things, couldn't it be argued that they're using, like, burner versions of phones and they're just using, like, shitty attack, potentially? Yeah, I, I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's, like, a in, in, like, a film problem. It's just, like, a, hey, this movie is, there yeah, the movie is movie old. that I guess was filmed years and years ago. So what was, so they had the product placement that was cutting edge at one time, and now it's not anymore, and now it's five years old. No, I think he's saying that the movie is set, like, five years in the past, so are they using future tech that didn't exist at that point in time, like, products that didn't exist? Is that the point oh, I he's thought, making? I thought they were saying that the phones were older than... I, I don't know anymore. I, I, no, I think it was that because the... because the this film... No, this uh, film was... was shot in 2019. It wasn't shot in 20... If he's saying five years ago, he means it was set in a... In, in 2016, which it is. Um, yeah. So the film is set five years in the past. Oh, the way, using the way he says it, 
it made it was led me to believe that the scenes themselves, again. like they filmed the movie, parts of it were filmed five years ago. No, they weren't. No. No, that that they they absolutely looked weren't. No. Yeah. No, well, this is definitely. They exactly, they, they would have October been, 2018. because they were going to put scenes from, uh, bonus scenes from Civil War in this at first, but they decided but to cut them. I didn't, yeah. Maybe yeah, there's a mix-up no, in there somewhere, I don't know. I don't think I don't either know. argument works Can because... Can you read the, the first, what they said again? Could you just read it out again? Uh, did you guys already talk about that the movie, or parts of the movie, are at least five years old because they have the old Nokia Windows phones and the Surface Pro 2? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what... Like, I think that's sure what point is being made. Yeah, yeah, if it's the point that the movie sucks because it's old, that's dumb because no, Iron Man didn't. Two had better fight that's scenes. That's not the point. And, and uh, if if the movie, it uh, the movie did wrap in 2019, October 6, 2019, um, according to internet. Uh, but also, uh, I think that if if there are old phones and stuff like that, that could just be clever uh, yeah. prop department and just saying like, hell, okay, this is set in 2016. Let's use 2016 technology. Yeah, why? Like sorry, why did you say it. it's if his point is it sucks because it's old? Why would anyone make that point? <laughs> <I don't laughs> no. <know. laughs> anyway, right? So what I just said, that through line, um, it breaks in like eight different ways. Yelena's supposed to have sent the vials to Natasha to send it to Tony. She didn't just send a vial to Tony. Like, mm. Okay. She did not send instructions with the vials, even though there's no reason not to. She instead sent a picture to hopefully, and this is the best interpretation I have, she doesn't say this, to hopefully give the impression to Natasha that the vials relate to Black Widows and freeing them. That's Instead all. of just writing a note that yeah. says, these are mind control vials for Black Widows. Because Black Widow says, why did you send me this? And she puts, deliberately picks up the picture and puts it down on the table. I think she's referring to that, not the vials. And it's not answered. She All she says in response is, you brought them here? Yeah, like, so we just yeah. ignore that. We just question ignore that because <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. Brought them is like, aren't they here? What do you mean? Yeah, what? Like, where where did she pick up the? So she picked up the vials in Budapest. Where is where is Yelena right now? So Yelena picked them up in Morocco. She sent them to uh, Nat through whoever was in Budapest. Apparently, then she went to Budapest. Yeah. And then Natasha came back to, or came to Budapest looking for her. So both the vials, so where, where is the location difference between where the vials were delivered and where Yelena is here? So if Yelena was in Morocco and sent them to the safe house to be sent to Natasha, and then she finds out when she goes to the safe house that Natasha has come back to the safe house with the vials, she would be accurate in saying, you brought them back, technically. Yeah. Somewhat. Oh my God. You you're right. So she sent him to Budapest, possibly not even knowing that it would end up being sent. Uh, to well, apparently Norway. they were care of Natasha, yes. so that well, was her goal. I guess that's interesting. She sent them to Budapest, then went to Budapest. Why not just like? Take yeah, the that's what I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. Here. Like maybe I'm confused because it seems to me, like I I have this idea in my mind that she sent them to a place that she went. She ended up going there. Yeah, afterward. I yeah, guess. So. I don't, and then, I don't understand and then, why would... And then she was mad that, that they were in Budapest be, after she sent them to Budapest. <laughs> well, they were moved from Budapest to Norway, and then they came but back from Norway back to... She doesn't know that. But, well, she yeah, knew she it would have that. left, presumably because she went to the safe house, she would have known it yeah. was moved out of that safe house to Natasha. Wherever Natasha is, and then Natasha brought them back. It's um, it's not important compared to what she should be asking. Yes. Um. It's almost a distraction to the audience because Natasha asked a question that could easily point out how stupid Yelena is, but then we don't get an answer to it. So it's like, eh, never mind. Um, really hard to follow. Um, she hoped that from Tony analyzing them, that he could find the location of the Red Room. That makes no sense. What? Uh, Yelena says that the Red Room is really hard to find because even the people who work there are sedated when they enter and leave. Like, they before they enter and then after they leave, as they leave, they, they don't know where it is. So how would having a vial tell you where the Red Room is? She said, I was expecting when watching the news to find out one day that Captain America destroyed the Red Room. How? <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a yeah, how old stretch. 
Uh, and why not work with the Avengers? Why not uh, put yourself in and be like, hey, I'm an ex-Black Widow, I breached the system, I've got all these vials, this can help you, I've got loads of information, I can help you, Drakov is a real thing, mind control is a real thing, la la la. Instead, I'm going to send the vials to someone I don't even trust to try and get it to someone else who can f derive a location IRL out of the vials without even knowing what they do. Like, Somebody I don't trust whom is currently on the run from the government. That I tried to kill the second she entered my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, okay. Was she, yeah, because that's the question. What was she going to do when she killed, like, if she succeeded in killing Nat, now what? Like, was that just the end of the story? I guess so. So if they confirm that they were sedated before entering and leaving the Red Room, then that makes the Micro Crisp uh, thing completely impossible. She'd have no idea where that was. Or even that it, the tracker existed. Right? Um, we're supposed to believe that they just, they're aware of those trackers, or the, the chips, they just... But wouldn't they, wouldn't they be implanted in the Red Room, though, so they'd have no idea You'd that they think that they shouldn't be aware of them, <laughs> but the film is telling us they are aware of them. Okay. That's all we can do. Um, well, well, uh, the actress, uh, what's her name, uh, Pew, she's, she's British, so maybe she has, like, a micro-crisp de detection they genetically implanted into her because she's British. I don't know why being British would mean that, but I understand yeah. that that is a possibility. Because you can detect crisps, you know? I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch, but I mean, this movie isn't alien to those at this point. Um, so they decide, well, they don't even get to finish their conversation. Um, she explains all of that, and then they're like, kind of mad at each other. And then, uh, I guess I'll show chat this, we get another Aquaman moment. Uh, she says, what about Drakov's daughter, which is the, obviously, the, the sp spooky secret is that um, Natasha kills Drakov's daughter in order to kill Drakov, it's her, the, the red in her ledger, or at least part of it. And so she says, what about her? And then there's like a, a freeze, and we're like, oh no. But then, suddenly action scene. <laughs> and this song. Um... <laughs> It's so annoying because this movie, you like, you play a couple of seconds. It's like, right now, let's talk about the seven things that just went wrong. <laughs> yeah, this could have uh. easily been fixed by just showing like ten seconds of surveillance footage. Somebody's watching them. Just, just imply that something somehow this was a plan. Was this all planned or something? Because <laughs> otherwise, these things just happen to be incredibly coincidental. It's really bad. So I guess their plan here to get. Elena, Yelena and Natasha, right? Is to blow a hole in the <laughs> ceiling. Mm -hmm. Instead of just shooting them through the window or just waiting until they walk out the door and shooting them immediately, their plan is to blow a hole in the ceiling and then walk in with machine guns and try and shoot them. I guess that. Yep. I, I I guess my bar is a little higher for the supposed greatest assassins in the world that can totally disrupt all of the world economy and governments and everything. Maybe I just feel like they should be doing better than this. Who's better? Too better. <laughs> yeah. So if you've got their location, you know they're incredibly dangerous. You just wait until they they leave and you shoot them down. They're all, yeah. by the way, standing outside, covering the exits in case they they go outside so it's like so they're already willing to do that um there's a lot of disadvantages to blowing yourself through a ceiling including but not limited to your inability to fucking see breathe and you can't distinguish who the good guys from the bad guys are yeah you fucking dust everywhere you created like a smoke bomb effect that gives yep. concealment to the targets bad move like the mob right you know all those mob movies and spy movies where someone's just like they just get gunned down because like the, the 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 people with the guns they're waiting for the others to just walk out of a building and then once they do just boom machine guns you're dead you don't have a chance they're not fucking around that's just what you do that's why the mob does that shit it's just a sudden drive by where you just drive by and you unload a machine gun on them and that's it it's done. That's all it is. It's not this fancy bullshit of we have to set up these explosive charges in the room above where they are and all that. It's so stupid. But the spectacle. Ooh. Someone in chess said maybe they were trying to kill him with asbestos. Kill them fucking <laughs> selves with asbestos. 
It's uh, there's one with an afro in this scene, by the way. It's... <laughs> oh yeah, the hair. They let these super mega assassins keep their afros and shit. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they probably all should be bald if you know if we're really trying to like be efficient. Well, yeah, like that's what it's. It's all of it should be all efficiency. That's why they and nothing cut your else. hair in the military? It's like because people can grab hair. I yeah, almost think doing that when you're fighting. If you guys remember the um there was a a trailer that was the the Afro lady was much clearer and there was like another shot of it. It's much more harder to find her in this scene. And I think that maybe somebody in the editing room was like, This fucking Afro lady is so embarrassing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like she in any group of people, she's just gonna stand out like a sore thumb because of her big fucking profile <laughs> from the Afro. <laughs> like you're supposed to be a deadly assassin and you you're extremely conspicuous. This is so because fucking some, stupid. I just some C CG fog or something over to lessen the impact, maybe. Yeah, well, that's how it feels because you don't get a really good shot of her throughout this whole scene. But <laughs> I just think, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Look at her big fucking head. She's like Batwoman. <laughs> also, like hair is a big, big uh, uh, disadvantage in like any hand-to-hand -hand combat because you just like grab the person's hair. She walks hair in. It's get... like I don't save any woman who doesn't have a uterus. <laughs> So it's such a basic concept too. Like uh, militaries going as back, back as far as the uh, ancient Greeks used to shave their heads to remove any sort of like disadvantage that you might have, or you know, block of vision or anything like that. So like that's like military always got the crew cut because they'd remove that any sort of disadvantage or I inconvenience you'd have when when you're on Toxic. some sort of deadly mission. <laughs> Very weird. Um, and yeah, like, we can't go fucking five seconds without more plot armor, they, uh, they get shot at throughout this whole building, and just everyone misses, of course, because why wouldn't they? They, uh, go to head outside. Immediately devalues By the them. way, walls are not bulletproof, and Deadly Assassin should know that. Oh, they took cover behind that wall? I'm just gonna shoot uh, them the wall. through the wall. Walls yeah. are not Even bulletproof. If you guys have played the classic Modern Warfare 2, you'll know that there are certain... <laughs> Wolf, if you played shoot. Modern Warfare 2, you know that nothing in the universe is bulletproof. Yeah. Except for bushes. You can shoot through a lot of things. <laughs> Except for bushes, that's true. Yeah. Um, mm. That's that's why a lot of uh, people use... That's one of the reasons to use a shotgun for home defense, is that shotguns don't have that much penetration. Now, uh, we've had several... So, Yelena activates some explosions. They like, they're in the lamps, I think, and it's just to distract. And then they manage to beat up and knock out a few of these Black Widows. And then yep. uh, they try and head out, and there's something funny. Oh, fuck, I missed it again. Where are you? Um, what, the point I'm making is there's loads of sound, right? You would have heard screaming, explosions, gunfire, and this operation is specific to um, bringing down these two specifically. And uh, they get to the close to reaching the outside, where, of course, you're going to have Black Widows perched and ready to kill them if they should enter this. Yep. Uh, that's Once they walk doing. outside, bam, yep. dead, okay, done, movie's over. Away. That's what assassins do. They sit and they wait for their target to do exactly what they need to do. But Instead, you have two extremely yep. conspicuously dressed people <laughs> with big guns just standing there in the middle of the fucking street. And they're not even you are the, the right shittiest way. assassins I've ever the seen. Way as well. After yeah, all the noise you would have heard, you're like, eh, that's fine. I'm sure they've got it. Uh, they probably got it under control. Oh, wait, no, look, they don't. Oh, they'll go over there. Um, yeah, and of course they like shoot and they like... miss, because everyone fucking misses. Yeah. Why didn't these assassins- I know we- I'm pretty sure you might have mentioned it earlier, but like, it would have been a lot smarter for them to just wait until they stepped outside the front door and just fucking shoot them in the face. Like, why yeah. would you blow up the hole in the roof <laughs> and give yourself There's away? There's so many things they could have done that are better. Like tossing many yeah. grenades just suddenly into the apartment building. Using mm -hmm. a gas of any kind, waiting obviously waiting for them to come out was just that's what anybody normally would do. Using a gas of any kind would have been pretty smart, yeah, because you just gas and come in with your masks instead of without them and breathing in all that asbestos, yeah. Yeah, it's so frustrating. They have snipers everywhere, people covering everything, and they all shoot at them as they approach these exits, but everyone misses. Everybody, yeah. They're not very good assassins, I guess. No. And, um... Two, two Black Widows on a staircase attacking, and uh, Yelena tosses a grenade at them. That's going to be relevant later. Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about that. Um, well, uh, there's a goal here. I think that 
I think it's fair to, to, to kill these people in self-defense if you have no other option. We will go over that, sure. like I said. Yeah, because if you let them kill you, you can't save any of them. Yeah, of course. Um, so they get to the roof, and there's only one Black Widow chasing them. A Black Widow that has two pistols chasing them. Oh, yeah, but we don't use those. Those well, are just decorative. It's uh, really staggering to watch when you get to the point of... Because when you're all running on the rooftops, I... You're going to have a little bit of like, eh, maybe, maybe she's so focused on trying to keep up with them that she can't pull the pistols out. You're like, eh, maybe, but when you get to the point where they're just awkwardly standing on this pole and she is this far away, yeah, you're, uh, you're pulling those pistols out and you're shooting them. They are sitting ducks, easy shots. And uh, as a reminder, these are mind controlled, uh, completely morality free, you know. Yeah, there's barely any decision making to be done. They just, yeah, you know, this is scenario, kill them. Now, chat, you may be wondering, wait, well, what is she going to do? <laughs> well, of course, she will jump onto them and begin stabbing them with her knife. That is what she will do. Which will then kill her, too. That's, uh... And then she <laughs> drops and dies anyway, so. Playing this, it is yeah. just, like, bad. All you have to do is oh, pull no. the pistol and shoot them. Oh, yeah. It was easy. Them. Why join well, them on this really risky move? Jesus Christ. And also, this looks like you die if you do it. Yeah, they're but probably going to kill like themselves. Exactly. Like yeah. when that thing hits the whatever it's going to hit, you're going to fly off because you, you can't grip it enough. I do. And you're just going like to fall to your, well. Mm. Look at how high. But but what I find funny she, is like that this thing got pushed over by taking out a little pin and just pushing yeah. it in the middle of a massive city. If you like, look at those connectors, it looks like you'd have to disconnect all of them. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any regulation wouldn't allow it so that this enormous fucking pole that can blast into a building if it falls over is held by one little latch. It's like bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh -huh. also, yeah, that's... I don't... Oh, and I guess this is the part of the movie where we learn that the mind control is incredibly stupid because <laughs> if, it was re if it was good, she would have held on to Black Widow's hand because she was saying, oh, oh, I got you. She's trying to save you. So hold on to her hand and then wait until you get wherever you're going and then kill her. Well, like, yeah, like, even you, if you don't you believe no... her, like, you're holding on to her. You you have well, air beneath you. Oh, you well, need to I hold guess... on to her or you're going to fall. Well, well, the point I'm making here is that clearly the mind control has no regard for self-preservation, which is stupid because it yeah. should. Like, it's not worth killing yourself if, if you achieve nothing. Like, there should yeah, just be self-preservation. So the people know what you're talking about. <laughs> She yeah. flails at attacking Natasha that. until she gets yeah. herself killed. Yeah, but yeah he's a little, he's a little... because she's an idiot. Yeah, but she doesn't. Everyone actually... in this film is an idiot. She doesn't hit anything with the knife. No. No. Yeah, she misses her twice, and so Natasha drops her like any reasonable person would. Because like, yeah. I'm not well, going to get. She says no. Fucking... She says no. I think she <laughs> slipped. I don't think she dropped her. I think the film wants us to believe yeah. that she slipped. Well, That's what I thought. I mean, I don't care. Either way, I'm just saying that, like, this yeah. this knife didn't connect, and this person, for yeah. some reason, decided, with her Black Widow software, I'm totally going to try and attack their hand in exchange for yeah. me not being able My to life. live. Yeah. Like, that's great. Um, yeah, the only thing, the the only thing I can say in, pra in praise of this is that it would be pretty hard to move your right arm all the way up because you're basically dangling from your left arm, so you'd have to lift your entire right side of your body up to reach your, your hand. So I can understand why it'd be difficult, but yeah, attacking literally the hand that's preventing you from certain <laughs> yeah, death. Look, look at that. Bad. So this look hurts that. to be propelled through a window like that? That hurts. And it hurts, it hurts bit, really yeah. hard when after you go through the window, you smash into a concrete wall and then into stairs. That well, really so yeah, too. yeah, chat. See, that would have hurt her, right? You probably agree with that, chat? You probably, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. She's probably Jesus hurt, Christ. you know? Yelena is probably hurt. Oh, Natasha's yeah. fine, though. She hung out on the edge there. You can see well, it. She's, she's doing yeah, great. All good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh oh. Wait, is oh, this John uh, Wick? That's, that's, is no, this John it's still oh, no. survivable, oh, no. I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's John, oh, John Wick. That, oh, no. Oh. That'll hurt. I mean, that'll hurt. You'll be. I mean, you can live, but that. Um, no, I think. This John Wick's real all over again. I this has that. been said a few times, but if you are making this film and you need to make that CGI. <laughs> Ask yourself why that's the case, <laughs> and then maybe don't do it. Why can you it. not make it more believable? Why, well, it's like, why can't you do this with a real person? It's like, well, it would have killed them. It's like, oh, it would, would it now? <laughs> it would kill mm. them. Is Black Widow a normal person? 
I don't know why they did this. It's so stupidly cartoonish. Yeah, ah, it's so blood. obviously <laughs> deadly. She, 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 like, she lands on her feet. I would, I, I would have never guessed that I will ever say they did it better in John Wick 3. Well, at least I was John shocked when she landed on like, her feet. I'm like, oh, I thought she'd just be like a, just a heap on the ground. I think, uh, John Wick 3's picked up. He's, he's picked up by Randy's. Yeah. Because he can't fucking well, walk. I think, my, I think my favorite part here is how she like grabs her waist like, ooh, it's like, yeah, all those broken ribs. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> ooh, that just kind of hurts, you know? You, you ever like fall on, fall on like a coffee table or something like that and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm gone. Ouch. I'm like yeah. pretty much ouch for t the whole day. Like, <laughs> I would think that hitting those things at those angles would almost be worse than like falling the entire distance and rolling. Mm -hmm. Imagine you know, falling on 12 like coffee tables from like four stories <laughs> up. <laughs> I'll hate when yeah. that happens. <laughs> yeah, it's even the first leading fall, cause of death. For it's like about a two meter fall, and she's kind of torso first into the vents. Like, oh, that'll hurt, and then it just keeps going and going and going, and going and going. <laughs> Gratuitous. But she's fine. There's there's a way you could do that, or if she like caught onto the vent, held it for a couple seconds, and <laughs> slipped, that would at least like, quote unquote absorb the first the first like velocity drop essentially and then she could like slip and then maybe you know catch herself halfway on a bar that breaks you know at least like you have to kind of catch you have to kind of like uh slow down the fall not just like bang 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 that just makes it seem like she got hit four times rather than once someone yeah. said she was trained to control pain i hope you're trolling me like she was trained <laughs> to not be human <laughs> and they <laughs> removed her uterus they removed her sense if you're of pain. Dying. If your bones are dust, it doesn't matter when No, they trained you to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Um So yeah, that all happened. It was pretty hilarious. Uh and I yeah, think they only did it because they needed to get her So th these are the goals of the scene. We need the Black Widow to fall and die. We need Yelena to be delayed and we need Natasha to be with the fallen Black Widow but not in not in wounded. She needs to be okay. Mm -hmm. So how do we do that? And this is what they gave you. And yeah. Just wow. Incredible. Amazing. Um, so this Black Widow, she's like, hey, it's chill, D don't, don't be a floomp. And then she goes to shoot her with her wrist thing, and then Drakov tells her to kill herself. And the question Why everyone... not just let her shoot her with the wrist thing, though? <laughs> good question. That is a good question, actually. I don't, I guess Why didn't just... she just shoot Black Widow? And well, the way that they edited it, too, is that she had the time to do so. Yeah, look at that. She could have killed her. She could have got her right there. But um, yeah, Draco is slowly telling her to kill herself, and I guess that's what happens. The instructions oh, yeah. are in English first and Russian second. That seems to make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, for that's a weird. Russian. Huh? Yeah, that's, uh... and that acting too. It's like I don't want to do this. <laughs> I just remember being that being really <laughs> cringy. <laughs> yeah. Um. So how do they kill themselves if they've broken their arms? Yeah, that seems like, how do they kill You can heal those. You got a huge investment in these soldiers. Oh, no, 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 no. It's it's the idea of like, how can they kill themselves if they're incapacitated? Like, why would you have it that the terminate function only works if they're capable of killing themselves? What if they're not? Is that it? They're captured and then you're fucked. They hold their breath. If they, yeah, the two <laughs> times you're really gonna need to. Well, that's the funny thing is that's new tech apparently that she's recently come across with the pigs. So. Maybe they'll introduce that, but the, the interesting thing to me is that the two times you're really going to want to kill them is if they defect or if they're captured, in which both times they're not going to be willing to kill themselves. So, maybe have something in the chip, right? Remote detonation or remote release of cyanide into the bloodstream. That seems like the really obvious choices. Yeah, um, yeah you could, instead of putting the chip in your leg, put but, it in the back of their brainstem and just have a, a you know, quick shock dip, you know, if, bam, gone. If it were an explosive, we can't do that because Yelena would be dead already, as well as uh, potentially blowing up fucking Natasha in this scene. And if it was cyanide, Yelena would be dead as well, so we can't do that. It has to be something yeah. else. Um, yeah, it sucks when you write a shitty story, because then you can't make anything <laughs> make sense. <laughs> Yeah, it's like they made the chip ridiculously easy to remove because they had to have Yelena be able to do it on the field right after she was... Yeah, very know, quickly well, so that we don't ask questions yeah. as to what the fuck the chip does and what can be done to Yelena through the chip, but yeah. <sighs> so she's dead. But the interesting thing is Yelena shows up to be like, do you believe me now? 
It's just like, shut the fuck up. I also hate everyone's Russian accents. They make me cringe. Um, I was going to mention that. It gets almost like, a, you're, every, any of you seen After Earth with Will Smith, where they invent, <laughs> yeah. invent that accent for everybody? It almost borders yeah. on that, where you've gotten... No, they used a language expert to <laughs> predict yeah. what the accent <laughs> yeah. of the future would be. Okay, Yeah, language whatever that means. Expert. The accent. You'll, the you're accent not, of the future. You are not promoted the ranger, so... <laughs> Yeah. But uh, not, it, having so having your entire having your entire cast of like Americans and English people and whatnot, and all having them do their worst uh, Russian accent, like well, there's I a couple times where, just, sorry, go ahead. Why not just get Russians? You know, yeah, like, Russians would be great, but they're not famous, so I guess you can't do well, that. But I, I Olga, but then she plays fucking like a mute. She plays a character who doesn't speak. Oh, that was Olga. Olga, yeah, what a waste, right? The the one Russian person who could have actually done a really good accent. But uh, <laughs> I, I I I worked with a, a really closely with a Russian guy for six years. Um, a few other Russian people actually, but specifically this one guy, and yes, his name was Vlad. Um, and <laughs> Like he barely knew English when he first started the company, so he had a pretty thick accent. And but you can kind of there's a certain subtle, subtle, not so subtle difference between a really good, uh, funny imitated Russian accent to an actual Russian accent. And I mean, obviously, Russia is like eleven time zones, so it's not necessarily like a small place. But it, it these are very much, you know, Russian, you know. I used to speak with the the that they're kind of like almost slight vocal fry that uh, Yelena does. Like it's it's okay. She probably does it, you know, probably the best of the four, but it still cracks a lot. Yeah, what a awkward way of making all the dialogue very awkward. <laughs> so, Yelena pops up. I have to say in that, and she's got her vials, and she's got one prepared to use. Meaning she is absolutely on board with something that I was thinking she should have been doing this whole time, but I wasn't sure that oh, the character yep. was on board with it. Which is popping these vials in front of the widows to free them from the same prison that she was in not fucking days ago. Yeah. Like, um, so which is that, super viable. That end, yeah, exactly. And to that end, when those widows drop down into the building that you were in, why not, like, use those vials on them, throw one out and then blow it up and then get two or three or four of them, get them to help you do it with the other ones too. Save them right don't now. Have explosives or something? Like well, a... You don't need to explode them, you just need to break no, them. No, you pop them and then throw. Wait, I guess you yeah. gotta get close mm. to them. Well, no, you can pop it and then throw it out. It's, it's like a grenade. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because at the There's end no they blow up because it's can't. attached to the flashbang, but... Well, Thanks. remember... Like, <laughs> Literally the first one, yeah. she presses a button and it explodes in her face. Like it... Yeah. But you still have to get close to him. Yes. Which they yes, are very but, close but, to many Widows pop. in many of these scenes. Yeah, but like, at, at least when they first drop down, like, with... with, with uh, they're like, they got the Throw guns Throw it at them. Throw it at them. What if it, um, if, the these things are clearly super foot. resilient. Well, there are no, still some. Black Remember, they bundle well. them no, up. Rags, you can press a button on them to release them. Yeah. Yeah. You but say it, it's, you, you're gonna have to get close to them. No, you throw it. Wait, how does that? You work? throw you it throw and it. then you release the button. Okay, press so the button. you press, press the button then throw it. But doesn't it? So there won't be any left by the time it gets there because it's all plumped out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because it goes out immediately when you press the button. Yeah, you press the button, it squirts, and then if you throw it, then the gas is left behind and the vial's just empty now. I'm very... Yeah. I don't understand why you guys oh, think that this would be done as you press it, wait for it all to come out, and then you throw it. I don't know why you no, would do that. No, while you throw it, on the way, on the if, other way, there, if you, when you throw, throw it. it. If you press it as you throw it, the mm -hmm. gas will be left behind, and the glass, now empty, will just hit them. Why is that the case? It, there's not enough because left for them it's to Because it's all them. released at once. So where did you get that from? It, isn't that how it happens in the first scene? The yeah. When Yelena gets freed, doesn't it all just floomp out, floomp out and it's now that one's expended? I mean, it looks to be relatively quick, but the sound effect is like... Pssss. So as long as you like press throw... like So picture is in your hand. You'll start the throw and press the button as it leaves your hand. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think Why? that would work. Why? Oh well, I think it's worth trying. So, yeah, I guess maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, it's sure. because well, it, I, I, I think it would almost certainly not work. But because there, you only have so many. 
you know, that you, you can't take the chance, one. I guess, in wasting them. You're 14. You, yeah, but you only That's... need one. That Like, one is all you need to get two people or three people. Yeah, I don't know if you're underestimating the value here. We help to cripple Drakov's organization. You remove people who are trying to kill you and you add people to your team who are incredibly, uh, mm -hmm. according to this movie, talented. Or yeah, and besides, this is one scenario that you managed to knock down. We've got like seven other ones. Yeah, the other ones. Yeah, there's there's plenty of other scenarios where they're just like right there. Somebody Especially the person who was on the um on the ground who was gonna who, who mind controlled killed herself. You just have Yelena who's just not around right now, I guess. And if the roles were reversed, Yelena could just push boop, you're freed. Now let's go get the also, rest we, or something, or tell us something. And there's additional no, solutions. Sure. They've got an armory, so they could use a, attaching a flashbang, but then they could also just forward roll yeah. in and among all of the, the confusion and just activate them on the people who are coming through the ceiling. But also, like, we know yeah, that getting these close. Break, Black Widow breaks one of these at the end of the film. She punches it hard enough to break it. So you can break these vials by smashing them on the ground. Yeah, like, yeah but I, here's the thing. I think that... I think that's an insane inconsistency of the film because remember they strapped him to that flashbang and then there were magically a bunch that just weren't broken. See, I think that's the inconsistency. Yeah. I think I... none should survive the flashbang, not yeah, that that's they should what be I, strong that's what enough I'm to saying. Well, well, you no, just said that, is... that what Fringy said was an inconsistency, but it's not. Well, with, with, so the inconsistency is... The flashbang should... not blowing them all up, it should. They should all blown up. If it's glass, well, then yeah. Yeah, so I'm not inconsistent then i'm saying that smashing them is easy and you said that they weren't because later in the film we see that some of them survive but what we're saying is they shouldn't have survived they also yeah, that's broken. the inconsistency okay. yeah um and then well, of course well, even when when black widow takes them and like jumps off the river and everything and the whole and the bundle's okay after she gets to shore should yeah, they have been broken then i don't i don't think that's as significant as a flashbang I, I, I think when you if you fall into a river and you have all of them bundled together and you wash ashore, I think that should certainly break a bunch of them, if not all. I think it would break a few of them. Yeah, I do think it would. I think that's. I think it's though. really crazy that they're not broken from that. I guess what I'm saying is I think the glass is weaker than it is stronger. That's what I lean towards. Sure. Um, I, I, I'll lean towards I, that as well. Well, yeah, I you think, know what? That just in that case, just roll it insane. and then shoot it, right? Yep. yep. You yeah. got a lot yeah, of work. Yeah. And so there's there's just like a million use. solutions for this, and they should be more than aware of this, more than we are, because they're like literal special agents. Oh, you mean like yeah, like absolutely. slide out the vial and then shoot it? Sure. No, but yeah, Ooh, that's you've got a lot of options. Mm. What what is mm? you've got? What, like what, what's the mm for? <laughs> what? So oh, you mean like eight? Do you you're talking about the bundle of vials or just no, one? just one? One. Um, this, I feel like so. It Back in which scenario are we doing this one? Is this when they come through the ceiling? Yes. Well, like in the opening when they're when they're fighting these people in the in the apartment in Budapest. Just use one. So throw if it that's that's I, an, while I, while black while they're both very they so in theory they should both be very good marksmen. In practice, in the movie, I don't know if. If we're going to get caught on this, it. I would rather just skip and, to the guaranteed examples. And because then you also have, if it's really dusty, will you be able to see it with all this stuff in the air? And will you be exposed long enough to safely shoot it if they're aiming their guns at if, you? If we're going to get caught on this, I'd rather go to the guaranteed examples. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are definitely those ones where well, they just shoot. I'm, I'm showing one right now. Them. They are hand to hand yeah. combating yeah, that's the widows. Yeah. So, so do they both. So where it, I guess where are the vials right now? Like, where do they them. have them? Are they in like a, a backpack or a pocket or? I Does it matter? I, in a pocket. I don't think. It matters well, I, well, well I, I, I would, I would think it would matter if. It, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying it, it would depend on where she has the vials because the vials are not reachable. Like so, if, if she thinks, oh shit, these vials are very, very precious. I need to wrap them in something or i need to put them in a thing she, and maybe that means she doesn't have like, she definitely doesn't treat them as precious them. throughout the whole movie so oh yeah i there they 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 are uh they they're just sort of around um, yeah so but like maybe that, well i mean yeah, and i'm saying yeah. it would be in character for her to be prepping this that we're gonna so we're gonna get close prep. to these widows and we're gonna free them one who broke all their legs she was like prepping to do it to her so when these two get knocked down that is pulled up on the stream now's the time 
Yeah, Get yeah, they should be. Nice. She should have them ready to use because yes, she, yes. she, you're, like you're I, I can see how Black, Black Widow maybe great. might not be as aware or have them handy, She's but the because it's her things. and she knows what they do, yeah. she should be like, hey, if you're next to one, like press this yeah. button and the red but gaskets was, on them. But but that was that was our point. It sounded like you were pushing back against that. Yeah, I, it depends on where the setting was. Like when they first, like here, yes. That's, but I'd say that this is a different scenario than like another time. Yes. Sure. But, but you were put, I'm sorry, you were pushing back against this one just like a minute ago. When it, and no, when they, when they first come down in the, the roof, I thought, I thought oh. that was what you were referring to. Okay. No, no yeah. you would. Because we, uh, we made a specific show the streamer that you said, well, who has the vials and how, how much are they keeping them secure? Well, I, I thought you were referring, I thought you were referring to when they first come through the roof. You already went over that one. You said it was the marksman issue, not who has. The I know. Vials. I, I know. I, I. I'm. I'm fine. Yeah. I know. We've. I remember. We've I introduced it as saying this that. is the guaranteed one. And now we're one. talking about this different one. Yeah. yeah this how, one that's is how I introduced more, it. Like, they should be using it here. That's... <laughs> yeah, but you pushed back against that. We said that they should. Yeah, use I it said. Here. I said they should be using it here, and I was also like, though it would depend on where they have it. Like maybe they don't have it, but I think they should be using them here. Yeah. It's, it really sounded like you didn't think they should be using it here, and then somewhere partway through it changed. Earlier, I can understand why they might not have. Here, they should be using it. Okay, that's the important part. Here, they should be using <laughs> it. Excellent. Now, um, the ones on the staircase, and the ones wherever else, I'm totally fine with them getting into that armory, grabbing a few flashbangs and prepping yeah. one vial per flashbang and throwing it at these people to not only confuse them with a the bright light, but to also release them from the mind control. Like um, with that grenade down the stairs. Yes, but instead we toss a grenade at them instead of thinking yeah, at all. Because this is the thing, if you wanted to argue to me she's not going to use a single vial because you need to keep them all, that would be fine, but the movie is clearly saying she's willing to use them. Uh, she was about to on the dying widow, but it was, she was too late. That's why at the end I was, it was, like, it, it seemed insane to me that she would strap all of them to the yes. flashbang and throw it at the end. That is another mm -hmm. problem that damages her character as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so, the other one that's a good example, and this is the thing that kind of bothers me that I think would be really cool to see in this movie, when they're um, approaching that little pole, is actually, if you have a look-see, there's a little, um, I guess you could call it a vent, or whatever, how cool would it be if Yelena ran up to the pole, or Natasha did, and this widow's running toward her, well, we'd have to account for the guns, but um, she gets tackled from the person behind, hiding behind the vent, and then they, they floomp her in the face with the stuff. You're like, yeah. oh! And you'd be like, yeah, and you add another character to the roster, and you. this is the movie. They're slowly yeah. trying to deconvert all of the Black Widows. Something? Hello? Mahler? Um, Hello? I can hear Mahler totally fine, so yeah. it's just me. Oh, well, yeah. hopefully that came through. <laughs> I don't want to say it all again. The point is, <laughs> it would be cool to see <laughs> oh, them. Have, what yeah. have you been saying? You just, like, everyone, like, was yeah. silent. I heard, I heard oh. that, too. Yeah. Wait, so that. who heard what I, I, heard I said? Everything. I heard oh. everything. I heard everything. I did yeah. not hear you. Mel, you, I, you me cut out at when you said when Yelena ran to the vent. Oh, I'll just what do it again. What if when Yelena fine. ran um, to the vent? So yeah, uh, I didn't hear it. Yeah. If 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 she came over the rooftop and she could only see Yelena at the pole, we as viewers would be like, "Wait, where's Natasha?" Or vice versa. And then from behind this little vent on the right, if one of them tackled her and then you know put the juice in her face, I'd be like, "We could we as an audience would be like, oh, clever idea." Um. And you could even make it more dramatic by having her get executed then by Drakov through the, like I said, with how the chips could work. But we'd have to reaccount for how that would work with Melina's, yeah. uh, not Melina, Yelena's removal of one. Lots of things to fiddle around with here. The point being, Yelena has not been operating in this entire film with the goal of releasing these Black Widows when she should be. And it fucks no, with it. I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. I mean, uh, I don't know how effective the shooting the vials would be. It depends on if the red gas is like it on in normal air pressure at uh room temperature is the red stuff a gas like, or is it still liquid what? if it's still liquid it has to be dispersed through like some sort of spray i guess i she punched it and it sprayed up and then it got them both like okay. we see it detonated in a street in the outside and then in a room and every time it's gas i'm assuming it's always yeah. gas okay always so it's yeah. Gas. yeah so so, so it's basically a compressed so, gas then oh so yeah. what's the um What's the point of them kicking the vent to get away from, like, of all the things to do? Around on the roof, you know, like just. The yeah, it would have made more sense like, to keep going from rooftop to rooftop instead of. Yeah. I don't know what their plan yeah, was with this. Jumping on the thing. vent and then kicking away from the vent, because I would think, oh shit, like I'm gonna probably die. 
Wait, because you... it seems to be pure luck here that she gets through the window, and the other one is just nowhere to be. The, the Yolena, Yo, Yo, Yolena goes through the window. Black Widow miraculously survives this fall, which makes me wonder why did you take this crazy ride on the vent at Instead all? Instead of just going left I mean, or right. On it's the nuts. Way. But I guess the intention really was to crash through that window, both of them. That was the intention. <laughs> like, that seems really stupid. It really does, That's yeah. Insane. <laughs> it, it definitely relies on movie windows, not windows windows. Where uh, you smash into it and fall to it. <laughs> where, where, you, where you smash into the window and either one, it doesn't break. Because windows can be more durable well, yeah, than she, people um, can think sometimes. She smashes right through the wood as well, like it's no problem. Yeah, just... and also you have the wood oh, of the window that frame that and that window. latches that hold it in place. And the glass. Her face is going to be so cut up. Oh yeah. It's not. She's totally fine. They're all fine. This movie's stupid. <laughs> and then she lands on her feet, and part, that yeah. shocked me. We're not even up to, like, Act 3, where it gets really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Catastrophic. And yeah, so that's why, that was like, um, as soon as I saw I pull it out, it's like, so you just fucked up a whole bunch of shit we've already seen now. Because it's not even just the matter of her morally wanting to do it. Like, these women need to be freed, which is something Yelena would obviously feel, because she's gone through the exact same thing. Um, yeah. It's incredibly useful. Every one of these widows being converted to your team is incredibly useful. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, it's just frustrating to watch. Um, and you might think, ah, finally, we'll um, <laughs> have some peace and quiet now. <laughs> uh, this this one really made me laugh when I saw it. All of them do, but oh, I don't know this one especially. So they're all really people who bad. um again <laughs> chat enjoy this. For you. So they get to their bike. Which, by the way, Yelena makes clear, is on the east side of the original building. Now, the Widows had the place surrounded, so I guess... And they just... didn't disable Yelena's bike. Oh, they didn't have anyone watching it or anything? It's just like, yeah, okay, fine, nobody's around. Nobody's around. But, does that make sense with this happening? <laughs> I'm gonna pause there, <laughs> because... People in chat, what do you oh, think just that. did that? Yeah. What, what could possibly have just <laughs> that done was, that? That was my thought as well. It's like, oh shit, who threw that fucking car across the street? So <laughs> is, an, uh, is, it <laughs> is the Hulk going to be making a guest star? Because <laughs> what could possibly is this Rhino? Is he is he visiting from the Amazing Spider Man? <laughs> the way it comes and flying, it was like already in the air for like. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everybody's just gonna guess the Hulk. Like, what, what the fuck else could this be? So this is your answer. It's an APC that I... APC. I need to point out, look what it just did to that fucking wall when it came around the corner. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it went through the stone building. I think the best part is how it pauses, yeah. It just pauses before running. It just stands the there, yeah. So, yeah, well, Infinite, it lets them, you know, it doesn't. It wants a fair race, it doesn't want to just run them over. Yeah, that would be... Also, I think so, there's like a continuity error here. I think the, the positioning of the thing is different when it starts driving again. So I just want to, I just want to reiterate, this is the same organization that uh, I thought it was too too unsubtle to, to shoot somebody in the streets of uh, wherever that was at the beginning. The, at the beginning, uh, no, that was just being dumb. <laughs> yeah, that was, well, like I was gonna say, not using guns. that's the best defense you could make. It's not a good defense, but yeah. it doesn't even fucking make sense now. They're willing mm -hmm. to yeah. crash an APC through yeah, an entire because city. If that was, yeah, if that was the case, then they would have special super silent pistols that were almost maybe even like air guns that shot darts or that shot a, a bullet each, like the one from Metal Gear Solid, the uh, little yeah, air yeah, gun that. that you have to charge with every shot. Um, and you know what, though? I'm pretty sure that Hungary. And Ross and NATO don't care about a giant fucking tag rolling through the <laughs> Chase yeah. Black Widow and her That's strange well, yeah, sister. If, if they got any uh, cameras, which there'd be many of, they'd be like, who who are they chasing? Who's on the bu Oh. And by the way, you wouldn't <laughs> oh. need Ross to fucking ID her. Everyone knows who this is. They'd be like, That's Black wow. fucking Widow. What the hell? They relied that on catching Bucky in Civil War, because someone's like, Oh shit, the most wanted man in the world, and he's over there. Huh. Videos that Getting posted of like Black Widow's getting chased by an APC in, like, in the middle of the past. <laughs> like, like, and then he's going, around. This is why we need the Sokovia Accords. This bullshit right here. Yeah. You can't walk around as like a movie star or a famous football player without being recognized. Imagine the savior, multiple, multiple times saviors of the world. Yeah. <laughs> the YouTubers so get recognized. Famous.
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so the first thought I had with this is running was like, man, all they do is turn a corner and the APC is fucked. Like, it's going to take a while to be able to catch up to them, if they're tight corners, especially. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, the film is generous enough, should I say, to provide one, but it does something that is just, it's, it reminds me of Man of Steel. It's like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do this. Yeah. So they turn a corner after, see this? See that? Now, maybe, is there any room to say that this is a bad guy van? I would say that it would be unreasonable to assume that. It this looks like looks a like van. An, just looks like an yeah. average guy. He's in a Kellerman Esphere. It put it's moon language, and he's just sitting. Where's he going? Where was he going? <laughs> Where was he going? Is a fantastic question. <laughs> yeah. well, Tried to drive in that little thing as well. Just oh, he had to like slam on the brakes, but there was a building in front of him anyway. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what was it? Were you trying to kill yourself and got surprised? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Damn it! Uh, <laughs> I was just trying to uh, kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, Wilson, uh, Owen Wilson appears into his uh, passenger seat and is like, hey, if you don't drive into this wall, I'm going to melt you. <laughs> <laughs> so, they turn. Meaning, and they turn in such a way that, basically, if you remove the van from the scene... Quite a turn. If they remove this van from the scene, uh, the scene plays out all the same. They can dodge the APC by going down a very narrow turn, narrow hallway. You're like, oh, okay, it's like a video game. It's like, you'll see the big monster later, he can't chase you through the little hole. But they put yeah. the van here, and so it almost looks as though our heroes sort of lead the APC into just fucking annihilating the van. <laughs> it just smashes right through and it's gone. I don't care about the car. <laughs> what could, I don't it. know what they could have done. That's the thing. I it's, think that was the van being in the also, wrong place at the wrong time. You, 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 that's a correct thought to have, Rags. So what are we missing? What do you think is missing? The acknowledgement of yes. the heroes that somebody just got fucking... Mm-hmm. Creamed along the side of an APC. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame them liver pate. for running away from something trying to kill them, and then someone else happens to get caught in the crossfire. But you need to have them be like, "Oh no, that sucks. Someone just died in the middle of all this." Oh, but they don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's a, that is a man of steel thing. Just indifference to all this chaos. Yeah, yeah they're, and... they're plowing down. I mean, think about all the anyone else in that alley. Any of those other cars that got smooshed. Mm-hmm. It's surprisingly um, common, and, and you know for a fact that Zack tried to retroactively fix it. Like, he, he didn't realize what he had done until everyone started complaining about it. And so in BVS, his opening scene is like, I'm sorry. I care. People dying is bad. Sorry. And then it's like, you know you have an APC chasing you that can track you to some degree, because it did find you. And you're like, let's go into this busy street full of these <laughs> soft, squishy cars. Well, you know what? <laughs> if whatever happens, happens. <laughs> um, oh, the way that they ride up that car is That's so bullshit. bullshit. It's yeah. bullshit. There's an invisible ramp. It just gets them up. It's like well, video game stairs that look like stairs, but they're actually just a flat incline. Yeah. GTA, yeah. GTA physics right there. <laughs> yeah, you lie into us, movie. Oh, you see right GTA. there. I believe you. Yeah, you'd hit it and die. Like, what would actually happen in real life? Yeah, you fly off the motorcycle because the motorcycle yeah. stops on that bumper and you keep going. Mm-hmm. See, she's coming at it. So if you lift up the front, like do a wheelie, we'll have a lot more patience for you. But if you go straight Maybe. on, Dude, look, yeah. it starts <laughs> lifting up. It, it be, yeah. she, it's a literal <laughs> invisible <laughs> it ramp. Does. It starts to lift up. It's an invisible ramp, oh. which is super useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Movies. And I hope you're gonna land on something that's, you know, not gonna instantly kill you or flip you or throw you yeah, off the bike. Yeah. Lucky for you. Yeah. <laughs> you, the ground, you fall off the bike. Like, yeah. <laughs> or if you land on a vehicle, which are not flat. But why uh, don't you just went yeah. full pelt into it, smashed forward through the windscreen, through the back wind, <laughs> like back screen, and just like is a mangled corpse on the other side. They're like, yep. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> I totally imagine that uh, you, you ever play uh, GTA 4 and you, you like hit a car really hard and you fly through the window and you're like, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> half a mile. <laughs> so then there's this incredibly lucky train um, that they get in front of, but our Black Widow can't, so she misses all of her shots, except one bullet just clips the back wheel. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny because I didn't know this happened until I looked at it in slow mo. Which makes them drift and slam, again, plot armor, right? Slamming into this. Yeah. 
over they go. She lifted her leg up. That was good. I guess she saw it. I guess the stunt woman saw it. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> go over and then the they top. landed on a car, which is nice and bouncy. Went nice over a kill, and yeah. And then onto the, on the floor. Of the car. Man, you're, you're dead again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Wow, how, I, you, you I think, depending on how far, I guess it depends on how far they went down. It's really gonna hurt. I think is the main. Uh... It's gonna hurt. I, I don't think that'll kill you, uh, but I, it'll it'll I, hurt. It could kill you. You land on. It could. You're dead. It could. Like, yeah. But I'm okay with them surviving. But I just yeah. show but, them being busted up. That's so, the thing. I, so actually, you know what? No, because the problem for me is like the the number of times that you keep surviving. At some point, you cross the threshold for me of like, nah, dead. Like you've well, taken too. Damage, you're dead. It's All right. that they need what? to show the damage being taken. That's the they thing. Do. Like if, like the yeah, plot they... armor is insane, but at least like try and fool me. You know, like but show I'm... them limping, or like maybe God forbid, ruin their makeup well, a little bit. Right? Are you Just judging it in isolation is your point? Like in terms of if they're at full health. Oh yeah, bar, this. Yeah. Like Cause... yeah, if they went over the top and then landed on the the hood, I'm like yeah, I think you you you'll live. I have no problem with you surviving wish... that. But, but my, Jesus Christ, my, like limp or something. Well, well, what I'm scar. what I'm trying to uh, talk about is almost the idea of like how many times can you survive these falls before I just say no, you're dead. Now we're on new life. This is like life two. That you've expanded. oh yeah, this well, is yeah. I mean. Like if you if you survive one thing miraculously, I'm like. Ugh, and I'll roll my eyes, and I'll be like, okay, "Carry on." I would also, uh, I would argue, we are on an additional life because she died when she fell oh, yeah. down that um. That's so what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, and so oh yeah, she's died. She has, by she's that like, logic, Palpatine. she's died many times. If she's on a refreshed Absolutely. health bar, then uh, yeah, this probably wouldn't. Uh, I would this if someone's to t show me the fall and be like, "Did they die or live?" I'd be like, "Probably live." Yeah, they probably lived, but they're hurt. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I would. I would say it's like it's pretty lucky you didn't fall on your head. Like, that's, yes. that's some... Well, mm. the like part that amuses me is that they immediately get up, pull a gun on a guy, and go, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. nothing just happened. Like, they just took a step off of a staircase. But they like, have to. You no, know, when because... they filmed it on set, those actors probably needed a minute to, like, recover from that. Well, like, <laughs> true, but the well, editor... Well, it wasn't them. The editor knew that we couldn't wait, people, because right? the train is small, yeah. or at least it... Yeah. You can't tell from these fucking angles. Um, but they need to get the fuck out of there because they're about to get shot by the widow again. And yeah. if they take too long, then we'll just be like, where the fuck is the widow? Why is it not killing them? There's a cut every second. Yeah, I know. Also, it's she true. had her yeah. finger on the trigger when she was pointing it at the guy. But I, completely right. missed, I completely missed that tumble because as you went through there frame by frame, like that's like less than 10 frames in some of those cuts. Like, those yeah, are really, they, really they short cut cuts. so much. Yeah. She shoots at them and, and misses she again. Shoots down through yeah. the, she misses somehow. That car's not bulletproof. Well, no, they, they both they both did a sort of duck rags, and if you do that, it kind of that's like that's oh, like okay. armor, that's I guess. It's like armor. It's a BMW. It's. I remember I watched a video from FPS Russia where he was like showing just how bullets can penetrate cars very easily. They're like, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of Absolutely. movies. Absolutely. They, don't go they will the penetrate car. them lengthwise. Yeah. 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 Uh, the the right. the engine block is bullet resistant. It can stop a bullet. Can can yeah. stop a bullet anything those, else nah. nah the doors nah. not nah. though those things are not designed to be bulletproof they're designed to keep you alive in a car crash yeah. that is way different than a bullet in modern, warfare 2, in modern warfare 2 you'll know that there are certain things you can just shoot through this cars would be one of them Here's Fun another fact, example most look, things just firing and then yeah. it's like put hands above your head armor <laughs> you'll be fine <laughs> yeah you're fu you're dead you are dead as you long as they're aiming for the passenger seat, you're dead, because that's going through and you're dying. Just, you're just dying. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's going just, through the cushion. sides. It's, yeah. But, we, well, that's the thing. They showed the bullets going through the back window and gets broken. By the way, the windshield's fine still. Um, <laughs> but, whoa, the windows uh. on the right side are still up. The bullets, I guess, were stopped by the glass. Huh. That is weird. Yeah, I remember Someone seeing, said, also, uh... I didn't notice, are they driving stick? That happened in a movie. Was it? It might have been this. It might have. No, it was Cruella. That was it. It was yeah. Cruella. She was driving that old car and she'd never driven before. And I'm like, wow, a manual on your first try. Interesting. Getting, getting a clutch, clutch down the first time was incredibly difficult. Yeah. You know, really yeah. difficult. You had no idea what you're doing. 
You're right though, right? So the, she fires a whole bunch of bullets, it hits that back window, and then nothing. Nothing else. Those no, bullets yeah, don't go anywhere just, else. They just disappear. Well, no, the, no here's the thing. Mahler, the bullet has taken out the glass, it's done its job. They've cancelled each other out. <laughs> you know what's weird? Bullets only do their job after they're fired. That is weird. <laughs> nice. Well, the, at, well is... it, the, the missing part is that they didn't. Re, you don't realize this is a, they actually hijacked Nick Fury's SUV, so that's oh why they're getting taken away. Yeah, oh. Bulletproof seats and bulletproof oh, windows. Yeah, yeah. Bulletproof everything. Yeah. Bulletproof Fury. Oh, wait, something incredibly stupid, which is grabbing the wheel. Of oh, whoa, 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 whoa! So I've got, I've got a thing that this really pisses me off, and, and oh, it, it pisses me off more because I don't drive, and I know that this is a thing. <laughs> okay. When um, so to set this up right, Natasha has got a one-track mind of I gotta just drive, and we gotta try and avoid this person who's trying to shoot me. Yelena is like, I'm really smart, and I've got an idea, and that idea is to open the drive. Was it the drivers or the passengers' door? I can't it remember. It was her door, right? Passenger door. It was her door. So, open the passenger door, flip the car 180, hit a pole. <laughs> To knock mm -hmm. the door off, to send the door into the bike behind them, flip the car back around and carry on driving. Now, if anyone in chat thinks that's ridiculous, you're stupid. You're correct. <laughs> Yelena <laughs> is a genius. Now, you might think that on its own is pretty stupid. Like, that's insane. By the way, someone said, why not just hit the brakes? Like, that's a way more uh, safe idea no, I've, to slam I've into the I've got another one for you. Why not use the gun that you had in the last scene? No. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, well they, they must have taken the guns off the Black on. Widow that died too, otherwise that would be fucking stupid. Um, she, had two, she had two pistols, yeah, so you like, might oh, want to... Oh, remember, cool. four bullets on her collarbone, you're gonna want to grab them. <laughs> that's true, that's right, you got four, yeah. So, Those are four freebies. Um, yeah, so, so that's Yelena's plan. Now, it's stupid enough on its own, it would never work in terms of the likelihood is fucking insane. She doesn't tell Scarlett Johansson this plan. She yeah. simply does it. So let us watch <laughs> her think, engage. I think calling it a plan is already being incredible. This is like a hopeful wish. Yeah, um, the reason I hate <laughs> this is someone who is driving, if you suddenly yank the wheel, you fuck everything up. You've got to get the, the, the pedals, the wheel, your brain, your intentions, everything has to be in the same track. You can't just like randomly have one of them do whatever it wants, and then it somehow yeah. works yeah. out. So Natasha's no fucking clue. You're not going to start drifting. You're just yeah. gonna turn left extremely sharply, and crash maybe. Into the wall. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna crash yeah. into the wall, or you're gonna flip over. This spin is perfect. Like, yeah. Do it's... you understand how hard this is to do when you yeah, actually because... know you're doing it? Well, because the thing that Natasha would have to do is she would have to take off the accelerator and go into reverse at yes. the same time without being the person who turned the wheel. <laughs> By the way, this is a this is an automatic transmission car, almost certainly. You can't. You need do to that. still change. No, you need to change your. Uh, you need to switch into reverse. Um, and you need to, to know that. But if you you're. But here's the thing: when you switch to reverse, you can't. They're like they're not on the same. I don't know how to explain it. Like you can't go in reverse the same way you can go and drive. Like you're not going to be able to. It's not like a train that can do back and forth like identically. You'd have to yeah, like shift it into of... reverse. You probably have to, while you're driving, somehow switch, uh, hit the hit the clutch, or or, or the brake on the clutch. A, but, 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 you, almost, but, well, but you but but you'd have to hit the you'd have to hit the brake, switch to to neutral, uh, do like a crazy spin with a brake to be able to do that sort of 180, and then you'd have to hit the brake again, uh, switch back to reverse. And I I don't know the mechanics of, of automatics. Yeah, yeah, handbrake. Yeah, that, that might this work. Might be a manual because it's a but one like three. this is a, if if you were one hundred percent in control, like it, it, as a stunt driver, and you knew what you were going to do, and you were the only one controlling, not somebody like half acidly turning for you with it in the passenger seat. This would still be like a one in ten thousand try. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gonna. Yeah. As some of the chat said, yeah. this will probably just shatter your gearbox if you do yeah. this. Probably all so, yeah, of a right. sudden. Probably to reverse when your engines and gears are like when oh you're yeah going we're going like 70 kilometers per hour 60, 70, yeah then you're gonna just that's gonna destroy your car yeah it, it, the car all that how you to do that because the car's like no you can't do that no mm -hmm. but but so what actually happened in the scene is you lena crashed and killed them both they crashed yes. into that wall oh, yeah. but instead you, you what happens is that she wall, yeah. Yeah, so she flips. Instead, she flips it. Yeah, flips it, and then she opens her door, 
And that lines up perfectly with a signpost to go and pass that breaks the door off, which... <sighs> Fine. You know what? Mm. You could have just done that by driving toward... You could have... Ugh. It's yeah, a shot her with sure. bullet. And that breaks yeah. off and it direct it bounces off a building and then hits the woman on the motorcycle. And this yeah. is assuming that it gets ripped off and it doesn't just bend and it forward. Doesn't chop her head off or like hit the ground or not <laughs> hit the bike. And then they do the drift yeah. flip back. They have to redrift again back and keep going, yeah. And I'm okay. I'm not convinced that that would knock the door off. I think that would I'm not convinced probably it would knock the door bend off. it forwards, and, the, and it would still be attached. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't and, know that. Uh, it would, yeah. And, and to top everything off, this is in a very narrow European metropolitan area with tons of parked cars too. So you've got well, tons there's no of traffic here. There was a bunch of parked cars back there though, blocking That's up. Like, there wasn't an APC amount. to run them over in a spectacular fashion. <laughs> Funny so, you say so, that, right? Hmm. Because you'd think everything's all clear now, but it looks like the boss music is coming back up. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and yeah, so just trying to get anywhere further, the APC decides it's back on the road and it's coming to get them again. And I'm at here, first, hello. Yeah, and at first you're just like, it's sort of just standard car chase, they're both moving forward, but then good old Tasky Masty is like, I'm gonna fucking get my bow, and you're like, oh jeez. It's funny because, um, the intro again, you're just like, how is this remaining a secret? They even have choir for this, by the way. <laughs> just, just forward. I, I don't know, my brain just like caught up with all the stupid that was happening. Why does the door hit that pole and then fly backwards? I just, uh, that doesn't make fly sense. backwards. It, yeah, it, like, so like it hit, oh, it should just fall on the ground. Why would it fly the other the way? Ground. Yeah, it's you're not, right. not going to bounce and then it's fly not, you're backwards. You're absolutely like a, right. It would like not fly. Yeah. Still. I, I think we. I got fooled for oh, a second. You're right. That, the whole thing was filmed. Wait, help There's me no out. Reason. Uh, so, so, so uh, when you open the door right, yeah, and you right. hit the pole, the pole it will it will break off, but it will just fall down. Or alternatively, it will it slow down but keep going the, the same pole. way as the car. But what happened here is that it hit the pole. And then it flew in the other direction towards oh, the black yeah. moon. That's Unless... not how physics works. It's like it's like they want us to think it springs or something. Yeah, yeah. but it wouldn't. It, it would just, just fall down. And keep... Yeah, and it will it probably would... just wrap around the pole, or it will <laughs> just they'll just smack it. It might bounce right. back a little. The... Look, it flies. Yeah, they want us to think that if you ignore the car for a moment, they want us to think the door <laughs> flew into the pole and bounced back off it in the other direction, like at full yeah. speed. That's what they want us to think happened. Yeah, it's not a. It's not a <laughs> it would just rip the door it. off. Right back. Yeah, no, it wouldn't right, happen it would this just way. Rip the door off and fall down. <laughs> Look at oh my flies. god! Look at it. And also, that door is still flat as can be. It's not. It doesn't have a huge. <laughs> shaped that door should be in the shape of a v where it caught that <laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't even think of that like I'm, i didn't even oh it's cool it's the it's layers cool. of stupid if yeah. anything it's more likely that it keeps flying forward either the pole breaks and it just keeps it's going it's more it likely to how... keep going with the yeah, car. It would, um, yeah. If we're going to say it will tear it off the hinges of the car, it's still going to be going forward because it'll yeah. have dragged forward momentum. until it breaks it's off. Yeah, it's not even just it, momentum. It, it, I'm saying like the connection of the hinges will drag it before oh, they break. Yes, that's true, yeah. Yeah, assuming it even comes off and it, it'll keep <laughs> flying forwards because look at this. You, you see where it hits the door on like the far left of the door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it comes off at the hinges then it'll just keep going forward and just yeah. spinning. Now, how many issues is that in this, like, 20-second sequence? 15, 16 issues? Also, no, the glass breaks. It's something yeah. like that. Um, so anyway, chat, you're in for another treat. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So we got... Here we go. Ta ta task pasta. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm gonna fucking send another thing at you. Oh, we got a cool little combat strategy compatibility 100%. Oh, very good. I don't know what that really means. Oh, that's good, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it means that something's going to happen that makes no fucking sense, but it'll work. I was going to say, we're getting. You could call it an Aquaman moment again. At least this one's a little bit more clear. You go back. Um, and I will say, I'm going to mention this. this? On... Sorry? Like the, but when he pulls out the bow, oh, it's, where does um, the strength come from? Uh, I'm curious as to the CGI. 
nanotech. Oh, nanotech. I was I was like, where did they animate the nanotech. string coming out of? Like when he pulls it back, I was just curious. What oh, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll have a look for you because that that, that yeah. could be amusing. Have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what they uh, how they make the bow work. Nanotech. Nano machine, son. Give me a second. Apparently, I went a little bit too far back. Okay, oh. here he is. Oh, all right. Go frame by frame. So it's it's all flooping up and down at the same time. Shoots out. Oh, it's it, literally a frame. It just appears. Oh, 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 oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, the string yeah. just appears. <laughs> yeah, I was curious. I was, um, yeah, he doesn't bring <laughs> it. It just, it just appears. Holy fuck. Movie magic, everyone. Could just come out with a little, little thingy more clever. Transform that out. Like, could have been in there. I don't know. It's weird. Like, like it extends. Like the string is always in it, and so when it extends yeah. and pulls out. It Pulls the bow tight. Yeah, or, yeah. Sorry, yeah exactly. Yeah. Why, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You could you could fold it up and just have the string. Uh, some Absolutely. like pulleys. Pulleys just uh, pull the string tight Oop. and really <laughs> tight. Yeah. Yeah. In a frame, it's all of a sudden it's there. That's great. Yeah, it's just there. <laughs> Where the hell did you get an APC out of nowhere? It's a Drake off PC. I'll, I'll okay. Right. I guess it just keeps <laughs> going. So, as you guys may be remembering right now, oh boy, these things they go into cars and they explode them. Well. What else can we expect to happen? So Natasha, in fairness to the movie, this is what I find funny. She's like, put your seatbelt on. So, <laughs> if the movie is telling you they're taking safety precautions, can you imagine what we're about to see? Like, I mean, I know what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. I, quick, quick thing before you go. Does he pop out of the top with the arrow with him? Where does the arrow come from? I think he pulls it out from his back. backpack. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. he's got a quiver of... I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. We can figure. Okay. I find that more forgivable than the nanotech bow appearing in his hand. <laughs> oh, also, I got another another car in the background just got absolutely wrecked by that APC. Yeah, lots I mean, of look, look at the carnage too. behind him. The APC don't give a yeah. fuck. Oh, fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> Imagine all the wailing and pain that's happening back oh, there. Man, I wonder <laughs> where the widow is. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just keeping an eye here because you guys what? know what happens next. That's what we can see in front of the car right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm. Nothing. Just a clear got, road. Oh nothing. fuck! I didn't even know. Yeah. That. Yeah. What? Nothing at all. Not nothing sure at about all. That, yeah. Nothing at all. So anyway, there's the there's the arrow chat. Oof. Oof. All right, oh. I'm gonna play this bit with sound because it's pretty funny. I might have to pause halfway through though. So the car is getting blown up from the bottom. From the beneath instead of through or in. Just blow them up. You should know that this is only mildly effective from last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should Past know that this won't do shit. Learn its lessons. Yeah. Wait, it flies back onto the... How yes. does it fly back? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, now where those stairs come from? Where, where were those stairs? They weren't in front. They were nowhere to be found. And also, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. They're dead. Well, for some yeah, reason, these explosions dead. are all propellant. They don't seem to damage anything. They just push things. They don't destroy the car. They <laughs> just turn it up in the air. Some... That is a strong car. Yeah, the car is just not really bothered by that. You look at the bottom of the car, and it doesn't even look like it's been hit by an explosion. Oh, wait. Do, these, yeah. do these cars inexplicably stop the APC when nothing else would? Why would they stop the APC? The APC just what? broke. Go. Yeah, I know what you this, mean. It does yeah, these stop. Them. Stop yeah. APC enough for the. Wait, does it we, stop? We what do we just cut away? Slides the BMW off the hood. Yeah, look, like look how clear it is in front of them. There's nothing. You see but the bottom really of the car? It's like, how yeah, is the car looking like that? Looks pretty yeah, good. It's pretty good. They build them. They, German engineering, right? Hey, look, hey, BMWs, <laughs> yeah. man. BMWs, they're just you yeah. Know, you notice, how, people, right? yeah. you notice how that stairway gets to be like three times as wide as the second shot as well. I like busy. as well, look at how clear, look at how busy this place is, but there's nobody on the stairs. Nah, <laughs> someone's on those stairs. Someone's and getting splattered. And, and, no one, and nobody is in front of the stairs to get hit by the... Because yeah. if this happens, you're not going to move out of the way because you hear this noise and you're like, what's that? And as you're trying to, as your brain's trying to find out what this weird noise is, you all of a sudden have a car careening towards you. All right. So pure also, dumb luck that nobody gets greased is by this the staircase. Game. Like in the middle of the road. We, let, let's see. There's no staircase in that freeze frame there where it's Taskmaster ducks. There's no nope, stairs. Nothing. 
there's no stairs. But then there are two cars, and then suddenly there's the end of the road and stairs. Mm -hmm. Fucking unreal. And remember, unreal. if there were no like entrance to a subway, and it was just normal road, Taskmaster's got him yeah. dead to rights. Uh, whole another thing, I just, I'm just thinking of, uh, would this bow even be able to outpace the cars, the speed they're going? Yeah, yeah. yeah because they're also going the same speed. Yeah, he's lost the momentum. He's yeah. on okay. the car. Okay, I, I was just momentum. wondering if that, yeah, if that yeah, works. If you shoot a bullet out of a 60 mile an hour car, your bullet will be going its speed plus 60 miles an hour. Plus, okay. that, yeah. Momentum. Physics. But... What's weird here, too, is that I was saying, I think Taskmaster, he's done a passable job, even though, by the way, this should be considered a horrific failure by the organization. Yes. That this much <laughs> tension and destruction. Like, y'all are assassins, <laughs> and you are caught the biggest scene in that's name ever seen. only. And, um, but luckily, if he's in a hurry, he'll just run down there, catch him real quick, shoot him while they're in the car. <laughs> nice and easy. Um, nothing to it, but instead, he, um, and he throws the shield. Yeah, he gives chase, uh, and he tosses his shield, and it fucking embeds itself in a steel, uh, I, I guess it's just like a column. Um, pretty amazing. And uh, uh, This is a beam that is designed to hold up a, an empty room underneath a city. Those are what we call <laughs> sturdy. This looks like a yes. funny face. Just look at all the, the extras and how... Like zero fucks they oh, give yeah, yeah, because of the explosion. They're like, oh, like, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Some people even go walking back. toward the the car, they don't I, care at all. Go back to a couple scenes because, oh no, I think that was the reflection of the light. Because I thought that the white streak down the middle of the orange, like, um, escalator things was supposed to be like the shield scraping the paint off, but I think it was just the light reflecting there the is... right way. The other ones were like that. There's several people, including a super chat point. I was like, isn't it like a plot hole that she dies from falling at Ed Game now? And it's like, guys, I think <laughs> she's not supposed to be able to survive this shit. Yeah. She just keeps doing it. And uh, yeah, worst of all is like, we finally have a repercussion. You're like, oh, wait, what, what is it? And it's like, Yelena's arm is bleeding, but then they put a thing on it and it's fine. You're like, oh. <laughs> also, he, he's slowly walking instead of sprinting. So here's the thing. If he's sprinting after me, I'm terrified. If he's slowly walking, I'm saying, thank God he's yeah, going Yeah, we got a slow. chance, we got yeah. a chance. Also, he leaves his shield. He doesn't get yep. his shield. The first time that he met, he knows they have a gun. Or at least he should assume that they do. He, his life is saved the first time they meet because he uses his shield to block bullets. And he just doesn't... Yeah, he just leaves he doesn't it. Take, jumps in. And what's crazy to me is that they had very limited time and she was bleeding to the point where it's leaving this whole trail, they managed to make her bleed up to that little vent to convince him that that's where they went. And then all Goodness. in all the time they took to move over to the other vent, climb up into it, you know, awkwardly, and then cover it up, not a drop was, was dropped. Also, look Seems at how unlikely. casually he <clears throat> this metal grate to the side. Mm-hmm. Super strong. I guess strong. he's just... That's the thing. Like, you can't do that. That's a solid piece of, like pig iron or something, I don't know. And so they went up here. Now you might be thinking it would make sense if they went up here just as an option, right? But they make it a lot worse. They tell us that this is actually a hidey hole that Natasha and Clint made back in the day, literally like a decade ago. This specific place? Yep. Oh, boy. That should happened. be checking this. Well, they you know, no one knows about it, right? <laughs> they just happened to fucking... All of this shit ended them in a place where they also had a hidey hole that they'd used before. It's like, damn, that's yeah. lucky. A lot of stuff happens in Budapest. Um, and yeah, there's proof that this is a little, little safety hidey hole thing they spent apparently two days in. It mm -hmm. shows a couple little games they've played. Now, Fringy knows about this. <clears throat> but, um, it'll be funny to see if maybe I just misunderstand the game of noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe in some way, but does anyone spot anything strange about this? That's uh, it's a double. Two. That's a double win. You got a double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even so get tic tac toe right. <laughs> tic tac toe is stupid, but when you have like so, the, whoever was playing circles was actually dumb. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I don't know how someone could be this stupid. 
So there's somebody won and then can they continue playing and then won again? <laughs> um, anyway, you run this, right? I'm got, I've got it on the screen, okay? Chat, oh, we're going to no. pretend to be the circle player. I'm going to start in the middle, because that's a pretty good place to be. Then the crosses player is like, okay, I'm going to go bottom left. And then you as the circle player is like, I guess I'll go bottom right. <laughs> right? I nearly got it. So crosses player goes here. So in this scenario, I have to go here or I'm retarded. But they didn't. Um, <laughs> somehow, they decided to go for one of these, and then the crosses player was like, I better go here. <laughs> and then Sickles... Below. And Cross got really cocky. <laughs> and Sickles was like, I'll go here. And then Cross was like, I'll go here. I win, but then I double win, bitch. Um, no, no, no. You, you have to go back because... Yeah, you're going to have to go back. Is this even possible to do? Well, so I'm going to run another scenario now. If if X uh, crosses goes first and decides I'm going to go top left, circles like baha middle, and then crosses like uh, I guess I'll go top right. No reason not to. Circle has to go here now, but they didn't. And if X went here, <laughs> yeah. circle would have to go here, but they didn't. So cross can't so, go any fucking where else. So circle kills themselves. Is this possible? Okay, so the circles does circles that. Circles in the middle. Circle's in the middle, which is almost certainly means that Circle went first. No, Circle had to go s second. But that's, more crosses. That's, my, that's my second point, because there's more crosses. So Circle, so so X went first, didn't take middle. Big mistake, you always take middle. Yeah. And so, okay, let's do the bottom left. Now Circle takes, let's say Circle takes middle here. X would have to go here. I'm trying to play this out in a way that X could... Well, yeah, that's what I'm doing on screen for... And obviously it's more useful if I do it, because chat can see it as well. Um, okay, I've, is... I've I've done it. Okay, I've done it, but I I have to play like a crazy person, almost well, like yeah, I did selecting it. it. So the first one I did, I did it too, but it makes no sense. Like, there's just no reason anybody would play the game this way. Yes, I, I was... Like, X is really cocky, because they set up two double Xs, saving the corner piece for the double win because X knew that zero or the O's was an idiot and just to flex got the double win point being would, um, maybe account. an ape did this because like they don't understand oh, the game. maybe maybe a dead ape like I'm trying to come up with a ape. reason for why they would have drawn how do you fuck this up it's a set you drew noughts and crosses on there just go and fucking play a normal game of it. Did someone yeah. seriously not know what it is? And someone said, yeah, you just put... And just and sound random. guy A. Just say, hey, y'all just play a couple games of tic-tac-toe. It doesn't <laughs> matter who wins the Just Just play, and, and then that'll be just like the thing. That's what I'd do if I was the director. And that would be a cool little fun fact for the movie. We got Jonathan Adams, who was our camera guy, and Brennan Stevenson, who was one of the sound dudes, and they played tic-tac-toe, and that's how he got the prop. <laughs> I love it. Like, oh. He just he went on set, and he was like, fucking, I don't know. What, what, is, what is this game? It's like, you just draw noughts and crosses until you get three in a row, and he goes, oh, uh, sure, that's like three. Well, three. Also, do they not uh, have paper? Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so... So we've done the tic-tac-toe thing, that's dumb. Now we gotta move on to Hangman. I haven't actually looked at these because I figure there's just so many options that... That's a long word, too. And it's in Russian. I just can't believe they couldn't get tic-tac-toe right. It blows my mind. <laughs> I couldn't get... The, the game's so simple, it's like stupid. <laughs> How do you fuck that up? I, I, uh, I know we're talking about the really important stuff about this movie, like tic-tac-toe, but... Or tic -tac -toe, but uh... I just want to point out, uh, I, I put in the chat, um, the lead uh, stunt double for Taskmaster was Andy Lister, a guy. So I find that a little cheap. Like, I know it's supposed to be a big reveal or whatever, and they designed the costume to kind of hide any sort of curves that uh, Olga would have had. But I find it pretty, pretty cheap that they literally have a guy in a suit until it's actually revealed not to be a guy. I don't know. I find that a little little annoying, personally. I mean, this yeah. This is saying the, that uh, the most experienced tic tac toe players put the first X in a corner. Rags did I not care about anything you just said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was researching. Uh, okay, listen. There's one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. There's like f there's it. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I was just focused. I was looking at tic tac toe stuff. I was I was researching. What did you find? But I agree with. 
I have that much confidence in him to make correct statements. So what'd you find? I found that tic-tac-toe is a solved game. In oh. Much the same way Kingdom is. Unless a player makes just a stupid mistake, every game will end in a draw. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Or in this case, a double win. <laughs> and I guess there was a game called Chopsticks, where you have... Um... A chopsticks game. And that one is... It's a hand game for... Oh, that's the where you have your fingers, and you press people's fingers, and then you add and take away numbers based on the fingers. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And whoever, yeah. whoever starts loses or something. That's no a game where. where the second person will always win unless someone makes a dumb mistake. So, Luckily, these things don't matter too much when two dumb kids are playing it, but that's one of those... That's one of those... Um, yeah, I just, that's right, Chad. I'm talking about the real issues here. I think it's hilarious that they fail tic-tac-toe. Uh, I... well, that, that could have been some interesting world building where it was like a whole wall full of tic-tac-toe and it's all draws because yeah, both they... of the players are super competent at it. And it's they just hang... every single game to draw. They had a hangman on there too. I'm wondering if that's wrong as well, but I, I don't necessarily want to spend yeah, the time on it. <laughs> we, uh, it was like we mentioned with Falcon and Winter Soldier with the battleship game. It's like these are opportunities for you writers instead of just looping them out and then getting some idiot on the set to be like, oh, it was like, like three squares or chicken. I, I don't really know how to do this. You could have done like four games in a row where they were all draws and then it stops. Because both of the people realize, oh, that's right, we're like Black Widows or we're super smart. So, like, why are we even doing this over it? We've, it's going to end the same way every single time. Let's do something else. Yeah. And then it's all hangman there out. Because that's like funny. a guessing game. That's, that's, it's just funny, that's funny. Uh, looking at prop design and set design and how much you can communicate through that. Like, I'm uh, currently you're editing a video and, and I'm looking at the 1997 movie Gattaca. And they've got a ton of great visual storytelling in their sets like there's a there's an exercise kind of like a gra gravity uh test machine that looks like the vitruvian man you know da vinci mm -hmm. you know it's got a lot of a lot of history there there's a uh in one of the apartments they have uh a spiral staircase that looks like a dna hel helix and the whole movie is about genetics so there's like a lot of really great visual storytelling through the set design and and then we have this movie, which can't get tic-tac-toe right. <laughs> yeah, instead, they treated it like how Tommy Wiseau treated the picture frames in the background. Just keep the spoons there. It's like, no one's going to notice. Man, that's yeah, exactly. odd, okay? And maybe the, the director would say that. They'd be like, no, the tic-tac-toe game is indicative of their attitudes. You have to read into it to understand it. I'm not going to give you the answer. Oh. It's interpretive. Mm. So then we get the story. I killed Drakov's daughter because oh. I knew it would be a surefire way of killing Drakov. The huge reveal. The mm. red in her ledger. Like, oh, she's very guilt-ridden about it. Um, which I'm actually fine with. A lot of people aren't. Uh, I think in isolation that is fine. That the big thing, or one of the many things in her history that she hates is that she killed a little girl in order to defect her shield. Just sort of, you know, get what she wanted. Which was away from Black Widow people that she she would do that. I, f I feel like that works well enough. Yeah, she she was a bit more bit more ruthless back then, uh, willing to you know say it was worth it that th that one girl died. Um, and maybe now you know she's different now. She's way less. Well, I I say that this current Black Widow was way less um, willing to have innocent people die, but that's clearly not the fucking case, is it? So I yeah, and it's wrong. something she regretted immediately, probably. Um, and it was almost yeah. like a quick grab to just get what she wanted, and uh, obviously the conversation with Loki, like it's something she has immense regret for and considers shameful. And it's like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine with me. Um, knowing that's what it means, Drakov's daughter, that's fine with me. We've still got Sao Paulo and the hospital fire. Like these are things that are apparently we'll never know now. That's okay with me. I like a little bit of a little bit of flavor in that text that we could imagine what they might refer to. Uh, my issues with the Drakov's daughter stuff will come later, I imagine, but then we get a really stupid scene. They go into, like, a gas station, and they just talk about the Avengers, her being Black Widow, how she's on the front cover of magazines, 
how she kills people all the time and how they're in a situation of trying to stop Drakov, I guess, in front of a fucking clerk who's just listening to all of this. Mm -hmm. He's like literally That's, half a meter away. It's fucking weird. Scene. He's just <laughs> he's uh, he's just sitting right with them, like he's a part of the conversation. It's bizarre how they shot it. Like I expected him the joke to be, uh, like to say he like oh will it be that cash or check or something like that paper or plastic like they're having this big conversation and he just was like i just i want to sell things and it's it's retarded um how do yeah. you not notice this the civil war is the one that you always want to compare to uh that line where she's like making it so that the whole world is aware of bucky bonds doesn't guarantee uh you can capture him it guarantees that we would have meaning like um the way Zemo was going to get to him is by making it so that everybody wanted to find him and the task force would then get him because it's inevitable that he would be found if he does any sort of... If, unless he lives in the fucking woods. Um, in this film, they don't give a fuck. It's like, is this Black Widow? It's like she's, nobody really knows who she is, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like when she's on those magazine covers, everyone goes, wait, who's that? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's... Man, it's like... Is there, is there a attempt that he's not paying attention because he's watching football on the telly or something? You can't like, not hear it. I know. That's what it's. it's is it right no matter how you spin it, there? it doesn't They're matter how you about... spin it. He's yeah, like, like she's standing stuff. right there. Like she could give him a hug. It's like, yo, what's up, Black Widow? Want to call police? Maybe? No. Okay. I don't know how anybody wouldn't be aware of the team of heroes that fight to save the world. I don't know how you wouldn't know who these people well, are. Well, I mean, Homecoming establishes that they're all, like, marketed, and they have action figures and masks, and the yeah, twin of school. Black Widow would be a part of that. Yeah. I think, it's... I think of the, uh, the Will Smith song where he talks about how uh, countries who can't even speak English scream his name. Like, you know, once you get past a certain uh, celebrity, it's it really traver uh, transcends borders. Like, pretty much a good uh, you know I, I, i'll say a uh a good like double digit number percentage or even a majority of people in the world would probably You're know right. the avengers mm -hmm. so you'd be i see some people in, in in chat saying maybe he doesn't know english it doesn't fucking matter they, yeah. they're known worldwide in all the languages you might not know english yeah what do you mean that's, he, doesn't, he doesn't need to know English. <laughs> yeah, they probably still call Black Widow and Iron Man and whatever in every language because that's their name. Like, people who don't know English know who the president of the United States is. People yeah. who don't know English know who Tom Cruise is. If you're a big you know? fucking celebrity, you, you're known. You, you, people know who you look. Uh, yeah. Who you look? How will you look? <laughs> I clearly don't know English. <laughs> Aww. Uh, and yeah, so we get some answers in here. The, the, this scene probably does a lot more damage than anybody would have suspected it does so quick. Um, first thing Natasha asks is, wait, how did Drakov manage to escape my radar this whole time? And uh, Yelena is like, well, he wouldn't want to kill you because then the Avengers would come after him. So, there you go, explanation. Forgetting, of course, that uh, Natasha broke away from Drakov probably somewhere in between 2005 and 2010 mm -hmm. and the Avengers started in 2012 so that doesn't make sense he would have tried to kill her in all that time uh, that reasoning doesn't hold up and it's interesting because they probably could have gotten away with her just saying like why didn't Drakov try to kill you and it's like probably would have I don't know caused too much fucking trouble maybe not worth it maybe it was better to make you think um, that you'd killed him and that he could just keep an eye on you. Some, some or anything, you, you might not even, maybe just don't ask the question. But now that they've said he only did it because he wanted to avoid pissing off the Avengers, it's like, there was a whole set of years where they didn't even exist. So, you just created a plot hole. Nice. Good job. Yeah. Um, so Rex already mentioned it with the whole magazines, but in this same scene, they talk about how she's on the cover of magazines even. Yeah. While they're in front of the guy. It's like, oh. People would know who this is. Uh, yeah. So then she's like, how come you didn't, you know, look into me? How come you didn't care? And uh, the person writing Natasha really cares about her character, so they had her say, oh, I figured you were fine. <laughs> so it's oh, like, yeah, okay, then. oh, that's, yeah, hmm, it's not, not the greatest of excuses. Um, kind of creates major issues, because... 
this this lady's super important to Natasha, but apparently she didn't give a fuck. And um, you know you have to account for that. And she's just like, I figured you got out. I figured you were fine. And then her little response is like, why didn't you like call to check? Why didn't you give a single shit? And then um, I think Natasha like gets flustered and says, uh, I thought you didn't want to speak to me. These things don't matter when you're trying to find yeah. out whether or not the people you love are alive. Yeah. Um, it's pathetic on behalf of the writer. But the problem is you can't do anything. If you were mandated to create this character, and you have- Like, what is the dialogue of this scene if you're trying to fix it? It's like, I don't know. You have to create well, an excuse- Well, it's not gonna be here. It's gonna be somewhere else. <laughs> you have to create an excuse for why Natasha ignored Yelena this whole time. And I don't think you can. I am here. Hello. So I want to make a point about this scene. This is when they finally kind of discuss their plan to take down Drakov. And um, we all know the famous, uh, this was fun scene at the end. Uh, I think that's a callback to this scene where it's like, huh, it could be fun. Yeah, I think it could be. And I, I, I get the callback, but it's so loose that I think they needed to call it back twice to kind of keep it alive throughout the story. Like maybe like, you know, half an hour from this point in the middle of action, they have like a breather and they're like, you know, is this still fun or something like that? Kind of like if they wanted to keep that sort of, you know, uh, reference going. But as it is, it just becomes a total meme at the end of the movie because they didn't they didn't really the yeah. callback really wasn't strong enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe if they'd done it a couple times, it, it might have been alive enough. Perhaps to, it, it could be meaningful the... despite the horrible CGI. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> horrible CGI. Uh, someone said, uh, how I... about saying, I thought you were dead? Um, I still don't think that fixes it. And that's what they end yeah. up saying for Melina. They say that they thought Melina was dead. They didn't look into it. They just they thought she was dead. They thought Drakov was dead. They thought the Red Room was destroyed. This is pathetic. Can't, thought Palpatine was dead. You can't keep relying on, so, especially it's, Natasha Romanov, someone who is very careful and intelligent. It's like, I just figured it, you know? Figured all this stuff was happening the way that I would like it to be. <clears throat> Natasha kind of forgot about the Red Room, her, her sister, or her Didn't mother. forget about it. <laughs> she figured they were destroyed. Yeah. You know, she's a smart, smart lady. So I'm bummed out, but uh, I have to hop off here. I was hoping to be able to get to the third act because the third <laughs> act is where the, you know, as the great Anakin Skywalker said, this is where the fun is. But uh, oh, no. I'm going to have to hop off here. And unless you guys are still going to still gonna be around in like four or five hours, I probably won't be able to jump on until the I'll end. I'll put a but... hard maybe on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, gotta, I got to run, but it's been a ton of fun. Thanks for having me on. I'll, I'll Absolutely. Catch you we'll catch you around. Catch you around, man. See you, man. See you. So, they have a little conversation about what they're going to do next. Um, Natasha mentions that her mother gave her up, and that's why she never, like, sought her out or anything, which is not good enough for me. Um, if she got that information from Drakov, then why wouldn't you just assume it's a fucking lie? And if you didn't get it from Drakov, is, like, where would you got it from? And did you, was, was, was that, is that a thing that happened? She went out and found her? But then that can't make sense because of the information we get later about what happened to her mum for real. So, what the fuck, basically? She has a birth family that she said her mum ditched her in the street so she never went to see her. But if that information comes from being a black widow, and they're supposed to be women that are all uh, from, you know, came from girls who were thrown on the street and stuff, then that means she must have trusted that that was true about her mother and she never looked into it. Really? Hmm. That doesn't sound good enough to me. No, that you would think she would check that shit out if that's real. But alas, she did. <laughs> alas, indeed. Um. So yeah, the 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 plan just becomes we're gonna beat Drakov together. This is gonna be great. Um. I suppose it's someone in chat wanted me to mention that they have the pose line. I don't know what to say about it. She's like, lol, Natasha, you do poses. And Natasha's like, shut up. Yeah, and then they do it again, and again, and again. And, again. and then at the end, Didn't she does a, a, does a in the pose. Movie? Hmm? Go ahead. Didn't they, make the, didn't they make the posing joke in another movie? Already? Probably. Uh, or am I thinking of a yeah. different Marvel product? Who knows? But yeah, it just felt really ham-fisted. Oh, are you talking about hero landings in Deadpool, or are you talking about something else? Uh, maybe actually, I don't know. They definitely did it in Deadpool in the first yeah, one. They, yeah, Deadpool. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, the payoff for it is that Yelena does one near the end of the movie and it's like, ho ho! Everyone's doing them. Funny. Um, and then, the, yeah, they're in the car and it, it was really baffling to me because um, this is where Yelena's basically like showing off her vest, which has all the pockets in it. And she's really happy with it because it has so many pockets and she's like, this is kind of weird, these soaps. And she's like, look, it's the first thing I've gotten to buy. It's like the first choice I've made. And I'm just uh, reminded. I'm like, oh, jeez, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a person that gives off that impression. You seem entirely well adjusted, which, aside from the mind control, would be hard to believe. Like, if you were just an assassin your whole life, you know? Mm hmm. Like, you're not going to be able to get social cues as accurately as a normal person in normal situations are, but she's totally normal. Um, yeah, and it's just a huge missed opportunity, I would say. A lot of those. Mm -hmm. A lot of those. So then the handler gets them a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. I just have a helicopter. I guess he flew it here. Oh, is this the CGI forest scene? Uh, I think that Green was Green forest? a little or bit when earlier? he gave her the the, um, the mail. Yeah. Yeah, that was by the trailer, I think. Yeah. And he's like, you know, Ross is fucking getting in the way of stuff, but it's fine because, ah, uh, you know, <clears> you you you. Stuff. you. Very, um, strange. He just does all this shit for her. We never really see... I guess, I guess she pays him a lot. That must be it. Must be a really good customer. Um, you may be... As someone just said, how does she pay him? Well, I guess <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D. don't have access, or the government don't have access to all of her accounts to freeze them. She must have some bonus yeah. evil person accounts, or whatever. Super secret ones. But anyway, they have a helicopter now. Pretty useful. Um... It's time to go and get Alexi. Now, you may be wondering, why? And it's specifically because they think he knows where the Red Room is. The Red Room, that constantly moves. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely admit uh, my, uh, my expectations were subverted when I learned about what the Red Room was. Yes. <laughs> but we'll get there. Well, she, but, she says it in the film, yeah. it constantly moves. And already up to this point. Yeah, but what I... But what I thought was, like, which room is the, like, which place is the red room shifted? Not like the red room itself as a singular thing was mobile. I thought it was like there was a large series of the red room could be over here and then it gets moved and then they set up shop over here or then it goes, maybe, maybe it's over here. Like it cycles between all kinds of different points um, or something like that. Not that it was a physical thing that moved, which that's not unreasonable at all. I just that's just not what my mind went to first. Yeah, of course, the red room is just the name of the fortress, if you want to call it that, or floating building. Sky fortress, yeah, yeah. that no one noticed ever. Mm. Makes you wonder how did he get this technology? Did they ever say that? How did he get this technology? How did he get these people? Like what? He's rich. Yeah, he's oh. rich. Oh, okay. Totally makes sense. He's very rich. Nobody knew about it. Yeah, so they're gonna go get Alexi and just hope that Alexi has the answer to get into the Red Room. Pretty flimsy. Feels like there's gonna be way better options. I but, feel like no. he wouldn't know, but that's okay. Yeah, I feel like there's no fucking way he would know. Um, so the plan... I don't know how to do this. It's like just We gotta break Alexi out of prison, alright? Yeah, absolutely. There's thunder in chat. Oh, the prison. I hear this damages Natasha's character. How much have we destroyed her already? Like, <laughs> more! So, we meet Alexi, and you can tell this is like a character intro. They have mm -hmm. him getting a tattoo while arm wrestling and announcing that he can beat Captain America and did in a fight in the 80s. And, and you can tell this is like a writer's sort of like, ah, oh, this is how you get across to the audience exactly what kind of person we're dealing with. But like, none of it works. Why would you get a tattoo while moving around all the time? That's just stupid. Mm -hmm, I don't care how strong you are. It's just stupid. You'll fuck up the image. Can he- wait, wait, wait. Can you give a tattoo to a super soldier? Is their skin not too durable or something? Can you pierce the skin with a needle? Well, um, I think- I you guess can, you can. Yeah, you can pierce- well, Captain America could be shot. Well I, well, I think that's too different. Like, and the scale cut. is a little- He yeah. can be cut. Well, I mean, like a tiny little- I, I was- I was- like, is- are- is a- is a super soldier resilient enough to where the little the normal tattoo needle just couldn't quite get in there because hmm. of their durability? Maybe they have a sharper one just know. for him. Um, 
So yeah, then he he's just arm wrestling everybody in a row. Why would anybody agree to arm wrestle a guy who's literally a fucking super soldier? What's the point? He's like he can <laughs> yeah. fucking move cars with his hand. Like why? What's the point? I just don't get it. Like if anyone was like, nah, it's a prison thing where you want to try and prove you're strong. It's like there's no point. It's like arm wrestling just Godzilla. To, just say before you go too far. At this point, where him looking at this old toy soldier, man, that could have really been a cool character well, intro that teaches us about how he feels about it and mm -hmm. gives us something meaningful. And that, that could have been really cool. Like, he really pines for either the attention or the fame or doing something he believes in or, like, a life that he earned after he got out of the spy business or something. There could have been something there, the way he looks at this toy. Um, yeah. But, but so, mm -hmm. I have spoilers. We get, like, nothing for him. He sucks. Yes. He's just, yes. like, a well, joke. He's the butt of jokes, and he's a joke. That was where I was going. Like, so this yeah. this character intro, like, he's really strong because he can get a tattoo while moving around. It's just like, that's just stupid. He's really strong and powerful and shows it off because he's arm wrestling all these people. It's like, they have to agree to the arm wrestle and they wouldn't, so. just seems weird to me. And then the third, bragging about having beaten Captain America. And a lot of people like this about him. A lot of people like, it's really cool because, of course, he'd be aware of other super soldiers or, like, Cap, and you kind of see him as, like, a rival, like, the America versus the Russian. And, uh... All of the things that they both done is like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm better than Cap. And and he mentions later on that they're like they're like uh, contemporaries. They you could be compared. He wouldn't mind meeting him. Maybe he's even partially a hero to him. I think the writers forgot the timeline. <laughs> Cap went into the ice in the 40s, came back out in 2012, or at least close to it. So the, the public wouldn't be aware of him until 2012. Is the point? That is 72 years of no Cap. Why would he make a story where he's beating up Cap in the 80s? Is it because it's supposed to be dumb? And is I think he's an idiot? Th I think that goes beyond him being a stupid character. It wouldn't... Nobody can draw that as a thing that they would lie about. It, it, it would be like... If it, it's just as impossible as just fighting anybody that's known to just not exist at that point. Why would you do that? Especially when he has so many other options. Why not say it was Thor? Why not say it was Captain Marvel? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I it's because I legit think the film was trying to make him stupid because it kind of fits with what they're doing. He's used as a joke for the whole movie. He just gets laughed at and beat I don't, up. I don't know if it's stupid if he accounts for something like that. I think it's what they're going for. You might I be right, but for, yeah. I, I think it's what I legit think it's what they're going for. So it's explicitly what they're going for. To... They have the guy say that that's not possible. And then he's like, what? I'm saying it doesn't work as an uh, an example of someone being stupid. Yeah, which I agree with. Um, well, in the sense uh, of, think... like, he's, so you're saying he's deliberately, well, I don't know he's deliberately lying about it, but I was thinking, why would he choose that as the thing to lie about? So if you, if you are Alexi, the only capacity you discover that Captain America exists is well after he's gone. He's like a wartime oh, story. Oh, you're saying he shouldn't even know about that to lie about it. Well, he should. I'm fine with him knowing that Captain America was a thing, but if you remember in 2012, Coulson has like little trading cards with little Captain America saluting on it. Like, Cap is. I'm not even sure how many people would believe that Cap had super strength at that point. They'd be like, he was a guy in the 40s. He was apparently a legendary dude. He like died yeah, to save a whole bunch of people. Super and someone's they, like, he had super strength. You'd be like, yeah, okay. He's like, no, seriously. He used to throw a shield. He was super strong. He, they experimented on him. It's like. Okay, well, sure. What? Yeah, bullshit. I'm sure he was just an exceptional sh soldier. Um, so, Alexei was born, what, like, in the uh, 60s, 70s? Probably something like that. Aiming around mm -hmm. there. So by the time he's like a teenager, he may have heard about Captain America, but nobody's really talking about him anymore. This is many decades after he's gone. I just don't get the capacity here. And then, so he's in mm. prison, and he finds out Cap is back. It's like, what? Cap's back? And he's like, yeah, he's out of the ice and he's doing hero things. And he's like, oh yeah, I fought him in the 80s. When he's, he would have been told <laughs> that... Oh, you're robot and pretty bad. Not for me. No, not really? Not me either. Yeah. No, for all all right. Okay. Carry on, maybe it's just a weird temporary thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess my main point is that it's it's not a stupid thing to say, it's just a thing that nobody would ever say, because it's just, it can't it wouldn't have logistically come to his yeah, mind okay. to say that. See what you, yeah, see what you get. Yeah. Yeah, um, the only time where, where Cap would be active would be a four-year time period, since this is 2016, and didn't he come back in 2012? 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. It would be absurd for uh, him to latch like onto nothing. that. He would instead- yeah. I think you should go for Thor, and I mm. think it would be way more fun for him to be like, I took on a fucking god. Mm -hmm. and it was I would have mm. beat him too if he did not have his lightning hammer from space. <laughs> that is what it exactly. takes to take on Alexei, the Red Guardian. So I'm saying it was probably Isaiah Bradley. I'm pretty sure he's going to know the difference between a white man and a black man. And besides, this was written before Falcon the Winter Soldier, right? Yes, or at least it was happening at the same... Ah, uh, no, it was happening at the same time like when, we, when they were shooting, I think. Yeah, well, I think they would have put more effort in if they wanted us to think it was Isaiah that he was mixing up for. The joke yeah. is that he's clearly lied and that there's evidence to prove that he's a liar, but the evidence is so fucking crazy that, like, nobody would have tried to lie. So, um, normally, I would definitely agree... I think that the writers are just that bad <laughs> that I think they're just trying to use it to make him look dumb. Yeah, I know. I'm saying that is explicitly what they do. I'm just saying that's how incompetent they are that it doesn't even make sense to say. I can deal with some of this stuff. Like, Red Guardian is so stupid that, um... What other stupid stuff does he do in this movie? <laughs> He's is pretty much everything he does. Um, yeah. He's acting like a goofball, and he doesn't seem to be particularly competent in anything he really does. He doesn't have a moment where he shines or does anything good. Yeah, every he's time there's a moment like, he's a, he's almost about to shine, it's like, nah, you're an idiot, fuck off. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's the only point I'm making. This, this whole scene falls apart for me in terms of a character intro because mm -hmm. it's so forced. It's like, our character is strong, he cares about how he's perceived, and he will lie in order to come across as better to other people. I'm like, I get that that's what you think you've written, but this whole scene is just shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, moving on. Enough enough yeah. of me. Uh, <laughs> like just, just... Just, I wrote something down. So, so when when he breaks the arm of the big guy, I think his, his uh is ad-libbed and badly as well. You mean ADR? Uh, ADR, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's, uh... I'll play it for the audience. I can't, I can't really tell. It could it could have come from him, or it could have come from yeah. David Harbour because he's trying to taunt him, I guess. Yeah, maybe I know. It's, it just felt weird. Uh, definitely, I don't know. But yeah, I don't. I just wrote that down. I wasn't. That sure. was another thing, by the way. It's hard. <laughs> I'm not very sympathetic toward a character who like not only hated his time with the family that I'm supposed to care about his connection to. But, like, enjoys causing pain to people who call him a liar, provably. I'm like, okay. And I know that he's not um, a hero, but it does come across in this movie that you're supposed to kind of be like... Well, a lot of people like Red Guardian in this film. A lot of people are like, yeah, he was cool. I like him. But I was just like, um... But he wasn't cool. That's so the thing. I kind of find him... At all. It, like, he's an he idiot. He was purposefully uh, constructed to be not cool. The only thing... He's the, a buffoon. The only thing that pulls me toward him is the fact that the film hates him. I feel bad for him. Yeah, I, I kind of get John Walker vibes a little bit, where I kind of want to root for the person the film is trying to demonize. Yeah. Because I almost feel like it's unfair. I feel like if the if this really is the Red Guardian, he should be doing way better than how he's doing. You know, I, he, I, I do feel like he's not being treated fairly. Absolutely. Um, And the main thing mm -hmm. I'm citing, which uh, I guess I'll try and highlight them as we go, but... There are many times in this film where he goes to explain something he feels, and then the film cuts him off. It happens like five mm -hmm. times. Yeah, um, it's fucking annoying. Everyone else gets to spill out exactly how they think and feel, but he as a character isn't allowed, and the film is like, you're too stupid to do it. It's just like, hmm. Okay. I, like, like, I don't know, I just kind of feel bad for him. Um, but I don't like him, really. He's kind of an asshole. I, he is an asshole. It's not really like... He's an a, asshole, yeah. He's just an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Um, so, there's so much wrong with this scene, oh, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> it's incredible, and to start, I guess, with the doll, it's like... Yeah, how the fuck did they get this here? Oh, I don't know how to explain this, it, it's almost like we should run through it quickly and then we'll go back. So, okay. <laughs> the two girls show up in the helicopter, uh, they get to talk to him through a little transceiver that he pulls out of the little Red Guardian merchandise, he puts it in his ear, they tell him to just run. They start opening all the gates, he runs through them, they drop down a rope to let Natasha down, she fights a bunch of people until... How do I exp Like, it's just so painful. They start shooting at the helicopter, she fires back with an RPG, she blows up a tower with a minigun in it, and then an avalanche starts, 
They grab Insane David Harbour. Insane plot armor. Yeah, and escape. This is the this is the plot armor for me that just blows so many of the rest away. It this is it this is like it's the kind of plot armor where it's like indistinguishable from parody, where someone is just sitting dead still in the air in a helicopter as someone deliberately is shooting at them with a massive machine gun. And she's just calmly pointing a rocket at them as bullet holes appear everywhere around her. Just and just no to, um, like to explain the problems nuts. though, if uh, yeah. the reason I was summarizing is just to give everybody the landscape, and then we can mm -hmm. go back and then uh, just progress chronologically. So when they arrive, they need him to be ready because they're running out of fuel. Um, so how do they organize it so that the the doll they sent in the mail to him arrives exactly when they arrive to. Yep. How do you time that? They just hope. Because he opens it up, and then they're like, Hey, person, time to escape. It's like, oh. When it would have made a lot more sense for him to put it in his ear and be like, hello, and then they're sitting in some kind of, you know, hideout, and they're like, oh, you finally got it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get going now. Uh, be ready. getting the doll there probably is going to take days, at least. You'd have to think so. Um, and some, I assume some people ask in, in chat, it's like, wait, what popped the doll's head off? Pulling the string on the doll to make it say a phrase, that's what did it. They hoped he would play yeah, with I was, it. Yeah, I was saying Mahler, when we watched the film, was like, man, it's a good thing he pulled that string, or else... <laughs> mm. Well, it's it's twice over. Good thing he pulled it, good thing they didn't. The, uh, the people who toy with all of his merchandise. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were fucking with your prisoner's stuff as it comes in, and you see a figurine with a pull string... Hmm. <laughs> I guess you just look <laughs> at it and go, interesting, and then put, pass it over. You don't pull the string, why would you ever do that? Yeah, that's silly. So, yeah, we're already breaking apart, like, from the get-go, but it's not the worst of it. So, he gets it, and they're like, we're gonna start opening the gates, just run. And for some reason, the first thing he does is punch his way through this little, like, kiosk thing, and just beat these two guards. One of them, by the way, just watches it all happen and waits for his turn. <laughs> it's really oh, yeah, weird. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, he just starts moving through, and we have an example of possibly one of the worst pieces of editing in movie history, uh, in terms of this particular, uh, category, I guess. Uh, when I first saw this, I didn't believe it had happened, I thought I'd, like, blinked or something. So, I'm gonna show you guys. Because the Red Guardian is escaping, and he's, he's running, there he is, look at him run. But unfortunately, boom! Crashes right into this army of riot oh, no. gear dudes. Look at that. Oh boy. That's unfortunate. Surrounded. Wow. How's the, he gonna get out of this crate? Behind him, in front of him. Look at him. He's thrashing. He knows it's all over. It's done. How are you gonna get out of this? Maybe if he defeat. Oh, he's fine. There he is. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad he made it out. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um, yeah. It happens so quickly, most people might not even see it, but that is. I that, didn't see that. <laughs> I know for a fucking <laughs> fact that the editor had more footage to work with than that, surely. That was so crap. Uh, He's like, I'm gonna get you. I'm fine. Okay, bye. I'm fine. Bye. And that's not bye. the first time. This film's editing is quite cringe. Uh, and then this, this thing happens. I don't know what to think about this. He picks up a riot shield and smashes it through the gate so that it locks it. Like, yeah, that confused me too. It's like it's, it's closing. What? It's, it's, I'm not. What, what else do you want? I don't exactly know what's happening here. I think it just means that they can't open it back up. Wait, oh, uh, wait. Why, I, thi why I think. I think. Th they don't show it clearly, but I, 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 think I understand the, I what think, they're going I for. The, I think the plate is like splitting and. Yeah, they can move it again. Wait, it's still open on the, on the right, though. Well, not enough that anyone can get through, I think is the idea. Because he's uh -huh. he's smashed that through now so that if you tried to pull one of them across, it would jam with the shield. Yes. Thing is, all yeah. you got to do is push the shield up and it's over. Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like it should be. Uh -uh. There's not much they need to do about that. Um, but yeah, okay. That's, mm, all right. Oh, <laughs> such a great scene already. Now we get to the really stupid shit. All they've told oh, him to do my. is get out to the courtyard. And so... Mm -hmm. Oh, watch this. Everyone wondering what his strength is. Look at that door. Kick. Oh, yeah, he kicks Boom. right through it. This man's some... strength is... Uh... This man kills anybody he punches or kicks. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ. Um, so he goes from this... I'm gonna put copyright cover back up. 
Um, I need you to appreciate all of this time I'm highlighting here, okay? He, he went up to that door, broke it open, ran through, asking them what to do. Uh, doesn't know still. They're kind of chilling. They've not told him what he's supposed to do next. <laughs> what he's supposed to do is get to the higher levels so they can drop a rope and grab him. They just don't tell him. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. And he sees all these people coming. He's like, oh shit. And then I think Natasha's like, get to the higher level, super soldier. And it's just like, all that time you just fucking wasted for no reason at all. How about, before you engage the plan, tell him the plan. No. You got time. Hey, all you gotta do is get up, if you can get up to the roof, we're gonna be there. It's like, we're gonna be there in 30 minutes or, well, here's the thing. They rely on him getting his item when he gets his item too. It's not just, does he pull the cord, does he do all that? It's also the time of when he gets the item. If he even gets the item at all. Yeah. Right? So there's and so many variables. Huge maybe. Um, yeah, now we've got a shit ton of dudes coming in with all kinds of guns. Uh, getting, oh, yes. getting real dangerous. So Alexi tries to uh, jump up to the second level. Unfortunately, he gets zapped. And so Natasha and Yelena are like, Ugh, I guess we have to save him. Which is so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what What exactly was he supposed to do? You didn't give him a plaid that you just told him to jump up a wall. It's like, Yeah, apparently this prison's kept him here for, like, a long-ass time, so he can't just leave when he wants, I assume. Which you feel like he probably could with his insane strength. Mm -hmm. No door should ever pose a problem. Yeah, and so uh, Natasha just comes down, and I think this is the point where the soldiers are like, wait, that helicopter is not on our team, which you'd think they would have realized a little faster, but that's fine, I guess, if they're distracted and stuff. Um, so then she starts beating them up with close combat, and she doesn't mm -hmm. use any guns. No. This that... ain't gonna work, love. There's yeah, a, there's they... a lot of people with guns. This is one of those editing saves the protagonist scenes where you have these huge open spaces, and they've all got AK-74s, and... Well, Actually, I don't know which one. I don't, they probably they probably fucked that up and give them forty sevens. But they've all got these machine guns, and they just it's fine. No, they never get shot. No, nope. never yeah, get mean, shot by all these guys with guns. Look up look here. At the, look up at the screenshot I made when I watched it. I, I marked all the soldiers on screen. Yeah, at that man. Moment. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> it's nuts. He's like yelling at Yelena, and nobody shoots her. <laughs> or the helicopter. Yeah, there. <laughs> like, yeah. It's nothing. It's insane. Yeah, a little bit. You might just so many yeah One, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, just eight, a few nine, so then the helicopter gets hit with a barrage of bullets just constantly from guns and then uh, it doesn't matter it just doesn't do anything at all until a minigun starts firing and that's film yeah, logic for oh minigun means it can actually damage you you know normal guns. even though we see the machine gun the dishka we see it piercing straight through the helicopter yeah, like, like this, it's, this it's, helicopter's destroyed. It's done. You're it's tearing dead. it apart. Yeah, you are dead. Yep. Um, but That's somehow huge. it doesn't hit anything vital on the helicopter or on Yelena. It doesn't even shoot the cockpit. <laughs> oh, it was like yeah, one. It was like, like it's one a stationary shot, target, maybe. and you got sights on that thing, and it's a it. Like you can't lose. This is a freebie. This is like, uh, the, the, this is just like simulations. Like, yeah, it's exactly, <laughs> exactly what you train to do. <laughs> this could not possibly be better in my favor, you know, that kind of thing. It's a giant target, doesn't move, yeah. Perfect distance. S still, it's... <laughs> and so, uh, I just also, want to appreciate this, this just, bit. To, just be clear, this, this plan, right? So, think about who Natasha and Yelena are. They're super... Uh, super spies, essentially. And this is just the dumbest plan. There's nothing clever about this. There's nothing interesting about it. This is like the brute force equivalent of, like, this isn't, like, is this, the, why is this the plan you choose with your skill sets? Of yes. subversion why, and subterfuge and guile. One of the things I thought could have been interesting, right, and this is the kind of thing, when you come up with ideas, you still need to refine them fully, but Face masks. What if they pretended to be Drakov and someone else coming into the prison, and uh, when they try and free Alexei, like, Alexei has a, a huge moment of complaining to Drakov about all the things he hates about him, but he really appreciates the fact that he's finally releasing him, and all that stuff, and then once it's revealed that it's actually Natasha, 
he's just like, oh, fuck. I don't know how you can actually have, I guess, stature and bat suits. I don't know. <laughs> like, but <laughs> the point is, you expect a goal, you expect him to do it via espionage, not via brute yeah, force. Yeah, you sneak in. You use wires and vents and, you know, cool gadgets and all kinds of stuff and all of your, like, relevant skills. You don't expect, we're gonna... We're going to magically acquire a helicopter, park our asses right in the middle <laughs> of a massive prison yard full of men with machine guns and just like swing in and rescue. Like this is dumb. This is really stupid. It mm -hmm. can't be it can't be stated too many times. The point needs to sink in how dumb this is and it's doubly dumb considering the characters who actually are enacting this plan. Natasha should say, no, that's stupid and suicidal. Do you know how many guns they have up there? Here's what the real plan is. We're going to use the sewers and we're going to use the vents and gadgets and wires and it'll be like Mission Impossible and it'll be great. And Yelena's like, what is Mission Impossible? Oh, it's a great movie. And then you make Mission Impossible references for the whole fucking movie and then it all comes together at the end when Yelena says, just like Mission Impossible. And then Natasha says, yeah. And then the movie ends, and we go home. And they wink at the screen, right? And thank you for thank you for coming to my TED talk. I got mm. this on screen, and I'm gonna play it in slow motion to see how many bullets managed to not hit her. Got <clears throat> with the sparks. Come on, give me. <laughs> give me the sparks. Any second. I don't now. know if oh, you'll be able one, to count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, they stopped. Wow, they're like, Eight, one of them got in the door. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, as it was shooting, as it was swinging around, she just so happened to be in between where the bullet shot, because of its rate of fire. I think that's nine bullets. Yeah, only nine actually hit the area. Oh, um, we killed this innocent man who's defending this prison from yeah. the attack. So morally, this is pretty damn frustrating, because all these people yep. are doing the right thing. Yes, you are killing this guy, because of course he's stopping you from showing up and... Yeah, like you're doing stealing the prisoners. Thing. Like these are prisoners. These are criminals. You can't just come in and and bust them out. Like, of course we're gonna shoot at you. And now you're shooting missiles at innocent people. Like, fuck me. And she does it, yeah. and then she goes, ha. Yeah. And it's like, oh um, guys, do you do you think that's why they had the little scene where the guards were kind of dickish to Alexi? Yeah, I can believe they're that stupid. Enough. Yeah, I can believe they're that stupid that they think that that <laughs> justifies like, See, it's okay killing if them. These guys get killed. Yeah, because they were sort of a dick to the the goodish guy. <laughs> so it's okay. Now, chat for those of you out there who are unaware of exactly where this plot goes next. Okay, by <sighs> shooting the explosive into the building and blowing it all up, they're like, "Yay, our plan is we're good." And then Yelena's like, "Wait a minute." And then everyone is like, wait a minute, because you start hearing some noises. And then when it shows but you a wide shot of, uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, when it shows you this kind of shot, you see all of the mountains in the background, you're like, and then it's like a, a little shake. Like, oh no, are we, oh, we're doing that? Mm. And the answer is yes, we're doing that. We we're doing that. doing that. We're getting our Milan moment. <laughs> we have an avalanche. She caused Yay. one. And oh, her reaction damn. to seeing it is, this would be a pretty cool way to die. This is so cringe. Well, it's, it's a so cold. Bad. It gets cold oh. back at the Especially end. Especially when she's in a helicopter, and the avalanche is not going to pose a problem to her in theory. It's a pun, but right? uh... so this is like epic action scene, and I think most people took it that way. But I was fucking disturbed when I first saw this. Well, they're all going to die. Well, let's be entirely yeah. specific Anyone... about probabilities Any... and how everything runs. Anyone okay. outside is dead. We know this. Yes. Anyone outside is a it's very it. real chance of dying. I would not count on them. Like, you would still do search and rescue because mm -hmm. hope you're like, hopefully some Absolutely. people survive. It's, it's not a nice death either. It's suffocation. Yes. It's, um, it's mm -hmm. a really bad way to go. Yeah. And that's assuming that everybody gets inside and all the doors are closed, which, you know, but some, once some people will, get, but some will, but yeah. But. Well, so I just want to make sure, if we can just do a quick damage recap, right? It buries the entire prison, and it destroys yeah. most yeah. of the buildings that are up and around, and they look like power and communication towers. That seems mm -hmm. to be the idea. 
Um, now that there's, there's, it's not going to take long for people to have discovered this happened if they don't even if they know already. They probably went at a communication out already, like we're under attack. What you'd think? Um, but any government that's like told that this has happened, like it's going to take some time to get everybody dug out of this place. Absolutely. Yeah, they're go they got to scramble oh, yeah. search and rescue helicopters, and it's going to take some time. Um, yeah, the people very, inside yeah. will be okay, but anyone outside well, is well, probably going to be Well, you say that, but if all of the prisoners and all of, are out of their cells, oh, yeah, in that, that means sense, there's going to yeah. be a lot of murders happening. A lot oh, of yeah, murders happening. Yeah, yeah, the guards yeah. will try and corral them, again. but the prisoners aren't going to take that shit, especially during an avalanche. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there'll be a lot of it will be, deaths. It will be, it'll be carnage. And if there are points, yeah. you know, if they take a certain amount of time, you can get some really grisly things happening if they're not saved, mm -hmm. you know, relatively Soon quick. Soon enough. Yeah. Cannibalism. Mm. Some yeah. really horrible things. I don't you, think that'll happen. I think there's going to be enough provisions in there with where they are and how much it normally snows and stuff. Well, it depends. Be, what, what if you are anymore. locked? What if you were trapped in an area where there is no food? What if you're in a pub? Uh, oh yeah, I guess if you're no trapped to food. Well, would the would the snow trap different? Not, or does it just cover the outside? Would it get in, or would it well, be all sealed if, up? Well, I'm not gonna. I wouldn't assume that this entire facility is accessible only through interiors at all times. There are parts that will be separate from the others, and if you got no water, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Um, and I think the overall takeaway you're supposed to have about this is that people died. Lots of people probably died. Lots yes. of people definitely um, died. Yeah. And the, the complete guarantee is that Yelena would have known this action cost lives, as far as she could mm -hmm. tell, and she didn't give a fuck, and neither did Natasha. The lives of people who, because the prisoners don't deserve to die, uh, and the guards don't deserve to die, it, just because you want to break this guy out, like, it's not, it's entirely unfair to those people. Yeah, they don't you give don't, a fuck. Yeah. In fact, they celebrate when uh, everyone gets onto the Ooh, helicopter yeah. successfully. Yeah. Yelena's like, oh, Yay! yes! Woohoo! All right! And, um, yeah, this is not an evil base. This is not a stronghold of all the Nazis that they were experimenting on you all and you just escaped and you buried them in Avalanche or whatever. This is literally a... What you've done is wrong, and as a result of doing it, you did something else that's incredibly wrong. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you have no idea why Alexi's in prison. You're just getting him out because you need something from him. That's not how it works. <laughs> so, um, that's and another thing. you didn't thing. even, like, sneak him a bug to put in his... Oh, yeah, that's right, it's the earpiece! Yeah, she starts talking when he puts the earpiece in, and I'm like, how the fuck did you know he had the earpiece in when he started talking? <laughs> yeah, you don't. Um, I was just gonna say, they didn't even try just, like, a prisoner visit thing. And they were like, where's the red room? And then, you know, Alexi can be that kind of character where he's like... I will Great. tell you yeah. if you get me out of this prison. Yeah. I've been here for too long, and I have to exact my revenge against Draco. So if he if he dies at any point, make sure you mine. tell me. Yeah. I would hate to not know that my fucking the person who destroyed my life was dead. So yeah, um, that's the scene. It's horrendous, and we're not even in Act Three yet. The character assassination. Ooh. Nah. Well, see, and if you've been paying attention to everything we've been saying, I would say at this point Natasha's been destroyed, like, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of her core values and then just standard ones that come with her heroism, it's, just, it's all gone. Yep. And why? It's very well, frustrating. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so Alexi says, uh, Ew, you guys had your fallopian tubes ripped out, ew, stop talking about it, it's so weird. Yeah. Um, after she makes weird a joke of it. Mate. Yeah, this yeah. is the thing. The reason I bring this up so fast is um, if we were in the writer's room and someone pitched that to me, I'd be like, whoa, no, 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 no. If that comes out, which is still a big if, that should, like, haunt Alexi. That should be something that he's like, Jesus fucking Christ, they did that to you guys after I recommended you guys go into that program? Mm-hmm. And that should, like, really make him think twice about what his connection to these two are and why they would feel what they feel toward him, but he's too fucking stupid. He's just like, lol. Well, it worked out. Oh, That's it. Wow. You'll be yeah. great killers, the best killers ever. And I'm like, okay, well, I see you've changed in prison. Yeah, and you can't even blame them that much because they make jokes about it. And they shouldn't be making jokes about that. They really shouldn't. I'm not, I'm not saying you can't make jokes about it in general. I'm saying those characters wouldn't make jokes about that. They this don't is, seem like they should be jokey at all. I mean, Yelena, this is the first time she's even talked about it as a thing that happened in her life with, like, you know, the freedom to actually express her own perspective on it. 
She's joking about she it. She doesn't ever seem upset or bitter about it. Well, she's snarky, if anything, right? With some people. Yeah, she's snarky and upbeat and outgoing and happy go lucky. And I'm like, no, you wouldn't be like this. I don't believe you. You're not real. <sighs> I'm only an hour into this film. Yeah. <laughs> but, guys, Lord. the first couple acts are great. It's the third act where it falls apart. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, how do we get to Melina? Well,. They ask him where the red room is, and he goes, I don't know, but Molina does. I was like, and, the, oh. and of course, now as a viewer, you're like, yeah, why didn't they go to Molina? And then Natasha's like, Molina's dead. And then he goes, no, she's not. <laughs> it's so well, shit. Why do we, why do we have that scene? <laughs> yep. All right. Natasha didn't look into it. She just assumed she was dead, but she's not dead. Fuck it. And the only reason that that's just established and then counted in that moment is because why did it happen now of all times? Like, that's why. Because she thought it, and now she doesn't. Moving on. Cool. Yeah. Let's talk about just, like, this this crash, and how they just, like, crash and they're fine. Oh, yeah. It's... Like, their, their helicopter just flumps into the ground out of the sky, and they're just... They're well... Just great. Things are great. Before you... Before that, this is their fuel gauge, apparently. I'm not gonna pretend like I know if that is the fuel gauge, because it's all in... One of those... It's the, the one they're looking at. Uh, what does it say? Lead... Oh, leader... It's it's in leaders. I think that's the Russian word for leader. I'm not sure. I can I don't know a lot of Russian words, but I, I know <laughs> phonetically. I think that's I think that's for leaders. Okay. Um. So this is after just completing the prison rescue, which is what they intended, and now they're like, "What next?" And he's like, "We gotta go to Petersburg." And she's like, "I don't think we have the fuel for Petersburg." And it's like, wh "What did you expect was gonna happen? That he would tell you where the red room is, and he was right next to the prison?" Yeah, Russia's fucking yeah. big. Exactly. I have it's no the... fucking clue what the point of this was. Like, oh, we don't have yeah, the fuel to just go people, anywhere. Like, there, uh, there are some people out there who say that it's the largest country in the world. Some. So That'd be you right. should have a fuel. And plus, if you know you don't have much fuel left, you need to say, okay, we're going to run out of fuel. I'm going to go ahead and put us down uh, like on our landing gear, like a normal landing. So we don't have a crash landing because that would be yeah. bad because we're in the helicopter. Helicopters can auto rotate. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, so when you're when you start descending in a helicopter, the blades are still going to be affected by the 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 wind and the air. Uh -huh. So I think the auto rotating is you can have a controlled descent in a helicopter because there will still be spin that the propellers will have based on as you're descending. It'll keep the propeller spinning to a degree. Yeah, I'm just baffled. I think I'm not. I'm, I'm not just baffled sure they though, didn't but... land before they crash land. Like, yeah, you... it's like I guess we just have to keep going forward until we just like that's a big deal. Like mm -hmm, that could mm -hmm. really seriously hurt you. But as Thunder just said, it's funny, right? They they wanted a funny landing, and you're you're laughing. You're all laughing. It's funny. Ha! That was oh, 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 Mr. Rick. Man, silence and is a funny substitute with for laughter. Tee hee! They crashed. So. Uh, they're at Molina. Well, they're almost at Molina's uh, farm, and they literally say like, "How how long until we're there?" And he just goes, "When we're there." So it it worked out is basically what what I'm saying because they don't. Right, cool. I think writers would be smart these days to not tell you where anyone is at any time, so that we can't be like, "You fucked that up." Instead, we'll have to be like, "Hmm, well." And it's a good thing he knows exactly <laughs> where she is. Yeah, you'd think with Alexi having been in prison for a while now, it's. It's amazing Decades, that he even yeah. knows where she would work. But yeah, he does. And uh, and she is there. And things just keep getting stranger. Um, oh, I guess there's a, there is a discussion where he's like he's defensive about how, yeah, they lost their uterus, but at the same time, they're pretty good killers, so it's chill. And at this point, yeah, he's like, which, I don't... This guy... At this point, like, I was very confused about what they want to do with him. Like, is he going to be a good guy? Is he going to be a bad guy? Is he going to, like, what are they, who is this guy? And what are they, what are they going for with him? And I'm still not even sure, other than he's just like this weird goofball that they have laugh at and they just treat like a joke. Funny, though. I don't think I laughed once while watching this movie. Mm. I laughed in sadness, like a like like a person in a straight jacket might laugh. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Um, 
obviously the big payoff for this is um Loki says your ledger is dripping gushing red as a point of yeah. how she will never be able to clean it out and then Alexi grabs their hands and he's like I'm so proud of you girls your ledgers are dripping gushing red mm. <laughs> what a, who is this guy oh, sweet. Who you what do you want me to feel film a lot of the times films are obvious and obnoxious about how they want me to feel but here I'm like Film, what what do you want? What do you want me to be thinking right now with this guy? Because I'm confused. We hate the sexist Joss, but we will steal his dialogue. They're all stealing his dialogue. It's funny. <laughs> do whatever they want with it. Glorious purpose. They said that fucking mm -hmm. like seventeen times in the Loki show. Yep. Breakdown coming next week. Someone's saying that Red Guardian actually believes he fought Cap because he asks Natasha about it. So does he have a mental condition instead of lying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think he asks ask me. Natasha about He asks what, what Cap has said about him in a way of like... It's so you know how he comments on Cap as a super soldier in America. He was asking if Cap has ever commented on him as a super soldier in Russia. Mm. Well, you didn't exist until they just made you up, so probably yeah. Didn't yeah, and Cap hasn't be been weird. active. And, as, yeah, uh, Cap twenty twelve, which is after the Red Guardians even done anything. Like he's done. He would have been in prison by then. I just don't get it. What's funny? They're trying to make it cute, like ah, oh, of course he would, because he describes them as contemporaries. Like, see, it, it makes sense. They're both kind of super soldiers, and I'm like, you didn't think about this for five seconds. You literally saw super soldier, and that was it. Doesn't work. Um, so she gets alerted by her iPad that she's got intruders, and so she takes the time to get her pigs inside, and then grab a sniper from her shed and just aim it at the people coming. I just thought that was funny. Like, that's a defensive system. She's like, let me just sell my pigs, get my gun. Alright, who is it? And they're very casually walking toward the place, and in such a way that if these people were intending to kill her, it would have been easy. Like just... Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, a bunch of people in these bright white outfits probably wouldn't just be waltzing around. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, they just arrive very casually. Unbeknownst to them, I'm gonna set this up a little earlier, is she's very evil, right? And she's gonna call Drake off immediately, and so the Red Room people are already on the way. That's terrifying. They don't know this. Until then, she's just gonna have to delay them. And so they have a family chat. And, um, possibly, I guess, capping off Natasha's assassination with the family values thing happens here. The, um... The mum is just talking about how happy she is about her mind control. She's like really excited in relation to the pig. We're gonna come back to that in a sec. Oh, the pig, yeah. And so yeah, the real she, hero. She's very the into real it. Hero of this film. Putting up with all this bullshit. Mm -hmm. and, and Natasha's like, the fuck, blah 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 blah. And then Yelena has a little bit of a, of probably the best acting in the whole film, if I'm being nice and friendly. But it's the only part. It's the part of the film that people probably reference on Twitter. I'd imagine. I feel that way about a lot of things in modern MCU. Like it's a scene mm -hmm. built to be shared. It's not a scene that was there for the story, necessarily. She gets upset, because everybody's referring to their, uh, their undercover family life as fake, and didn't really mean much, and they're not what you would call a family. There's no way you could say that. And she's like, it was real to me, and all of you were dicks, you all lied, fuck all of you. Um, she said, obviously, her mum created the mind control that's been used on her for her whole life, which, by the way, how do you not resent the fuck out of that woman when you know that? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's... Ugh. I would fucking hate her. I'd be like, you've done this to not Absolutely, just me, but so many people. It would be tempting to kill you, just saying. Like, the amount of damage you've caused. And, uh... We'll get to that one in a sec. The one I really want to focus on, though, is she says to Natasha, and you abandoned me. Where were you? Like, look what happened to me. And Natasha just slumps and looks down at the table, full of guilt, because she's been yep. provided this mishap by these writers because it never existed before. Because they assassinated her, and... Yeah. The question is, would Natasha leave her beloved sister behind with what you know about her from the MCU? The answer is no. No. And so, if you say, well, she did, like, oh, um, well, she's fucked. <laughs> like, it's just incompatible with her character. There's nothing else we could do. 
And talking about incompatibilities, when she explains the horrors of the mind control and it was being used on here, the mum is like, oh man, I didn't know. That sucks. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredibly bullshit. Very bullshit. They're just trying to rescue her. Like, the writers are like, no, 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 she did. She was making the mind control as a hobby. She didn't know it would be used on anybody. She's, oh, yeah. She's the yeah. lead scientist who has regular discussions with Dracov. She didn't know about the Black Widow program being used with mind control. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Oh, bullshit. All of it's bullshit. Um, demonstrating, of course, the mind control. She shows that she can make a pig be unable to Stop breathe. breathing. Yeah, and then she lets it continue going on for way too long, and it's very evil and upsets me greatly that they would mistreat this poor pig. The pig gags yeah. for like He's, half a minute. Lord knows, what has this pig had to put up with when the cameras weren't rolling? Yeah, and of course, this pig things. is like the, the most morally upstanding character in this story, so... This upsetting. is like reverse Just animal farm. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, kind of. At least Natasha's the first one to be like, fucking let the pig breathe, you bitch. Yeah. yeah why not make him do a trick or something? Why cut <laughs> off his breathing? It's so yeah. sadistic. It's like, of all the things you could have done, Jesus. Lol, it can't breathe. She's like giddy while explaining this, and they're all like, wow, this is really fucked up. And it's like, yay, movie has one sliver of self-awareness. Mm-hmm. One sliver, at least. That's something. Yeah. Uh... So they, they they get a big angry, and they split off into two groups, Yelena and Alexei, Milena and Natasha. Um, and as Metal actually pointed out to me, there's a really funny just thing that happens here with the, the lighting. Like, it's daytime. Um, Yelena leaves in a huff. It's clearly daytime. You can, you can see it on stream. I didn't even take the copyright down. She rushes off. Alexei follows her immediately, and we cut to him in the room with her, and it's just darkness outside. And uh, when we cut back to these yeah. guys, it's all dark as well. It's just, we literally just switched from day to night in, like, a second. A minute, yeah. Um, but who cares? Editing, right? Well, it's not even editing at that point. That's just filming. Yeah, that's just like, oh, we fucked up. Um, it took us a long time <laughs> to do these scenes. Now, uh, in terms of tone, you see that Alexi opens the door to his daughter that's just had a tantrum about how everybody has treated her horribly and she has a horrible life. And so he enters the that room. That came out of nowhere, by the way. Um, it came out of nowhere with how she's portrayed her character up to this point. It makes sense yeah, with that's her what, history, yeah, that's, at least. That's, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's how she should be, but, like, pumped time, up to yeah. more of a degree, oftentimes. And then mm -hmm. at the end, she starts to be like, oh, maybe there is, you know, I'm still, you know, young, I got so many years ahead of me, and I've been breaking free, and and there are clearly people who do care about me, and da 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 Um, everyone's pressing F. I don't know why. Was the stream F, F for the pig? I don't know why it's playing for me. F for the pig. Oh, is it F for the pig? Oh, okay. I hope it's oh, F for the pig. Okay. But, <laughs> the, pig yeah. the pig lives, so it's okay. It's yeah, he's still... alright. Yeah, I was worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gary is such a boomer that he knows that F means pay respect, but he doesn't know the context of how it begins and where you typically <laughs> use it. And so I was on a stream with him and he, he was explaining how awesome of a friend Az is to him. And then, but he, he only explained that portion of it. He began his like statement with everyone in chat, press F, press F right now, press F for Az. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> and we're like, oh my god, is he okay? Yeah, Did but, something happen? Me, me and Az were both like, huh? And he was like, press F for Az because that man deserves some respect. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, we're, we're halfway there, you know? <laughs> we were so confused. <laughs> That's good stuff. I like the, the, the use of it. It's amusing. Um, so anyway, yeah, Alexi gets into the room, and it seems like... You're kind of waiting for them to play a joke, right? And this is my... I'm explaining my journey with this. I don't know if it's different for other people. But I was already kind of annoyed. I was like, here we go. He'll enter the room and be a really shitty dad. Make, like, a fart joke and then leave. Like, that's what the thing will be. Um, and she says, I don't want to talk to anybody. And then he says, then we'll be quiet. And he sits next to her. And I was like... <gasps> and that could be nice. Yeah. An actual moment. Uh, I almost, like... I'm like, proud of you, MCU. You did it. And then they cut away. And so you're like, all right, we're good, we're, we're good for now. Okay. We're okay. A taste of something not shit. And That's then, great. 
that's the thing. I think they ruin it. So the, they eventually cut yeah, back to them, and he's explaining a story about his father, which is another thing that could work, depending on what he says. The payoff mm -hmm. is his dad went to toilet on his hands. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and she's like, why are you telling me this story? And then he just goes, well, you know, fathers. So bad. Yeah. I hate it. It sucks. Yeah. Really sucks. It, so it doesn't was... come across as what, what they wanted it to be was him. He's just like, he knows kind of what to do, but he's a bad dad and he doesn't know how to explain it. And he's awkwardly trying to like talk to someone, but in it's, they did a really bad thing. How they did that. Like, I understand what they're going for, but it wasn't good enough. I just hate that he's a complete joke. He's not a human. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it either. I, it's just... You get these tiny little slivers of moments in between just buffoonery. It makes me confused and upset. And so, uh... Yeah, the, the, uh, she's like, get the fuck out, and then he sings her the song that she liked from when they were in the car at the beginning of the film, when they were young. Yeah, yeah American Pie. Which, um... When I watched it, and they started the song in the, in the beginning, I immediately wrote down, this is be gonna be a payoff later. Oh, the beginning has, like, the every little cutaway they have to something, you mm. know it's it's so yeah. obvious that you know that thing is gonna pop up. That the is, picture mm, book, yeah. Leave the, the, book. Uh, the photo of the kids, yep. the song, yep. it's all so just, you know it's gonna pop up again. It will not be cleverly referenced a second time, It'll just be, yeah, it, it, it's back. We, yeah. So what a chat said, to be fair, he was suffering from frostbite. I am not asking for a justification for why his dad pissed on him. I'm talking about <laughs> raising that story in that moment. <laughs> it's okay, it made sense I, that he peed on it him. It makes sense that he pissed on him. <laughs> so, um... Quick, dad, piss on my hands. <laughs> yeah, so, so we're in a position where, um... Th that song being called back to made me think like, oh man, you could have had your scene now. It would have come in that he said, well, be quiet. Then he could start humming that song and they could like sing some of it together. And then he could have explained a story about his dad that was actually genuine and related to their situation currently. And then they could have had a moment and that could have been it. But you we can't because he's too much of a fucking joke and it doesn't stop there. We'll get more. Um, on the other end... We have Natasha being like, fuck you, mom, I'm gonna go and beat Draco of myself. And she's like, can't, it's real hard. And I don't know how to summarize this scene other than Natasha's like, I'm pretty sentimental, and I think you are kind of too, because you saved this photo album. And then Melina's like, you're kind of right, and I feel bad because Draco is on his way. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. How, that's, that's but how that. did he learn about Alcaldo? Well, yeah, that's, my, that's what I'm saying. She flips in, a, in yeah, an instant. Yeah, like instantly. A, a, a short, tiny heart to heart from Natasha gets her to completely flip. Yeah, isn't she like, Allegiance. oh, how did you did you keep your heart? And then we get another payoff from the beginning because you told me to be strong or something, whatever she said in the beginning. It's like, ah, oh, mm, okay. Pain makes and you stronger. It. Pain like, makes you we, stronger, Natasha. Yeah. We do love you, weird mom, but no more torturing animals. Ground yeah. rule. <laughs> Ground rule. <laughs> Ground rule. Rule number two, no more mind control of people. You're just fucking no more mind control. It's real creepy. Yeah, it is weird. Like, if you think it's normal, that's the problem. No one else does. <laughs> so, um, I guess... Is that about it now until we get... Because I'd have to get to the third act, right? It's the, it's the big showdown. Because we're about to sort of skip over to it in an instant. Because Drigov's men arrive and just trank everybody, basically. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to, as a viewer, not Alexei really... At least Alexei has a moment where he fights them off valiantly. And uh, we, we see that he could really be a fighter when the chips are down. And he has to defend his family. And, 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 and that doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm sorry. It didn't happen. Oh, well. Well, we do get another Aquaman moment, though. Mm -hmm. This one, I, in a way, is funnier than um, other... Like, this thing, they're all different flavors of Aquaman, because... Um, yeah, there it is. Things Aquaman are just kind of normal, and then suddenly... <laughs> it's such a, like, whoa, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, Dracos men are outside, and they're just gonna... They're gonna shoot all of our heroes, and it's gonna be real sad. And then they get captured. And they're being yeah. taken to the Red Room. 
place that, uh, again, everyone's sedated when they go to, except, of course, all of the drivers for the, uh, the transport ships. Seems like, um, an exploit, potentially. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, uh, we know that there are Black Widows, we know there are women behind it that can be saved, but there are also lots of guys that are just masked. Well, we need people that the heroes can fuck up with moral, you know, impunity, impunity essentially, yeah. Because we know the Black Widows, those people, they're, mm, they, they are, they're brainwashed into it. And yeah, so the we men gotta save the them. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, man? It's, it's very bad when you think about it in terms of, uh, not, not very feminist of you. It's supposed to be about equality. It was about figuring out good character and motivation for everyone. Are the men not under mind control? You'd, you'd think they'd have to be. No, men are just naturally nah, they're evil. just they're on a payroll. They're like employees. They're all they mercenaries. <laughs> so yeah, um, the audience is meant to think that Melina's betrayed them all, and she gets them all sent in. And you're like, oh my goodness. Um. And so I guess I don't know how to go about this one. We're just gonna have to keep talking about all of it until we feel like we've covered all of it because this is <laughs> such a mangled yeah. fucking mess. The third act. Mm. So well, we are we got the third act. That's cool. yeah, I know it's incredible, really. Um, we presented that Melina goes to Drakov to just we assume because we don't have all the information yet that they're just doing like a fucking victory lap. Like we did it. Turns out this isn't Melina. This is Natasha wearing face mask and wig. And um, yeah. that means that Melina is in a cell with a cross from the Red Guardian. And she's going to break out because she built the cells. I feel like I can't explain any of this without being like, right, so this doesn't make sense for this fucking <laughs> millions of reasons. Drakov manages to see through it, by the way, straight away. He's like, when you look into the eyes of someone who hates you, you can tell or some shit like that. Um... But he doesn't do anything about it when he realizes. He's yeah. like, "Yep, you're uh, you're here," which means the other one is you. He only in a in a while eventually says, "Yo, Taskmaster, there are rats in the building. Go sort them out." So, I guess the initial thing is just like, why didn't you uh, immediately have a lockdown the second you knew that there's people crawling around your base that shouldn't be? Feels like a dangerous scenario. You know, you're not gonna want everyone yeah. fucking with your stuff. This is problem one of 7,000, by the way. Like, I legitimately... Like, I don't even know how to approach this. It's so insane. Uh, they need to be on a particular floor and right next to each other with their cells. This is accounted for when, apparently, Melina told Natasha to ask them to do that. <laughs> what if they just said no, bitch? They're going where we want nah. them to be. I guess that'd be the end of the movie. <laughs> like, they'd lose. Yeah. I suppose everything I'm going to highlight here is kind of... It destroys the movie every time. Um, it's a bad one. This is a this is a hodgepodge, sludgy mixture milkshake of events and characters and locations. Drakov does not strip them down. He lets them all keep their super suits, all their gear. Yep. They they legitimately have all of their fucking gear. Um, mm. The one that is I think getting you see some titty. The, the one that's getting mind controlled, like re mind controlled, Yelena. She still has a knife. And she pulls it out to escape. Like, what a great Classic fucking job. Classic mistake. Yeah. That's, a, that's a rookie Not move checking. right there. <laughs> rookie yeah. move. Letting her keep a knife. Yeah. Like, what a stupid... Hmm. Um, obviously, they let her keep the knife. They let um, Natasha keep the transceivers to be able to talk to Yelena. Um, obviously, Red Guardian's just outfit. Like, why are they letting everyone keep all of their outfits? It makes no He's got, like, pouches for all of his gear. It's just fucking nonsense. Um... But okay, they uh they don't mind control all of them, just Yelena. Why? Why wouldn't you want to mind control Alexi? And that just brings up questions: yeah. of Why the fuck isn't Alexi mind controlled anyway? Why is he in jail? Not as well. He's super strong. Yeah, mind control. He's a super yeah. soldier. Mind control his ass and use him to do super. Yeah, in fact, might as well is is putting it lightly. He should <laughs> be the priority target. Like it's not... oh. This is a great, that's a great point. Um, someone told me, it was on, it was with Az, he told me that the, um, the, the, the hot toy version of Matasmaster has the shield, the bow, the blah, 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 and he listed at one point, I think, a gun, 
And I was like, Taskmaster doesn't use a gun. And he was like, huh. And someone in chat was like, why don't you mention the fact that he just pulled out a gun? And I'm like, oh fuck yeah, Taskmaster does have a gun. Oh um, yeah, he has yeah. it here in the end in the end fight, but he just doesn't He pulls it out on uh yeah. when he thinks that uh this is a this is a huge mistake that Natasha's in the room. It's just like when the fuck did you have a gun? Uh, I hate it. Like of course he should have a gun and he should always be using it. Guns they cause problems, all right? And that's why mm, writers have, have to, to deal with them. For the problems guns solve. Yeah. You got to work around them. You have to write a reason why guns don't just solve all the fights you want to happen. Those are kind of a... What gun is that? Rags, uh, I demand your um, gun review. Let me take a look. Looks like a Unica revolver with a... Um... Sorry, it, it clipped the thing. Let me look at a better picture of it. Yeah, it looks like that's a Unica revolver with some kind of a, 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 a kind of sight on the top of it. It could be a laser. I think I think it's a laser. Um, looks like a gun. Yeah, looks like a gun. Yeah, it's a it's a Mateba auto revolver. A, a, a Model Six Unica or a, or a similar design. They uh, they're distinctive because it's a revolver that shoots the round at the bottom of the cylinder as opposed to the top, which means that the recoil is going to be felt differently in your hand. Pushes hmm. back a little bit more than it would have instead of lifted upwards. They're really cool, really nifty. Um, hopefully one day I get to shoot one and kind of see what that feels like. But it's a, yeah, it's a Mateba Auto Revolver. Model 6 Unica. So, uh, what Melina plans to do is break out of the cells and then go to... Uh, propulsion control and activate the landing protocol, I think. But Dracov outsmarts her, you see. When she gets into the room, he presses a button and all of the controls lock down and locks her in the room. Meaning, uh -oh. he knew that she was going to go there. So, why not just fucking lock her in the cell and not let her get out? And if you like, well, she built the cells. Like, fucking get a bunch of men in front of it with have, guns. Yeah, like, if you know that, yeah, just have them sitting there at all times to make sure that... What an idiot. He knew that was going to happen, apparently. It's like, what the fuck? That yeah, just screws with everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my time, though, because I'm a big evil man. I'm going to explain my evil plan. Oh, wait, we're not up to that part yet. Hold on. It's not the same if the women, women didn't suffer. She's only able to do that, by the way, because Taskmaster can't get to her, and Taskmaster can't get to her because Red Guardian stands between her and Taskmaster. And mm -hmm. it's like, man, if you're only stored on different floors for any reasonable fucking reason, what if Red Guardian was just executed? What if any of you were executed? What, what? what, if, what if Taskmaster just shot him with his gun? <laughs> no, that wouldn't have made any sense. No, um, no, the funny no. thing is, Taskmaster takes such a significant disadvantage to go to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat with the Red Guardian, and yet he loses significantly to Taskmaster. Um, and it's worth mentioning as well, like I said, this is all just going to come out piece by piece. This whole act is insane to keep track of. The Red Guardian realizes he kind of made a mistake with the kids, and he thinks he's in a cell alongside Natasha, so he starts explaining to her how he actually feels, and that to refer to his um, raising of them as boring is almost cowardly. That's what he tries to get out. And then the door opens, and he like falls over, and he's like, wait, what? I was explaining this the whole time to you? And Melina's like, lol, yeah, idiot. And it's just like, right. Why would you make a joke out of a meaningful character moment? <sighs> and that's the thing, that's um, there. they're talking on transceivers, and he sees that's happening, so he immediately puts his finger in his ear, and he goes, please, let me explain, like, I was wrong, and blah, 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 and, he, and he gets through, like, a little bit of it, and then she goes, you don't have one. And he goes, oh. Yeah, awesome. You're not part of the plan, fuck you. Which is insane, by the way. You, you uh, they, they just arbitrarily say, we only have two of these, so two people can talk to each other earlier on. In that like, massive, yeah, in that massive fuck-off room full of guns and equipment and shit. She had two. Yeah, fuck wrong, yeah. And, uh, not to mention, she only had like, the time to only tell Natasha the plan. They couldn't tell any of the others. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, bullshit. Um, yeah, time. And yeah, so they tell This might influence- yeah, like, here's the plan. Because not knowing the truth would probably influence your decision-making. Uh, so we're, we want to make sure everyone's on the same page here. Imagine how badly it would have gone if, like, Yelena thought 
that uh like had shot Molina in the face, but it was actually Nat, like in disguise. Yeah, Imagine exactly. That happened. You know, you know, Yelena is like a is a is a black widow. So yeah. who knows? Maybe she could have escaped and found a gun or threw a knife yeah. at her or something. Exactly. You got you guys need to be on the same page if one of your team disguises herself as someone that everyone else on well, the team wants to kill. You know what else? Teach them all how to escape the cells. You never know how in, like useful that information is going to be with how everything's going to go. But uh, she's the only one who knows except also, well, we'll get to that. So this is in Melina's ear and Yelena's ear. See that? Seems pretty obvious to me. If anyone did a quick check yeah. over of any of these people, they'd be like, oh, that's coming out. <laughs> and then that's the also, end. Why do they let her have like pierced ears? I don't see why an assassin would need that. <laughs> you have you have really nice done up hair. You got your hair all did. You have your earrings. You have your makeup. You have and then and then you have these goofy ass black suits that stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah, it's it's all very strange. Um, they tell her. On that transceiver, once they get out of the cells, that she has a knife and she can free herself. Why didn't they tell her as soon as they woke up? Because the fact that they take so long, she is seconds away from being killed. Oh, mind control, sorry. Yeah. It's insanely lucky. And for some reason, they waited this long. Um, but yet, <laughs> she didn't try to search for it herself, by the way. They just tell her, there's a knife in your pocket, grab it and escape. And she just does. The restraints on this woman are pathetic for um, what it, what seems to be brain surgery. Like, mm. <laughs> you, need to, you need to do better, okay? Got to, got to do what better if she's been that. sedated before they even, like, yeah. Mm. Fucking pathetic. And she cuts them <laughs> open crap. in, like, one stroke. Yeah, she, yeah. she manages to swipe them both off. It doesn't seem possible, but yeah. whatever. And again, all of this happens because they didn't take off all of the... They didn't strip down all the military gear and check for knives or check for the thing in her ear. Yeah, you strip them down to the skin and check every orifice and ear yeah. and just... you. This is everything. The stakes do. are too high. This well, I mean, happens it, all the time in movies. They do it in the good guys get, they do it in prisons, yeah, the, man. Like, good guys get to hide shit and gadgets that they need because just casual searches are not made of them when they're being taken into custody. Hmm. They, they literally say, keep her awake for the cranial incisions. Why would you do that? <laughs> not to mention... Well, she just, feels it because our big bad hates whammy. Not to mention, like, the, just the, the way that they've strapped her down for brain surgery is insane. It's so stupid. Well, Shouldn't you have the brain, allows... like, the head secured? Yes. I what if she, moves, she... I, I feel like you need to have well, her, like, sedated so she doesn't, like, struggle because of the pain dude, and fuck up like, your operation. As I'm looking at these restraints, I feel like you could wiggle your way out of them. Like, <laughs> yeah, you they, don't even need shit, the knife. They suck. Well, if you think about, so you know how your arm works, right? Um, if you fold your arm across yeah. to your belly, and then she could probably lift it out of that initial restraint, yep. so now she's already got freedom. Exactly. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's really fucking stupid. But this happens, right? And I'm putting it on the screen for a reason. She's cutting herself out of this. She sees Scientist Man over there is getting close. She kicks him. Then look at this. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's this guy. Yeah, look at him. Oh, oh, oh. And dug it. Syringe right in. And you're like, oh, shit. Wow, they oh. must have really shown that for some reason. They made a really big deal of it. Well, I was about to say, like, that was relatively quick, and I think <laughs> someone could miss that. But they wouldn't want you to miss it. Uh, oh, she threw a very small knife in a guy and got him. So you can see that's just sticking out of her. She's gonna, she's gonna give it the old grab a rooney. Yeah, she... Oof, out it goes. And then we get an insert shot right there. Now, why would they do this unless it's gonna mean something? Yeah, what is it they injected me with? And they, and she even, it even puts it down in. It hasn't been frame, pressed. It looks yeah. like it hasn't. It hasn't been plunged though. You well, can tell so the... that it's been. It's not plunged. The, but yeah, um, you, you can definitely say that. My confusion is more so why put the effort of all of this and then an insert shot if it means nothing? Yeah, yeah like, like, oh, why, she's why been injected with that? something. What's that going to mean later? Is she going to collapse later or get weakened later? Or, you know, what's what's going to happen? What would they put inside of her? Was that the was that some sedation stuff for the operation? So she's going to be uh, she's going to be AFK for a while later on. Who knows? 
Uh, someone and said also that, the guy who died when she threw the knife at him, he should just be like, ow, what the, f ow, that hurts a lot, and continued operating. Because <laughs> he just threw a knife at his back, and it wasn't a very big so, knife at all. And People are saying the insert shot is to show that it wasn't plunged, and it's like, I guess, yeah, I guess, okay, so my interpretation was I knew I that guess. already, um, and that the insert yeah. shot was distracting me, because it's like, wait, was I supposed to think something more of that? But then why have it be a syringe? Why not have it be like a scalpel or something where we don't have you don't have to think about that being a thing and i bet the vast majority of people who saw that didn't notice that it hadn't been plunged yet yeah they just assumed mm. that and and what a and that's the thing a little detail like that would make a lot of sense in a movie that actually gave a shit about little details but yeah, this I movie mean... is full of nonsensical details so that stands out as being like that seems like a fuck up to me. Yeah, I thought they I missed. I thought I missed something that. when I finished the movie. It's like, wait, that didn't go anywhere, right? And if someone was like, "No, that's the point. It wasn't plunged," I'd be like, "Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> like, all right. That's fortunate." Yeah, I just it just feels weird. It's just like you put all the effort to have it stabbed by a syringe, and then you show that very specifically, like, "Look, she was hit with a syringe." You're like, oh my, yeah, true. Well, moving yeah, on. how about that? <laughs> I'm glad she's okay. Um, so she escapes, and she gets down to a floor, I guess she knows where it is, where the vials are kept, and she just grabs them. Dracov didn't have them destroyed. Hmm. And if Which you say like something like, the first thing I would've well, done. Well, I was gonna say, if, if someone was to argue, maybe he would want to study them. And I'd be like, okay, well I then they- the whole point of this movie was that he was angry that he even, like, fucked up by making them, that he regrets He didn't that, make them. He wanted to- Oh, um, that he doesn't like that they exist. I thought that was the point. That would be the argument, yeah, he's- yeah. He thinks they're bullshit, obviously. They're ruining his operation. Um, but if someone wanted to argue to me that he still might want to study them, I'd be like, okay, well then they'd be under fucking more lock and key than literally, yeah. like, it's a shelf or some shit. Yeah, they'd be guarded by, like, ten men, just in yeah, case. Yeah, I would, yeah. In a safe. If that was me, I would destroy all but, like, maybe a yeah, couple. Yeah. And then they would go into a super secret mega safe. That is behind a locked door. And then that, yeah. that door is got as guarded by a bunch of people. Like, why not? Oh, I don't trust my men. They're fucking worthless. Well, it's it reminds me that there was a joke in Community where it was like Abed, if he was gonna have a uh, a, a movie where it was like a you know a, a, a slasher movie, and the joke is no, we're, we're we're gonna if there's a killer outside, we're gonna stand in here back to back holding knives. It's like yeah, this is kind of the things I'd be wanting to do if I didn't want <laughs> yeah, to lose. Exactly. Just, like make sure that um, there is no possible breach. This is actually something Mel highlighted. Uh, at this point, when she's about to reveal she's wearing a mask, Scarlett Johansson goes to pull the mask off one way, but she's not supposed to for how it works. So she switches her hand. Oh, kind of funny. Really? She goes from the bottom. Uh, I mean, from the top. <laughs> it's small. It's just fun. Oh, <laughs> why would you not just do it again? That um, sure does come off easy. The thing about some a, mis a quote unquote mistake like that is, I suppose you could argue that Natasha could make that okay. mistake. I guess. Yeah, I guess it's just interesting that you wouldn't just do it again if like it was a problem. Yeah, maybe they just were like, no, that's that feels genuine. You'd be like, okay, yeah, maybe. Um. So everyone's kind of moving into position. I'm trying to make sure I get everything right here chronologically. Uh, Melina escapes the room she's locked in immediately. The Drake of Doctor, she just like opens up a vent and just crawls through it. It's like a video yeah. game. You're like, okay. Done, done, done. And of course, vents, they will lead anywhere you need to go. And they're always... This is a massive facility, by the way. This is one of those, oh, we just <laughs> well, happen to bump it. into each other she on a starship kind front. of things. She probably, oh, she does? She probably built it, Rags. Mo <laughs> Oh, I, I thought she would be... I, they don't do the mind control thing when they enter and exit? Not on her. Oh, okay. She, remember, she's top scientist. She also built the fucking cells. She's also a Black Widow. And she okay. knows everything about Still, the Still, I feel facility. like memorization of the vents would be like... <laughs> She cut a That's little map. That's an interesting one, you know, to she's, remember. All the like I said, she probably built the entire place, okay? Jeez. Herself mm -hmm. by hand. Yes. And she told the men to not help her because they would just fuck it up. Ah. Then we get the reveal. So for those who had been listening, maybe they'd be yeah. like, they don't know about this. So Taskmaster is actually Task Mistress. Wump bum bum. Ba -na 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 -na. And whenever they Task have... Task Manager? <laughs> they have a couple of shots where her head 
is clearly composited on top of a man's body. And then sometimes there are shots where I think she's in the suit, but if you compare it to prior shots, she's much smaller. And uh, the, yeah, obviously the shoulders, there. the shoulders aren't broad. Yeah. Well, like, so it's... something they did in this whole film is really weird. Everybody has shoulder pads, all the women. Mm. Um, huh. Scarlett Johansson, Melina, uh, Yelena, and Taskmistress, they all have these shoulder pads that try to create broad shoulders where they obviously wouldn't have any. Really strange. You think you're trying to hide something, or I wonder suspend if disbelief, or...? It's an attempt to level out Taskmaster's absurdity. It's like, see, all the women have shoulders think? like this, kind of. You know, like, that doesn't really... <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. I don't know what it is, it's weird, because they don't do it in any of the other MCU movies, at least from what I remember. Um, I don't remember Black Widow ever having shoulder pads. So this reveal... Fucking everybody on the internet knew this was coming. I'm not even sure how at this yeah. point, I guess it's because yeah. we've done... A lot of these references include Enfys Nest, if you guys remember. That was a big spooky guy in Solo, and then it was like, nah, it's actually a girl. Like, oh shit, that's making changes nothing. All right, moving on. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like they're aping the, the Samus reveal without realizing that the reason why the Samus reveal was significant was because that kind of hadn't been done before, but now it's been done like a thousand times. I don't know, Disney are fucking 50 years behind this shit. It's like, look, women can be in movies too. You're like, yes, they yeah, can. It's like, yep, yeah. Um, Alright, who else are there? Uh, people saying Carly. Um, was there ever really a reveal of Carly being a guy to a girl, or was it always just assumed she could be anything? Well, it was because Carl, it was Carl Morgenthau was the character in the comics. It was a swap. Oh, it's okay. not the same thing as what we're talking about here, I guess. Not quite, yeah. Gotta swap I'm, him. Well, another one, um, it did an Incredibles 2 bait that it was a guy and then it was a girl. Um, no, remember that, wasn't there a thing that the screen slaver was, like, just some pizza dude or something? And, like, the actual big bad was the, the, the sister of, um... That's kind of what I guess Bob I mean, Logan. is yeah. the, it's, it's like, is it a guy, is it not oh, a guy, Oh, yeah, a girl. yeah, I get you, yeah. Um, what else? I know there's, there's more examples of the Sylvie, uh, there's, it's like, it's Loki, it's a bad Loki, Loki, Loki it's a girl. It's a girl Loki. We knew like, it was, oh, okay. Yeah. Was yeah. Was yeah. Uh, that wasn't, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I swear there are more ghosts, I think. Was Ghost one where it was assumed the ghost would be Ghost? A... Well, Ghost is a guy in the comics, it's another swap. <laughs> yeah. uh, that one. Yeah, Man, that's another they're doing one. that a lot. There's uh, a lot of those at this point, I'm pretty sure. Um, in the MCU. Gotta get those women sure in, man. Gotta that. get those women in. Oh, yeah. Mar Cap Marvel. That was supposed to be a guy, and that's a girl now. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, Marvel was uh, a guy, and wasn't that uh, the, 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 the lady, the friend of Carol, right? The Air Force person? Yeah. Um, Marvel was science, science lady. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a guy. Yeah. The ancient one was a I'm guy sure. in the comics and a girl in the movies. That's, but remember, the ancient one is uh, that's a controversial one because the ancient one is Asian. Oh uh, yeah, they made it. Was, yeah, it was white. So yeah, um, and that feels a little bit further away from what feels like a newer era. But I, I, I'd concede that if people wanted to, it's just this. It's funny to me. Like they keep doing this, and it's just like okay, it doesn't fucking add anything. It doesn't really surprise anymore. Yeah. Um, it's not really significant or meaningful at all. And, and of course, this film, it's just Taskmaster was clearly a guy, and then they were like, lol, it's, it's Olga Kurlenko, a girl who could challenge a stick in terms of recognition, with thickness of muscle and bone. Like, this is a Russian model turned actress. Like, this is not someone who can fill out Taskmaster, as we've seen him throughout the film. Um, so you're just kind of like, huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the only reason that people suspected you did it was not because of any logical reasons. It's because, like, people just, like, people were expecting it at this point. Yeah, we just need, I mean, it's gonna be weird when it's just mostly women running around in all these combat zones. It's just, it's gonna be... Oh! I just, well, I mean, it's, that's another one. Uh, Power Broker. Everyone was kind of expecting it to be oh. a guy, and it was a girl. Ah, right, yeah. They do it a lot. Um, not not to mention, obviously, it's Sharon Carter as well, being like, "Oh, she's supposed to be a good guy." Mm. Um, but yeah, it's you know, it, it's fine with me if you make a fucking story out of it, but they never seem to. Uh, mm. 
This basically tells us that Natasha was unsuccessful in the explosion in terms of killing Dracov's daughter. Not that she really wanted to, but she's always thought she did. Turns out she didn't, and Dracov shoved a microchip and some other bullshit into her to make her subservient and also make her... He just says that she can mimic abilities. It's like, oh. Yeah, just something she can do. I'm guessing it's tied to the mind control stuff. I don't know, I'd have to watch it again. Um, fine. Okay. <laughs> now, yeah. now you just spared Nat having killed the little girl. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and by the end of this film, she obviously does something that feels that she's like redeemed the whole story. We'll we'll get more to that. It seems just kind of strange. It's like, do you want do you want to tell her? Do you want to help her? Do you want to blah blah blah? It's like almost like taunting from Drakov. I guess he's bored. <laughs> yeah. Um. I haven't really talked about the fact that Ray Winston is Dracov. I find it cringe as fuck. Why couldn't uh, we have saved Ray Winston to be like a Londoner type villainous boss later on in MCU? Why make him a Russian? Mm. Stop yeah. it. Uh, yeah, so she's sent off to go and get um, Melina and Alexei while they continue their, their little boss discussion. Uh... Which then leads us to finding out, because she leaves, and it's like, well, why isn't Natasha killing him then? She can't kill him. Because he smells. No, she can't. And then she tries to stab him, and it doesn't work. <laughs> she just Behold, crazy. chat. Tries to stab him. Look, can't do it. Ah, oh, just can't do it. What? He reveals. Or rather, they. he reveals it, and then she reveals it later in their stupid past and future clips and stuff. He's got a pheromone lock. This means that no one who is a widow can attack him while they can smell him. Why don't they just stand at a distance and like throw mm -hmm. something at him or shoot him? <laughs> because she has yeah. batons, she has little electricity things in her gauntlet. Like, why not <laughs> use those after he just told you what his weakness is? Out of curiosity, can you just drop a grenade in front of you? And I then thought run? the same thing. <laughs> what does that count as trying to kill him? Oh, whoops, I dropped it. Oh no, I... I was aiming to kill myself, you would just happen to be here. Oh no, I'm gonna run <laughs> So, it's it's just staggering to try and explain this, really. Like, it, it, you smell him and you can't kill him, and he's using this as a protection thing. He thinks, like, I'm, I can't be stopped now. Like, huh. Um, there's a lot of ways you'd think you could subvert this. Not, it's not restricted to literally plugging your nose. I, um... But Molina says, nah, it's too powerful for that. Like, literally, just being in his vicinity, doesn't matter what you're doing, you're done. You're not gonna be able to kill him. Mm. This shit is real powerful. And we'll hang on to that as a statement. Okay. It's gonna be useful later. So, <laughs> um, she's like, well, you know what, buddy? You're pathetic. And he's like, what? And she's like, your whole organization is pathetic. You're a little man who's sad about how stupid and uh, you're ugly. Fat. <laughs> and then he punches her. And then he starts to talk about how <laughs> awesome he is and his evil plan, and explains it in very detail, big detail, she like couldn't, a lot of detail. She couldn't have given it away to him more. She's like, yeah. you're desperate to impress me. And he's like, no, I'm not. Now, here's my so huge here, plan. Let me impress you <laughs> by telling you what I, my, yeah. my plan. Also here, let me show you how to unlock this device. <laughs> yeah. And so he reveals... The thing we've already talked about earlier is he has a plan to take over the world, question mark. I'm not really clear on it, honestly. It's it's like we've got Black Widows everywhere and they're gonna do things. I'm finally yeah, willing gonna, to come out of the shadows. We're gonna fuck shit up. Okay. Don't 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 really get it. Um but he, the the reason she wanted that was to get access to signing in and then um get all the information. And then we get a, yet another example. So Melina's like, yo, Alexi, you go fight Taskmaster and I will crash this stupid place. And he's like, okay, I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I always... And then he turns to look and she's already left the room and he goes, yep. damn. It's like, damn, Another movie, joke. how many times are you going to do this? All the times. Mm. Yeah, you know, well, in their defense, that does sound really easy. Hmm. Wait, what sounds easy? To just edit your problems away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh... And the thing is, Alexi's kind of excited, and we've found out that he wants to brawl, and he's been beating the shit out of everybody in the prison, so it's just like, finally. 
but um, the fight scene is, I think, two major clips of him and Taskmaster, and it's just him getting thrown around over and over again. And that's it. Yeah. Sucks. You don't even see a fight with him. Would have been really cool if he it's actually so is... fucking annoying. ...starts out dominating Taskmaster, and then Taskmaster starts learning the moves, and then starts being able to counter. And a different Marvel movie did this. It's called Infinity War, where Hulk <laughs> unloads on Thanos, and then Thanos starts to see his moves coming, and then he just keeps doing counter punches until he beats him. Um, I would have accepted that, because Taskmaster's whole thing is being able to beat you by understanding your own combat, and that Brawn can only take you so far if you keep missing. Um, yeah. But no, he just loses instantly, constantly, and you're just like, Taskmaster wouldn't even be able to fucking look at footage of the Red Guard, or oh, why would he, I guess, right? Because he's, he's been in prison yeah. for fucking decades or whatever. It's so fucking lame. But what are you gonna do? He gets rescued by Melina, she does the the Black Widow signature move and pops Taskmaster into a cell. Yeah. And locks him in. Wow. But to come back to, I think we're actually at the moment. Oh god, yeah, we're about to be there. Now a lot of you are gonna be aware of this already. Um, <sighs> you know, okay, let me talk about a different frustration first. He shows her all the Black Widows everywhere, and she smiles, and he goes, Something funny! <laughs> like standard <laughs> fucking villain language. And then she goes, she walks up to his table and goes, Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah. Hate Pillaging it. this, Hate this it. Uh, better <clears throat> line. Oh, okay. She dropped thank you for your cooperation after, like, almost tearing up and saying you're a monster to Loki and then explaining vaguely what she'd learned from his, like, different words. He's confused. And then before she leaves the room, she just goes, thank you for your cooperation as a sort of, like, yeah, I just beat you. Bye-bye. And, and, like, before Loki's even fully understood it, I think. That's why I, it's such an awesome scene. Um, she does it with Drakov. Like, you, you just... It, 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 she didn't have to do anything. He just gave it all away, because he was, like, yeah, bored. Yeah, just plards it out. It's like, yes, you This is Thank my you. whole evil plan. This is how I decided to my console. I'm gonna win! <laughs> like, okay. And so, yeah, she says, Thank you for your cooperation, which she didn't do fuck all. Like, and you can tell the writers think they were clever, because they made the man angry by telling him he was pathetic. I bet you didn't see that yeah, coming. Yeah, we showed, we showed him. We showed good, those men. Good job. It's like polar opposite to the Loki scene because she plays the victim. She allows Loki to think he's, like, destroying her mentally. She gives all the correct reactions to have feigned it. I, just, I don't know. It's, it's just so frustrating that it's so much better in a movie that came out nearly ten years before. Damn. Man. <laughs> yep. Anyway... He says thank you for cooperation, he's like, just kind of confused still. And I think he says, what are you gonna do? And, uh... I guess I'm gonna have to play it. How can I not, right? Oh boy. <sighs> thank you for your cooperation. Even if oh, you locate the database... I'm gonna accidentally skip it to it, I guarantee it. They do this little oceans flashback where, um, oh, yeah. they're like, <laughs> he has a pheromone lock, how are you gonna get past it? Well, I'm gonna get past it you, over the olfactory nerves, which we're gonna talk about in a second. Um, you have to sever the nerve. Molina's like, you gotta sever the nerve. So, I guess that's the only option. I can handle this. Nerve. <laughs> you weren't quite... Which is what you can accomplish by... <sighs> strong enough, so... And she even says you weren't strong enough to do it, so I guess I have to. It's like, oh, look at you, he's so awesome. I'll have to finish it myself. Huh. What are you going to do? <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect pause. Just making sure with copyright. This is an eager Natasha Romanov. <laughs> so, what can we say about this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> the pheromone <Yeah>. lock <sighs> works by you smelling his particular pheromone through your nose and going into your olfactory nerves, connecting directly to the old brain. Now, if you want to be able to stop that process, apparently it's valid by crushing the nerves and breaking them in, in the, olf the olfactory nerves. And you can do that by enough force of your brain moving around in your skull that it pushes against the skull where the olfactory nerves are and crushes them. 
And you can do that without causing yourself permanent brain damage, apparently. I thought it's she tough. broke her nose, which severed the connection between her olfactory senses and her nose nope. to get to the brain. Uh, she did also break her nose, but uh, <laughs> the Melina makes it clear you have to sever the nerves, the olfactory nerves. Yes, the olfactory nerves are quite deep in your head. Yes, um, I was about to say. Um, yeah. And the, to clarify, Damn. the reason is, this what? is the same reason why you can't just plug your nose. The olfactory nerves are too fucking powerful. They, if they even yeah, detect the a hint of, of, of Chungus, then they're going to stop you. Yeah. So, Which I guess means Yeah, I guess the thing I thought she forever. did made... I give the benefit of the doubt. So what I thought she did was just... Oh, man. Can't you just stop breathing through your nose? Can't you just like well, hold your nose? And not you, even well, I would presume that close you it, couldn't plug just it up. do that because you would still be able to smell even if you're not actively like breathing through your nose. You'd still smell. Well, you can just hold your nose, right? You just plug it out. Um, well, it would still go through your mouth, and that would it would still go through your mouth. So, like the um, only hold your breath would be. Well, for how long would you have to, do, and you can't hold, like, how long would you have to do yeah, that? Yeah, in fairness like, to the movie. Ah, you could try for, you could try for a little bit and see if it works. All, all I would say is, in fairness to the movie, she's got a plan of trying to coax his will domination plan out of him first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. She could have been holding her breath while he was doing that. Mm. Well, I, I'm but curious I mean, about the range of the pheromones, because she go to the corner of the again, room and shoot him. I suppose just mm -hmm. to, to hammer it in, though, like, you got this film, they defeat the bad guy. The bad guy's evil power is the big smell, and yeah. she smashes her face on the table yep. to defeat the big smell. <laughs> like this what? Is you know, comedy. they could have just made him like a. You couldn't have even had. You could get. Don't have Taskmaster even be in this film, and just make the big bad. Like have him be a really powerful boss to fight. Why? Why have to do the weird fat smelly thing? Like just have him be like he's super strong and tough, and he works out a bunch, and he he's he he's the one who programs the Black Widow training because he's a martial arts expert. So, and I'm gonna be honest with know. you, they did not choose Ray Winston for his abilities to create a Russian accent. They chose him because he is uh, he fits a profile. I would say <laughs> they're gunning to create a sleazy, overweight, sleazy, woman fat, controlling guy. fat guy, Business yeah, type oh. mogul dude. Put him in a suit. He's a madman. Yeah, he's. Um. Uh. I think RLM compared him to like the movie. Like this. This sort of film could be seen as allegorical to all the shit that happened with Hollywood and women. Like he's like a Harvey Weinstein mm -hmm. type. Um. I've That's seen a couple it. people compare that. I. I don't necessarily need the comparison, I but I can believe yeah, that so, that's why they chose him. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein. A lot of people are. Oh yeah, sorry. They compared him to Scorsese on um, RLM, but they said mm, so. They said he right looks right. like Scorsese, but he could represent Harvey Weinstein. And um, they, I guess, they think that they, they, they buy the, the one who shot all over Bobble. Yeah, I was about mm. to say maybe that's yeah, maybe back. that's why. Which would be pretty funny if that was the that reason. <laughs> <laughs> when they put his picture side by side, I was actually surprised. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, he does kind of have the same look. Um, of course, I can tell the difference between Scorsese, Scorsese and Winston, but. Just the way they have him look. Um, similar, yeah. Yeah, so, so this is a crazy plan. Uh, <laughs> you put yourself at risk of... The, the, the sort of damage you have to do to get those olfactory nerves crushed is not something that, like, kills you as a guarantee, but slamming your head against anything is just not a good idea. No, no. Yeah. yeah, like you're gonna be in incredible pain, and what if you knock yourself out? That'd be also, hilarious. You, that would be so <laughs> fucking sever funny. The, that would sever be the funny. nerve. Yeah. And she just collapses but also, on the floor. <laughs> what if you don't sever the nerve? What if you just screw it up and like you, He's gonna you laugh say, at you so fucking hard. Yeah, and could you imagine <laughs> sever the nerve? She tries to punch him, it still doesn't work, and it's like <laughs> He's like, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You're yeah. not the first one to try this. Stop it. I've seen it before. It's hilarious. <laughs> Just making me laugh. <laughs> they all try that. <laughs> you don't. You have the... no idea how many desks I've gone through over the years. <laughs> how is the nerve not already severed from all those punches? Plot armor heavy fight scenes. Where, like oh, the one where she's yeah, falling for... down on the vents. Like she hits. She slams her head hard twice. On the way down. Well, yeah, that should have, yeah, that should have severed her nerve. Every time, that severed, severed a lot of nerves. Severed a lot of nerves. 
Hey, look, VLC... Yeah, the bullets should have severed a lot of nerves. Uh, lots VLC of, yeah. has an A to B format thing. I don't even have to... This isn't me. This is VLC's <laughs> doing it now. <laughs> you can just enjoy this in the background. Oh, um, boy. Oh, yeah. The what is CGI? I've seen people comment, by the way, on the editing of this. So they show... They have shot of her, then it goes to wide shot, then zoom in shot, then different zoom in shot, and then back yeah. to normal. Yeah. Oh, that looks pain. I, that like legit looks painful to watch. I'm not. I'm not watching yeah. it anymore. It, like I. Ugh, it like just. Oh man. I just. I can't get over the hilarity of it. My main hero fucking s smashes their face across a desk to win the day. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm holding my nose in like anticipation of an attack against my nose that isn't gonna <laughs> actually come. But I just. Ugh. More like copyright. No, you won't get copyright for this. Four. No, why would you want to copyright this? <laughs> why would you want to claim responsibility yeah. for this? Oh, um, but but yeah, like it's really stupid. <laughs> like, it's so fucking stupid just watching it on screen. And she's yeah. doing this specifically because she wants to kill Drakov, right? This is the plan. Now, I have a counter suggestion. I have a an offer. What I'm if? Playing it. Oh my god. What if? Don't look, Rags. You'll be fine. What if I'm not, we have? Ugh. Just uh, about it, the plan involve releasing Alexi from the cell and getting him to this room immediately and then having him kill Drakov. A little work. revenge? Well, so first of all, it's character motivated. Secondly, With he's not a widow, effort. so the pheromone lock won't work on him. And thirdly, that would be smart, and you won't have to fucking break your face. What if he face. was gay and the pheromone lock <laughs> did work on him? I don't know if that's how it works, but maybe. Yeah, when he was in prison, he turned gay, and uh, now the pheromone lock works on him. Oh, Sp Spence said, for fuck's sake, Scorsese never shat all over the MCU, guys. Grow up. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, he did. He absolutely By the way, did. we shit yeah, all over the crazy. MCU, by the way. But yeah. he had a really bad argument in favor of it. He was just saying it's like, oh, it's like an amusement park. It's like, that's a really, that's pretty vapid, actually. Like Super we, reductive. For a lot of the yeah. hard work that some of these uh, people, some of the MCU movies are the well MCU constructed with are great character yeah. work. Yeah, and... I'll just say it's um, it's indicative of your perception if you can't even tell the difference between something like Black Widow and something like I don't know Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm, to like, say, that, yeah, it's like imply that that doesn't or Ragnarok, they're not like they don't have originality <laughs> or anything. And of course, saying it's not cinema, it's called the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I, I really hate the term cape shit. So that do just I, lumps actually, it, yeah. I really don't like it, because it lumps all of these together. Like, oh, it's about superheroes. It must be a really dumb, stupid movie. It's like, no, mm. there's really, really good ones. Don't yeah, lump them all together. Saying they're not cinema. It's just like, you are literally they holding are. up a side saying, film. I am pretentious. It's like, don't make it so easy. I am a prick. Um, and this is funny, because, like, again, we shit on the MCU more than most people. Uh, we just yeah. want to recognize when they do well, and just because it's got a fucking mm -hmm. superhero in it doesn't mean it can never be good. That's retarded. And um, as a filmmaker, you should be better than that. Yeah, it almost feels like it's weird that you would, yeah. And to be honest with you, because like, you know, ending it with Grow Up, it's like, don't you think that applies to him? Um... And I'd be Whether curious to know- that it's all cinema, he's the one who's saying, no, some of it isn't, because I don't like it. How yeah. is that the more grown-up thing to say? Rags, you unironically think Joker is better than Taxi Driver. I'm not sure I can take your opinion on this seriously. It's great, but not that great. Joker is easily better than Taxi Driver. It's not even close. I feel like if someone says it's an impossibility and anyone who says so is like automatically wrong, whatever, I don't know. It's just like, hmm. I mean, Taxi Driver's reputation is obviously going to put it in that position, but a lot of people are just like unable to even consider that's a possibility. It's funny, because mm -hmm. I know that most people in chat would enjoy Joker more than they would Taxi Driver. It's just like... Oh, yeah. The, I think it's a better, better movie. Um, <laughs> Taxi Driver's overrated, I'm sorry. Well, you know what, chat? You can fight over that for a bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, overrated. Because the funny... I, don't even think, I just think it's really overrated. I think it has a huge advantage of it came out a long time ago. And a lot of people, I, I think it's kind of developed this sort of prestige that I think has over gone past what I think it deserves. Which I guess is interesting to think about in terms of movies, because when I rewatched, when, 
when I when I watched Citizen Kane for like the first time, I was really impressed by it. Yeah, I was like, I actually, too. I actually really liked it a lot. And when people say that's like the best movie ever, I sit there and I'm like, you know what? I I get it. Like, like I wouldn't yeah, say I, it's the best, but I really get it. I um, can see why they say that. Yeah, and I guess that might be because I haven't seen Taxi Driver yet. Like that may be the same for that movie too, where it's like it's, it's worth a watch. Definitely, it's definitely. Oh yeah, worth no, I, I have no doubt that it's great. I guess cool. I'm just interested in like the the examples of films where it's like, well, it was influential, but like other films have done what it did better. Like afterwards, there that happens sometimes too. Scorsese never said they could not be good. He said that superhero movies. Sorry, are like I need the quote. Theme park to... rides rather than auteur stories that could only be told through the medium. Yeah, and he's wrong. That's not whole. He's absolutely he's wrong. wrong. <laughs> I need the quote. I need the quote because like I'm. I feel like people are not being, are not like saying the. All right, let's read it out in full. Um, okay. Uh, I'm tired, you know. Um. But uh, when he was asked if he'd seen Marvel movies, but that's not cinema. Honestly, the closest I can think of them, as well made as they are, with actors doing the best they can under their circumstances, it's theme parks. It isn't the cinema of human beings trying to convey emotional, psychological experiences to another human being. That wrong. last sentence is categorically wrong. It's wrong. You can't mm. actually say that that's correct. If you say that's correct, you're you're actually kind of being dishonest. Or you're well, incredibly stupid. Like other, here's, here's another example, right? You got, um, this is that contrarian streak among the EFAB gang. Joke is better than Taxi Driver? Lolo, for Christ's sake. It's like, really, take a step back. You've just accused us of lying. Like, just because we want to be contrarian. You think we don't, or you think Rags doesn't think that Joker is do better I than Taxi Driver. Mean? Like, what do you want him to do? You, yeah, you're literally is. telling like, him you're just lying to yourself. It's like, no, Rags thinks this. This is what his position I had to is. Watch him damn close to back to back for our, our efaps where we covered all of the movies before we watched uh taxi driver which is all right uh king of comedy which i like quite a bit i really like king of comedy mm -hmm. um you're never really here and um i think there was a fourth one we watched oh, you, do you oh yeah falling down, and, down. Uh, yeah yeah we watched those four movies in preparation for um watching joker because it constantly gets saying oh well, this is just a da, 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 da. uh the movie it was like the most was uh was the king of comedy by by f easily most like king of comedy i feel like um that's but, funny by the way uh, yeah. i've never actually had a take that i generated specifically because everyone else said something else it's not something i've done uh turns yeah. out we just have a standard that's pretty hard for a lot of mainstream movies to actually attain. But it shouldn't be, yeah. but it is. <laughs> um, you can make the mistake upsetting. of being like, you guys are just contrarian by saying that Taxi Driver isn't better than Joker. So you're like, yeah, I mean, you're just an elitist, I guess? You're like... I'm getting a little uh, hung up on, like... like, Yeah, the MCU is not good at the moment, and like, if you took it as an overall, it's not great. But it doesn't matter if you have the correct conclusion if your reasoning is totally wrong. Like if you say yeah. it isn't, these movies aren't about people conveying emotional experiences to one another. It's like that's just not true. So I don't care that you have the same conclusion as me. It's just a yeah, really I, bad way to get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. I dreamed that a talking cactus told me that the moon orbits the Earth, and that's how I know. Yeah. Like, like that's. <laughs> like, yeah, it doesn't like, matter whether you're correct. But that's. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like you could also believe a lot of very weird things based on that criteria like, in information delivery. I don't know. To me, this this sounds like as as sort of wrong as like saying the video. Like, what was it, Roger Ebert saying? Video games can never be art. It's like that's just a really wrong statement. Like, well, you, even you'll find to to that. people desperately reinterpret the statement because it's so wrong. You'll be like, uh, no, 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 what he meant? What he meant was it's not. No, no, what? No, no, because he's the great Martin Scorsese. I mean, he could just, he just well, uh, hey, just because he makes great Martin movies doesn't mean he's always going to have good takes on like, like these topics. Yeah, not to mention, um, what was the last MCU movie he saw? What ones has I, he seen? Well, yeah, that would be my question: is like, which ones did you see? How because, many of them did you see? If you saw less than like ten percent of them or twenty percent, then it's like, I don't know, you haven't seen like enough of this. As a series to judge it as a whole. <laughs> there is one aspect 
of cinema your standards unfortunately often omit. Symbolism and hidden meanings. There is more to a movie's writing than the script. How Can long you really know you here for? <laughs> how long... How... Are you new? <laughs> That's all I can ever think of when I read stuff like that. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we constantly get new people uh, who cycle in. Um, we absolutely appreciate hidden meanings, and we appreciate thematics, and we appreciate all of that really cool symbolism and metaphor. We really do. We do like that. But you can't... For Okay, um... Uh, is TLJ just going to be the go-to example of a theme that is Whoa, put it like, back and back to back with uh, the father? Yeah, yeah. I'm so like, I'm trying they're to both of, movies guys. that have crazy amounts of thematic like relevance in terms of all the script. One of them we conclude yes. is thematically broken. The other one we think is thematically sound as fuck. Yeah, um, themes can be executed poorly. You can have a theme of a movie. And the actual scenes, dialogue, well, it, the characters, etc., just actively work against the theme and contradict it. I guess a comparison uh, would be like the the room to the hospital in The Father. It's like it's symbolic of a part of his brain that's locked off, like a memory. Yeah. So the fact that like I just used the word, it's like, do you really think we never mention what something might be symbolic of? Weird to me well, that you think that. Take uh, Batman vs Superman. You have that fucking picture on Lex Luthor's wall. And I'm like, no, 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 I, I get it. I, I get I get the symbolism. It's hard. It's barely even symbolism at that point because Zack Snyder's a 14-year-old. But or Superman with the arms out when he le he leaves the Krypton ship, right? He's like, it's symbolism. And it's like, yeah. no, we get it. I, yeah, I do like the idea that like, you guys are missing that. It's like, we're not missing that. <laughs> Nobody's missing that. Yeah, there was... Someone put out a movie recently about like what you don't understand about like Batman vs Superman or something like that. And I was really tempted to put in a comment that was just essentially like, no, 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 we get it. There's nothing to not get. We mm. we get it. I promise we understand, Zach. We I promise we're picking it all up. Um, yeah, so my issue isn't whether or not you pick one as the superior to the other. My issue is when you say you think one of them is superior, you just that's just we all know you're lying. We all know that's wrong. We all know. It's just, it's just true. We all know. Like, oh. Um, do you know when this happened last? When we put out a video called Which is Better or something? Spider-Man Far From Home or Winter Soldier? And all of the fucking top comments were like, why is this a conversation where everyone knows the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Because Turns out you're fucking they, wrong. Yeah, because they didn't apply their standard to that movie consistently like they should. Or they were operating off of memory that gets filtered over time. Um... Also Those, biases, yeah, it's, it's, you know? Crazy uh, levels of bias. <laughs> yeah. Winter Soldier is garbage. Um, mm -hmm. and, it's, it's, and, it, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Oh. But also, I mean, what, what a... What a what, why is this a conversation? Like, oh, if you're not interested, you can, like, not watch. That's cool. But, you know, for the conversation that is happening, then, yeah, it's happening. I also think you should... And then you can look at it if you want. Probably appreciate, too, that um, whenever you roll out the whole... You guys' perspective doesn't account for blah 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 when you think your movie's getting shat on. Remember that it applies for all the ones you've shat on. Uh, with our mm -hmm. format. It's like TLJ's sitting there like, well, y yeah, yeah, you guys don't look at the symbolism very much, do you? Have you looked at Kylo's blade? Do you know what that represents? You're like, oh. <laughs> so you can have a really cool symbolism in your shitty movie. Yeah. Just having cool references to things in your movie that's either figurative of something else or is symbolic of something else, that could be really nifty. It's like it's like good graphics in a video game. That's that it's it's great to have on top of good gameplay and well designed mechanics. Oh my god. But it does not Chat, a make you're being so cringe. Look at this. Been watching EFAP for ages. Entertaining sometimes, smart. It's still an echo chamber. I remember them literally going full ad hominem against the Lord of the Rings hater guy. So. We're, we're literally arguing with, with you. How is that an echo right chamber? Right now. <laughs> I guess he means within the cast. Um, but you, you may be aware, literally last EFAP, there was like three significant arguments with the cast. Um, yeah. Do we have and, and arguments plus... a lot? <laughs> And what are and, we and to if, do if we agree with each other on something? Yeah, it's an on. echo chamber if we agree. 
<laughs> and, then... and plus, like, you know, we use the same standard, and we apply it pretty darn well. So if you have three people who are using the same standard, and we will often independently, as we watch things by ourselves and whatnot, come to the same conclusions about things, I feel like that, that either speaks highly of the standard or our ability to adhere to it. And then mm. going full ad hominem against Lord of the Rings Hater Guy. Full ad hominem. We've never done that. We don't. Rags refers to... Oh, this is the guy whose comment you just read out. Uh, it's the idiot. Uh, he, said, he said, Rags refers to EFAP as we, like a political party. What? <laughs> what? So, <laughs> so I referred to EFAP as we because it's literally... I, it's like three main yeah, as a group. And, and so so, yeah. Yeah. so let, let's talk about collectives or groupings or categories. Apparently we're going to have to go that far back. Um, chat you? actually refers to all of you in there. Okay? But sometimes it doesn't, depending on the context of the sentence. And if any of you ever say, we in chat are blah blah blah, I am going to now say you're a political party. Chat 2024. And what if what if it was um, what if about rags refers to EFAP as we like a family? Rags refers to EFAP as we like um, a group of friends, or we as a da da da. da. Like well, they're all all of those are political parties. On this call, it's we. Of course, it's we. I don't understand the I, confusion. I, I, <laughs> are they're not. Madvocate, they're not normally like this, I promise. <laughs> I swear to God. You're oh, embarrassing us. I was starting to get worried. Um, yeah, and, and uh, I like the whole ad, ad hom thing, too, because um, we don't typically ever do this person's argument is bad because they're stupid. Like, I don't think we've ever really done it. Yeah, but we, all, we, get, we also give what we get. Um, I guess if, if, if they're talking about cinematic venom... Um, then in his original Lord of the Rings video, he was pretty. He was he was prodding. He was poking and prodding. Oh, yeah, he, so we did the same. There was many I think uh, was straightforward true. deliveries of like how uh, the people who like Lord of the Rings are kind of stupid or sheeple. Yeah, and you know, uh, uh, it's not to say that like um, we have the right to say what we wish. I'm just saying like, well, no, I, I just mean we've never. We don't typically do ad hominem. That's just not something we do. Um, we really, so for example, if, if Fringy was to just randomly be like, you can tell from looking at this guy that you don't need to take the argument seriously, they're all gonna be wrong because he's so fucking ugly. I'd be like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Um, we don't get enjoyment out of doing that anyway. Like, we like breaking down the arguments. We don't like going, you're wrong because you're ugly or stupid or fat or you come from a particular place. It's like, nah, shit. Um, but yeah, insults and ad homs are different things, and I always feel like people call insults ad homs to sound smarter when in fact they just reveal their, their cringiness. You yeah. Know? Well, um, ad hom is like straw man, um, oversided. Yeah. yeah, if we if we counter your argument and also make fun of your weird fucked up nose, that's not an ad hom. <laughs> that's just, we also insulted you. Does Owen Wilson do video essays? Oh, wow. 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 Um... Pitch. So yeah, I guess in conclusion... Well, we'll on EFAP. Tell us about your video essays. In conclusion, Rex thinks Joker is better than Taxi Driver and he's not actually lying. And he's not doing it to fight a narrative. He literally watched the movies and that's how he felt. I'm so sorry. That's how he felt. Well, that's the, I, I imagine you'd say that's what you know. It's, yeah, it's, it is what I know. I have a pretty highly justifiable level of confidence in the things that I saw, but that's all right. I'm sure it was all hallucinating. Well, I mean, you know, it's worth mentioning. I think the joke is fucking fantastic. Um, yeah, it is. So it shouldn't shock anybody. But the fact that it gets shat on because it's a part of cape shit, it's like, ugh. ugh. Mm. No, no, right there. Mm. Batman. So, so yeah, anyway. we don't like. <laughs> We don't like genre related like as far as I'm concerned, I don't like genre related related discussion all that much at all. Um, certainly not argumentation that's based around genres. Genres is like it should be super meta and descriptive about something, not you know, so I'm I'm never that keen to talk about genres as if that's gonna have a huge impact on discussion. Um so yeah, uh, not a political party. Just wanted to make sure that was clear. What? Mm -hmm. Consider it, though. Wait. Well, Ooh. yeah, I wouldn't want to rule it out. Yeah, I don't, yeah. All the time. Who knows what the plans for EFAP are? Yes. 
So anyway, um, this is the thing with, with this third act. We've probably covered mo- yeah, so where I was, I was up to when Melina decides because she can't take it down from the control room, she will walk into the turbine room, shoot a grenade launcher shot into a turbine and just bring the whole place down. If they let her do. And that I mean, somehow yeah. works. It's incredible, well. they don't that shoot it down, and Drakov didn't think that this is something she could do. He just thought, oh, she'll go through the vent and I hope she doesn't do anything, I guess. It's like, at what point do you kill people? Yeah, just shoot her, but then they <laughs> don't, and that gives her an opportunity to blow up the thing, and they all die, but she lives. She used a little really... grapple hook, she went up where they all just died. And from this point on, the whole of the Red Room facility is just gonna explode, all of it, mm -hmm. not just this area, the whole thing starts exploding. Parts where there aren't any fans or anything, the whole thing. Yeah, and part of what interests me about that as well is, um, she doesn't seem to give a fuck that she tells them it's like, uh, I've begun to bring it down. Like, I've sorted it. She, she basically yeah, just says, well, she's like... Not a, it's not a controlled landing. No, she should be very <laughs> concerned. And, and the last line we get from her is when she's on the, the jet and Alexa gets on, you go, she says something like, what about the girls? Like, it felt yeah. to me like compensation from the writers, because I feel <laughs> like if she truly cared about them, she would have found them first, or she would have tried to contact them. She's on a fucking receiver with uh, uh, Yelena, right? Yes. So, yeah, bullshit. Yeah. She doesn't actually care about them. She went without them. Alexi happened to be along the way because she went back to the cell, and then she, they got out, and then they were like, oh, the girls made it? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay. I knew you would. We did it. <laughs> and yeah, um, Alexi is straight up about to be executed with a... Um, got a little the pop out blade that's going to go down his fucking... Because he's a loser, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, he's being beaten by a normal woman... Like, just a normal person, and he's a super soldier. Remember, he's a man who can kick open, like, thick-as-fuck steel doors. He, he jumped, like, seven feet in the air when he needed to climb up to the top. He's super strong. Mm -hmm. By the way, can you look? Can you just look at this stance? Is this not a really awkward way to Yeah, be? yeah it What's is really awkward. What's your left leg doing there? What are you doing with your leg? <laughs> I sometimes wonder how this can even happen in, like... When they're filming, because this isn't CGI. This is you doing it. Don't you feel awkward as fuck? Yeah, and don't you say, "Hey, like not, do, not do this." It's really awkward. Yeah, as I, as, I, as I already mentioned, like we could have this whole thing where it dominates in the beginning, and we have like a fight and things, and then Taskmaster learns all the stuff as mentioned. Why doesn't do he use his knife do. blade? punch through that glass. It's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Why yeah. doesn't Taskmaster have controls? Why can't Taskmaster contact someone and be like, I'm stuck in the fucking cell, someone release me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it, with the super strength that Taskmaster has been shown to have, like, it shouldn't be that much of an issue to just punch through that glass. Well, well, if Alexi can't do it either, I guess. Bad. Yeah, which is weird. I My mind has a hard time accepting that the metal vault style door on the prison he could just kick away with huge force and it's not an issue for him but he can't punch his way out of the cell so i haven't actually seen this before because i never slowed it down but i've always been curious she's about to kill drakov with her um, ice pick yeah. thing <laughs> and um, then something happens and it's like grappling hook so, it oh. like goes into her back and then it, it just gets, like, it comes back out oh. again. It's like, okay. But like, that would hurt, or alternatively rip big chunks of your flesh out if that's what happened. Mm-hmm. What it, what did it grab onto? I guess it, it went into her, I think that's what, I think that's what it's meant it. to be. Yeah, because the, we've uh, seen the hook before, I'm gonna do a little quick drawing of kind of what it looks like. This is gonna be an expert drawing, okay. We've seen it attached to things. I see, I think we've seen it mainly, um, the very visually clearance uh, Winter Soldier, she uses it. It's got a little cross uh, in terms of how it digs in. Um, and I think she uses it in this when she does the leg grapple thing, and I think they want us to believe that they fired the cross at her, it hooked into it, and then it hooked back out, and she drew it back. Like, okay. It was just a kind of a weird thing when I saw her. I was a little bit confused. Like, is she... Her, mm. What has happened to her now? Is she okay? Or... Uh, okay. Because obviously... Oh, she cuts it! There you go! So it is sticking into her. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh damn. Imagine, Ooh, imagine that getting sucked. pulled what? so hard that it can pull you back. It's probably not going to pull you back. It'll just chair a huge chunk of your shoulder It'll chunk out. you. 
Maybe yeah. if like if it goes in and then opens up at the end, or nah, man, you're you're in a lot of trouble there. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, so I think yeah. it it did dig into it, and she just cut it so that it it is stuck in it. It's stuck in her all the way to the end of the film, and she manages to. Or no, or does it get removed later on when they save all the widows and they chop uh, it out? Well, pull I, it out. I don't know that there was time, right? Because like what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, looks is... like they do actually. Yeah, there's Yelena rips it out later on. Oh, so that was in her for the whole fight. Damn. While she was and, fighting all these widows who and, all stand there and is, slowly attack one on one. This is the thing. The the virgin will say, you can't know how deep that is, but the Chad will say she was pulled along the floor. Do you understand yeah. how deep <laughs> that has to be? Damn, Very that deep. must have been in there. Oof. As deep Lord as fuck. Lord knows what that's holding on to in there. Well, it's... <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Why would you have it be like that? <laughs> just have her wrap it around her just, just have them run in and tackle her from behind, or they, they grappling hook, yeah. like they, they throw a rope well, around hey, her it, foot. Just, or... just fire an electric thing that makes it go. Yeah, they have yeah, those. Yeah, except you know, that's not you what, would happens. Be what happens. What for... happens in this fight? They all stand really oh, far well, away. I haven't gone to that her. yet. That's also stupid. They all attack her close. Like they've all got projectile electronic weapons, and they all decide yeah. to attack her fists one by one. I guess it's epic to have Natasha fighting an army of Black Widows. Even though they should kick her ass, because it's one on, like, 20. Well, it's one yep. on 20. They've all just come away. They were literally training just now. Like, these are yeah. these are peak Black Widows. They're all younger than her. They even what warmed I... up already. Yeah. Mm. You know, and, and... Plus, there's, like, 30 of them. Yeah, but they all decide not to just, you know, just... grab her all at the same time. Yeah, out. like you should be. None of them have guns. Her, and while she's stunned, you just beat the shit out of her. None of them have guns either, so that's that's cool. No, Black Widows don't use guns. It's it's really not a good fight at all. Like the, it's it's actually pretty poorly. <laughs> well, so he says, and I don't know how much this this helps the film. He says, uh, "Don't let her leave the room alive. Make her suffer." Mm. So someone Which could argue they're not trying to kill her. They're trying to. You Eat could her make up. her suffer by pinning her down and like stabbing her a thousand times. That, that yeah, that's what I was saying. Do it in a lot safe yeah, I think ways. no matter what, yeah. they're not doing this efficiently. They're Stunner doing it in the least efficient way possible. They're punching her like just a bunch and kicking her. Then the thing happens. Um, yeah, and I guess people probably see this as an awesome moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure we thought it was like, oh no, it, 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 for for very complex reasons. So. Uh, what's her face? Yelena throws in the vials attached to a flashbang. They all explode and they all get cleared of their mental mm. systems. Now, problem with that is the whole reason she said she needed to get it to Tony Stark was to replicate and understand it, right? Like, we need someone to replicate this. And it's yeah. funny because I didn't even catch this on my first watch through, but I did on subsequent ones. This is incredibly lucky, basically. What she wants to do is detonate them all, and then we find two on the floor that can suffice for mm -hmm. replication. She didn't know that was going to happen. So Melina no, just... Yeah. Melina tossed all of these in the room without thinking I might... I should probably save one. It wouldn't yep. have worked then. <laughs> it, it, uh, she's lucky because... You see this explosion? Apparently two vials survived this. I guess, yeah. Doesn't look like <laughs> it, but okay. Um... <laughs> So yeah, she blew them all up, which is very out of character for for Yelena when she knows that there are an army of Black Widows throughout the world who are suffering the shit that she was. And we've lost the Widow that apparently synthesized this. The one that we killed in the beginning. Um, so you have to hang on to one of those, and she just throws them all. Like, damn. So they're all saved. You know, that's lucky. That's nice. Yeah. And they're all very well adjusted, and they immediately are like, now what? And they all just go oh. to a like a jet, and they escape. That's the last we see of them until the end. That's the last we see of them in this whole phase of the MCU. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. No, no. This is, like, they would have been very useful in Endgame. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Phase 3 era, yeah. Yeah, this is Phase 3 era. Yeah, yeah they Red were Guardian busy. would have been useful. They were fighting with they're Captain really... Marvel. Oh. On a different planet, idiots. Oh, 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 shit. What a... Wow, they, they don't get anything to feel for, for this long and go to outer space. Damn. 
That's some life-changing shit right there. So then a lot of things happen real quick. Um, she uses the oh. ring that she stole off Drakov while she was, I guess, beating him up to sign in because she saw perfectly exactly what he sw swipe he used and what thing he typed in. She then in puts in like a little special kind of USB that I guess Molina gave her. And she downloads the locations and names of every Black Widow. Um, and then she pockets two vials that happen to be on the ground, which is the exact amount she needs <laughs> for everything she's going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And then she breaks her nose back into place, and she looks perfect. Yeah. <laughs> they look perfect throughout this whole movie. For all the damage that they take, they're just looking stellar all the time. In between scenes, they're getting touched up with that makeup to make them just look lovely and brilliant as explosions are happening, and they're getting flung over cars and in horrific accidents, and they're fleeing for their lives. They just look, they just look great, movie poster ready at any moment. But they make fun of yeah. how Black Widow does a pose, which is kind of yeah. a little ironic. And then she isn't does it, and isn't that funny? It's so funny. So she picks up the little thing, and yeah, like I said, there they are, just sitting on the floor. Pretty incredible that they survived the detonation, but what are you going to do? The two vials, and you might be thinking as an audience member, wait, why two? Why wouldn't it just be one? Well, you're about to find out why they well, need her yeah. to pick up two in just then... a moment. Pretty sure the thing that happens straight after is where everything starts exploding, and then yeah. Matt yeah, she... jumps out the window. Oh, we have some... of... So this kind of CGI, like people yeah. start to wonder. It's like, was this rushed? Because it just doesn't. But you, how was it rushed? She had an extra year. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I don't isn't know. It? Maybe they had. And you had so much money. They had deadlines anyway. Maybe I don't know. Like, and, and even if they had more time, that you couldn't use it. So like. Just that moment there already feels like she's probably dead, but okay. okay. And then you get this mm -hmm. shot. This one here, it's, it looks so video gamey. Mmm. Look at that green screening there. Like, oh. And the explosions look worse than the explosions in like Grand Theft Auto V, and that game's like eight years old. <laughs> also, I love that she had guns the whole time. When she yeah. set yeah, the she... nerve, she didn't kill Drake off that way, she just threatened to hit him with an ice pick. How did she get her guns back? I thought she had... Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's fine, whatever. So, yeah, this looks like fire hurts, just FYI. Um, no. But yeah. she's fine. She's jumping out of the fortress, by the way. So, for any of you uh, eagle-eyed viewers, you might be like, so she's dead. Yeah, no. <laughs> what are you going <laughs> to grab very onto? Carefully. Yeah, if you look very carefully. But no, because she very cleverly knew that her arms were... Just were made out of titanium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Look, she's arms fine. Made out of titanium. I'm just gonna grab that. Wow. No problemo. How did she yeah. know that was there? How was she lucky because enough that her arms didn't fall off? Oof. When you fall ten, when you man, that was like she fell about eight or nine floors. <laughs> like <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> a lot of floors. For reference, I'm pretty sure that with human beings, it becomes a 50-50 chance that you're going to die if you fall four stories. Like, that that is just the average, that it's a 50-50 chance that you're going to die at that point. Yeah. So imagine falling nine stories and being able to grab onto We're that. not fantastic at falling great distances. As humans, we go splat. Yeah. Why is everything exploding? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So then Natasha decides to jump back into the building that has exploded. Look how funny that is as an image. It's like, oh, gotta yeah. get in before I explode. Jeez, we gotta go bigger and badder and oh, bigger, man, yeah. That cinema. Barely, just in time, right over that flame cloud, and none of it goes in that building, I bet. And so she's in. And it's funny because, yeah, the explosion's just spreading everywhere and everything's just. Nobody knows why. There's TNT everywhere. It's horrifying. Um, oh, I guess we need to find out. Yeah, so Alexi and, and Melina, they get on there a little bit. I don't remember if this is the action scene for them, because my god, is it funny. Um, just setting up to leave. Because they, she, like I said, she's got the shoulder pad things as well. But the, the guy characters typically don't, because their shoulders are all fucking huge anyway. Especially someone mm -hmm. like Alexi. Um, it's just like a design for the costumes, but only for the women in the film. It's, um, it's a strange one. So, Th This they fucking are... thing is just... Everything's blown up. Fall, <laughs> falling apart and exploding. Why? Why does it just start? It starts falling apart and then it explodes. So we just. It's, Alexi looked out the so back weird. and he saw three guys running toward him, which is like, huh. And then it doesn't matter because they're falling <laughs> off the platform anyway. So it's like, oh god, will they make it? Oh no. 
And um, Rachel Weiss is going to be like, going to have to charge up that jet before you crash land, and it'll be one of them like, woohoo, we did it. You know, starting up the vehicle as it's falling. It's like, nice. Unfortunately for them, the, the guys who they saw earlier are like the most diehard fucking assassins you've <laughs> ever seen in your life. And they, like, like, this is the thing. The action of this scene is just, can she start it up before they hit any significant debris? Or hit the ground, and they do. And you're like, yay, we did it. But it gets so weird because, like, that's not the end of the drama. So like, good for you that you've done that. Good for you, you're dodging all of the debris. Look at them. Here they are. It's, it's, <laughs> what do you, what can yeah. you say? What are you doing? You're flying, to, and then two of them get hit by debris as they're falling as well. Yeah, that one's gone. One of them, one of them lands on the plane and is fine enough that he can, like, sort of reposition himself and start shooting and it's like yo you're dead you just fell like 30 feet you can't <laughs> there that one's gone like 30 th not 30 feet like they 300 really really want to kill them they really do it's like their yeah, whole like, existence how much do they get paid yeah he's dead <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, so the, dead. yeah the one that lands Plus on the plane there, uh... is not stationary it's like flying up to it's like flying up towards you so that's even more what are these guys? Are they gonna get expected? They're like, yeah, I'm gonna get a big bonus if I fucking jump this fucking. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like, I love the one that was splatted like, on the, are the wall. Are these suicidal? Are these robots? Are these cyborgs? No robots? idea. Just no nothing? idea. But the speed at which he comes in on that jet, boom, he's dead. There's just he's nothing. Like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna fucking get him. And look at the way that he fell. He would have slipped right off. What is he grabbing onto? It looks like his 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 foot is embedded into the windscreen, and that's what made him stay. <laughs> that's gonna yeah. Wow, that's a yeah. shitty windscreen. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I feel like those are designed to maybe be really, really, really durable. Yeah. If he's if he's going at a speed that smashes him through it, he's so fucking dead. Can they breathe up there? I wouldn't. I'd have to look at Google for that one. But Alexi throws the Taskmaster shield. And this why is where it gets real it, wait, funny. Why is, it, why is it here? Damn, look at that shot of him throwing it through. That was a tough shot, Alexi. He made it. Damn. So it Good hits job. him, and I, I almost need to play this again. Do you see that logistics-wise? Like, what is happening here? Wait, where did the shield come? Wait, what? Um, let's try this again. Not. Oh, well, definitely. You have to go so <laughs> slowly because everything happens so quickly. Uh, why is Taskmaster's shield in here, anyways? Well, he took it with him. Um, oh, which, to oh, be honest okay. with you, you know, I probably would. I guess you'll have it. It blocks yeah. bullets. So, look at this legendary throw, first of all. He has to get it through, like, past this, past this, past that, through the glass. And the width of the shield makes it so that that is a tough throw. It even bounces that a little bit. That is a bit. tough throw, yeah. That is a very, very tough throw. Now, look at this angle. Oh, dude, the man who had to do the VFX on this shit. So, it smashes through the windscreen at this guy, and he bounces forwards. How? Uh, I, I don't- where did the shield come out of? I'm so, so confused. He was, yeah. he was- he was stuck because his leg was in the window? And I guess it knocked him off. I- Yeah. He's- he's got it- he's not got his gun in his hand, that's impressive. Not gonna- oh, there he goes, it's gone. <laughs> yep. No, it's back! It's back in oh. his- oh! It's back in his hand! <laughs> Unfortunately, he falls oh, onto the. Oh, and then it falls off again, and then it's the 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 tail he, fin thing. He breaks, it. He breaks oh, the oh, metal oh. tail of the plane. Oh boy! Oh so my God. yeah, see that oh, whole bit. It lasts plane. like thirty seconds, and it's so fucking hilarious. The whole thing is complete nonsense, but yeah. So um, they start spinning. We don't know what's gonna happen to them. We'll come back to them later. Now, we're back to Black Widow running through this, this like, whole corridor that's blowing up and setting on fire. And you might think to yourself, like, what is gonna happen here? Is she just gonna jump out the other end and fall to the, the place she needs to go? Maybe she'll find, like, a... she's looking for a parachute? She's gonna need one of them. But no, something falls on her from the ceiling, crashes her through the floor. By the way, she survives all this just fine. Oh fuck, I forgot about that. Oh my god, that. how are you alive? You are the yeah. squishy thing between debris yeah. and the floor. No, debris no. on top of her. And so How she's like, you? oh, what a tough world I live in. Oh, what are the Man. odds? <laughs> yeah, pretty low, I'd imagine. I have to think with a facility as big as this, this is phenomenal. Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs>
It's like, hey. Yeah, hey, uh, so, are we cool? <laughs> it's like, no, we're not cool. Um, yeah, so she obviously feels guilty about Task Manager, so she's gonna release the, the cell, and it's kind of a weird scene because there's clearly, like, loads of aggression. Even punches the wall, I think, or something. She's like, eh, look, I'm sorry. Please. Come on. It's like, dude, the place is falling apart. This person's yeah, mind-controlled no, to kill you. No time for this. You haven't got <laughs> yeah, any... These appeals won't work. Do you I'm understand? Just, like this, <laughs> I'm just thinking. She does have her. flume juice, right? But I assume she thinks that the flume juice won't work if the mask is on. Yeah, which is probably fair. To I, I guess well, you wouldn't want to mm, risk it. Wait, no. How do you breathe? What do you? How do you breathe then? I guess the mask. You could think it's a respirator of some kind. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Sure. When you have two vials, I can understand you don't want to take that risk. Yeah. True. Um. So yeah, they're about to have their battle. Take this risk, though, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. See, I think this is really stupid, but I guess someone would argue that this is entirely in character. She feels guilty. Okay, it's like yeah, but this person's mind controlled to kill you. Like, it... <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is the showdown, guys. The final battle. Here we go. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh. Well. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, this movie's pretty nuts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, come on! <laughs> like, come on! And and plus, What's something flings her over off the floor through yeah. the air. What? I'm like, how are you just not? Just are you air. invincible? She's the Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invincible. It's yeah. Every th <laughs> the, the the writer's hand is throughout this, this script with her ice picks through the metal <laughs> fucking floor. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't work for all this time, but then it works right at the end. Well, it's yeah, just, like it doesn't. It just you can't just through. stick an ice pick into a metal floor all you know of a sudden else? and have it drag a long. Oh, lo and, and so, how convenient this part is too. Well, so she's here. I'm just making sure yeah. everyone understands. So dead if she goes down there. This whole facility, <laughs> whatever the fuck this is, it just moves over here. Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying it moves um, in a way that the film, like, didn't even, it, like, the film shows it spinning and it moves all the way over there. And it's just like, oh. And then, of course, Black Widow lands down <laughs> there. And, uh, yeah. Wow. That, okay. That's, and it's also the one that Yelena is on. That one there. Not all the yes. other platforms See, all the she other... could have been on. Well, and funnily and enough, it's the one that Black Widows? it's the one that Drakov's on as well. Drakov hasn't left yeah. yet. Um, Melina yeah. and Alexei have left. It's been ages since Drakov was in his office. He still hasn't. left. And all left. of the Black Widows have left. Yep. Mm -hmm. With all the with all the parts falling off of the station, you think that one engine might actually be able to keep it afloat now? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. True. <laughs> True. It's it weighs so much less because so much of it has fallen off. The one engine's like, oh, okay, I think I can do this. I oh, think yeah, I can, this oh, this is yeah, actually oh, it, all right. Well, it, the lane is right. So, yeah, look, it's moving. Yep, there she goes. Safe. Oh, it's that just, it sound. just yeah. an so, all right. and it explodes oh, as well. Yeah, just <laughs> now it's so time Yelena's for the big showdown. Them, none of them notice. Yeah, none of the guards are up. firing their just guns. Keeping an eye out. Yeah, just remember, so, to make sure people understand, it's almost like a spoiler, but it's fine. If someone were to be here, and everyone in here notices, that's a pretty easy shot, my dude. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, if, that would be... if this were to happen, you know? Even if, and it's not like just a second ago we saw that this thing is <laughs> fucking packed full of people, full of gods. Well, she has to like, walk past the place that you board, and you would be looking. She has to do that and... in front of all of them. Oh, this part, look at that CGI, look at how that, <laughs> also, that grappling hook is not going to move you like that, it's not, it's just going to pull your arm, it's not going to pull you to where, like, yeah, and you're not going to go, up. you're not going to go up, like, your body still has mass, yeah, you're going to swing exactly. underneath uh, the wing. I don't think she oh, had the stick yeah. there anywhere. Sorry? I, oh, does she have the stick on her that she uses to blow I it up? I don't see yeah, a stick somewhere. Isn't, the thing is, the stick is just pulled out of her back, and then it just becomes huge. Oh, like, that's how they do that's, it. That's cool. Like, she's, where the, is it? Well, there's clearly nothing on her back. You guys can see that. Let's see if she does pull yeah. out of her back. Yeah, she's got nothing on her. Um, it's like a video game inventory. She's pulling she just out had of her pick up a piece of You're shrapnel. Right, there's or just, on her. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she pulls As it from his running, side. Just pick not her back. She pulls it from the Which side. side. Which side? Oh, the left side. Okay. Did she have that on her left side? Let's. Well, let's I'm gonna. I just want. I want the frame of her it? pulling it a sec. Come on, film, gimme. 
Oh. There's like nothing there. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. <laughs> you just have to believe. Oh, oh, I think it's in like one of her waists or something. Yeah. Well, so it's quite. Yeah, she, it's this is quite obvious when yeah. she's pulling it. Um, do yeah, you guys have a shot of it earlier? Waist. Yes, there is one from earlier. Yeah, because that's it's hard to miss that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like no, how when I'm watching the yeah. screen because of the delay, I get the screenshot in Discord, and then I get to see how we got <laughs> that screenshot. Um. A little so, yeah. backstory to the screenshot. A little, little, little convenient, but you know, this film at this point, a little convenience is, is better than anything. Everyone's <laughs> here. Everyone is here. Drake Why are they, sees... What are they waiting for? Yeah, what are they waiting for? They're, They're waiting on. for her to destroy them. Well, oh, yeah, they nice. wait about... They wait a solid uh, 20 seconds just to, like, let her blow them up. <laughs> yeah, Draco's literally like, shoot her. <laughs> shoot them and none of them shoot at her. They just all look around like, oh no, I should have no, no, no. controlled your after there's all. There's a guy. There's a guy. This yeah. looks as if he's about to shoot her. Like, what? Do some shoot. <laughs> he's aiming at her right now. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, man. Shoot yeah, her. Well, <laughs> well, alternatively, off the one, for you know, it. one of you can like <laughs> get out of this VTOL and like just run out and get a really good angle and shoot her and then get back on. You but could, you yeah. Can't just live shoot him. If she blows you up, look how many there are. Look at them; they're all it. aiming. What's going on, guys? Yeah. Do Kill something. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> He's all got of a you. scorpion there. Just shoot. They're all just yeah. like, what? 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 Dude, what? she's what standing there for like twenty seconds. Well, yeah. Remember, we were just shown that. Now we get this. She's realizing Natasha's there. Natasha. Um, no offense, Scarlett oh, Johansson, God, but CGI, uh, Big man. <laughs> uh, uh, not just the CGI. I, I'm not a fan of her delivery here either. Oh yeah, it's it, terrible. None of them are, Don't it's do all it. Really bad. And then, no, God, no. This yeah, well, was it's not fun. that bad, but still. <laughs> no, and yeah, the background is so no. fake. So yeah, uh, they could have shot her this whole time. They just don't. But so they're this is not. They're not shooting. <laughs> they doing. So this is very yeah, sad. Do I, I want. I do want people to take this a bit more seriously. Okay? <laughs> this is a very sad moment. Our hero's oh. sister has decided that in the pursuit of revenge, she will even kill herself. To get the bad so, guy. Someone in chat points out rightfully, how can they hear each other? Good point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is really sad. I, I would like now oh, it's very sad. for you guys to pay respects to Yelena. Only if you think she's good. Yeah, I'm going to see all of you in chat get tricked. And watch it. You're going to type F and you're going to be like, I think she's a great <laughs> character. Um, I guess I'll play it so you guys can see it. And then we'll do it in slow-mo. All right, here we go. So, uh, many people now, have many thoughts about this. <laughs> yeah. now, it looks so fun. bad. Now, you know, I, I got to imagine that if you're standing oh, within, like, a ruler's length of an explosion that big, you're not just going to float backwards like an angel. You're going to be very, very, very dead. You're going dead. to become an angel. <laughs> yes, you will become an angel instantly. You're dead. You're dead. Th this, there's no defense. That one is like Explosions substantial need plot to armor. mean something. She's right next to it, and it just <laughs> blows her off of it instead of you're dead. It's not even just That's that it. it's um, it, like it would kill her. It just looks awful. It looks really bad. Yeah. This movie looks particularly fake. It does. It really does look bad, a this one. Very artificial feeling about this movie. I, I can't believe, I I guess I can't believe this movie. It's too fake looking. Mm. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't believe any of this happened. Like, this is all not real. This is, yeah, like I said, this was like a, it, this this is parallel to the, to the prequel movies problems. The third one less so. But part, especially the first two prequels, where the CGI was looks, it looks so bad for so much of it that it's just like just so whoa, obviously that the just, actors aren't where they are, sort of thing. Yeah, um, yeah. Yep. But yeah, yep. this one, just, nobody believes she survives this. <laughs> look at look at that <laughs> shot. I mean, you guys may have seen this shot from the the thumbnail, but <laughs> it's, her you legs know, were you, in the explosion. How are they not burnt to a crisp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You died. You died many the times. He hasn't caught one. up with her yet. Yeah, and of course shrapnel as well, and just like all of the pressure oh, involved. Just, She's just and, dead. Well, the main thing is the shock wave will like turn you into jelly. Like <laughs> there is not a single thing in you that isn't broken or mush. But it's okay. She's Wait, fine. Wait, was that a wire? Like, do you? Uh, 
Well, some people say you can swallow the wire in this scene. Um, on her right shoulder? Kind of on her, like... I, I feel like for just a moment I I could see the part... Because you can kind of see on her where her vest is kind of lifted up a bit. Mm -hmm. But I think early on there was just a little flash of that black wire. I don't think it's I mean, not going to be in this scene. It's when we pull really back awful. a bit. Watch her, so her right shoulder, kind of where her vest tense up right there. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think I saw it like a like for a frame or two. You could see it a little bit. Because you said I didn't spot it, but I I know the people have said that you can see it. I I might just be missing it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's an odd one. But yeah, that's the end of Drakov because oh, those yeah, guys don't now. get blown out like a little angel. They all <laughs> get burnt. <laughs> Demons don't. Um, <laughs> and then as soon as that happens, there's a fucking parachute just sitting right there. It's just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For well, that to grab. And then she I, dives I, off. Wait, can we just. To... Before yeah. we go past the, just, the flames knock off his glasses for some reason. Oh, they yeah. knock off his glasses. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's such a weird little, like, he's dead. <laughs> it is. Like, yeah, like okay. that's, his, that's his signature <laughs> thing. It's like, um, it's like Raiders of the Lost Ark when you have the little Nazi insignia in the dust. Yeah. <laughs> Except for him, it's just oh, his yeah. glasses. Except they're normal glasses, and that's not Look really his this. signature this, thing, you know? Yeah. Parachute. Look at it. It's just, I was going to say, just I, sitting right there. the first frame of the new scene. And if we got to appreciate film this way like we all watched it this slowly and we were like wait what is this it's like that is a parachute and black widow is going to grab that in order to help save a sister you'd be like why was that there doesn't a... look like a parachute it's it's like a no. i think you know, like I, I agree backpack. but i just love how it's it's such a drop from the writers it's literally just placed it's like it's like a health up that because you lost so many yeah. times <laughs> yeah like the, yeah, the game's compensating you. for you being It's that Mario like, thing yeah, that pops up one. after you die five times, like, yeah. here's invincibility, alright? You can... <laughs> but yeah, she, she grabs that and then dives and free falls down and Yahoo! saves Yelena. Like, holy and By crap. the way, this is incredibly complex, because Yelena's been falling longer, um, which means she's gonna be picking she's up speed. She's been falling a while. But also, yeah. the, because she's floompy like her, her arms and legs roll like it's gonna be hard to know exactly how she's gonna be moving around and then there's the debris everywhere like this is this well, is a gonna tough... be falling like a rag doll this well, is gonna be really tough you know what you you can't help but try and compare it to his mission impossible fallout the fucking excellent scene because yeah. it was i'm pretty sure filmed for real <laughs> like, it was yeah. yeah and it was like really difficult to do it because it's really difficult we're not we're it not was... birds we don't fly we're not really good at like falling for a long time <laughs> no cgi in the well there probably was cgi in that especially for the lightning i just meant like the 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 nature of the, the falling stuff, patterns yeah. and stuff yeah so for some reason they decided to toss this in she happens to <laughs> fall through, through a fucking just falling She's that jet good. i guess Slams into she it. Tumbles? Man, her back must Rolling. be so fucked. Wait, why not just fly through it? Why did you have to tumble what? and roll? Oh. How do you roll? Oh. Gravity is oh. not pulling you down to the floor. Oh, How man. Do you... Now, the other thing, and I, I only just realized this, I was like, why wouldn't you put the, ja the, the pack on before jumping down? It's like, well, maybe you want to save every single second. It's like, why hasn't you put it on now? And mm -hmm. it's like, well, because if she puts it on, grabs Yelena and activates it, and they both land... That could work. Then someone but we... might not be able to catch up to them, or find them, or get them. Well, I was going to say, if you're writing it so the Taskmaster comes in, then you need it so that Yelena has the pack on, because she can kick her away, and then they can have yeah. their I fight. I would I would say, though, I w maybe in the film... No, they weren't the fucking thinking about this, but you might want to wait until you've cleared the shrapnel field before you release the parachute. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, I feel it's, like now they they obviously weren't thinking about that. The people who wrote this are idiots. But that would be if this was a better designed movie, Black Widow would be probably have the presence of mind to be like, oh, there's shit everywhere. I don't want to get my parachute all fucked up by this, you know, metal and everything flying. I got to get clear and try to steer clear, out of here though, before I open this parachute. Um, looking at this landscape, it's going to be tough to get clear of it before hitting the ground. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But the further away you get, the better chance you get as everything disperses. Sure. Um, there was a serious risk of look at that. getting hit by shrapnel. Yeah, <laughs> she just yeah. avoids she it. She just misses it. Yeah. <laughs> How does she fall? Like she should be falling, falling uncontrollably. 
Like, she should not be falling with her back to the ground and her arms in the air. She should be, like, rolling around and yeah. tumbling. It should be yeah. wild and unpredictable. Yeah, it's hard to do what she's doing when you're conscious. Like, to try and let oh, her head, like, like blown, crack into each other, wow. blown off. Yeah, that would hurt. Um, but, but then they deploy the parachute, and the best part, Taskmaster is coming. <laughs> He's it's such a like to him. I think because <laughs> I've been so bombarded by insanity that when I saw like <laughs> I feel like a lot of people know it's coming, but even it just can't possibly make sense. Like how could Ta so she released Taskmaster? He fell in a different area of the building. He then caught up. He, he saw this and j what? Like how could and then this he possibly... flew down to fight them? It's insane. But why? And of course the big. I mean this is this is obviously the big flaw, right? But. If Taskmaster had just deployed her parachute, she could have just let Nat fall to her death because she has no fucking parachute. She would have died. It's crazy. You saved her too. life. Um, <laughs> it's such a. Uh, this is where the game it becomes God of War, right? Because you're yeah. <laughs> running down all of this debris. And Taskmaster pulls out the sword as he's falling to chase a falling Natasha, and you're just like, "What are we doing? Are we about to get QTEs?" Yeah, he's not shooting her. The uh, the what? other guards well, when they jumped off the anything. facility, they were shooting. True. Don't, don't do anything. Just let her fall. Well, <laughs> like, so, <laughs> this bit though, I thought that what we were gonna get here was Natasha slides onto this thing and maybe stabs like a a, a boot knife into the ground so it stabilizes her, and he uses his sword, and they fight on this thing this thing of debris as it falls through the sky. Like, that would be epic. <laughs> what wow. an insane fucking thing that's even happening anyway. <laughs> yeah. These people are um, so big and massive that they're destroying this thing as they, like, he, like, Taskmaster, as she slides down these panels, they get all ripped up and fucked yeah. up. And I'm yeah, like, what like... are you? <laughs> there's movies where you turn your brain You're off, and there's movies where you demon? need brain damage. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And as Fringy just pointed out, yeah, had Taskmaster not tackled her, she'd be dead. Yeah, she would have just plummeted to the ground. She had no parachute. The only reason she lived is because you tackled her. So, like, wow. Why, why are you doing this? Why are well, you trying to- They plow through that- okay. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yep. <laughs> Rags, at this point, you're just adding, like, one more pl piece of plot armor to this and also, plot like, armor this statue. And also, question. Why is she doing this? Why is she trying to kill her? Like, what- what's- you're not on what when you say why is she is... trying to kill her which way oh, are you why why is task so like taskmaster so drakov's dead all of the equipment for like the specific instructions being given to people that's gone so what are your what what's your goal here are you just gonna kill i guess it's even a... it's just like a, also, a, a remnant of a command yeah i guess but then what's the plan you know like how what are you she, gonna do she... after that how did you fall from above I have I I oh, don't yeah, know. Fake Why didn't they just get an actual parachute, spread it out, and then drag her with the parachute? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We have the <laughs> just attach an actual parachute to her and pull the parachute so she gets pulled too. People that like they look... they survive this. Like yeah, they survive this. It's all done. No yeah, problem. I don't know the logistics of how Natasha is able to like fall after Taskmaster on the ground. Task masses in slow motion again. Gosh, she really wants to kill Black Widow. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, th this fight is lame as fuck. Black Widow gets the sword off Taskmaster, drops it, pleads, and then does her big Black Widow flippy flippy, activates mm -hmm. the console on the arm to unlock the mask, and then just pops a, a vial. And it's not a it's not a hole, as such. She saw the thing open earlier, so apparently she memorized the. The command. Though while the she's command. typing it in, Taskmaster doesn't do shit. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. They just, they, in the middle of the fight, she gets the mask off and then she looks and there's just a vial on the floor. I didn't know she'd pick these up because I missed it my first time around. I was like, are you fucking yeah. kidding me? It's just a vial on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just replaced one problem with another because apparently a couple of those vials, they don't get exploded by the flashbang grenade. No, but they can be punched. Why didn't she just use her helmet thing, put her helmet back on? I guess that's not a concern no. for Taskmaster when battling. Well, I guess, hmm. Is it, is it pulled off by Natasha and, like, thrown? Let me have a look. I'm not sure. I thought if it, like, folds up or some bullshit. 
Oh yeah, it sort of it just gets as as they fall, it sort of falls a meter oh, forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then why do you need the whatever? <laughs> um, but yeah. So what you're supposed to believe is while they tumbled, a vial fell out of Natasha's pocket, and she was like, "I'll use that one." Didn't break though. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like after all the bullshit that she just went through, it didn't break, but then she just like punches oh, it with You know you know what? She used her electric flubes on it, Rags. I can oh. tell. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. How about that? Electrocute okay. the glass and then pop, pop it. There you go. Good job, film. Good job, film. And we've done it. Freed you from your mind control. Which means the Drakov's daughter was never really killed by Natasha and she's gotten her out of the torturous because I think all all Taskmaster says in the film is he's gone, referring to, yeah. of course, to Dracov. Well, Potter, she killed multiple other people now, so can worry about these ones, well, I guess. She's, she's really the only wrong. one that seems to show trauma, by the way, so I appreciate Olga for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm -hmm. she's got a bit of a thousand-yard stare going with a lot of the time you see her. The other widows are fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, it's so sad, but now we've got to, you know, get conclusions on everyone else, because that's pretty much it. The main drama's it's now like, over. Mm -hmm. It makes Bucky kind of like a wuss, because he had actual, like, mental scarring and PTSD and stuff from when he broke his mind control, and everyone else is just like... <laughs> everyone else is yeah, fine. and everybody else is fine. <laughs> look at this, look at that shoulder pad on, on ScarJo. See what I mean? Yeah. It's it's weird. Really, like, what is that? It looks so clunky, too. Shoulder there. Really want to pr pr get that pruding out, you know? He's like, yeah, we like them shoulders. Um, <laughs> makes the and then yeah, we, we get the amusing sort of because like obviously you like Drakov's dead, Taskmaster's defeated, so we good. And it's like, well, there was that whole floating fortress falling apart, right? That was a thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, already here. Well, the debris seems to have stopped. It's like, ow. But what about? <laughs> of the the huge facility that I was about isn't that going to come crashing? Maybe I was right. Maybe enough parts of it fell off. <laughs> the engine is now able to keep it up because at least half of it's fallen off. And yeah, and she just looks around and she's like, "Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is the red room. It's over there by all those trees. <laughs> is anyone over there?" Oh, and you just hear someone go, "No, <laughs> leave us alone." <laughs> Definitely didn't break apart into a bunch of pieces. You need um, a Zack Snyder line. You need some guy on a phone to be like, that's an unpopulated area. <laughs> There's no one there. It's fine. No squirrels in the forest. Oh my god. Nobody lives there. It should be great that it falls there, actually. And then someone's like, Zack, what about all the woodland creatures? And he's like, no. <laughs> it's fine. A worthy sacrifice. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's that. It fell over there. No worries. Um... Mm -hmm. And then the film like is just rushing to get to its credits. Melina's fine. She uh, she just <laughs> came down with the parachute. She got knocked out again. And then she wakes up. She does that a lot. I think it's for dramatics. And we see um Melina and Alexi have just made it. And they're like, yeah, we did it. The family did it. And you're like, wait, the last time we saw you, you guys were falling through the like the hurricane of fucking debris, spinning it's around. No, what happened? Fine. They're like, we made it. And you're like, okay. <laughs> That's fine. But how? Yes. We did. It we would did. spoil it to show you that. You wouldn't want to see it. Yeah, the, the titles, it, 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 reads, it reads like a pirate, like, Arr, forgive me, little sister. She didn't mean to do it. <laughs> oh, and it's worth mentioning, it actually pains me. So they have their final moment, the two sisters, where she says, Natasha says to her, it was real. And I'm, I'm like, it was real. The whole, the whole fake family thing, it was real. And it's like, couldn't have been real, Natasha, because you would have fucking found her. Lying. Mm -hmm. Stop saying that. It's ruining so it. So they fucking betrayed you when you showed up. Boo. Um. And yeah. So the last remaining vial, we give it over to Melina. She's gonna synthesize way more of it, and then we're gonna go mm -hmm. and free those Black Widows. I'm assuming that's what the Black Widow team is gonna now go do. Maybe that explains why we haven't seen them. That's what they're busy doing. How did Melina get sure. to keep the man suit? How come Melina's not in jail? How come she's not being reviled as a terrible person? Mm -hmm. uh, isn't he gonna go back to prison? Well, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with all these characters. This, uh, like, if you were to ask us, we would have many options, but it's not up to us. It's up to the writers deciding what the next movie is for them. Uh, there's gonna be a Black Widow too, right? It won't have Natasha in it, Probably, of course. Probably, yeah. 
Well, Probably this lot. Elena, right? Yeah, Yelena yeah. and then these two will make a guest appearance of some kind. It's gonna be great. Um, so Natasha called Ross. Uh, she activated a transponder specifically to help bring down Drakov. The plan was originally to make him land the station and take him in. Obviously it crashed. So now <laughs> it's like, oh, this is a bit awkward because he's just, he's on his way. What are we going to do? And it's like, well, everyone's leaving. I'm going to stay and deal with Ross, which makes no sense at all. You're on the run. You don't need to talk mm -hmm. to Ross. In fact, that would be a bad idea. Um, but she does anyway, so that just creates the problem. We talked about this earlier. How does she escape Ross? And the writers of, well, the director literally said, I don't know. Uh, cut a black. Uh, she, <laughs> she probably cut a deal. It's like, uh, you think we should know about that? Or was... Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no one wants to know that. Just fade to black, and then she's um, dead anyways. Yeah, and Yelena gives her jacket, the one with all the pockets, over to Natasha, the one you see, the Infinity War jacket. I know, I remember there's a lot of people who've been commenting, like, do they ever explain the jacket? So they do indeed explain the jacket. <laughs> um, Thank God. Yeah, it was a, I had a big worry about that. I need to know, one. yeah. <laughs> look at, I'm sorry I'm so distracted by these shoulder pads, but look, her, her undersuit thing, the shoulder pad has fallen below his shoulder now. <laughs> Because it's like a side shoulder pad thing that's weird. Yeah, it's, um... They're just weird outfits. Uh, yeah, so we see the Black Widows, and they're like, We wouldn't <laughs> leave you behind. It's like, well, again, these well-adjusted women who've had a lifetime of mind control. It's just, I hate it. I hate how much it's not human at all. Now mm -hmm. we gotta hold hands. We gotta see where we fucking hold hands. <laughs> like, fuck off. It's beautiful, Rag. It's beautiful. Family. Family. <laughs> Family. Um. Yeah, and and uh, Natasha does a pose, and we cut to black. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Epic. She just gets away. I guess it's almost it. Uh, obviously, uh. the whole family are gone. We have no idea what adventures they're up to. Um. Two weeks later, good old Mason is his name. The 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 vehicle simp. He gives them. Um, a... are, are we gonna just point out yeah. that that scene's just over now? Yeah, it's over. We're done. It's, yeah, it's done. over. The people who showed up, um, what what did Ross fine. make of the fact that Drakov was a thing? His because they would have gotten his files, right? Presumably the hard drives are intact, possibly. And mm -hmm. they searched through the whole thing. They just be like, so turns out there was a crazy Russian man who was about to take over the whole world with super agents that are planted all over the earth. Okay. Oh shit. So like Hydra again? Pretty much. <laughs> we thought we got rid of like, this. Damn, we'll this again. is like I don't I don't want to say it, but two, we're starting to get into pattern levels here. Um Embarrassing. we should really do something. Uh so yeah, you're supposed to make up your own reason for why she escaped Ross. And then she's like, die to here for the Infinity War colors, and she's talking about how she's gonna go mm -hmm. help Steve free her friends from the raft, which means we are actually still before the end of Civil War. Being when Steve yes. rescues him. And she's got a Quinjet to help him out with because apparently the writers forgot that Steve already had the Quinjet. It wasn't something mm -hmm. he required Natasha sort out for him. Yeah, he had one. He no, we gotta have her doing more stuff for the other characters, particularly male ones. Oh, um, oh yeah, and that was another thing. The, the Avengers were theoretically supposed to show up here in some way or some of them, but um, Kevin Feige okay. said we don't want any boys showing up in her movie. Is that Fuck what did, they, did he actually the, the, say that? The word summer? boys was used. She doesn't need the boys. She can take care of her own movie. Ah, oh, that's man. That, but the movie was already whatever. <laughs> it's so cringy because <laughs> Natasha is all about the Avengers. She loves them as her family. It's yeah. not about the fact that she is desperate for boys to help it. What are you talking about? It's so cringy. It's stupid. No, it's stupid. It's, it. it's actually stupid. We did it. We made a gender thing out of it. We did it. Stupid. Um, but yeah, they were, they were basically oh, they were deciding whether or not to have any male Avengers in this film, and Kevin Feige said we don't want any boys showing up. Which is, by the way, less significant compared to him saying that Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange is a white male, and we don't want him mentoring in any way Wanda in her show. <laughs> like this is actually uh. so the, the the whole like you know uh, being driven by sort of social justice and stuff in your own writing it's like this is what we talk about when it's like it's actually damaging your ability to tell the stories it's embarrassing yeah. stop it 
Because uh, one of the big things in WandaVision was like, where is Doctor Strange? This is like his whole thing. He looks after Earth. This is a crazy event that's happening. It's all magical. It's like, how the fuck isn't he here? It turns out the writer was like, you're not allowed in. <sighs> yeah. Um, and then we get the after credits scene, which, again, because Marvel can't seem to help themselves and they've got no talented writers to do so. You have I this little still moment. don't really understand how this works with the after credits scene. Oh, well, the first thing I just want to get clear is that it's it's uh, y Yelena visiting Natasha's gravesite, obviously, this yeah. is a post endgame. And, like, she makes a whistle sound, I think, and it's the sound, same sound that Natasha did when they were kids, I guess, yeah. when they shared. So it's kind of like, as much as I hate all of this, it's like, yeah, that works, I guess. Yeah. Um, And she's sharing a moment of just like, yeah, you're dead. And if you actually enjoyed this film, and you thought that their connection meant something, that would be meaningful. And then you have, is it her name, Valentina? Yeah. She's yeah, just, like she's blowing her nose in the background, and it's clearly a comedic payoff. Yeah. And it's so mm -hmm. like, oh, guys, this is her sister visiting the fucking gravesite. What are you doing? Stop it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it just sort of gets categorized into the whole Marvel, like, drama and then comedy? Yes? That's how it works, right? Like this? We did it. No. Okay, we put it in. No, stop. No. Uh. Um, her grave says sister, the daughter, sister, and Avenger. It shouldn't say daughter that. Daughter and sister. <laughs> but don't... every woman is a daughter. All right, well, sister then. Well, but that wouldn't that, be on a grave, right? Why would you specify that she was a daughter on her grave that anyway? That she had a mom, that she was born of human beings. <laughs> <laughs> human <laughs> avenger. Um, a human. A human. Avenger. And this isn't just a nitpick or anything. So if you want to say they were aware of this family, then you'd have to conclude it was Yelena that would have told them about it. And if that's true, she knows who Hawkeye is. And if that's true, that it'll pay off at the end here doesn't work. Yeah. She's like, Hawkeye was the one that got your sister killed. Which, you know, if you were harshly interpreting the events, you could say that. Um, but if Yelena has even a modicum of competence left, this shouldn't be a problem. Um, and Plus, I, won't Hawkeye just explain things to her? How come well, this story isn't public about what they did? It's annoying. About Natasha's sacrifice. You'd think they would be, uh, to be honest with you. There's nothing to hide about that. She literally Yeah, killed, she died heroically in order to save the world, the universe. Mm -hmm. Like that's like, man, wow, what a what a fucking hero! Everybody should know that story. I feel like yeah, Hawkeye girl. should have told that story to her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, apparently they know that it was between her and Hawkeye, but they don't know that she forced herself to be the well, one I mean, who the dies. Avengers, the Avengers certainly know that. And it Isn't it, yeah, there's out. no way Some Hawkeye wouldn't way. have told the Avengers that. That's someone you'd have to fucking tell her. Like she, she literally yeah. stopped me from Hawkeye. killing myself. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah Hawkeye would definitely tell. Well, no we know that he it. did because in the in the movie he talks about how it should have been him. He's explicit yeah. in that his belief that that he should have died. So. It's like the one part of Endgame that I like. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's, little, there's little things in Endgame that are great. Yeah. A little, little, little in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this whole, like, I'm expecting in Hawkeye's show, there's an episode where he's a fucking, like, a bomb goes off and he's almost killed and then she rushes into the room and starts fucking attacking him and he's, like, dodging and they have a huge fight and then just before she kills him, Kate saves him or something and then they talk out their differences and then they team up or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, because there's no you. You bet your fucking ass they will not have Hawkeye beating her. No, be no they will way. not I'll have a that. man beating the woman. It will just like it's it's just fucking it's not happening now. And that's Black Widow. That's yeah. Black Widow. Yeah. Really, really, oh, abominable man. from start to finish. Fucking terrible movie. Horrifically bad. Stumbling Setting a bad... every step. Four out of four bad things in like phase four. It's 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 a trend at this point. It's not. We're yeah. in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. And it's not even in like eh, bad. It's bad. No, I bad, wish it was bad. Iron Man three bad. I wish it was Age of Ultron bad. I wish we could go back to that yeah. being the low yeah. point for the MCU. I remember we talked about this on your or my stream. I don't know. It was like yeah, man. I I wish we could have Iron Man three again. It's like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 
It's not just the plot holes and the plot armor and the plot contrivances, it's of course the damage it deals to not just a well-known, well-established <coughs> MCU character, it's also, it fucks with its own characters and it just creates so much will building that is a direct, like, just yeah. fucks with everything we understand happened in the MCU already. Um, yeah. And then, I guess, the only one left is thematic, and it's just like, it's about family. <laughs> like, it's... Family. It's, it's about how... Yeah. Uh, for the meme. A lot of people have tried to draw meaning out of, like, it's supposed to try and have a commentary on sex trafficking, slash the way women are treated as second-class citizens in particular elements of the world and stuff, and I'm just like, this, this fucking movie didn't say anything about that. No, that didn't. It, it just presented that that was the case, and that it's because Dracov thinks there's too many girls, which is like, what are you what doing? A, such a weird sentence, like too many resources of one thing, and you're like, what is he? What, what is he supposed to say? Girls, and you're like, huh? Dirt, rocks, is that, what? Water, <laughs> girl. What, what are you talking Bones. about? And then of course, um, if you wanted to just derive, like, family is where the heart is. Family are who you choose. Family are the ones who support you. Family are your blood. Like, any of these just don't really match with the whole Natasha ditched her blood family. She's like, her real family being the Avengers aren't even in the, like, mentioned at all other than I'll go fix them at the end. And then her, like, fake family, the one that she described as totally real, are people that she, like, abandoned. I just don't, it doesn't work. It's all broken. Yeah. Totally broken. <sighs> Disaster. Uh, there are so many films this should have been. <laughs> There's so many yeah, options you have. Uh, First and foremost, I would not Hawkeye. I guess that this is the kind of... Oof. Hawkeye should have been in this movie more than anyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Should've... Especially a post-in-game, you know, kind of movie where we get to see them together. You know, that's a... That, that could be really cool. That could have been really interesting. But fuck that. I guess they had different plans. They wanted to make this a really big girl power kind of thing. Um, and I guess there's no room for Hawkeye in that. Nope. Yeah, and, and that's it. It just fails at everything. Um, the things I th that we think it does well, go. No. Making money? Yeah, it made some money, yeah. yeah. Alright. I, I legit got nothing. <laughs> um, soundtrack was something I don't even remember. It, like, Same. it had generic stuff in it. Uh, the actors do, you know, a pretty good job. Uh, there's not, like, I don't think they'd do a bad job. I just, um, no. I struggle with movies when there's just... There's not even really that, like, there's only that one scene for Yelena where she tears her heart out, explaining how much mm. the entire family have backstabbed her and she was abused by them in a way. Um, that just sort of goes away. <laughs> so it's... Really quick, and that's like the only really emotional scene. The other ones are just sort of people turn on the waterworks here and there, which never really impresses me that much. Like Loki's really pissed me off with that. Yeah, it's like he cried. Let's put it in GIF form and put it on Twitter and say this is the best show I've ever seen. <sighs> the editing hurts me. Uh, usually the editing is just fine, but like there's many moments in this film that like my eyes are like, Ugh, the fuck. Yeah. Oh, uh, the CGI. <laughs> I wish it was just, you know, something we didn't notice, but there's just lots of examples where we do. That's, like, really bad CGI. That's, like, straight-up bad CGI in this, which is baffling to me for MCU production. Because the, the CGI is normally pretty good. Yeah. Um, what about the elusive factor of pacing? Uh... Oh. This, this game felt this, this game this this game. movie felt um it felt impatient half the time and slow the other half yeah i think i know what you mean like the impatient mm -hmm. factor being that scenes never breathe they just go boom and you're just like oh we're into the next thing now oh what is this oh, blah, blah, blah. and then they try to spend too much time on just drama that does not work at all and is not earned well, in any way think how long we spend with that pig and it and it was so <laughs> unnecessary yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That but you know that when that pig watched her leave, it was like, thank God she's gone. Yeah. <laughs> now we could finally be free. Now we can finally make Animal Farm. Oh, yay! Also, there's lots of machine guns here. <laughs> um. 
be, that, that pretty much summarizes it. Uh, I, I do hate the movie a little bit because I thought it was an impossibility. I spoke to Frankie many times about this, probably said on EFAP. You can't assassinate Natasha Romanov. You wouldn't do that. How could you do that? It's not going to happen. Well, yeah, because this is filler in between two different things. Like, like I mean... You don't even have to do character stuff with her, really. Just have her being a competent assassin lady. And that would get a pass. But, like, she drops... We drop avalanches on people. And she just... Uh, I... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Everyone go pee. <laughs> no, I don't need to. I don't want to pee. Black Widow. I, I don't know what else to say about it. That pretty much sums it up, I think. The family movie. Uh, family. Next up for the MCU is Shang-Chi. Oh, um, yeah. I don't even That's know that thing. we're going to cover that. Really? I'll probably watch it. Well, it's I'm probably going to watch it. I don't know if we'll home. cover it, like, on an EFAP episode. I just... I don't know if I'm going to care about it at all. And then what else is there? <laughs> I don't know. Pain. Suffering. Pain is suffering. That one looks okay. Uh, it's, uh, Morgan Freeman's in it. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> he narrates the journey into hell. What, I, actually, I don't even know what's really releasing in the next couple of months. Like, in general. Well, uh, uh, The Suicide Squad obviously not being Marvel, but still something that right, we can right. hope will not be entirely cringe, you know? Mm. Well, yeah, Shang-Chi's coming out, like, in two months. Less than two months. Mm. Um, that anthology Marvel show. Oh, how could I forget The Eternals, of course. Eternals, oh, yeah. exciting stuff. Still no idea and, what the like, fuck that's gonna be least, about. At least one of if not two more like marvel live action shows that we have to watch too yeah <laughs> and then next year there's like the same thing four marvel movies like five tv shows <sighs> and not running DC's out of content have, like six movies next year or something they got tons of stuff next year oh mm -hmm. fantastic it sucks because um I just there's so much potential lost, not just in Black Widow the movie, but in the MCU. To have oh, yeah. this high of a budget, this many actors, this many running stories and characters with this much in terms of fantasy and sci-fi elements to just generate whatever stories you want, and it's all go into this crap. I feel like all the, uh, all the not the good the the I'm missing words here. That's getting very late. <laughs> You all sound all so good, tired. They, like, they, they, yes. they, they used all the good writers in the, in the first couple of phases in order to just use everyone they can. I don't think anybody knows what they're doing anymore. I mean, don't they get, like, just random writers off the street, basically? It's like, how many credits do we have? One? Okay, you're in. I wrote an it's episode like, oh. of Rick and Morty. Sold. How was it? Yeah, so it was a... I, I, to worry about it. <laughs> Before, yeah, I have a good one chat. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're probably not going to go into a super chat section because we're in... How many hours has it been? Because I didn't get to record uh, it locally. Eight. Yeah, that probably makes for a, a completed EFAP. I'll have to save them all. It's, uh, oh, shopman bad. No. <laughs> um, have you heard of the previous thing? Marvel had to plan action sequences before they even have a script or director. I believe it. That's true, yeah. Um, obviously I don't have proof of said thing, but I can believe it for sure. They did, um... I can believe that the fucking Flying Fortress yeah. thing was generated because they had a sequence where they were all falling through the so sky. They mm. did, uh, pre for Endgame in 2016, before the film was shot. Huh, interesting. They do pre for all of their films. Like, well ahead of time. Did we, did we mention that, that this whole... Space, space, fucking the red room falling from the sky is not mentioned anywhere in the MCU before mm. that, even though it's yeah. like a major 
event that should be this is made up. acknowledged. Oh. <laughs> it's all made up. It's not yeah. part of this. This should have kept it like a low level thing. It's just not like a, they didn't did not need, need a space. To be this. <laughs> they didn't need a fucking. I always want to say space. That's a sky castle. <laughs> it, <was like> space, <laughs> it? Yeah. it looks yeah. like a fucking spaceship. It was like yeah, a I could believe it. Castle in the sky. It's called Red Room. And it's uh, like the yeah. shield is there. No one mentions it. It's so stupid. It didn't need to be this. It, it, I hate this it's so bad. <laughs> Before we end up. Um... Oh, I don't know. We, we like it. Almost feels like we're gonna be skipping our records now because it's just like, yeah, it's just sadness. We're just lamenting the whole thing after having gone yeah. through it. <laughs> um, I suppose uh, before we would do any kind of heading out, Madvocate, you were here for the whole time. How are you? Are you okay? Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm. To be honest, I'm a little upset that. My first EFAP was uh, on a really, really, really terrible movie, and we couldn't watch, like, funny, shitty reviews from, like, Cosmonaut or something. <laughs> I think it would have had a... a would, have been a would have been more more of a laughing time, but, uh, but well, I, I appreciate you inviting me on for this and showing me the infinitely more problems that it this movie had. <laughs> Um, um, I already didn't like it on, upon my first watch last week, and uh, yep, ugh. this confirms that it okay. always confirms that it's worse. There's actually quite a few videos that we've got to cover, as per usual. Um, so don't worry, we'll we'll have you back. Work never ends. Um, Work never ends. Everything's this, terrible. You. Black Widow is definitely terrible. EFAP's fantabulous. It's fun great. on the fun. Um, yeah, because, yeah uh, horrible things just are they're, they're just vehicles for EFAP and Madvocate and all of us who make fun of terrible things and explain why things are terrible. It's just fuel for our careers. <laughs> There's just also one in chat. I just realized Metal is here. I thought he was arrested for flooding Germany with his tears. <laughs> oh, no, that was you. Your tears are brown. Don't tell anyone. Shh. <laughs> they haven't tracked me down yet. Damn. <laughs> one day. Um, but yeah, uh, so obviously, uh, Mavka, we actually covered you last week, so people are going to know uh, at least what you do through that, but is there anything else you'd want to let them know that you get up to over there before I, I pop a link in, in the old chat for them to click a Rooney? Well, like, things going on with the channel? Yeah, what are you up to? Um, uh, well, I, I took a bit of, of a hiatus for like a month now. And obviously that's when that's when the channel kind of exploded out of nowhere. <laughs> the the YouTube gods have decided to pick me. <laughs> um So yeah, I'm I'm trying to get back into it. I've I've got a lot of video ideas that I don't want to spoil oh. yet, Ooh. but um Yeah, I guess I guess to the people waiting on a new upload, just know that I'm going to start getting into the groove again cuz I used to I used to work pretty hard on them, um, and now I've just been because I'm I, I work full time, and I'm usually exhausted after I come home. But yeah. uh, I'm going to start sacrificing sleep once again. Yay! Hi, Yay! All too well. <laughs> I think that's the YouTuber life, isn't it? Absolutely. Um... Yeah. And yeah, we're we're inching ever closer to the old EFAP one fifty. We'll probably see you uh, pop on there if you're interested. That'll be our anniversary. It's probably gonna be a long one, and we're probably gonna look into someone's video about how good Black Widow is. I'd, I'd imagine mm -hmm. somebody yeah, out there thinks yeah. it's good because it's about family. Oh my! That's what's so powerful yeah. about it. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys wanted to say, Mister Metal Rugs and Fragangle? Uh, um, uh, wait, are we ahead. are we done? Are we not doing super chats? Or? I don't think. Um, well, I already have concerns about my PC. I'm gonna try and. Um, do <laughs> oh, okay. Panel thing. Oh, okay, that's right. That's right. But at I the hope, same time, I hope it's been making too, been doing too bad. Hopefully not. Um, I I hope it's gonna survive. I'm gonna need to get a new one probably, which is okay. This one's done a really good job. This is this is the one that um I actually got thanks to uh the TLJ critique. So, 
like um, it's like nostalgic. Oh. This PC. Are you gonna say like when you when it's finally done and it's over? Are you gonna say like rest now and it'll be put a pillow over it, <laughs> like an Iron Man so sort of thing? Stabbing it, saying let the past die. Let the past <laughs> die. I've evolved as a critic. Just hurt. That should be your channel, Chronicles of Critic. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're probably gonna wrap it again. I keep. Like I want to know how. Like yeah, movie Chronicles, know, of Chronicles of Riddick. Of Riddick yeah. We still gotta okay, see Pitch okay, Black. All right, I right, just made sure. I just made sure we're all on the same page here. We gotta watch that make and sure Pitch that, Black, I guess. Want to make sure we're all picking up this fucking gold. <laughs> um. Yeah, we will. You'll see us again. Crazy as it is, there's probably two EFAPs next week too. Oh fuck! Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, they both fuck. already planned, so yeah. What a value! I didn't know it was the other one. I'm free for one. I think. You think you're free? Wrong. I'm never free. If it was life. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, just lots and lots of things on the way. Still collecting any super chats we missed, and you'll see them in um, assorted catch-ups that we managed to get out there. Maybe we'll record the Wednesday one, the additional one offline. Who knows? Anything could happen. Um, in the meantime, a lot of us are working on other things. More stuff is on the way. Yeah. Things to do with and, yeah. stuff and Certainly. the like of that nature. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Who knows what could happen? I'll, I'll do my strumblages. I watch more new media now, even on my own, so people can Whoa. actually ask me about that now on stream. <laughs> oh, they want us to uh, advocate Christmas or Halloween. Which do you think is better? Oh, boy. This is where I lose subs, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say... Fuck it, Halloween. Yay! Yes! yes. <laughs> Wrong answer, but... Another one no. joins the lead from... We can't, uh, can't all be perfect. <laughs> but you managed to pull it off, Madvocate, so nice. Yeah, good job. Okay, this is the good one then. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yes, it is the good one. The excellent choice. <laughs> Winner! K.O. Oh, I, love every, I love chat every time we ask that one. Yes! <laughs> the wrong right! Yes! Pumpkin! Not subbed. <laughs> Worst guess. <laughs> it's like all over the place. Just refresh your channel, lost half your subs. You're like, wow. <laughs> um... Yeah, so it's been fun. There you go. You now know exactly how we felt about Black Widow. We really hate women. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Just I was massaging my woman-hating gland for, like, all week, yep. knowing that we'd be doing this EFAP. Mm-hmm. Absolutely diddly. And with that, thank you all so much for hanging out with us. It's been so much fun. And, of course, thank you very much for the donations. The insights. And the 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 the, the uh, things we missed here and there about the wonderful film that is Black Widow. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to mention before we hit stop or uni? Uh. Uh. Fard. No, I guess not. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry we couldn't get to the super chats, but technical difficulties. And we shall. Um. Send yeah. Send super chat so Muller can get a quad three nineties, and he'll never have to. Upgrade I will, ever again. What I'll do is I'll build a giant sky fortress so that the fan inside that will cool my PC. So here they're probably you, you could make that. You could make a red room themed PC. Yeah. And it could be it could mm. be And then I'll tell people I'm a fan of Black Widow, and then they'll leave me alone. But if one part breaks, everything starts to break <laughs> it and then it explodes. explodes. <laughs> it's like damn I didn't think about this. It's not a it's not a design flaw, it's a feature. Um Well, alrighty then. Goodbye, everybody. It's been fun. Sleep well, slash wake up well. Toodle, Heimers. Cheerio. Bye. 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 Nah.